this game, murder. Tom. Lame stream. Yo, Thermo, get the fuck out of the chat there, motherfucker. What the fuck? You think I'm asking for Thermo to pick it? No, Thermo, I ain't asking. Go for it, let me squeeze you. Can you make me show the two, please? Please, madre. Madre means mom, by the way. Madre means mo mother, mother, not mom, mother, mother. Madre, mother. I'm not saying mommy, no. I don't how you say it? Oh yeah, I know how to say mommy in Spanish. I'm still thinking about how to say it, but I know how to, I know exactly how to say it. I'm not gonna say it though, because it's crazy. Bro, that's fucking crazy, bro. Alex has been so for three years, bro. Oh my god. What's good little Eva? How we doing short Eva? Eva, who do you wanna win today? Wait, Eva, you've told me before who you were a fan of? Toronto, I think? Or the I forgot who it was. Pretty sure whoever you like plays today. You know? I don't know, you're an optic fan, I don't know. Optic, you're an optic fan. You didn't tell me, then you didn't tell me what because I don't forget, I do not forget Eva. If I'm not saying what team you t said, then you shorty, like, you didn't tell me. Was that? Subliners and Optic. Wait, wait, why those teams if you don't want me asking? Yes, sir, Loki, lock it. How do you open this, Loki? Don't worry about it. So I'm going to be a lot for automatic game. Map set for LEDs, LEG, Rio, high rise, high rise control, sub base, hard point. This is gonna be a good series, bro. That, I mean, that series is gonna be good as fuck. As Sandman Beach are what everybody know, Call of Duty League has taken over Florida. We're here for spring break. Awesome stuff right there. Show the man fine. some love on social media. Give him a follow. Man, Funny we people, great tournament huh? Shaping up, and we're about to see a nice show. Which players to be excited about? School I'm rivals, on accuracy versus slasher. It's Minnesota versus Boston. And Bro, we'll have a uh, low key. I've been clipping some shit, low key. So I want to jump right into. I'll this clip it and get, I can send it to you because I can just hit the button on my fucking break, oh, on my uh, stream deck. About this, I know who's winning. Who do you got? I, I think Boston beat themselves a little bit in the series yesterday, and I don't think they do it today. So I'm gonna go with the Boston Breach. You think Boston gets their sixth match win of the season? Yes. Nameless. Why do you say that like it's crazy? It's been a tight one last a time. Tough match. Went all tough the way match. To game five, but I just have a feeling Minnesota are a little bit better on land. I'm going with the Rocker in this one. I originally had Boston on my predictions, but then I walked by Linz. He was listening to rap music and he was dancing like this. I'm going with Minnesota. They're getting the job done for the Rocker today. That's our scuff pickums. The players are ready, and we hope you guys are too. Miami, make some noise as we send it to the stage with Blaze. Oh, yes, so in the crowd. Thank you so much, Chris. This time to get this elimination bracket started as both these two teams are ready to give it everything they got so they don't go home. Miami, the first one. Loser, 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 loser bracket match. Loser it's goes to the house. They going home. And when your heart's over, get ready because into the breach we go. Sound going to be sound going to be bad, bro, but goddamn, this, this is. Deep in my thoughts when I didn't have it. Up on the floor, Sasha. wishing it was a match. This is now I'm in Hollywood. Over with inside, cool the maybe seeing this one, but Sasha, come on, 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 come
Oh, can we get my, my, my brother? Slasher, Pretty Star, and Snoopy, the Boston Breach, ready to make a run. Everybody has been waiting. Sorry, let's to get it. Come on, Snoop. Come on, Snoop. A top team. They played against the New York Subliners yesterday, and they fell one to three. Let's get it, kid. But it was Asim who was trying to kick things off. He's gonna have to do it once again today with their backs against the wall. They play this should not be a top twelve match. This match should be for out. top six, bro. It's about this is about to be a Boston fucking banger, Chavo. The loot, the winner of this Chavo plays again tonight against Thieves or LAG. Banger. Make some noise for Minnesota. By any means necessary, everything I'm doing is legendary. Step in my office, cause I'm a boss, not a secretary. Second to none, I am the Barco was good, Barco. We're doing Barco was good, my brother. You ain't getting the combination. Not to shock the whole world. I am ready to play from me to the back line from the head. Jen Sumpard. I'm just getting started. Time to turn it up. Going off in five, four, three, two, one. Pinch, the pinch. Rockers winning. Rockers should win, bro. But actually, I want to see Reese do good. This is annoying, bro. Because I, sometimes I have it. It sucks having friends on both sides. Because I want to see Boston, Asim, Austin win. But I want, bro. I want to see Reese win too, bro. I don't know, bro. We'll see. I don't know. Welcome to the Minnesota Rocker. We got. Wait, Baco, yeah, I don't know who you are on Twitch, Baco. What's your Rocker username, bro? might come from the north, but they are used to the heat. Lynn's looking to be your rookie of the year, now finds himself in his first elimination bracket start. With a veteran on his side in accuracy, will he be able to perform under the pressure? It's the first match of I got the Rocker. day, the I got Rocker. of elimination. Let's I got see Rocker. we send home, Blaze. There's no way Rocker loses this game. So ready to get this one started. Rocker on land. La Lamar's been literally brawn. Vivid, Lynn's, like, there's no way they lose. Take this over. Ooh, I like the that. only way Boston win this is if Priesta has like a or, like, or Austin have a takeover takeover series. Ah, Furbo, how's the event, Furbo? Uh, we saw pretty recently in qualifier two uh, goes five games and Joe what? Like first four maps the same. Yeah, first four maps in the series are the uh, exact same. Uh, you know, Boston they win both of the hard points and then they end up winning a game five Karachi. We're not going to have that game five Karachi. It's going to be a Rio. If we do go with the distance, it'll be the first time we see Rio S and D between these two teams so we'll see if that happens but yeah as you said day one pretty much went by the book what we expected this is where you just never really know with these squads from a result standpoint i guess the yeah. thieves pushing basically game five surprising but uh result wise yeah thieves you thought we're gonna win now as we look at these two squads you know i think it was slasher he said after their series loss yesterday versus new york you know uh it was the little things right some small mistakes he can't do that against a great team in this series, is it small mistakes you're looking at, or is it something else that's got to be their key to victory? Lamar and Sanders on the other side. Little things, but I think uh, for me, honestly, they should be so yeah, fucking locked. They are fucking locked. Well, they have to be Rocker, super, they super fucking locked. There, but it's a huge one. match. Invasion, I do not want to see Ace or Snoopy drop. We had this yesterday. I mean, I don't think Austin's gonna get dropped. So for Minnesota Rocker, it's you know. I don't want to see Priest. Damn, I don't even want to see him get dropped. Motherfucker, damn. You then go one in six with all of these just the loser. People are, are losing their jobs if you lose this match. I, setting, I know who you know, I'm, I'm Minnesota that they allow teams to beat I'm them. Boston, I don't just, know who can they bounce back mentally here at land. Yeah, once you lose so many game fives, right? Like it starts to uh, starts to absolutely wear on you, but we'll see. I think Minnesota's the Lucian you know what I'm saying? Like they're they're Top like we're land, 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 land. Maybe make a run again this time. Got to do it through losers. Up against Boston Breach and looking to get it rolling. Lens, one of the best rookies we've had, trying to make an impact in this one early. We'll see what kind of amazing Somebody plays got we got him over the course of it, but it's all green on the feed. Light it up, Jesus. is Breach. Yeah, I mean Priesta, he, he finds the time. He's gonna find three, so and he makes it all four. Priesta, yeah, he, light like, it Lynch up. just let him get to the B street, brother. Lynch, are you Breach. okay? He gets a great timing through a connector, able to flank P1. That's where Lynch just pushes through from. So he finds the timing, able to get a free couple of kills, then ready for all of the spawns. Which leads Breach to 17 seconds. It's a map control. And you'd love to get him going early. Is a guy, it's, you know, kind of ride or die by his confidence sometimes. It feels like his peak is absolutely insane when he is hitting. Let's see if this hot star can't continue. Damn, this shots. Let's win some crispy shit. shots. 
Little team fire there too, I imagine, as they're able to take him out. Snoopy not quite able to snap. It's now, it's gonna be Rocker inside. Trying to hold I know, the Anthony, pressure I agree building up the street. He's fucking gone. Yeah, many trophies down. Let's say it's deep. He's having a slow start already. Three seconds off of P1. Great time for Boston Breach. Now a break attempt. You have the spawns for P3. This is where really you find some early momentum here. If you are Breach, try to push that lead. Can they get this break? Lins it's slippery. Still it's slippery. There, one HP to back and forth battle, but this is exactly what Boston Breach want to do. Maybe someone on Boston start shifting right here. Yeah, I see. They, they kind of fucked up here. They might have fucked up. Yeah, it's a huge gunfight. That was such a big gunfight. Lead. Still just gotta wait behind awakening with some lovely shots. Number eight making a really good play. Number three has to live here. To run, run, Preston, run. Yep, good play, Preston. Now, we start to think about the upcoming rotation with 15 seconds left. Oh, Joe, what the fuck, Preston? Oh, he gets through. Vivid's able to find a double. He gets through DVD and then the spawns flip. So that is not what Breach wanted. Great play by Vivid right through the middle of the map. Now you can see over towards Ooh. that third hill. He's gonna be the first player in it to get set up. All I keep an eye on number seven, chat number seven. A lot of press, so much pressure on him. He's getting jumped. Keep this up. Yeah, wild pace early on. Let's see if he'll be key and maybe some openers as they start to collapse on this. You've got one pinch developing. It's the accuracy is kind of lurking behind that three-man front. The other spawn comes up at bridge. Trying to hold now is Rocker. Snoopy gets the bridge player. They start to push. The lurk is there from accuracy as he develops it on the pinch. And now the collapse starts to come in as you try to make the plays through. Lin's finding some clutch Vivid. kills. Vivid's still inside. It's awkward there as he swaps. He'll get caught. It's another break now for Breach. Yeah, That's great huge, break there. Seconds, Called it. Yeah, accuracy Reached spawns ten all and the way three. Max before shots. the next hill pops, right? So he basically gets a free pinch due to the spawn. Uh, and he's able to find one, but Breach, they get the back gas spawn. They have the numbers now, so you take the break. Much needed for Boston Breach to keep this lead. Yeah, I think it was one. Well, like, he spawned out, then one bridge, and next thing you know, you got two people trying to hold. As Breach just continuing to make plays to disrupt the setups from oh, Minnesota Rocker. Now, next hard point ready to go. So Palace spawn up for Breach's two will be there, two for Mold. Mid map kind of controlled right now for Rocker, but this hard point, how often do you see it? Just gunfights basically all around the point in like a circular Some crazy fashion. Crazy spawns, opposite. Will still yeah, get the hard point eventually. Typically, it takes a trickle of kills as they're starting to leak through here for Breach. Yeah, it's three dead, and now it's three really just a, it's, it's a hunt for accuracy. Where is he on the map? And it seems going to find him. He was just waiting inside our rugs, and that was the play. But now you see everybody spawning Palace side besides a Seam and Snoopy, the who are the two players alive spawn. for Boston Breach. So pinch. The game's going to be a little bit weird here. Yo, crazy this ass this question of who's going to stay up. Flipped. Nice shots by Slasher. On the opposite side, it's Breach. making so many big plays, bro. Good fucking job. Just staying alive Walker. right there. So it's fight all over the map. But look at the spawns. Kind of this squad spawn comes in for Rocker right now. And Breach trying to react to this. And this is Priest though. Like the hot start. I wonder if play behind that confidence and keep it going. He's done that. 2 HP, but 13 and 4. Trying oh. to deal with the close spawns. It looks frustrating as the kill's coming through for Rocker. It's just Priest in an eye. Island, Island of Minnesota That's players. Let's do it again. Yeah, I mean, he tried to do. They're looking he for him. They're he's dead. He's dead. Oh, just he's one shot, player shot. That, Well, forces a spawn out that allows Rocker to get on the hill. It can be frustrated to deal with at times. Breach are playing he's well. Been on number two, Chad, trying to make that play. Up Big Austin points. So Rocker going to take control. Lins is on three in a row, but here comes Slasher yeah. and the rest of Breach trying to break this hill. Well, the frustrating moment for him. It looks like it's continuing as he's able to get the only kill, but the rest of the team going Damn, they're, they're out slain by a little continues. bit. Continues. Uh, that lead is gone now. Now up the four, getting closer to maybe a crucial cruise. Priest are trying to get right back into the mix. What about 20 seconds remaining? We'll start to think about the next one here shortly, but Priest is still trying to dance around oh, the point. Maybe yeah, see if they can clear them out of the objective. They're able to do that as Slasher and Snoopy get forward. Next one about to go. Lead change looming. Breach go out in front again. Yeah, but I think you take this if you're Minnesota, right? The way the slaying is kind of going, sort of the, the way they're controlling the map. Uh, I mean, you're only it. down three points. You have accuracy double negative, awakening close to that. So it, you're hoping now, first match of the day of the tournament for them, trying to just get going a little bit, get locked in with those comms, get warmed up, and you're only down three, which could have been a lot worse. Priest is fucking really fine, too. Priest to raise 15 and 7. Frying his way across the map. Everybody else in the squad basically right around even. He's trying to get out, trying to finesse. Teammate's going to come through. Trophy goes away, but the kill will be there. Yeah. I've seen them. That's two minutes and 30 off the clock, though. Let's go about the, right over to might slasher, be coming to the, to the game time. 
There wasn't much time earned on this point early, but now with these final 30 seconds, we'll see what they hey, can pick streaks. up. Can you get him? Who was so good at earning streaks since he's joined this squad. He's really been popping off of the slaying department. Wait, Another shot. Oh, the like maybe earn a cruise. Cruise. He does it. Lovely gunfight win there against Accuracy. Yeah, but Rockers still have these back parking lots spawned. So, uh, again, a great job by Breach finding early time here at P1. On this rotation, you're going to have Slasher there. The rest of the team going to try to get pushed up. Focused the push for Rocker. And yeah, you said it. We saw it yesterday Ooh, when New York got number one. Time. They had so many cruise missiles, with a lot, which allowed them to win that skid row. Now a seam with the tr help of the trophy to get on this point. The well, last time they had to kind of break it through the opposite yeah, side. It's really a Lamar is flagging point. out right now, Twin. This time we'll see if maybe they can hold. Not going to happen. Is right through the front comes Vivid who gets two. He kind of stopped Breach right out of it. But the different loss of it was Breach that pushed through, but they end up flipping them all the way out. Let's see if Rocker can kind of keep them trapped in Palisade. But it's Breach who just got broken. They're trying to answer back, likely thinking about. We got to be careful here, though. Shabby, the, 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 the P3 is so hard to break. Number two. Listen in with Boston Breach. So big here. I don't see fire. Rocker, what's your zoom? I'll talk to me now. I see you. Oh, maybe. What is this? I think the one's still new. Oh, he's pointing out the one. That's the last guy we're missing. I don't see him in new. That was the last guy we're missing. Miss take a picture. Honestly, I think that was the guy. I'm trying to say I'm guessing. It might be honest. 20 American. 20 American. 20 American. 20 American. I'm American. Can you get him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back blue. Back blue. Back blue. Back blue. Back blue. Channel the back. He's in small. In small. Small in. Small shot. Nice. Three. 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 Water Street, that's it. Okay, you have Water Street? Mar oh, I can see our right now. So. I'm looking for Water Street. It's Richard. It's Freezer, Eric. We can't fade to small. I'm much smaller, so I'm much smaller. I'm trying to watch your front. No, I want to die, too. They could go mid here. There's two people. 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 There
if Rocker can rally one of the more impressive comebacks we've seen in a hard point, but I think Breach have just been too strong, too good as they come out and just bottle them up early on. I mean, they're just hopping out. Of I point. mean, Lamar Let started off really Rocker slow. Out. Like that's kind of I thought they were for a Breach is doing what he usually does. He's going fucking for so many engagements. Also only 40 needed to win. Yeah, you're just gonna take the time if they're giving it to you, right? Obviously, you can hop out of this, but if it's any contested time, uh, yeah, that's gonna start the clock and that's gonna be the call. So just fighting. Forcing Minnesota Rocker this is so hard to win. Let's see what happens. Time time again, a chance here, though, for Minnesota. They have one, Listen, if they Minnesota can get a good P2, nah, I'm I'm Priest at one kill away. Hey, just think about how he erupted, right? Because it was all Priest early. It's like when he was 15 and 7, everyone else was basically even. Then he just goes off. It's a monster map. Closer and closer to victory. Ah, uh, they're going to hell for doing this. This is called this is called mentally breaking them down. Getting called this is called getting mentally broken down. No opening down the street for Rocker to try and break through. Breach has bodied him up. Lynn's may be an opener, but this one is looking done. Yeah, they wanted one win condition. Now it's 250 points. They don't care about the game clock. But Minnesota, they are still here for now. A <laughs> couple of seconds away, just trying to claw their way back in. But I just think it is too much right now for Breach. Yeah, too much. No time. Not a lot of options to get the victory here. If you are a rocker, if Snoopy comes through with two, the clock is gone because nobody's in the point. And it's a map one victory here for Breach. Is we're yeah. tied around 190 to 90. From that point forward, it is all Boston Breach. Yeah, I mean, they really got going. Uh, you know, you had to flip if you were a Minnesota Rocker at P2. You had P2 control. Banger map one. Banger map one. Listen in. You kind of heard uh, right, Mexico's going crazy right now. Mexico does not want to see Snoopy get top 12 again. Yeah, his comms were correct. It was accuracy the last player there. So that flip comes in. It's a full 60 at P3, and they run away with it. I The last thing I said before we'd listen was like, can they flip him out like Rocker did? And then like right after that, they do it almost instantly. And then, yeah, it was a great listen in. I, I love to hear it too, because listen, so, yeah, I think we talked about this before. Like some some players like to have a, a hype Looking from like you out there, for hype from a crowd. <laughs> some players doesn't really matter all that much. But Ace with 6K, I'm going to go shooting. 28 non traded kills. For Asim, only got traded well, six I mean, times right there. Six of his kills. Yeah, six thousand damage. Same thing with Priest. The Priest only got traded three times. Damn. Traded kills. The duo stepping up in map one. 110 point victory. Six kizzy from Asim. Yes, this is kind of what you're used to. Now one in seven in your last eight map one. So you've been starting. Slow. As much as I want to guess, uh, Asim, like I feel like it's a little more common for Asim to do that. I feel like this is off the back of Preston, right? Preston will put Asim in better spots so that Asim can do that. Same for same for Snoopy, right? If Preston can do that more consistently, because dude, Austin is he's a slower player, like he he won't, and he'll have good great games, but if Preston can do that and keep playing fast, this team should be good, bro. Like this core four should be a good team. A lot of times, if it's scrappy early, it, it levels out like that, and someone takes over. That happened here, like last night. It but it obviously sucks throughout. having to rely on one person like that, like that so much. Rocker, like once once the wheels came off, they were off. You couldn't drive the car. You were getting smoked and. Priest didn't slow down once Ace was roaring. It's done. Yeah, I, I mean, really, what it was is like there was always Ace got so hyped. Jeff was actually fired. That's one of his. That's gonna be one of his favorite moments to look back on. That was, he got so hyped. He's trying to lend in the trapped. back then. As soon as that flip was in, it just felt like they were spawning palace forever, and that is a spawn trap in itself. No, no, it, it can't be the. Uh, Listen, whether it's control, uh, whether it's hard point, I think Drowsy Country last night is like, that invasion blender could be something fierce. Yeah. Like, yeah, yes, it can. <laughs> it, it really, really can. We take a look at the game flow here in a moment, <laughs> just kind of how things went. Of I fucking love it. It's a round tie crowd. game. Yeah, it's like that. Look at that run, 90 bro. 98 to 182, bro. Holy shit. 98 to 182. It was yeah, fucking, what, 30 I mean, point game? 40 point game right there, and then it's 182 to 98. And. They don't get much more time after that. So uh, a great map one for Boston Breach, but this has kind of been their, their strength when you looked at it. They have struggled, though, in this uh, search of destroying control. So what is it? You go from, like, 86 to 106 across six hard points? 20 points across six hard points. Yeah. 
Yeah, they got they got locked up. Yeah, locked up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely on clamps. We take a look. Oh, at the, chat, we got an announcement notes, from uh, Treyarch. The Maven special right now is uh, we're doing three rank three play three map three evolution three starting that'll be, uh, the Monday, here. March twenty fifth. Same thing these guys played last. We're getting five, Vista Rocker, and Departure the added into so every map in every game mode. Oh shit. Yeah, now for Boston. Oh, we got to get the eights going today. We got to get the eights going today. It's been much better match. Every game mode. We're doing every eights game mode today. Departure on Vista. Yo, that's going to be crazy. I don't think the departure is going to be a good map, but I'm still excited to play something different. Shout out to Treyarch, bro. Holy shit, that's fire. I told my fuckers that Vista's getting out of Vista's getting out on Monday. Monday. There were a couple times where somebody like Lens or like. Was somebody's getting picked and you were getting we really coming back we'll I try to go piss before this game too I need to go piss so bad I try to miss none of that yeah, action man like, game right there, there. Like, regression for a Boston breach as you saw the stats 11th and 12th there so we'll see if that gets a little bit better throughout this map we'll see if they can improve on it it just hasn't uh, hasn't clicked you know right when you got ace from the roster like the uh yeah you saw kind of the respawn influence you saw what he was doing in challengers. He was putting up numbers. He was taking that same tempo, pace, and confidence right into the pro side of it. But like the search, who's going to step it up? Maybe be their playmaker, or will Rocker continue to hold the advantage on that in that uh, in this matchup? But now let's go. Take me through the monster pregame here for Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota Rocker. I mean, that's the attack is a mess. Their defense is a lot better. You see, 12 win percentage on attack. They're getting a lot of plants down, but it's actually the post plant win ratio, which is not good 51%. So, you know, you're getting the plants in, you're not clutching the rounds out. There we go. Map two underway as Rocker look to bring it even in the series. I'm back. I'm back. What I'm a back. Talent I'm back. Snoopy has been. This will be in his POV. Oh, this is a great play. They do not know he's here. I love fucking love this play. How did he get here without yeah, trophy like from, though? Like what Austin, the right? fuck? We see a lot of teams, especially around one on defense, either send one guy to be or just like, give it just up. Let's get the, the, the DVD for free. Like Goon, bro, like what are you doing, Twin? No, 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 go, no, no. DVD, but the timing does not go his way. Awakening was ready for it. First blood over to Minnesota. Yeah, it's just like it hits a crazy smoke. Crazy ass fucking smoke though. Not a good smoke. Yeah, it's a land what behind Slasher. He's still able to get a kill though to put him to the four versus two. Barista. Lee, how we doing, little shorty? Damn it, Slasher out trying to get it done. Some tags into accuracy. Bomb now getting planted, shorty. though. And here we go. About 40 seconds on the clock to work with, trying to retake this into two versus three. Yeah, obviously, you, you have the trade on the pinch, but if you're that Slasher, you, you would love to have another nade. Yo, oh, Joe! We go. Slasher, Parisa, both fine pace. Now it's down to Lindsay. He only has a rival. This is going to be fucked, a tough spot. Going to try to finesse this. The beams are in. And there we go. The old duo, Slasher, Parisa. We have seen them win Bro, titles what? before. Clutch up in round one. Yeah, like, you know, we Nah, they should never win that round. The, uh, they should never, ever win that round. Get shots right Bro, bomb down. Three. Three v two. His gun was on single fire. I know, but that's not his fault. He's bomb planner. He should never and be left in that situation. You know, in I don't were know where Lamar is going. Lamar was going to, to check his fucking Twitter or something. Be, probably what you hear go off right that final kill cam. That's what we talked about, right? They're getting the plants in. You have numbers. Everything is golden. If you are a rocker, you just simply lose all the gun fights. Ivancito, how we doing, Ivan? Slasher and Priest, they each find two. How we feeling today, Leah? How we doing? Good evening, Shorty. Slasher yesterday. My God. Despite the map two loss, he was remarkable on terminal. Just like tweaking. He was getting so many first bloods, winning so many key gun fights. I'd be tweaking too destroy. if I lost Pino. that round. I'd be fucking. We'll see if he can do it more. Oh! oh the accuracy van uh, tucks him inside. I mean, they should know that, but that's everywhere. whatever. Like chocolate up the cheese. Yeah, usually it's a spawn char that uh, people are afraid of, but that time. The Nate connects and finds two. So we just saw a two versus four pretty much. Can they happen again? We'll see. But that would be spectacular. You still got, you still got Slasher above. There's a chance here, Jeff, for them to bring it back. <laughs> they got a lot of time to work with. No, they really do. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, Slasher's gone now. So it's all to be in the one versus four. Courtesy of the accuracy van. See if he can maybe make something special happen. But I just said there was a ton of time. So you still got like 40 Sorry, Yvonne. How much you spend, Yvonne? Bomb, but now they know your position. We know you spent at least 200, at least. It might have been three. We know about you. Comes clean off. Luscious shots there from Snoopy. Oh my lord, he's got a cannon. Yes, he does. Two beamers in a row, and now he's still in the trap. Again, okay. 
but Awakening has not rotated. He is still sitting mid-tank. Vivid looking over him. The stun does connect. He's going to try to push the gunfight, but there we oh. go. He's able to snap. But nice movement nice try, with the buddy. lightweight boots right there from Snoopy. That would have been a movie. Yeah, that would have oh, been a movie. Oh, if he can just get across to the tank without taking that much damage, he might get the angle on Awakening with stun. And the way he's shooting, who knows? Ooh, we're taking another look at the grenade. Uh, hey, guys, uh, bye. Yeah, adios. Again, uh, they're normally ready for... Bro, Yvonne, every time you walk out of that place, bro, it's three. GG's, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's almost three from accuracy. <laughs> GG's. But that stabilizes the round, gets them on the board. I thought, dude, Snoopy was shooting, though. Both those gun fights, not easy. Just snap it. But we got a one-on-one. -on -one. Right, keep it on Snoopy again, Chad. I think he got through for free. In the round one, nah, he's an impact here early, and he is able to. Gets the first one. Snoopy, despite the shots looking good, no chance in that one. I don't, I don't like that play from Snoopy right there. Doing it. What's good, Big Luke? How are doing, Big Luke? Again, I was trying to host Snoopy you, Luke, but you were gone by the time play. I got off. You're not playing around the site. He was trying to play in a forward position. Gets Yo, what is that? Lance, what is that yeah, smoke, so, brother? Yeah, it's not in front of the barricade, so you have that 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 spot that Priest is just able to find him. It's got to be better on that smoke. It's the same just thing. Put it, put it in front of it. Yeah. Like, right when it hit, I was like, is it Priest in front of that? <laughs> He's got a kill right after. Okay, oh, so we're going to go to that? Smokes 101 oh. here. Back to back rounds. Slasher wins another one. That smoke might end up really costing you. Now do a two versus two. The same duo. Priest and Slasher trying to clutch this round out. Against the other are duo. Like oh, shit. Vu, bro. The round one. They have 30 seconds to work this, though. On opposite side, it's probably going to be two one on one. It's going to be the case. Reason might have a great timing here. Yeah, he is. He's in a spot one. Does he uh, see anything. accuracy? No. But there we go. Enough time now for Slasher. Oh. It's the two vets. It's the two vets. Seconds left at accuracy. These guys are 50 years old he combined. Is so good in these situations. Yeah, well, he's just going to play right he's behind saw, the saw, car. He knows he, he has he to get on the defuse. Not going to happen. And it's the Iceman who clutches up for Rocker. Now, beautifully done. Plays the clock. Gets out. Make sure no chance there for Slasher. And this breach team to get another clutch. You got to see on. accuracy there. I imagine it's like, what are we doing in these scenarios? Stop making Dude, Luke, this the looks beautiful. Luke. Sadly, the, the, know, the Texas the one boys. was so different. Yeah, Luke, that was Just a good ass one. I watched for like 25 minutes. No cap. Not a difficult one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like CS Josh is literally over seven buildings that guy is a moron, bro. To, like, cut something that off. That guy's a moron. No, it's not not that difficult, but uh, proving to be for Rocker early. But they got the round win, so at the end I of the day. I think this goes game five, bro. Like, these two guys two, for now. just have a problem closing out. Let's see what starts to develop now for Breach. Yes, that's what I'm saying. And this Tim. is, I mean, I, listen. The, top, really, the entire time I watched, I was literally entertaining. I'm saying. The response. And I didn't even see the, the I didn't see the Joe interview. Yeah, I didn't see the no to, interview. You know, somebody, just, uh, maybe you told me. Somebody, somebody, Tim, I think Tim told me. With this roster. Somebody told me that the interview was Right around a month. But yeah, this necessity is not. Not gotten him comfortable. His it's priest is going to get first blooded. And a lot of the times, it feels like they're kind of relying on like Snoopy maybe to find spot. an opening. Besides the clutch round, they, they've been down in numbers every single round. They look to be wrapping this out towards B, so the pressure is going to be on accuracy. Stun going to hit. Info is there, trying to get shots in. He's in trouble. The naval hit, no trophy for coverage, and he will drop. Now Vivid rotates across. Maybe a shot from the barricade. Lens rotating fake. across, and I, I don't know if you have a lot of time to fake at this point. Yeah, but watch the number two. Slasher might be the point man here. He might be the point man. Oh, oh, oh. And there we go. Lens is going to spot him. So now it, it, it's just a clock. Boston Breach, they have to go quickly. Snoopy through connector is going to find it, but there's a stun. Can he get to the bomb in time? That's go. the question. Oh. I don't think he can. They have to play TDM. He can't plant. And now it's on Vivid to stay alive. Oh! oh it is so, so close. Boston! Bro. But the stun goes massive for Rocker. You know, I didn't foresee the stun, but when you said it might be a fake, or maybe rotating, I'm like, I don't even have time for that. You sure as hell didn't. But that stun ends up being the round. I mean, they couldn't cross, right? You, you get the player to coop, but they don't want to risk it with Vivid in that position on the barricade. So they didn't want to get to the beat bomb. They were Dude, Luke, you had me crying, Luke, when you, street. when you were walking up to Velix, I mean, where that's where is. not Velix, gravity, that's really it. or wherever the, the stun uh, hits the person, just can't get there they were sitting together, maybe. That shit was so funny. Oh, that's wish you had a smoke still. You were like, yo, I was in game chat talking crazy. You're running tag bass. Yeah. Now Rocker, now trying to find their own. Almost, almost, Fede! 
Well, ends the point man dancing and hunting. He's got 1v3 without getting a kill, bro. Good one. Good one, Boston. Kind of typical 2 2 setup from Breach, but really a little bit forward is Snoopy, who might be the one that's able to disrupt this if it builds That's what he's been doing the last couple of defensive rounds. He just hasn't found anything. He's just been the one getting caught. So, can he finally give them an advantage in a defensive round? But it looks like they're going to go towards this A site. So, it could be on a scene. The problem with Snoopy's stuff. spot is that you're to essentially with trapped is once you cross. Slash or maybe with a so, you really shot have to hope that you. Insane rival shot across the map. They clear you or you catch a the timing. Like, yeah, that was a nutty trapped. one. Asim goes to pick. He finds nothing. Things falling apart. Finally, Snoopy involved. There's a pillar accuracy. He's finessing. Can't stick with the rival. Finally able to send it forward and get the kill. Down to 65 HP, but still whoa, 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 able to get a clutch one, one as well. Now 30 seconds to go. Down it's to a two doable. versus two. Chance for another 2v4. He can't quite finish the kill. The strafe is on from Lindsay. Gets out of it. Snoopy now last alive. 20 to go. With the priest to death, things probably got too difficult. Yeah, Linz is playing this well with the rival. It's oh! By time. 15 seconds, though. Now it's down to Snoopy versus Vivid. There's oh! Yes! Mexico! What fuck is he doing? Oh, my, that's, that's my brother. Oh, no. Woo! Oh. Yo! Nah, you should never win that. You should never win that round. snaps. You should never win that round. What was that? You should never win that round. 12 seconds left. You don't check there, bro. Start to the fuse, but it's kind of a fake and just a slide out. Chow knows exactly where Vivid is. God. <laughs> the rival. It's Snoopy. Wow. Woo. That I, don't, I don't know what's Reese. I don't know what's Reese. I don't know what's Reese. Win, I don't know what's Reese. Yeah, you have that 4 1. Oh, you bring it within a round. That's my dog. That's my dog. I feel bad, bro. That's, that's, that's brother. I'm brother. Five, bro. I don't know it's Reese. I don't know it's Reese. This is Reese. one where you're down and maybe for breach. Gets he going within this search to destroy. Also, four in a row on Snoopy. That was dirty, though. That was fucking maybe dirty. Maybe a chance for streaks. is unbelievable. He's there. Mexican. Leah, that's just the blood in us, shorty. Like, this is what it is. What it is. They come down to defensive clutches. This should easily be a Minnesota Rocker 5 0. Without question. But it is not. So they're staying alive. They're staying around to the map. Uh, this has been sort of the issue with Rocker at times, just these breakdowns. If, if I would describe uh, Qualifier 2 uh, for Rocker, it has been the trolliest qualifier. Like, some of their series have been just uh, brutal, man. Whether they're beating themselves, the Anybody game's beating them, the other team's beating them. Everything's just been beating them. Yep, he lost a T. Yep, he got bad timing. Vivid. Oh, oh yo, they got out. The the corner. Get the fight. We'll see. Stun does hit, but holding for now. Only 35 seconds remaining on this clock is all four up from either side. Some toes getting tickled as Lamar tries to get the angle, but he'll reposition. I'm doing that, bro. Like, I'm doing the Priest same thing. Drop. Bar for bar. Accuracy's got position and maybe find oh, another. Wow, just he just got the test. He just got put on the streak will end for Snoopy. 2v4 for a moment there into a 2 it's versus a 3. Just check, check, check. Lens, Lens. Bro, Lens. Lens. You see him on it. Bomb is down. Let's check the bomb. And there we go. There's the chow. Does he know the second player is through? It looks like he has to okay. reposition. Now it's, down it's to Stanos, Slasher. Though, Stanos. He knows all pressure on him. Here's the oh. double chow. Rocker finally with all the numbers in the round, all the time in the world. Back on the board. Yeah, I was about to say good trigger discipline two, there from two. Slasher. Not shoot early and try to give himself the fight. Mexican on the loose. Who's Mexican? It gets dropped. But yeah, that was almost another one that slipped away, and I was about to start losing my mind. And you're, you're kind of seeing why at times Breach is 0 5 right now on this map. I mean, defenses have come down insane clutches. Attack rounds, it's not looking convincing. Down to 15, well, 20 seconds. And then they start and execute. But here we saw Linz just on this A push, able to get in a cafe and then find this last kill. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not a good sign usually if all of your search and destroy round wins are miracles. Uh, <laughs> probably probably not a good sign. They are lucky to have two in this. We'll see. Let's get SBC. Let's get SBC. Let's get my brother. If maybe they can get a first blood and get early advantage, like, I, I, what, they just never have numbers. Ever. Again, you get Snoopy in this forward position. You have Slasher kind of looking over him. The other side of the map, yo, yo, it's a seam and baby. Who, who you call baby, bro? Asim just sort of lurking, holding. He's been playing kind of near position by A throughout the course of the season. He's going to be able to they have to get Planter, win a gunfight, uh, not going to happen. Asim's having a tough map right now. Him. Damn. You get the one guy kind of on that A site. Yeah, he's just no way to trade that. Asim just swings out A street. That's so tough. Now. 
Oh wait, the Snoopy caught a timing. Snoopy caught it. Did he, did he catch Rocker. it? I don't know if he caught it. You might have caught Another it. Another retake opportunity. No, he didn't catch it. it no. Really, you're just waiting on Snoopy here. He's the man working B Street, trying to find an opening. Because if you're Priester and Slasher, you're kind of waiting on him, waiting on a pick. But that is not going to happen. Finally, he arrives. He's able to find a kill. But two on three. 28 seconds remaining. Priester just checking all the corners. They're gonna take through mid. Trying to see what he can find. Someone from Rocker is gonna have to beat this bomb sooner or later. That's gonna take a lot of wall bangs. 15 seconds left. Snoopy still a roaming, but I just do not think he has enough time on the clock. Accuracy sitting mid tank, and there we go. Another clean round behind the first blood. Oh well, yeah, yeah, not too many clean rounds, but yeah, this one they handle quite a bit better. This should be seven to zero, but <laughs> still a round to go to get this victory in map two. You just have no first bloods to capitalize on if you are breach. Never having numbers, never dictating the tempo, never just Cindy, having what are you laughing at, Shorty? Like, you've got the map. No, control. don't you laugh. I know I'm not there. Like breach having to get uncomfortable. And I mean, even when you have like a rotation uh, out of slasher in that last round, the scene gets picked. It's like you have the read. You went the back to go see my reaction. That's funny. That was such a good play. Uh, and they went an offense, try to get this to another round. Cindy, me cuidas, Cindy. Te me cuidas. Have a good time. We'll see. This big wake just kind of waiting. Can they go faster? That's the question. Breach of, again, it's been always just down to 15, 20 seconds. But there we go. There's the pace right around a minute. But Linz, so good in He's this gonna spot. He's going to see it, bro. Reese is going to see it, bro. First blood. Almost finds this second, but a quick trade. Hey, bring it back to a three versus three, but well, most of them are sick fucks, but like MC again, loves watching my VOD. MC will finish a match, go in the back, like and then watch reactions after no like to his gameplay. What it feels like catching one with the headshots is wake snapping. It's about to be a bang. It's about to be a five five type shit. With 30 to go, bomb five, down five, kind of near five. that A side has to take out accuracy and vivid as it dwindles. Priest a hell of a map one. And as you see, he's in this spot. He always plays this game so, so well. Happens. Well, Prisa, he's going to go hunting. Not a lot of time to do this. Vivid may hear him as well. Yep. He does. Little off angle. Rocker tie the series up at one. Yeah, that was, uh, listen, he had some fun, insane moments. But it should yes, an he's a psychopath. It's like, it just, they always he's a psychopath. had the advantage. Oof. Always. I, I remember, what was it? The what, what event was it? Just desperation. And pretty I was on the phone with Tyler a after a match or after an event. Breach. They were out and played, he was in the practice class. area in the back where they all were take. like where they you know where they after they play games they gotta go back there so they can talk about videos or whatever and i'm like yo where's mc at he shows me mc and mc was watching me react to the game maybe like 20 minutes after the game like he's he's but able casual. to tie the me. series up and I love it's kind of deja vu but is that why mc shooting bodies no i just think shooting bodies not because he just doesn't want to use and qualifier online and i've been telling mc bro just be yourself bro go out there and be you bro i believe to rocker and so everybody would, people would more, yeah, way I mean, more people would love him see because he's fucking hilarious vibes. it's just like they're not like great at anything but kind of solid across the modes they can beat you anywhere and if you have a team weakness like a team weakness this control's gonna be everything this control's gonna be the, pay, the fucking tone setter it. Uh, just need to be able to exploit it. They're both really good at sub base, though. Damn, these are bang out maps. Hey, these are bang out maps. This still to could get be a game five. Uh, no matter who wins this, this invasion. Yeah, I mean, one team, the advantage of the search, one of the hard point. We're getting ready for the control. We'll see which way that will go. But last time, again, all the way down to five in the qualifier. Seems to be heading that way as well. Uh, despite the loss, though, Snoopy. Wait, Cindy, have you been to the venue? You, you, when are you going, my son? What the hell are you doing, Shorty? My God, if I was at the venue, I'd be so happy. him gassed up on the main stage. Truly. And he's good at code names, yeah, bro. He's fucking horrible. He is horrible at code For those of you watching here in Miami, I assume you're getting ready to do show up. Oh my god, everybody's going to be here. Two. We'll be I wish I was there, man. I would love to smoke with MC. It would be a vibe, bro. MC's a liar, too. He does not smoke, Yvonne. All those videos you see of MC going, Upgrade, yo, yeah, bro. I was high as fuck. No. He does not smoke. At scuff, go I just took an edible. He doesn't even take edibles, Get bro. With a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit just be role playing. Slash CDL to change your game. The mañana? Wait, why mañana? Why not? Energy, why not? Why mañana? Energy drink of the CDL. Wait, you're you're there already though, right, Cindy or no? That's the side. Skies tries to battle back. Not gonna happen. Optic takes the round eleven. And this timing. Oh, it's crazy in Florida. Like, 
the further they get there, people shit like uh, doing my, uh, shootings and shit. Like, that's crazy. That's why. Uh, All the crazy brothers in Florida, please. Tomorrow the vengeance is gonna be crazy, isn't it? Because tomorrow is when people don't work. People don't work, or people don't got school, or people don't got class, no responsibilities. Tomorrow it is going to be fucking packed. Because the good games are tomorrow. That is crazy. Nah, that's crazy. It's already saying if, if you don't, if you play today, that's crazy. Nah, that's crazy. I agree with you though. Tomorrow's gonna be tomorrow's gonna be a, a really good time. Especially if Optic and if Optic wins and if Age wins. If both of them win, bro, Sunday is going to be crazy. It's crazy how we go from two to three matches a weekend to four to five on a major, and we only have a few majors. We can play CDO and Duma. I don't know, man. You're telling me though, you want to I love I love watching COD on land. What's good as Bisky? What's good as Bisky? Is Bisky, are you back? Are you uh, finally at the new house as Bisky? Are you finally at the new Kripsky twin? Tim, she's just like me. I try so hard against you just so I can watch your reaction after. You are horrible, Tim. You're actually, nah, you're actually demonic for that. I'm not gonna lie to you, Tim. You want you play with me, you lag out. Play against me, you want to be brown. Like, no, like, you are not brown, bro. Minnesota is playing like they know they're about to lose. Somebody might be losing a job. We know who's losing their job on Minnesota. The problem is, I don't know what Boston do if they do get top 12. Like, they're going to make a change. I just don't know what change they make. I, like, I, I'm excited to see what happens if, if, you know, depending on how this match goes. I'm waiting for the appraisal to approve it. Approve what? Oh, he must deem it deem that to be low. That's a thing? I don't even know that. It's Bisky Well, The more you know. The more you know. Yeah, but like, who could you get for pre bro? Like, it's just so hard. How, like, who do you get for Preston? Cammy? Like, nah, ain't no way. Ain't no way you get Cammy, bro. Respectfully, like, Cammy on Thieves was lagging out, bro. Literally lagging out. We'll see, right? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I love to see Cammy back. Four nasty is gonna be fucking Austin from America, Cammy from fucking uh, from the Europe, Snoopy from Mexico. And Asim from Canada. Putting this trap, they end them in the round with one or two ticks. So, can they be better on offense? I think I'm watching their S and D attack. Yeah, no, 100. percent It just feels like they're a little bit all over. Not statistically, but he has been winning. So yeah. It depends how it goes on line, right? Isn't it? Like who else wins Shoners? That too. Shot calling different in COD versus the other titles, but it's like one clear voice at times to just like hit stuff or just be a little more decisive. Like I don't know what it is, but it just seems like yeah, waiting on someone to make a play. It just doesn't happen sometimes. Minnesota should win this map. This is their best control map. I mean, again, it's kind of what we just talked about. Both these teams solid in defense, but the attack is the difference. 11% uh, attack win ratio. It's not good at, at all. Uh, it's awful. Uh, no, that's so. that's that's that stinks, Joe. No, it does. Uh, so that, that's the big thing here for Boston Breach. And we saw this yesterday. Obviously, New York's a little bit different, right? They have the talent, but they need to find some improvements. They're playing this map time and time again. Yeah, what are they playing? Just hoping their defense is better than the other team's defense and they get to a round five defense and win all the defenses. That's big D right there. Yeah, they're trying to whip out the big They're going to my boy Fern. That's what I'm saying, Cindy. Thank you, Shorty. Like, somebody, that's what I'm saying, Shorty. Some changes. Overnight, makes some things to work on. That's some good guys. Yesterday and the struggles that they hype, L line. Rocker kind of get going off the tail of that search and destroy. But now into the map three. That's out. Major two, continuing on. Lens right up the gut, right up the cut. And Slasher get back to spawn. Snoopy, see you later. Adios. 
French sensation off to it early. Yeah, Yo, I'm, I'm out of drinks. I remember, I remember saying Linz is my favorite match. player to watch. Uh, you had a and it was sure before they no played phase and holy shit. Or before they played optic. And and bro, the they call, broke the fuck the down. They kinda, we saw this yesterday. They oh, he ain't been the same recently. Yeah, I don't know what's going down with Twin. They try to get everybody pushed forward, but all the people pushed forward get cut down. So now the retake is up is possible here for Breach, and you already have Brisa already top American. As he gets pushed forward, there's the pick. He'll be able to take out Lens. Now you're worried about the front side action. His awakening. I guess they lose him for a second. If he back down, you try to push through with your Snoopy, but you're going to get caught. I like number three. I like number three. It's a big place. <laughs> good player, Priesta. Steve can stop this. I mean, so big. But they still had people on B uh, this okay. entire time. So despite the fact he's been getting kills, Priesta's going to have to rally all the way back through Ice Cream. Try to help because they couldn't win it on the other front. And well, that is it. He had spotted. Lynn's able to take him down good after awareness. a couple of tough deaths. As you see, Slash is trying to back away, and that's another one of those rounds. It's like, do we try to retake this? Do we not? Do we just set up for A? And then as the time is a little bit too short, well, God Rocker, they damn. did the timing, and now they have some good map control. Bro, you die in four bullets. Fine two kills. I die in four, four bullets. The pro player is insane. A stun, now he's on the point. It is the fundamental. Hey, I've never seen someone throw that stun. Write that down. Trying to stay up behind the trophy this on is the around. side, pivot collapsing through. This is around when this gunfight is on and backs oh, up Asum. Ooh, and the rival. Oh, I thought maybe he had that one, but it's not going to work out. But still, you've got accuracy here. Maybe not alive and well for long, but you stop the clock for a long time. You still have a minute 40 to go. You need a tick, right? Yeah, so true, four true. Ticks, so a great advantage there for Minnesota Rocker. And will Boston breach CA during this? I don't know. So that one tick could be big. <laughs> Can be well now things will slow down a little bit. You have to take the crunch spot. He didn't take the crunch spot. No, and Snoopy playing that top position inside a cafe. I thought maybe the timing wasn't gonna go his way, but he turns it around. He's able to find a double. You do have one in on it with accuracy looking over him. That boy's putting on for Mexico. That's gonna be all four dead. So it's a two on four. And there we go. Accuracy vivid going huge. Now a chance here for Rocker to find another tick in maybe the round. Second player has gotten the cross pressure on them to He's try and break. Shots over. should be coming through as well. Awakening Lens able to hit T God That's damn. Go four dead again. That'll be the round. It's a lightning strike early on as Minnesota Rocker win an offense. And what and what away, Jake? Give, give me some tips, Tone. Go ahead. And when you're up against the worst offensive team in control in Boston Breach compounds the issue no it does yeah pressure is now on boston already after round one but it comes down just sort of vivid and accuracy their two-man game to snoopy he does his job he's inside a cafe takes down two you're thinking all right we got the numbers we'll trade this also out. gets info on the bar and gets some weak gets two from mid tank while vivid's on the point and that opens everything up i like that like the two-man game i'm seeing like a high pick for lebron or something <laughs> they're making the plays but no really it works out great and well, back to back four down kind of situations helps you too when you're trying to get A as well. I'll see a breach. We know they have the ability, obviously, to get B, but where do we go past that point? Oh, in that sense, so I mean, far. yeah, you, bro, look, I didn't have anybody. I wasn't so chopping it up on anybody, uh, Jay. Uh, that's map, just the difference. Trying to control if you are a rocker, maybe start to look to collapse. They'll push it all the way out to take out care of the player towards Palace. And now looking to collapse to the point, 2v2 there. But it's Which is my fault. Don't get it really twisted. You just have Vivid playing from deep. Second bit of progress now done. You haven't really thrown too much of this if you're a rocker. No, you know, this is maybe one of those. That's what I keep in mind, G. I was live on Saturday. Or it was when people were playing games, bro. People are locked in. I can't really fuck with them, brother. They're there to, you know, they're there to handle their business, bro. Pursue whatever they're pursuing. I'm not going to fuck with them, whether like, well, it's actually game time. People are super turned. Can they get over towards it? Yeah, because yesterday it's Friday, bro. Everyone right plays cheeseburgers. Like, They're pretty much put back to spawn, right? For like a minute, like each time. Most people. Like, they, they not have a lot that they could work with. Now though, you get several kills. You're starting to collapse. You got three people sort of hitting back ass, trying to isolate. Go turn. We start tomorrow. On the map, but you do get two big kills if you're a rocker. Still, you're through if you're breach. Maybe they're gonna sniff a. They're starting to move close. Starting to rally the action here. Over to your second objective. Play, is, Snoop, team play is got onto it. Yeah, three in a oh, row. He for got sound horde. He's dead. That's really the life advantage. Damn, five, that's tough. Five life advantage. Had six. You're pausing the clock if you're a seam. Just on the point. Minute 45. So looking much better than what we saw. That's going to be three dead. That was crazy. You see, that's crazy. Accuracy that was crazy. I saw that. I saw this. I think I saw the same thing. Do you want to pressure this? Or you just kind of play around the kills off screen. <laughs> like I'm going to wait stupid, for bro. one another. Is Boston Breach and then start their attack. But Vivid will stagger things as he finds Priesta. Yeah, you have like a five kill advantage if you're a breach, but 
with the offensive woes and the lack of actually getting bodies on the objective for any extended periods of time. It's going to be tough for a team like this to really take Samuel it down Biddle. to lives. Because more often than not, the clock is going to be their sort of loss condition. Slasher, though, he's on it. So take back what I said, but you pause it there for a moment. But they can keep getting little moments like that, little pauses here. You can work this sort of TDM, work these lives, but you're going to need more moments like that. Yeah, you had a seam on it for a little bit earlier, and then, and then Slasher, you'd love maybe for him to clutch up. It's tough when he's weak, just trying to finesse allow his teammates to get to him but doesn't happen but then you have just given yourself a lot of map position to work with it's just can you find these kills a great setup here for rocker but here comes the pressure he's doing a good job staying alive the rival on the point now able to win the gunfight can he work some magic he's gonna have Another to go crazy because he's getting flanked clock. getting jumped from both sides advantage. so yeah he's 44 dead. seconds as long as you no possibly chance, you know. can but the wall bank comes through and finally, the chow around the edge from accuracy. And as you said, no trophy, so they'll be cleaned up. Damn, bro. Just not enough time. 35 Boston seconds. Boston, criminal to go. control, Life bro. is still there, but more than likely not going to matter. The defense has done enough if you are rocker. There's always been. Double stack in the point. Let's see what happens. This could be, this could be bad. This or get the one person clear. It's another two person hit now. One and four. And Asim and Snoopy looking to push on through. Wayne needs to get double chow. He will drop. But one more person, always one more body to make sure you hold this if you're rocker. Yeah, they've been so great in these positions. Priest is going to stay left in front. And one player left in Priest. Oh, he's dead. Maybe to try to get on the point. He knows the crossfire is coming through. Not going to happen. Lins wins it vivid with a player off a spawn. And there we go. You got on the point. So what, tough because they, 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 there are, are One of them is always the having game. a tough game, bro. Never allowed that next moment. And typically to, to it is it is Preston, but like yeah, and right now it's Austin, you know? He's just Austin right now. Invasion blender he's having a really tough game. Beast. He's four and twelve, like four it's just rounds. tough, bro. Right, we're going to the third yeah, round. He's, he's averaged around two kills holds. in the first two rounds. Like, damn, defenses, baby. He kind of got sliced through. Not able to get going here on offense either. Their offensive woes continue. 2 0 edge for Rocker. A round away. Uh, what what adjustments do you need to make of your breach on defense then if you're going to keep this extended? Yeah, I, I mean, they might have to get aggressive here, right? Just try to maybe get some streaks to carry into the next round, get them in a spawn trap. Wait, wait, you have three, three to six tick-wise. If you want a round five defense, I mean, you're going to have to, yeah, get very aggressive here over towards B. He's having a tough game. Like We're able to muster up some magic, but so far the aggression's been there. The kills have been coming through. Start to push uh, him back deeper and deeper if you are rocker. Well, and it seems we'll keep you updated that somebody pulled probably a lever, but yep, uh, you hear that in the background. We, yeah, we've been doing uh, doing this a long time. That's been the case. We'll see what the, uh, the official call is. But we're we a fire alarm. Yeah. Oh no! First, the alarm's going off, but we'll continue the action here for now. The fire alarm. The action's not going anywhere. Chats, all good. Fuck the fire alarm. Adversity. Slasher's able to take that, and you've had them pinned back for the most part. You keep building this life advantage. You're up 29 to 23. It's up six currently. No, that's not Only real, bro. in there with Snoopy. No, but yeah, you got nobody over towards B. Accuracy, though. They're playing through a fire alarm, for so. Okay, okay. So you're going to put two players on this, but they're the last two players on the map for Minnesota Rocker. Rocker on it, fighting. Trying to bring it back in the lives. A couple of Simtex is going to hit for mm. them. Streak maybe starting to build for a Accuracy is here now on three in a row. You're just holding strong on the point. There's your second tick. Who thinks they're funny? Is that the Lucas trying to do content? I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. We saw how efficient you were yesterday if you were in New York against this Boston Breach team. Because you found no success, really, if you are Breach. The minute extension is in, 90 seconds to go. Oh, bro. Yeah, a lot of things going on. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But Breach now, they are put into a tough position. As uh, Rocker has just kept playing and they have kept shooting, as you can see on the God. leaderboard, as they're trying to go up 3 0 and up 2 1 in the series, and that is going to be that. Yeah, that is quick. From B to A with the swiftness, it is a dominant effort there from Rocker. Bro. The woes in the map three and the control in general continue for breach. You get hammered yesterday. Let's get Jarrell. The same result is going to come through here. Bro, what are you talking about now, little man? Mass and now up two, one. Yeah, and this is what we saw between these two. Then it was Breach who won uh, both hard points online, and then they uh, were able to clutch up in that game five. So, we'll 
we'll see uh, what happens. Is uh, oh oh look at our a match score and we got a tweet. Keep you updated on uh, what's going on in the venue. An emergency has been declared in the Broad War, the Bro War Convention Center, and everyone is being prompted to leave the building. Nobody knows what is going on. Everyone left their setups mid-series. Yo. Of course, uh, I see people coming back in. We're trying to figure out what all is going down. But, uh, yeah, I mean, so far, Rocker Control is trying to get back in. To close it out. But, this is what uh, I'd be flying in to get good seats. I'd be flying in like, yo, let me go. Uh, to see people like... filtering back into the venue. Just uh, wait on more information. We're going to do a quick break. Ah, you, la you left. Motherfucker, you left. No. This is my seat now. But, like, you got to get me out. My bro, is that is that the fucking doctor in the chat? Was giving my brother the doctor, yes sir. The fucking doctor is in the chat. My brother Shafial was good, Shafial. Yes sir, we sent four names by the way. Big to be doing that, bro. God damn, a little bit, but composure. Okay, okay. Still there for gorillas as rotations continue to be the talking point. This was a team. Draza Assault, silly, cheat, and apathy. Holy the ground, shit! That gunfight was even possible. They were winning. I am bitch. I'm too bitch. Yeah, I'm bitch. I'm bitch. Yo, dead bars. I'm not sure if I'm getting old, but I swear to God, Joe. Sometimes when Selium talks, all I hear is. Yeah. Down to three for either side. This is going to be it. Last ditch attempt. Final of the point. Joe Deceives gets his. But three seconds to go. You've got to get on the zone, lad. Fresh mag. Send it. Wins it. Uh, did I see that misplay? Oh what did I miss with it? It's a 2v1. Diamond Con. What did I miss with it? Can you do it? The boys are on the capture. It's now a 1v1. What a round of control. Diamond Con, if you win. Did anybody see a scuff box with a TO PS4 Those controller? Would you rather stack a point and just get that extension to well, okay. that's uh, they don't even have two ticks done yet. Now they will. Is that me stupid? See, I saw no enemies out from the hood, bro. You just leave your shit out? Like you like let me are you okay, bro? You just leave it a controller out, bro. In, this round in public. Oh uh, yeah, this has oh, been a they clinic. Are an absolute no, 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 not lost. You got st you got um, robbed. Um, you know, we knew we were gonna come in and handle business. You know, they're a pretty team. Um, I don't know what all the hype is about around this match. I mean, look at the scores. I did. Another another update chat from the rotation. As I'm talking about the chat, the WS chat. We've not been told there is no emergency and everyone's returning to the building. My bag is gone though. Ah, I'm a gun finesse. <laughs> Motherfucker, it sounds like. They pulled the lever and and everybody that left scared motherfucker. They they swooped in and stole Nemi scuff people's bags and shit. Motherfucker stealing. It's this Dashi just fell off the map to make the play. It's been all about him all tournament long. It can come down to a one v one. Temp tweet, let me see. God, I know Donnie's funny. Donnie's funny. Donnie's funny. Donnie's funny. We need your brother to tweet that some shit. It's up and about as is tradition. We're going to fly towards that ring, that first hard point, as both teams will jostle for position. New York in first. Over to Selium, who finds two right off the rear. Makes it three. FaZe will take those points. Yeah. <laughs> Try and work someone on the flank. Yeah. <laughs> Had to see this dump through. A new could have been dropping on us. I'm not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, big people Nobody funny, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Nice shot. Or criminally now gonna find all four kills. The four bigger the funnier. I'm about to get big as fuck. Third. Real funny. Can we get some different clips? Like, bro, we see these clips too many times, bro. This is lame ass clip. Did you feel bad about eliminating Vegas Legion from champs? Yes, I know, but yes. They're seeing him like them like, I don't know, actually. You are lying. I'm lying? <laughs> Him guys, <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad, Clay. I'm I you. Keep it to get the last 
But we are back at it. Yeah, uh, sorry uh, for the delay. It was a uh, false fire alarm. We are good to go. Everybody's back in the venue. We're going to continue on here with the action. Uh, in Miami. Uh, come on. Uh, we've got this is our first series. We, we got just saw like, today. This guy's so a moron, bro. It's he's a fucking thugs. So. Exactly this guy is so funny, bro. In, uh, like you're breaching I have to say, motherfucker, I, I knew could have been dropping oh, motherfucker still shit. Well, no, that's, that's more like unlocked. that's more like rock run defense. Yeah, and I kind of did that no, it's backwards. Very unlocked. That's the opposite. Yeah, no, that's a good point, Joe. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, you've unlocked the keys to my heart, though. I appreciate that. I also appreciate that. But now we're we're just waiting to get back into it. Uh, we're taking a look at our maps and modes, just kind of resetting here in case you just joined us as we kind of hop to uh, fast break just to figure out what was I going know, on. I didn't know who pulled, who pulled the alarm. Like, someone's got to get credit for that. To go, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's a great effort, great win utter control to kind of the halfway point that map one if you are breached since then i mean that's i know it's a 6-2 but that was an 8-0 for rocker really in the search and destroy it's a 3-0 in the invasion in which it is incredibly lopsided they've just been bodied these last two bro alex i just saw that too is nemi stupid bro nemi is not from one. the hood bro this guy one. might be the most unhood certified brother i've ever seen who leaves shit same. So the one who leaves shit here for Boston Breach Bro. was against a rock. If my house was on fire, I'm not leaving, motherfucker. Like, I'm still grabbing shit, motherfucker. You is crazy. Spawns went the way of Boston. They got it to a map five. Can they do it here again? You see maps within 30 points. That's kind of been a uh, what? Like, is Nemi okay? What does Nemi think was gonna happen in Florida, bro? Games. Pretty much gone the opposite way. Okay, it's not from the hood, bro. Like, let me. What are you just leaving good. controllers out here? Well, it's only 12 teams. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I imagine that's sort of your plus minus for yep. the R. But, but I saw rank. I'm like minus 42 in rank. Damn. Yeah, but 12 teams. That is not good. It's minus 42 SR. That's all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, taking the hits in the SR department. But you see Looney on stage, kind of chatting through with his players. Uh, been a wild uh, week for these guys already. Just this. I'm about to. I'm about to reply to this tweet with that issue after issue i feel like for this team is trying to get locked in now on the stage but you know you're up 2-1 you're in control vivid kind of chatting through with the coach and I, I think for them just to get on the i mean both of these teams to find a win right boston is trying to find their first win on land right they obviously start in losers major one they lose and then yesterday starting winners have a tough match you lose you need to find some success here or it may just be back to the drawing board again for Boston. On the other side for Minnesota. How come none of his dogs looked out for him? Yeah, bro. Force going oh, okay. to you got to be safe out here, Yvonne. The snakes in the, the grass, bro. It might have been one of his dogs. It's just, it's just one so of his dogs might have grabbed the box, take the controller yeah, out, throw the box in the trash can close by, put that bitch in his pocket. Go back, walk to the hotel, put it in your bag, fly back home, got in your controller. But how different could the narrative be for them if they just won all of those? <laughs> like, this yeah. looks so, so different. Then you're thinking about this a team that got top four major. Yeah, I've one. seen that. I saw that nice They clutch up as those map fives. They're, they're maybe, I don't know, one of our Cinderella stories or one of the favorites to maybe make a deep run of this tournament. But not what happens. They lose all of them. But uh, the young guy who's definitely. There's card in the chat. Big ass motherfucker. Card. Take a uh, look at some of the stats from him. And Joe, he's been fun to watch. No, he has. I, I mean, doing it with. Lynch has been a beast. Mode. You can see though, Beast. stage two sub base hard point 1.2. Obviously, you know, this is one of the maps where the pace can pick up very quickly. You shut up, no backpack, no nothing. I just fucking just straight hands. One on ones on these rotations, specifically around P3 and P4. Oh, Joe, you see the tweet, Joe? They, they're adding uh, those I mean, two maps to my play. We saw them play New York on this map. It was a very close game, but then, but that P5 is where the, the game just kind of collapse for them yeah on that second rotation through and new york ended up with a 100 point win but now really like think about it, it's just i feel like we're just highlighting kind of priest over and over again as he was kind of the route man yeah. kind of the guy in position and it was either like he would get a kill and then he would hope he'd spawn somebody out but they'd spawn safe or he'd need his teammates to get a kill or two on the front side they wouldn't be 2014 able to. 2013 like, like 80 80 81 so to often, 60 but speaking about 22 grand finals to nine god damn accuracy breakdown of them yeah debut for both of them just departures and vista are getting out at the rank play on monday Jerome. yeah they're two i mean they're best friends right so i mean they lived together when they were on opposite teams at some point so which know, is crazy yeah, they, you know they've been roomies they've been through it all uh you know they help each other but you, you can see very successful throughout call did even doing this a long time yeah a very similar mindset i think uh they have a way they want to play the game. Yep. Oftentimes, Drake. the leader on the team and trying to get people to play the game the way they. I want to go. I want to get water, bro. I have no more water in my jump, bro. See more success as they get going and build upon stuff, but they're kind of in that position right now for both teams. They're so similar. Why I think about like 
I don't know. They're, they're pretty close to being like a solid squad. I, it's just not there. Well, I mean, I, I think they're. Yo, the I was watching. One was off a rocker, I was watching this thing called Quiet on Set. It's breach. like a show that's, about well, like yeah, Nickelodeon. Like, if you're talking about the overall. That shit got me like, scared, but I was like, like yo, to, that's crazy. Uh, champs and overall yeah. points and stuff like yes. I, I finished. Like, I used to like watching like when I was growing up. I, I like watching. It gives like, you a little uh, breathing room. Yeah, I watched Nick shows mostly. It was like yeah, I Carly, like Victoria, Zoe 101, Drake and Josh. You know what I'm saying? Like that. In a row. But uh, I'm seeing the matches about Wait, to begin. Jero, so you, you, you know what Drake and Josh is, Jero, or no? Break. Don't lie to him. Don't lie to him. I think they were able to cool. get, get butts and seats and get ready to go again. Thank you, everybody. I know uh, sometimes a little bit frustrating when we've got delays, got issues, but we're looking to get back into it. Appreciate the patience. We love you all. You're, you're, you're all very hot and attractive. And now to the sub base where you're looking to extend this series to a map five. If you can somehow do it. If you are this breach squad, but these last two maps have been brutal. No, they have. And now, uh, I said the lock in. Rocker, one at four overall on this map. Boston breach two. Drake and Josh one. was a fucking Sorry, hit, overall, bro. Two and one for a Minnesota. I was Rocker. the biggest Drake and Josh fan at one point, like the biggest. So we'll Chat, make sure when you're watching, you hit the uh, what, well, the little Minnesota settings bar right here. Playback speed, well, two times speed right here. Just click it. It'll catch you up. Less delay, well, more. You know, we can interact with the Map five and. Whether or not they can get it done, but Breach, they've got to do the other part of this if we're going to get there. So far, lighten it up. It's Rocker Feed. It is all them outside of Priesta. And he was at times the playmaker for this team on this map, Five trying three. to do it again. Eight to eight HP. I mean, he nearly See, if I would have died right there, I would have been like, you didn't hit him, bro? Like, that's the last one shit to say, though, to your teammate. Like, yeah, we're trying to use you can't say you didn't hit him. Like, that's fucked up. Like, obviously, I didn't hit him. Control. Is Rocker able to get on through? You're going to be on the hill, collect some of this time. Oh, oh. Are you going to have one player? Who is that? It's so slippery right now. Actually trying to find him. Wait, the finesse. Is finessing around? He was able to find one. And he had accuracy chasing him, but he's allowed his team to get the time and now work up the map. I mean, you put Snoopy in accuracy in a 100-meter race inside the game. That's that's not close, Joe. No, it is not. <laughs> it's very, very different. But with that play from Snoopy, they get the time and now a chance to break on through P2. Accuracy back alive. Bad timing. On the hill, but he does get cut down. Finesse is there for Priesta for a moment, but you do have one player sneaking through, and again, that Keep is... Keep an eye on chat number five and six, making some big yeah, plays. Is double. They've been trying to find making the, the play, you know, play ahead. We can maybe find it, going to be a tough gunfight, but you run out of ammo if you're bib, bib but over the top, or I should say right next to the sides, a wicked has got his assist. Big gunfight here, big trade. Slasher coming through for a moment. I want to see the Mexican win, but I want to see my brother win too, so I... Oh, shit! three in a row. It's just trade after trade. Now the one on one on the other side of it, Snoopy, it's able to win it. He's able to take out Vivid. Trade there pretty quickly. Yeah, very quickly. So with 10 seconds left, you, you'll get a solid setup here if you are Rocker. You'll be able to come off spawn and work up a bit of the map. But through two hills, you're going to have around a 20 point lead here for Boston Breach. As well, Snoopy, we kind of talked about Freezy yesterday. Oh, this shit. time through, Ruben. a lot of these moments, it's been Snoopy trying to find these gunfights. I felt like this was the case, like, a lot yesterday for Breach. Like, he was spawning all the way out top left from this point. Having to try and get across, and this they is the one where they struggle to sort of disrupt and make it messy at times. You get through and find a pair of kills, you're right back it's in okay. the He's still young, bro. You, you know, he still feels himself and makes crazy ass. That was a crazy ass fucking holding, trying to get a two piece. Rim for Rocker, lead change looming in the wind. And it's just like asim has been kind of their, their fireball. If you talk about hard point and they're going to need him to really get going. Nice little win there. One more in the corner. Damage with a pistol. Should set up his teammate to get it, and he does. So clear him out of the point again with 15 or so left. But for the most part, clean for Rocker. Yeah, but I, I, I think you take this. You, you're damn, not about four this. bullet up to hell. Breach. You didn't want to flip out this spot. Thank God, so I wish they fixed that, man. Safe. God damn, that's so it, annoying I mean, to die like that. I'd love to have the time, but in, in terms of the map, this is a chance now you where you hear can the take the lead and get a full 60 if you are Boston. You get him out for like 10 to 15, probably yes. right around there. Like, you do get him out of the point for a bit. But yeah, now what can you do as you try to answer back? It's a solid time and hole from Rocker. Now the answer opportunity for Breach. But look at this. You got three forward. They're looking to collapse on this here. Two with pinch ability if you are breached. How do the again, time wow. needs go for either side of it? Priest is weak. He's going to drop. Slasher at least through for one, but right into the point is Rocker and gets a bit messier here, more, a little more quickly. 
is Rocker on the aggressive. Yeah, great shots by Vivid, and that's just oh. it. Yeah, they find the openings, you spawn out if you were breach, and that is not what you needed. Yeah, Still, though, going to be a, a pretty close game. Just give us a game five for the culture, uh, bro. Give us a game five for the culture. Set up over towards this P5 if you are Boston, so another chance to do it again, but Rocker, they have done their job. Yeah, no, you're going to keep, when this is how the game is going, <laughs> you're going to have chances for these early setups if you're going to get broken pretty early in hard points, but it's like eventually, do they flip the narrative? Do you get a stronghold, play behind a solid setup, or do you keep getting broken and broken and broken? It's this never-ending loop as the lead slowly will build for Rocker. Oh, we'll see as go. we have the second opportunity now, back-to-back -back for Breach. Where oh, no, I'm telling you, you this shit reeks of a game five, like a crazy game five, though. Point, it'll be Slasher. Outs are trying to hold it. It'll be Priest of the Snap is there. He's got some help as well, and he's able to stay up. So far, definitely looking better than our last Austin's having a tough no, series right now. Yeah, it's staying there clean. We go, they there read we go. the spawns as well. They get the flip. So, Priest, he's able to stay alive. He's on a three spree. Slasher has been inside of this hill the first 30 seconds. The lead changes yeah. in, but a nice win from Awakening to maybe alleviate some of this map pressure and get them out for P1 and P2. You see Linz, Vivid trying to get out on the top side of the map on the hill. Comes Big Wake, just trying to take all the gunfights in the world. But Boston needed one, and they got one here. Yeah, he really did, especially how you played kind of the played the P3, played it for map control, played it for next, got broken, like, you had to, you had to answer back, or just is gonna get so frustrating so quick, and next thing you know, you're down 80 to 100, but the swing comes in. They'll take this 30 point advantage, and now what can we do with our next point? Austin in a really good spot here. Austin's in a really, really good spot. Rocker. Same with number this five, though, if he can live. Chance for them to do the damage in the opening moments of the point, but Asim looking to be the infiltrator. Ooh. It's him and Snoopy sending it on forward. It might start getting dangerous here. Might start getting crazy. And that's one way to answer. You answer you with go. a hold, the answer with a break. And now the script is flipped. Yeah, I mean, that is a clean four dead. They Somebody does get exactly through, though. where Rocker is spawning. One player, though, able to work water side. That's going to be accuracy. Maybe to disrupt this setup, and that's exactly what it will be. They thought maybe Slasher would catch the timings and the players spawning up and well off of this. You already That's have a Awakening, really Vivid working the bottom side of the map, trying to get inside a P2. So you at least stop the bleeding if you are Minnesota Rocker. But Breach, they have really started to turn up. Well, Vivid takes number five, number eight, let's see. route around to sync up on the push now with Lens as they try to get ready for this next point. Vivid's route ends up paying off. He's able to take out Priest, and we'll see if he can keep it going. Minnesota, it started pretty well. It's slippery. It's sort of falling apart a bit. You're down 30. You're in the point. You're trying to bring it back in this and maybe close out the series. They don't want to see him at five based on how Qualifier 2 went. Let's hear the comments. Bro, right I can't believe we're watching a tournament where, where Hilton isn't displayed on the, on the score. We're like, ow. <laughs> The Mars having a really tough series too, so weird. Please tell me Seattle Vegas play next. Oh, I think it's LG teams, LG teams. Oh, I forgot he's fasting, right? Holy shit, he can't even drink water. Yo. Wait, he's been fasting, though. He's been playing amazing, G. One of the first things we heard kind of with Rocker, the last point, let's make sure we get a full 60. Let's set up, let's lock it down. But I think with the kill from Slasher, he spawns up Snoopy in the back. And suddenly this should be a full 60, though. Comes in again for this Breach. is uh, easier here to hold. And instead of coming back and maybe a lead change, the lead's still there for Breach. Yeah, you heard it. They, it was kind of desperation time. They know how important that hill was. They have another chance, though. Similar to Boston on the first set. 
Can they cash in somewhere? Or will Boston run away with this and send us to a map five? Slasher with the opening. Lindsdale will Their layers are really, really tough, so though. Number since setup, they're all playing through the right, Boston's number seven's like so lost from, here. From this P2 side number seven has to find a kill well, and live. Just kind of on yeah, he died in time. This is but Slasher's over. finding the picks, he finding just... all the picks. Now that's going to be three dead. Lynn still in the back. The close spawns are there, but Boston already have done hard enough. Back. Really hard comeback here if they get any more than 20 seconds here. This messy. Yeah, no, uh, messy, messy, messy. Just keep doing that hard point after hard point. Guess what? You'll chip away and get those 40 points you need to close out the game where you've got to be flawless on one side. You just need point by point on the other if you're breach. Four in a row for Slasher. Lighten it up at 22 and 14. Snoopy right there with them. 25 is up. needed now for the victory. You got a one-on-one -on, -one on the other side of it. We're watching that. Awakening on drugs? Able to keep it going. Not one the good ones either. Streaks. And yeah, you can't win it on this hard point, but you're winning it on every side of the map. I mean, this is just a blender right now for Minnesota yeah. Locker. I mean, the kill G -G. feed has been so green for Boston Breach. They're going to have to regain shot. Game, game five. Loser is eliminated. That's crazy, bro. I said this match is going to be a banger, bro. Well, First game five of the tournament, chat. Actually, wait. Second game five of the tournament. Slasher, first game five on losers bracket first game five first match first game five on losers bracket man here we go and this is back to back just the same thing we casted last night in the sense of like it's thieves it's lag carolina miami and seattle vegas carolina close. miami my fault like, there was lose. nothing close yesterday in that these were stays to close out tonight <laughs> this i mean it's a close series and that's two two but the maps haven't been close Map one, 100 point game. Map four, 100 point game. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Control, what, what, six, right. two, it was like a time. I'm going to get some water. Right like, been around 11. That's true. That's true. I was like, I'm right Okay, back. I lied. There was one. So one. maybe get some water for map five. Yeah, give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's what we're waiting for. But you're not wrong. Yeah, both teams taking care of business here, but it's deja vu. Uh, similar to what we saw online. Boston winning both of the hard points, getting us to that game five. Yeah, it's it's crazy because I feel like sometimes like uh, well, it'll happen pretty often where you get a matchup that you had like in the online. And it's not maybe all that often where it's identical, but usually a lot of the same maps. But I feel like it doesn't usually play out like this where it's like identical. It's like the same results that we just continue on. Like, I mean, you know, this is going to go. It yeah. actually does. Yeah, you see that game flow right there, a very back and forth battle. But then there's that pivotal moment where Boston, you see, they go from 64 to 121 at that P5. And then they stay in the lead from that moment and again you were just kind of shut down you get 50 points over five or six hills again if you're rocker yeah it's the same thing the clamps are in they are locked up they can't do anything for like six hard points and you just you're not gonna win hard points if you're not getting points across an entire set of rotations basically it is not going to happen but yeah as we we're kind of highlighting it hasn't really been all that competitive or that close across these maps Series over, overall though, score, yep, 2-2. Two, two. two on map five. Maybe we got ourselves a banger. This is the one that's what, different, right, from that? Yeah, so yeah, you, you had the Karachi S&D, which I think was a 6-1 for Boston online, but that's a veto, not picked. We have Rio instead, and neither team has played a Rio S&D so far. So we got a fresh one here. Yeah, no, we had the crystal ball really for the rest of this and we just saw it. We knew the outcome probably would be and that's how it played out. But now we get ready for a map five. We're ready to go to Rio. We are tied up to two. And Major One, you're able to make that run through the winner's bracket, get a top four. If you are rocker, now you're up against it starting. And losers trying to battle back. You haven't won any map fives in what feels forever. Can you get one done now? The map five coming up after this quick commercial break. Upgrade your game with a scarf. Save $30 on the official CDL collection at scuff.co slash CDL. Get better with a scuff, the first performance gaming controller. Visit scuff.co slash CDL to change your game. Slice up your competition with the Executive Chef Operator, now available in-game in the Call of Duty store.
Game five, my friend. Uh, if he has the fast for years, he should be used to it. Different months and amount of euros each year, I think. Nah, it's not different months, G. It's the same month. I think it, I think it's the same month. Boston, I have not won a single game five. Can they do it today? <laughs> Yo, Tim, it's Tim in the chat, Tim. I, I copy and paste it. Would you, would you put my chat, Tim? And everybody, everybody thinks that I talked to Tim. We get ready to go. Welcome back to Miami. Map five coming up. And like no we're talking losers bracket you lose you're done i mean head to the beach i guess get some sun because you're no longer competing yeah at least i guess you're here <laughs> that's true it could be, could be, could be, be worse place, that's places, fucking insane, but uh yeah i mean it could be, be worse you could be at fucking home watching Rockford fucking coming off the top four major one and on the other side boston just not winning a land series this year that's not good. No, no, it certainly isn't. Uh, but we're going to take a look at a Snoopy play before we get into this map five. Boston, He's I've yet to win a series this year on land. Over the course of this, you know, you talk about what he was able to do in the control. He's been able to do in some of the search rounds. Unwinnable run. This is a wild one where he just snaps. Ah, that's a thing of beauty there from Snoopy. Yeah, but they relied on the clutches in map two, and then they got smoked. Uh, I mean, so this guy, we'll see. He was set up a lot of the times on that B Street and Invasion to make plays. We'll see how they kind of play around him on Rio. He could be the lead man on a lot of these sites. No, as much as that was the coolest moment in the game, too, it didn't matter at all. <laughs> they got smoked throughout the rest of it. Like, it was awesome. It was disgusting, but... Doesn't mean anything when you're losing 6 2, you're getting like zero first bloods, you're in a hole basically Shit, at all times. Lying. I mean, for what? For He's Minnesota? That brother is it's been a thing of like, you know, your post plants are horrific. You get it down and it feels like it's going to be a crazy situation every time. If you're breach, can we get a first blood? At least, at least talking about the map too. I know Slash did a good job yesterday on terminal, but like. Ooh, we gotta get something going on real. Alright, let's see him, man. Come on. Final lock in, lock in, lock in. Give me a fucking banger, game five. This will close it out for Rocker Breach. Call the game five, we'll get a game five. Destroy. Losers Whoever wins, battle. we'll be happy with it. Let's see. Losers go home. See, let's see who's the better team. Breach. And this guy can kind of be your point, man, on both sides. It's uh, a 2 2 split now to a very slow round. And this to me just kind of lives and breathes slasher, right? Kind of playing for that opening pick with a, a great map spread. And well, there it is. So there's that first blood. From a seam with the nade, no trophies in round one. So Lins now go. tries to get aggressive with oh, the response. No. I thought Snoopy ah, was going to win, him. but he buys enough time for Slash to get that see him? Like, yeah, that, that's a big one. Just be, if you're going to be a guy that drops after the first blood, make sure. Ooh, what is his timing like? Get trade behind it, but yeah, the timing. Yeah, it's we'll so weird. Number six might get really good timing. One catch is back, trying to win the fight. Stun out, it'll hit, but not until one drops. Vivid. Vivid. Able to take out uh, one. Dude, Reese, Reese can win these, bro. Three. I'm not going to lie to you. Reese is no one to win these rounds. This is the time info. Can he get the great timing? He does. Able to new one. On to it, he goes. 1v3. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. And the clutch is there for Rock. Ah. So I guess first blood don't matter for Breach. Uh, God, that's a tough one. That's a dagger yeah, round for Boston, flag, bro. Right? Able to spot the one as the shots come in, but they never see Vivid. And well, that is the perfect timing for a clutch. One player is on the bomb. Slash I don't care who was relaxing. Three, I like. I'm, I'm cool with Snoopy. I'm cool with everybody on Boston. But I, I'm really cool with Reese. So. Just finds the free kill. And whoever just where that second player whoever wins, I'll be happy. I guess. But I'll be upset there, like, too. Well, I'm time. dead. Yeah, I, I think you know. A brother getting dead last is the worst shit, bro. Getting yeah. dead last. He's trying to pick up everything when somebody's on bomb and just the timing does not go his way. Great round there from Vivid. It, it looks like everything hits him, but only takes 30 damage. His trophy goes out basically the same time. So we'll see what he can do behind that 3 0 start. They want to fast plant and get it down quickly here on B. The post plant struggles. We'll see if they'll improve here maybe on Rio. Yeah, bomb down quickly. Now four on four retake. We say you have one player in Lynn's over the push, towards the bridge. The now we're going to find yeah, some job. help, I think, from Awakening, because that's where the push is, is in. Watching that hop. Give us number three. Give us number three. There is the cross. Oh, and there is the first shit. Club, but a quick trade. 25 seconds for this team's 
trying to hang on his awakening. That's a great Keep job. Keep it on number two. He Keep it on number two, number six. Both the reeds there, just getting some damage in and backing up. He doesn't die. He's able to get away. Sets up his teammates to then come through, maybe in the clutch. But Asim is still up. Looking to fly. But as he's able to catch one, maybe a chance for a 1v3 now for him, but not going to be enough time. The shots are there. The four streak is better gift for Asim, though. That's, a, that's big for streaks. Basically an insta -play yeah, the loser goes home. Oh, relaxing. It's loser goes home. It ends up getting the win. Yeah, I see him for the ace, but it ends up in a round loss. Yeah, as you said, just finding a kill, backing away was Minnesota. They were so spread out. You were together if you were breached, trying to find the trades, but you did not have the numbers. Well, and now you're rocker up 2-0. Dude, that's tough because, like, it's like, well, I guess maybe he could get a streak, but, like, I just said Snoopy's, like, 1v2, like, didn't ultimately matter. Now you get an ace that, like, doesn't matter at all because you don't win the round. We'll see, though. If he gets a cruise, maybe that could end up being important. But you're in the OT. He has to get the streak here. Oh, Lynch by himself. Lynch by himself. Lynch by himself. Single him up. And that ace, does he find anything else, Snoopy? It's on. Oh, oh that's wins tough. That first one on one. Trade Damn. there, and it goes to the man you'd love to get the trade, and that gets number five up race. I'm looking for six. Streaks, able streaks. To get it done. The streak continues, and where we said maybe he has kind of have to win this Baker round, bro. He's doing it right now. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of him and Snoopy have to go large on this map, but into a two on two. It's the rivals there in the position in Minnesota, and their trades are on point. It has come down to these 1v1s. Much, uh, Minnesota's 0 and 5 in game fives right now. Have yet to win a single game five. It was such a Boston on a humongous s and loss streak. So far, so good here in map five. Yeah, the map fives have been their kryptonite. Even though you've got the act, uh, the Iceman, it's been the absolute lack of ice over these past couple of months. Now, yeah, you said it, all these 1v1s, all these clutch moments, they're going their way. Oh, As they can, inch closer so you to can get tell this map the Ramadan, victory, bro. We, are breach, fucking, man. we can't even drink water, bro. Ooh, to have ace him with an ace at seven and two, and not even a round victory. That is tough, but you've got three kills. You don't think Rocker closes this out, Travis? Travis, how we doing today, my brother? Let's go, boy. Three, man, like. Just the first loss. Like, many of those opening gunfights have been big. Keep it on yeah, number two, Chai. He's the only one here. Number one gets involved though. Right on time too. You do have a crossfire set up, but Slasher... Who is that spot? It's That's... taken down. A rocker knows the focus is over towards boxes. This, this is could a good, come down good to rotation. Because the rotation is in. Wait, Priest could win the round. the lobby, just play in a corner. Down a man. Oh, 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 oh. Priest may be with the timing. Linz will be ripped out of this one. Able to get away with his okay. life for now. I just, the this is big picture, bro. He, he just got okay, such a time. I take it back. You hate the timing. As soon as he gives it up, he gets ripped... Then one for awakening. Snoopy drops all on Priest. Looks one way, looks the other. He will fall. Damn. Four straight for Rocker. Oh, I thought maybe Priest has killed the difference, but it's not going to matter at the end. Some, I heard the somebody in the cross. Right. Yeah, I just heard a girl yell, so somebody help him. A fourth is watching the flank. So a lot of those timings on SKs and stairs, he's like, man, I got a feeling there's still one about to pinch me. So that's when he gets caught top middle. He does not want to stick around too long. He's trying to get close to his teammates. Just does not happen because he had no clue where accuracy was. And well, then he gets caught and again, just with that first blood. Rocker up 4-0. And teammates likely trying to help him because he's yep. in a tough spot. And then they're getting caught and just all unravels like a ball of yarn. <laughs> Vivid. Matching what Ace was doing is he's at seven and two as well. You get a first blood if you are breach. You got to get around when streak now coming in. Vivid though brings it back to three three. The streak is not going to hit either. The first blood once again nullified for Boston Breach. When I mean, this is an all in round, you get a first blood, you call in the crews. We're going to see it's a top middle push here for Rocker. Well, they're trying to catch those two players. It seems though the one player is still over towards A, so it's a rotation back. Again, what is this timing like when you get on the bomb? Because Rocker They don't know where Vivid's at again or, or Awakening, so one of them didn't shoot. Let's see what yeah, happens. As you get all three grouped up for breaching of the bomb plants, the three-man wolf pack and hunt now for I like Rocker. this play from Boston. Let's see if they I can I want to see them retake take us. Everybody basically back I mean, they're going to take this side? side? I don't like this side. For Boston Breach. <laughs> let's see, it let's see. It's been desperation time. They need a round. And they need one badly. Okay, Reese is stupid. He just liked that. Put numbers into their favor again. Just don't oh, throw oh. away your life, Snoopy. Good job. Just getting damage in, buying time. Nah. Reese is going to lose. No the way. Yes, sir, Snoop. Bro, how do you guys get two pieces by a pistol? Four rocker. 
don't know what accuracy he did. He's just sitting there with the pistol, but look at your flat enemy drill. Shots were in, right? So you, you just you he just to he's got two pieces by him. Snaps out of the second player who Fuck was weak. Nine replies, bro. Well, he's lucky he's got the rival in that spot again into a tough position. <laughs> Jeff Fuzzer so able funny. To find the double in a much needed round win, but you're still down three. You use the cruise. Uh, Drew, you know what's crazy, Drew? I just copy and pasted it what Tim said in my chat. Tim said, I was worried just how weak Tim, Tim said so something. I just thought it was funny, so I copied and pasted like, it. Oh, nearly <laughs> a brutal one, but you get around on the board. You gotta change something. People fucking love it, bro. It's a heavy-handed hit over towards A. You've got Ace and Big chance for Ace and Big moment for Ace and Really big moment here. His hot game continues. Slasher. Big moment, Ace and Big moment. It's all on Ace and He's ripped out of HP, but the help is coming through. Yo, 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 no. But he can't get anybody after Ace and falls, and the two-man defense is gone. Priest is Nate hit so Joe. All right, we're right back to one of these situations. Wait, where is that? Doesn't he have a streak? Slasher just gets caught. I mean, Vivid so aggressive with that rival. Yeah, Tim. No, you no, I didn't. Weirdo. Okay, Tim. For sure. a grenade. So now you're in another two-man game. Don't let me get the logs, Tim. Don't let me get the logs. Kind of give up a Snoopy Priest is starting to work towards this. Do they guess, though, that they rotate out? No, this has been a fun one. Yeah, a little, bunch of little one-on-ones, clutch moments, two-on-twos, these little games within games. I didn't listen to it. What is it? It's just a video. As bombs start to get planted towards B. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, was, I heard it. Since Snoopy clearing everything, backing up is going to be a rocker. Tim replied saying corny. <laughs> Yo, Tim, you're replying to yourself, Tim. On the clock. Linz has been spotted top bridge. Some damage in. But it feels like he has been so good in these spots, Linz. Smoke is down, so trying to put shots on the bomb. That's going to show the location of Awakening. They're trying to hunt him down. 20 seconds, though. Again, Rocker so good in these spots, wasting time. But there we go. Priest is able to oh, spot one. one. Now oh. means the second Awakening runs out of bullets. But you oh, shit. Confuse this if you are Priesta. And, well, here comes a chow with the Renetti. What is the timing like? It's a stretch oh. Awakening. Wins the one-on-one. -on -one. You see, Tim, you check at well, seven. It comes down to this, his ability to get out when they go to hunt him down. Like, how much time? No, nah, I wasn't gonna post on a lot. He took a couple awesome. shots and he just dips. That was I a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. Honestly, once yeah, you get it was like to the it, stretch like, of the bomb, yeah, where it was planted, yeah. he has to wide peek that corner. <sighs> it's nerve wracking, but Rocker do it again now. That, one I mean, round that would have been the wrong, Jack. They still have a streak, though. Ooh, right? A qualifier with a lack of ice. Now it's quite frosty here for Rocker. Ten. On the board for Vivid. One more round, and they move on in this loser's bracket. Who knows? <laughs> Somehow they've got another run, but okay. this time Linz can't get that opening kill where he's been so good Vivid in those one-on-one -on -one opening duels. Takeover map of game five. It's Asim that'll take him out this time around. So I said he's three and seven. He got stuck. The first three was good. <laughs> Snoopy hits with the nade. Massive numbers advantage now to Boston. Yeah, I mean, you hit the stick in. Awakening oh, try to find a pick, but they're going to get aggressive. Is Boston breach? Seeing with another one with that rival just going fight to fight, just trying to hunt these players with the ARs down. And that's exactly what's going to happen. For just one little second, I was seeing some lineup deja vu there as they all started coming out and shouting. Yeah, maybe if we had like 100. Travis, they play again tonight, Travis. <laughs> Today's a banger, Travis. The winner of this plays the winner of LAG, yeah, LATs. Hopefully, LATs wins Snoopy so we can see Minnesota though. versus or Combined even for the Boston kill. and Boston win this shit. One more needed for Rocker. A chance starting. Getting going for bosses. They've got to bring it back. It'd be five straight. That would be something. One round at a time, as they say. Just trying to find anything. Will Rocker close it out here? Bomb in Vivid's hands. He gets stunned up and just kind of common to his team. He's good for now. Just peeking slowly for info. He's got eyes on one. Maybe two. We'll see if they can combine these nades to hit. But it looks like they're going to use some utility and quickly they're going to wrap out. It's going to be Slasher. It's kind of a low man. By eight is peeking for info. Lin's able to stay up. Yeah, it looked like the nades. They were trying to need a uh, corner instead of the player on the bomb. So it didn't know he was there. Now what was like maybe like? the rotation. Yeah, very quickly here. And Slasher's going to find the first one. Instead of I don't dropping by an eight like we've seen at times. The numbers are going the way of Breach. This nice is 3-5. This is 3-5, bro. This is 3-5. And now Snoopy's on the flank, and he's just able to jump over the wall. So it's oh, over the wall. There we go. Snoopy oh, jumped over the wall. There, but they're able to close out the round. Another one here for Breach. And yeah, we're, we've talked at times a little bit about the indecisiveness we've seen from Breach. 
that rotation was quick. It was real fast. Slasher saw the information. He's like, boys, I need the help. And all three get there quickly. Helps Slasher gets the first blood as well. But the collapse is in. The round is won. Moment by moment, Breach try to bring this back. And you got to think, each round, after you lost all those game fives of your rocker, and sitting on five, you're sweating your ass off every round, and this goes deeper. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the pressure is building up, no doubt about it, with some of the stuff that they have, have dealt with. But you would also have to say, all right, we've been in this position time and time again. Let's clutch on up. And maybe they have Vivid up to 12 now. This My dog Reese calling the game. Double. They try to get aggressive My motherfucking dog Reese calling game chat. Doesn't bomb for. Doesn't bomb vivid. So you got three people there. So said, doesn't bomb vivid. It looks like the curse ace of chopsticks, but we know we got an ace in a round they lost, so we can't really gas it too much. That's seven. That's just seven kills. Don't get it twisted. G fucking G. Minnesota rocker live on. Okay, Bob. I mean, okay, Bob. You got it for sure, Bob. Play them, right? Right. This is a very tough matchup, even against the top four. I think like them and Legion are, are really the two that they can push these guys the distance when you start to lose in that winner's round too. Who you're dropping to? It'll be a big point when we look at this bracket. But they stay alive, and well, they do it in a two-three-five. So gonna have to be better in the hard point. Well, but obviously you get that Karachi veto in and now you, you go to Rio search and it's looking good so far Well, I think you said uh, that even we we're casting the qualifier with some of the struggles from rocker You were still like No one's gonna want to play him in the losers bracket Like yeah. it's just one of those prime examples of like the record doesn't tell the entire story when you've got that many I think rocker gets top six. Yeah, no, it, that's it. Yeah, they're playing them tough I'm sure scrims are going well. It's just these moments that have not been going their way but now on the Boston side, yeah. It's you just, still make a change, though. Haven't won a match 100%. on land. It's not like your online qualifiers. Damn, that match is so great. big for points, too. That, that match is so big. So it's such a big match. To make the, winner's bracket. the winner of this could play it LAG. That's insane. Like they need to find a strength in, in a game mode. And they haven't been able to hone it in. Yeah, like a strength in one of the respawns and just a general improvement search and destroy. His search just has been Oh, my God. For them. We got a big upset in challengers. Ryan Codd, FC Ryan Black goes to his first line two once. Ne mentions his old teammate Shaxi, Tay Bitcoin Cryptic and Teski. Oh my God! Yes, sir, Ryan. Ah, uh, yeah. You see that deserves gas, Jarrell, motherfucker. That is. Ooh, look who he's playing with too. Who the fuck? I don't even know who these boys. Are the same, so it's just yeah. like how do, play we, with, uh, how do we fix this? But Jay Krause, Bendy, Pokey, and who cool. got this? I said this has got to be the right. Drops a bomb in the map five is Rocker. Try to continue the run. That is tippy as fuck. We got a vivid interview. Thank vivid interview. So much, chat Maven. Miami, show some love to the Minnesota Rocker as they stay in this tournament. Man, vivid. You guys finally get the game five through. It hasn't been going well for you online, but how does it feel to come out today and perform and stay alive in this tournament against this Boston squad? Yeah, we knew Boston was going to be a good game coming into it, and obviously game five seven been going our way, but it's, build, it's building us for this, so just kept practicing and got it when it mattered. Got it when it mattered. Definitely did. Now, in this series, you guys win by way of Neslo, the 2-3 and that the 5. That team sucks. Ryan's team is worse, respectfully. There? How do you guys plan on improving that going forward? Uh, I think we're playing the hard points a little bit too hectic. We were like playing a little bit too fast and just losing people on the no, map. No, 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 that, that's that's Ryan. That's, teamwork, so that's Ryan. Like, it, our, it like the Ryan that we know is doing. Or like, you know. Strong and hard point for that next series. Now, we may get a chance to see you guys play again towards the end of the day. But for the Minnesota fans out here who came out to support you in this matchup, what do you really? want them to know as you guys get ready for your next series? Uh, yeah, to all the Minnesota fans, uh, we're going to go back there. We're going to prepare for the last match, and we appreciate you guys showing out. They appreciate you all, okay? Wait, you Shout genuinely believe that you, you genuinely believe that Snoopy's holding them back? Chris, let's break down the series. Are you just saying that because you want to protect Thank Snoop? Thank you so uh, much, Asen. Blaze, and congratulations to Vivid and the Rocker, a squad that ran all the way to a top four finish at our last major. You come into the elimination bracket, ah, you've lost five or four game fives, you finally get the fifth one here, Allie. They finally get in. No better time, right, than to do it all. Shorty want to dress. All right, chats, new series about the start. Let's see if I get the box score from the last one. Uh, we have Boston getting three, or not three, or three two'd. They get flown out of the event. Um, Asim with a 1.05. Uh, Priest with a one point. Damn, Snoopy with a 1.24.
Hey, some uh, Snoopy makes so many brain dead, pl dead plays. Yeah, bro, you're a moron, bro. You're a moron. Snoopy is their best player, buddy. Like. Snoopy is their best player. I can see with a point seven for the dub. Ramadan. Ramadan. Parker, it was as a team. Whether they were wrapping back or they were taking space on a bomb site, they'll get info mid, but then they'll wrap back and play together on the pushes. So for Minnesota Rocker, this is a team that can actually make a run through the lower bracket because they have the ability to close out search and destroys. You might have not seen it online, but this is a true display of this team's skill ceiling. Yeah, I guess to that point, like when it comes to search and destroy, there's two sides of the coin for both of these teams for the Boston Breach. It's almost unacceptable for them to be this bad search and destroy versus Minnesota Rocker because statistically speaking, Minnesota's bottom two in every category category when it comes to S&D, mainly off of their game fives because they haven't been able to close them out, like Ant said. But for Boston, like, for them to lose that control, I think the fact that they even lost a defense is That's a good team to beat to me, online, they're for your debut. Defense team, and they're gifted Especially with having those teammates, yes. Series. So I think this is another thing where Boston has to That's hit That's what I was telling everyone. Like, even when you, you compete, when you have, like, even though Ryan had that face black hype or whatever, like, bro, he got no opportunities. That team he got is literally bottom of the barrel. Their offense is terrible. No disrespect to them. They just... Maybe I'm bugging. I don't know how their actual seed is. But. And their weekend ends here in Miami as Minnesota powers on. Let's take a look at your skull. Anything the over the 20th seed in North America is an insane team to join. Not the most accurate player since he joined the CDL going 13 and 6 in the game that mattered most. I mean, it was a vivid masterclass uh, throughout the entirety of this map number five. Trav and listen, respectfully, he did, he did get a, he did get four kills in a round they lost, though, uh, Chavo, in that game five. In end, so he only dropped seven. Everybody did pretty much the same. They immediately don't know where That's not his fault. They go for the bomb plan, and he's just getting a, his teammate flies in, he gets a trade, he gets another trade, he gets another trade, loses the 1v1. Like, it's no one's fault. It's just, it is what it is. They had the numbers, like, they should have won that round, and that game Yes, let me got robbed because he's a moron because he is not from the hood. Like, I mean, you guys let me hood pass flex. is gone. Like, he has such a keen ability to make plays with his teammates. You've seen every single one of those plays that he made. There were nades. I wouldn't blame Snoopy bomb. though. You you really you think Snoopy is their problem? So you're picking up Hooch if I like. I I think you're just chatting, bro. I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I disagree to him. We're just getting the day started. Five matches here on a Super Friday, and we still have Heretics Royal Ravens, Legion versus Surge. And after this one, we find out who plays Rocker in that round two of the elimination bracket as we see another battle of LA. Yeah, we're gonna see Minnesota again later on today, but first we have to find out who's gonna meet us. Structure and of course, we gotta find out what maps we're Pentagram. playing at the next major. We just got some awesome information from our friends at Treyarch. You saw it on social media, Nameless. You were the first one to hit the re post what's going down this this makes me so happy we got vista and departures entering into rank play before we decide what goes into our official rule set we're gonna let the community get a stab at it and, yep. it and try and play it i have played these maps already in the respawn game modes i think vista is a beautiful map a lot of different colors it's on the sea it is amazing to play in departures is a huge map if you like to post up with the ar you're gonna have a good time as much as i love invasion i would love some more maps in the pool oh, yeah. alley which one are you most excited about honestly i'm just excited in general that we're getting to test these out before the professionals get to test it out. Usually it kind of goes through their ringer and then eventually gets added to rank play. But now we get to test this out right after major number two and get to have a new refreshed vibe as we head into rank play. Look at how beautiful that is. Bro, he's not autistic, you dumb fuck. Nor is he, nor is he a bad player. Bro, he's young as fuck. He is literally young as fuck, Jafo. First, you're competing on a professional level. And he is a beast. He is a beast. As we head back to stage three qualifiers here in three weeks. This is Chris. I ain't gonna be mad if you just take invasion away. Just take take invasion Join control out. Yeah. yeah it I want to get rid of that and let's add Vista or departures. It don't matter. Much love to everyone behind the scenes for making it possible and for giving us ranked. We have to go to a break when we come back. It's that battle of LA. Do you got your money on the gorillas or the thieves? I the got gorillas, chat. I'm just kidding. I don't have Lock in, chat. We got a little bit of a break. We got a little bit of a break. Lock in. Who's a beast? Ah, uh, Snoopy. Upgrade your game with a. Uh, chat, we got a little bit of a wait. Where's my tier list at? 
Yes, sir, Doofy. We're waking up. How'd you sleep, Doofy? How was work last night, Doofy? We got a little bit of a wait, child. Let's lock in. Let's get some tier lists going. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a good tier list going. Let's get something we all like. Pizza toppings. I'm a, I'm a professional food expert, so we're not going to do pizza because when it comes to food, I know I already know the best shit. Let's do something else. Video games? Nah, I don't play. I, I can't do videos because I don't really play video games. We could, Yo, I have a perfect one. Boss have the same issues that Rocker have? TV shows. Kids TV shows. Ah, here we go. This is a good one. What is this? Damn, I don't know a lot of this shit. Yo. No, no, no. This is little kids. This is little kids. Like teens. Oh, yeah, he still has a lot to learn. He's just so young, bro. School kids tier list. What is this? Bro. I didn't watch Johnny Bravo. No, a lot of you. <laughs> Slay kids or streak? Yo, bro. What is it? Paris. Uh, I feel like, I mean, damn, that's weird. I mean, that's where everyone just went positive. That's weird. I was doing a food one earlier, Doofy. I, I didn't finish it. I don't really know what they do, but I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, this is the perfect one. What is this? Is this the the Rutgers? This is a good this is a good show. That was a good show. Little Monster, I don't know what that is. Powerpuff Girls did not watch that. I Carly S tier. That was S tier as fuck. That was S tier as fuck. Shake it up. That was pretty good. That one was pretty good. I remember Shake It Up. I don't remember watching. I remember watching Handy Mighty, but I don't remember like any context. Do a music one, Jerome. My music wants to be too good, bro. Wild Kratz is S tier or is what what's Wild Kratz? Teletubbies, I remember watching Teletubbies. Big Time Rush! Oh my god, Big Time Rush was so good. <laughs> Big Time Rush was so good. What happened, gang? Is this it? Where are the rest of the shows? Drake and Josh, S tier. Where's Hannah Montana? I just Hannah Montana, S tier, bro. Aha, uh -huh. what, what? What is this a Waverly place? The monkey one is good. Monkey one. I don't know what that is, or what I don't know what Wild Kratz is. I don't know. I've never heard of that show. Wow. Are we old or young? Wild Kratz is godlike? Oh, you guys are the new generation. No, I feel old as fuck. Wild. Damn, I feel old as fuck. Nah, I, I don't know what that show. I've never watched that show. Miranda Cosgrove is bad as hell. Don't get it twisted. Austin and Ali. Yo, wait, Jerome. So, Chiffon and Jerome, do y'all know this? Like, do you know what Hannah Montana is? Like, do you know any of these? Or no? Like, the Rugrats? Like, I remember watching that show. That was kind of fun. The fuck is Wildcrat? That's just new gen. Well, you know all of these, Jerome. Good Luck Charlie was so good too, bro. Good Luck Charlie was such a good show. Damn, you didn't get to watch him? I don't know any other shows besides these. This is my list. Probably put Good Luck Charlie first. I like Drake and Josh the most. I like Hannah Montana more than iCarly. I like Wizards of Waverly Plays more than I call. Yeah, I like this probably. Handy Mandy goes crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember watching the show like that, like that well. To be honest with you, if not, I put it a little bit higher. Handy Mandy. 
Uh, let's see. Let's, 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 let's try to find another one that's better. Like, I feel like we don't have enough for like another sad song tier list. <laughs> Bro, sad song tier list is crazy. <laughs> Motherfuckers getting sad, so they make it tier list. <laughs> that is crazy, bro. We can do this one here a little bit. Oh my god, I can really do this one, bro. I promise you. Nemi got raw. How the fuck is Nemi getting robbed? That's how I know Nemi is not from the hood chat. I chat. The game's about to start. Child is lock in. Is lock in. Yeah, I'm about to lock into the, for this after after this uh, in between games. I'm gonna do this. Cause I trust me. I know my when it when it comes to this. I know my shit, bro. I know my shit. Believe that when it comes, bro. Like. That's what I'm saying, Bob. Like, Bob, imagine if that happened in Louisiana, Bob. How fast is that controller getting taken, Bob? That's not purple. That is silver. That is not purple. Listen, if you want to pay for it to get done again, like the offer's there. Never mind. That's what I thought. We got LAG taking on LA Thieves. This is going to be an epic showdown. The Battle of LA continues here. And Alley Cat, do you have the same confidence in the team opposing LA Gorillas today? Do you think LA Thieves get the job done? Um, I actually do think the LA Thieves get the job done. The only reason being, well, first, I'm going to talk about LA yeah. because Hit me what with they these did guys. versus Atlanta was incredible, but my biggest stress point right now when it comes to them, again, is going to be that slang department just being so incredible. What's good, Luisito? One of the biggest the people in the but chat right now. Luis in the chat. What's good, Luis? Exactly Luis. How to take over map. We even saw the ceiling of Estrio, but like Ant likes to say, their ceiling might be high, but their floor is also so incredibly yeah. low. I'm talking about the last time these two teams matched up. Fame had a .74 and a Point seven eight in the respawn. Fame at a point, point seven four. Point. Like you just cannot be dropping. Chad, the last time we saw these, these two teams play online, it was an elimination match, bro. Yeah, elimination LG, match. Like I said, the floor is so low. It's like challengers level at times. And for these guys, there's things that they have not been able to do. Control their 0-7 hard point. They are 2-10, and 10, extremely inconsistent. I will say, there's some good aspects of their game. They're 4-1 their last five S&Ds. True. Actually pretty incredible. They're number one in plant one percentage. And when they get bloods, they convert it at the second best in the entire league. So there are some parts of the game that have improved. But for the Monster Energy Pure game, look on no hands. 12th in hold percentage at 68%, eighth in rotation. Listen, the respawns have been terrible. Oh, it's been watching LNG face. Fan, one thing you cling on to is major one land went great for these guys they got top six so yes on that stage they feel oddly no nah, i don't i try not to be biased i'm gonna go with my friends and i'm close to them but i try not to be biased feeling, he said i'm ready for a two match day you know what i'm saying know if they <laughs> wait right was ben getting mad yo no nah no nah, way ben called tyler shit. that'd be that'd be crazy i've never watched a ben reaction if you give me a timestamp, uh, travis i'll watch in between met games but Doofy, please don't ask me, Doofy, because I'm trying not to think about good food, like, as much as that says. But LAD took everything else. It was a 3-1 victory, and they've gotten better at search and destroy during this split. Nameless, when you look at LA Thieves right now, which of those four players' names comes to mind first? I'm going to go with Kremp. What I saw you... Kremp? Okay. I think Astro could go crazy, though. He was frying, especially in the control. LA Thieves, they look great and competent throughout the... That series yesterday. They did have a big choke in the S&D, but that's Atlanta phase they were up against. They had a chance against Atlanta they have another chance at life here in the elimination bracket against the Gorilla. I feel like I need to do a better job watching chat other content creators to like take notes not take notes or like what's the word like I guess that is take notes just like learn a little more I don't really ever watch other people besides like my friends and shit like 
Or like you guys, if you, any of you guys ever stream on YouTube or something, or you put it on my Discord, I'll like cover it up in. So they might be getting those opening dual wins, but they're not converting them. I'm kind of leaning on Afro for that. He has a pretty low opening dual win rate right now. So slow down the game a little bit. Allow your teammates to help you out in some of these maps and slow down and control respectfully. Both these teams suck at control in the series. LEG a little bit more. They're five and thirteen, where LEG is about even, but their attack just hasn't been great. So that's where you want to force a map Damn. like Invasion, where it's a little more defense. It's a banger series. Listen, Chris, it's simple. It's the name banger. of the game is replicate what you did a couple weeks ago. You just beat these guys. You got the same game three and game four. Feel competent on those game modes. You just got to come back and do the same thing. Ghosty and Afro had a really big series last time around. LAG was warming up against Toronto backstage, so not the best opponent if you want a ton of confidence coming in. But if they're hanging in those scrims, they could definitely hang against LA Thieves. Let's talk about the Gorillas one more minute, though. You mentioned that you saw the ceiling for Estriel. Where can we see him as one of our Rookie of the Year potential players? Where could he shine? Uh, he could shine in the respawns, uh, to be honest, for LAG. That's been their biggest struggle. I feel like in Search and Story, there's a lot more opportunity for a team like LAG. Uh, but Astral, he's just about finding that consistency. And then maybe if LAG start winning just some maps, uh, uh, maybe watch. then he can be added to that conversation. Name was, who, do you agree with how that? How many yeah, to watch? It's off the rip here. Uh, bro, you got Rio, map number one. You know, LAG, LAG, LAG one winning? On Wait, here, you got LAG winning? Oh my god, here, lock in. That's a crazy pick, bro. That's a map that should suit Estriel really well. After we saw LA Thieves play that good, I got these, Loki. Like I got these here. Franchise records before placing their wagers. Let's take a look at some of the uh, the numbers here from the Battle of LA. This has been multiple different lineups since the start of the CDL, but all time, for some reason, J Caps LA Thieves have been beat up by the Gorillas, and not <laughs> always in tight matches. You can see seven and two, all three land victories going to the Gorillas. And oh even just shit! Here, LAG actually oh. still have the edge versus this specific roster. They're two one right now. LAG They've never beaten them. A matchup, but Holy that, shit! LAG had two wins on them, not only in the qualifiers but in an elimination round. They've well. never so beaten them on land. The Yo. On land. Allie, the chat's really upset that your hair isn't more purple. Will you dye it purple again if they win? Um, no. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not She's making on that one. She's like, red, I'm down for purple. No, I already did it. for my hair appointment, you are, you are surely welcome to. Nameless, will you dye the beard purple if LAG wins this one? Hell no. <laughs> Why not? That's a crazy there's a, little, there's a couple gray hairs that would show through. Wow. I'll get a purple <laughs> belly button <laughs> piercing. Not serious. <laughs> Let's take a look here at the gorillas and their road to a one in six finish in stage two. It was. Ah. This had some close games. This had some blowouts, some unexpected ones, like going up against the surge. We thought that was going to be a big game five. No, it's the surge with the three oh. What a weird. The what a, like, what? This is the, the craziest thing ever, bro. Like, look at this. Like the subliners. Yeah. Look at this. Out. You get Your back shots, back shots, fucking back shots by Seattle, the meanest back shots. Carolina, the the medium back shots. Back shots again, back shots again. Beat face? Well at the first land. The problem the with them is they regressed so much coming into stage two. They what? were a team that like, we expected to sort of be in the top six conversation. And now fuck? we have Thieves there and Vegas instead of these guys. But yeah, the respawns, it's, it's just been un unacceptable. You can't win series if you can't win control. And Ali, of course, for LA Thieves, we have to. They should be confident, though. Listen, LAG should be confident. They're like, bro, they just, they just they lost to the guys we beat roster. a few days ago. Like, they, that, they're delu you know, delusionally the telling themselves Thieves. that you have to be. All four members you have contributed to be. in their success going all the way to that game five against Atlanta yesterday. Absolutely, they did. And then when it comes to LA. Thieves, when it comes to those specific players and Nasty and Prem being added into this roster, again, it was actually those two players that have the most comfortable. Get the Afro highlights going. This, in this matchup versus the LAG, Nasty had a one. I'm gonna winner of this match plays against uh, Minnesota later today. Winner of so this match. Thieves, even if they don't do it through the response, plays really again should. today. So this is a big match to win, bro. You get some confidence going. Hit, go on the back, hit some VOD. Think about the vetoes. So, again, LA Thieves, I'm leaning towards them when it comes to this matchup. You both called LA Thieves last time. You both were right. It is time to make our scuff pickums official here on the desk. And I'll let you go first, Tally. Not only do I need the team who wins, what is the map count? Ooh, I'm going to go with LA Thieves 3-0, three, three oh, to be honest. 3-0, three, oh, yeah, getting some out. revenge. Okay. Uh, what about you, Nameless? I'm going to go with 3-1 LAG. Oh! oh! It makes no sense, but I'm giving you guys a chance it to catch up. makes no sense. <laughs> I also am going with LAG. I'm Whoa. with the purple squad. I don't know why, but when what? I do, they make me look smart. Fame, I'm counting on you, buddy. Let's get this party started as we send it to the stage. But guy, Yo. Blaze.
All right, let's get this party started. Our second elimination match. Yes, sir, Travis, we cooking. Oh. And it's going to be the Battle of L.A. I like the fit, Blaze boy. Let's see who the City of Angels is going to favor more. Let me go to, squad, should I go to Zuma's? Sage has a fresh batch of Nay Shot secret stuff. Get ready, because here comes the thieves. New intro, Chad, new intro, bunch of fucking thugs. Stealing snacks and shit. Call of Duty fans, give a warm welcome to the Los Angeles Thieves. We got Ghosty, Crip, Nasty, and Afro. Ready to run up another W. The Los Angeles Thieves are here. This roster has some big shoes to fill. This organization. I don't know, bro, but that's face, bro. This face have to work these young for him, bro. Bucks have been trying to figure like, how do they have the great out of the top three, one top four teams, teams every year? They have the worst, they literally the worst the one. Bracket. They just beat Try, uh, LAG a couple weeks ago. How? Do it but again. how? Let's bring out LAG. We'll see I don't mind it. I don't even mind it being like a little longer, Travis. If the music is good, bro. It's time to bring out their opponents. Get ready, because these gorillas are ready for warfare. Oh, new intro? Eyes watching for the opposition. How they crushing any competition. Long range, yeah, I got the vision. When I'm in the trenches, anyone can get me. I'm with the team when they need me. Or out on a dodo mission. They get rocky riding on this dodo mission. If I catch you slipping, then it's over finished. Like, this intro's worth a face. No bullshit. They're gonna put him in after this game. We got Diamond Con, Astro, Fame, and the Soul. The Gorillas ready to go. Lights out. I know that team dinner went crazy. Ah, shit, I know. A tale as old as time is the Battle of LA, and it's always been the Purple Squad that's had the edge in these series, regardless of the roster, regardless of the year. But they're still I mean, I was keeping it above. Let's get it above. Coming off for a revenge game after they got handed a 3-1 loss by the LA Thieves during the online qualifier. They have one shot to try and make it through the elimination bracket, and it starts with this one. Let's go, Blaze. One shot to get it done. It's do or die. Show some love to your casters. To your casters. It's Miles and Chance. Thank you very much, Guy. Thank you very much, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, it's ready to rock and roll, man. We've got LAT taking on LAG here on LAN. Let's G.O. Right, and we're going to start on R.I.O. as well. Rio for the map one. Uh, Spicy want to kick the series off with. And a rematch as well from the online stage. So it is going to be battle on land. An opportunity for LAG like a to make amends for their previous loss. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. the battle for LA has been quite a contested one for a while now. Thieves just coming on top recently. Now we have a nice showdown. I'm interested to see how this one goes. LA Thieves yesterday, magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. It should have been a throw, but hey, whatever, man. You, you know, it might be the choke of the tournament. Vegas, maybe have something to say about that. I'm excited to see, though, how this all goes down. I spoke to Fame yesterday. He was front row watching the matchup, and he came backstage, and I said, who did you want to play, man? He was like, look, my head was telling me phase. My heart was telling me that, that Thieves are going to win it. At the end of the day, he's confident enough in the game plan they have for both these teams. They've beaten both of those teams. It really was, I don't care, let's get in the ring. Yeah, and look, I don't know if you trust, like, Call of Duty maps. Bah, 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 bah. As far as that, like, versus. Bah, 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 it's that time. Goes, LAG did okay, Messi, down, Messi, so like, no. She LAG has a boyfriend. She's not going to talk to you, Messi. It is lose and go home. It could be three maps. 
Buzz Lightyear don't care. Do you want my face? These? I don't give a fuck. I'm him. I beat them both. Is what he said. Talking like a thug. There's gonna be joy on the flip side. Extra CD points. A continuation in the tournament. Both of these teams can be. My point against Space Jam last night. 1.26 to 29.23. Almost 6K. That's tomorrow's crazy. Fucking rematch from Chavis Winners Finals. Or Winners Semis. Oh, no, no, losers finals, losers finals. And then we got a uh, fucking uh, Optic Toronto. Like, oh my God, like, what the fuck? Basketball one point in his life. That is a wonderful made coming from up top. And this is the start you want. If you're an Afro already shooting, doing what superstars do. I mean, you got a nice little stranglehold on the map. Everything pushed out. And again, already a 20 point lead. Like, kills are just flowing to Thieves' direction. LA Thieves, nearly a clean sweep there. Diamond Con, the last man staying for LAG here. And he's going down swinging. But again, trades and teamwork right now for the thieves outstanding they have not seemed to have slowed down since last night's matchup that's true though with a nice push towards the hard point 10 seconds or so going towards lag yeah well that 10 oh, seconds no. gonna get stripped away ghosty not gonna be happy for it and a little double kill you just see the spawns that are coming through it's only fame behind enemy lines Krent there roots him out takes care of business you maintain the back spawns and you get that new time this is the perfect opening break that la thieves they've delivered on and you already see afro he's pushed out in distance freebie oh, afro, yep. for him right now lag can find no success oh, not one not a moment, I think, since P1 has ripped off. 49 and climbing to the 8 of LAG. Gorilla's on the approach. Diamond Connestral, respective kills. Up close, though, it's Krem. Behind the table of Glizzy. Gobbles himself a kill. The hard point finally goes into the hands of LAG. Yeah, off the back so of the nice though. Diamond Con's on streaks. Diamond Con rolling through. The back Ooh. spawns as well ended up appearing. So LAG able to cut their losses. Not a strong start for them, but collecting a little bit of time in the final 15 seconds of scrap. LA Thieves actually interested in fighting for it. See if they can take it away. It comes down to 1v1. Oh, and shit. Diamond Con comes out on top. This is that stage one form right now for him. A 9 and 4 start. The only reason LAG are in this game. We haven't seen this Diamond Con in quite some time. You're not wrong, mate. Assault on the back line versus Ghosty. Loses back it. Shots. That's going to be an important moment here. Can LAG capitalize? The Thieves trying to get closer towards that hard point. A toe dip for the rest of the Gorillas line up on the other side of the map. And now split spawns. Yeah, it's just so tough right now. Estriel trying to live in the back line, but he's not going to be able to get those spawns. Every kill he gets, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, Buzz is LA lagging out right now. Buzz is lagging out. Man white and ghosty as that he's thinking like, shit, maybe I didn't want to play for like, 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 What is you doing? You lagging well. out. They just set his team up for success. Diamond Con Afro taking team. over eight and six. Prep, ten and five. Yeah, absolutely. 20 odd seconds remaining here on P3. There's a couple of members of the Thieves. In I had one. Minnesota, I got Al Vegas, Al and I got Carolina. On the trades again. It is teamwork. The name of the game right now for the Thieves. That score line is still very large. And, and you got that P3, P4 rotation as well. So Ghosty right now, you see him just hanging out in the background on a five spree. A kill away from a cruise. The rest of his team completely yeah, sir, big buzz, set big up buzz, around this new time. This is one of the money hills we have on the map. There are pinch spawns coming through, but Nasty also spawns behind everybody so free cleanup kills in the back line it is the funnel system lag cannot make anything happen they are being bullied and by the way ghosty he is hey. afro 12 and 6 an all-star performance well, for, for him now so you're still sitting on the five for ghosty afro trying to catch up lovely work there from lag to break through the back line forward they go no spree for ghosty nasty keeping it alive on the hard point and an awkward turn but krems there with the kills trades done shut for business 25 to go and that's what it takes an awkward spawn into a flank just for LAG to have any success. If you have Ghosty again, whose life just went on for two minutes without dying, that's an indication of how well the Thieves have been handling this map. Diamond Con again being the guy in the kill feed there from LAG. He picks up two, but it is not good enough. Scrap time from LA Thieves and even on the rotation. I mean, two players are working it and Kremp, he has the flank route. For a moment, not a single gorilla has actually turned to pick this up. So Kremp might be able to pick up a freebie kill or two. Ooh, ooh. There comes Krim. Why did he just make that noise? Cruise invested from Ghosty. <laughs> right on top of the mid map. Takes care of fame. Assault just managed to get away with his life there. Now up close. Oh, wow. What a win from Diamond Con. That would have been I like messy. Uh, that's messy. Messy. Holding. Uh, in my Twitch chat. He's there from Ghosty, but you're trying to get on towards the hard point. It's a great hold so far from LAG, but the thieves are knocking on the door. So far, no answer whatsoever. They are being ghosted. And 
And the problem is the trophies as well. Man, the trophies fan brother, you, know, you got to tell me tomorrow. Your team needs you, baby. You are. Gonna overwhelm, and as soon as they get that player, I, I don't even roast Adam anymore, bro. Adam is just always. To be I can't expect anything from Adam. Adam always does that. It is respectfully. Just not, not even. I'm not trying to be an asshole. He just consistently does that. So like running the kill feed. Let's have a quick listen and see how the comms sound with the LA thieves. I'm looking back up. I'll pick it up. Nothing nothing hold on me. Nothing hold on me. Hey, Essie's, Essie's on. Hyper push, hyper push. Stay safe, stay safe, stay safe. Hey, I'm not picking up. One's Essie's, one's Essie's. I'm not picking up. 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 Ah, for right now, most kills in the lobby. Superstar game from Afro. Thieves out in hot chance and run the score up in the meantime. And they're just able to play such a comfortable game as well. I love the patience on Afro as his teammates die to go on the pinch back towards P1. Able to keep those right side spawns and LAG just struggling to apply that pressure. Now the kills though starting to flow their directions. Estriel this second half rotations has been a much hotter hand. Still a 70 point deficit to work from, but hey, they're in the time. 100 points crossed. Keeping this hard point in the hands of the Gorillas. Here come the Thieves over the side wall. Diamond Con has got his work cut out for him. Too many targets. It's a rich environment, and he's not able to get anything out of this one. Nathan landed a bullet. Ghosty with the cleanup kills. Afro into the point. The Thieves with the break. And it's so close yet so far. Diamond Con not even getting the damage out, but these are the key rotations. It is P3 and P4, the only opportunity on this map to really go on a run. So LAG attempting to keep things under lock and key on the Roto. Estriel, though, going to fall. I mean, but it's, it's the London duel right taking over, bro. Up. Nasty and Afro are just too much. They're just way too much. Spawn, so it's a long way to go, but LAG for the moment in a good spot. Diamond Con. Finesse, comes back. Toe -to -toe. Goes to see no help there. Back over to the point, but it is going to be LAG in control this time. Now we have seen many comebacks here on Rio. Anything is possible. And with the Gorillas slowly but surely starting to heat up, this map is. Can far Buzz and Cole make and the comeback? Got a little bit of intel as well. Spots out Afro, so he just waits for the kills to fall on his lap. But it is a big push down this B Street right now as LA Thieves attempting to overwhelm. Cramp on the pinch though is going to fall. Only gets a kill with the nade, but it looks like inside the time the Thieves. Oh! Oh, oh, Adam! Extra sauce on top. Gonna push LAG so far back, and they keep that score line big. Nasty has been smacking in the map so Ooh, far. Got massive individual there. gunfight wins over 200 points now. For the I mean, Astro stopped shooting. On to this point. Adam just down over towards the garage. Krem his shit on plug. His controller literally died. Well. Nasty doing what he does best. Frying his controller so fucking died. Now full of red. Yeah, Nasty the untradeable. A flank maybe through boxes is the only way for LAG to actually make this move. It's Astro from a pop, and well, Nasty is actually in a very weird position. A player just behind him gets cleaned up, and well, now players soaring from over top, but the kill feed remains red. LA Thieves remain dominant, and Gorilla still spawning so oh, far away. Big two piece for fame forward now. The Gorilla Afro, you see, you see, Chad, this is break and stay alive. there's levels and to this shit. Afro knows no his energy could run low Nasty if it goes game five, line, so he away. slows and it down purposely one. when no they don't need him anymore. More in the, the game. As the thieves have locked it down, it's by the garage. They're ready to rock and Instead roll. of continuing the pace he had the after the second or third rotation of the hard points, like to see a look of he slows it down, face. tones it down a little bit. Game is almost because they know the game is out of reach. Game there, LAG proving that at least on Rio, they were simply. I saw the shooting like center and cold warrior sometimes. That's some fucking crazy man. Online, while well, the thieves they just pieced them up in the hard points. It's a new map for these you two see the squads. Thieves, the thieves coaching the crew, the thieves coaching crew. I think we saw why last time, gorillas.
banned this map against LA. They got absolutely handled, and that is just a cakewalk across the board. That is what, like a plus 25 in the slaying category for Thieves there as a whole. And if you're slaying like that, on Fuck a map so funny, like so Jason, this, again, love my comments, GG, buddy. not even close. Great work out of everyone there in the Thieves. I mean, Krem, it's just fantastic work in the kills department, not necessarily the most damage, but again, that was the teamwork. You're talking about the comms. It's not necessarily individual players finding the kills. We saw Nasty with those great runs. It's about the teamwork. Thieves with it in spades there. LAG just a little bit behind. There was no major turning point in that match where the Gorillas certainly looked like they could have pulled it all back. As we see the highlights, it's going to be a lot of the Thieves here. And again, the Thieves able to play a comfortable game. Afro's having those moments where his teammates are getting three-piece, and he's like, hey, there's no pressure. We got an 80-point lead. I'll take my time. It is not a big deal. No sweat. And then the AR players from LA Thieves as well, lighting it up in the kill feed. Nasty went on and put on a hell of a performance. His damage was out of control, and we saw Ghosty as well. Just comfortable. He is that anchor Ooh. player going for those back spawns. The kill falling into his lap. I really do wonder what happens. On the flip side, Adam Assault, one of the lower damage dealers we have from main AR. It's just no production from him on this map at all. No production. Really you hear right there. They no production for him. Just to start their day. That's get the thumbs warm. That's get the guns nice and hot. They are already ready for the S&D. I think uh, I'm trying to remember who they were warming up with backstage, but it's a heated environment back there uh, watching the players in the PPE section. Very, very exciting stuff. Hey, the PPE. We're going to have, have ourselves a search and destroy in just a brief moment. A chance, any sort of strong feels here. Because again, we've seen these two teams go up, up against each other a few times. What's different about today? I, well, the difference, I think, is LA Thieves are just going to be playing with more confidence. Like, LAG have the one win against Atlanta phase, but even then, you look at the rest of the major, it's really tough to build off of any sort of momentum when your record is just down in the dumps. These had an incredible stage, and obviously... Ah, uh, we abuse it, man, on YouTube, like Jeff. Oh. They just felt like they were not even, like, playing against players shooting back, so they're going to feel fantastic going into map number two. S&D, though, was the only shining light for Gorillas in their previous series. But you see the adjustment being made. The map ban there that you see from LA, that terminal. They got 6-1 by LAG. Don't want to deal with us again. We got some new maps in the mix. High Rise, I know, is a map that Gorillas have played quite a bit. But I don't think the Keep my chat. LAG just so watched LAD play yesterday. them last Atlanta night phase and on and against FaZe. This exact they map and mode combo. Uh, dramatic finish to what was a crazy series we'll see if they've learned from a chance you're not too wrong me but high rise double dose for you folks at home your feelings are hurt okay Jeff, my bad in the morning i am definitely not okay, a doctor. i guess i'm wrong see how that one goes dude i mean any strong feels coming to this one who's looking hotter in the search game well i mm, that's actually very difficult to say lag haven't exactly looked hot uh, across the board throughout the stage but la thieves hasn't exactly been their overwhelmingly strong game mode although admittedly in the game fives have been quite clutch so i'm certainly leaning towards the thieves but on a map like high rise like you do have a comfortable you know a few comfort picks let's say from lag maps that they are at least used to that they have the repetitions on i rise s and d is certainly one of them but again it's not like they have shown uh, an excess of dominance on it so he's not going to be too fearful and again it is the ar battle it is those long lines of sight i know that sort of ghosty versus assault ghosty he's not going to be stressing won't be indeed. Well, we're almost ready to get into map number two. Here we go, folks. LA Thieves, LA Gorillas. Uh, the fact we still have three more High matches after this year is insane. Yeah, I know it's crazy. Three more matches is crazy. Two. We touched him on those long lines of sight. God, I wish we had snipes in this game. Just oh, three more matches is crazy. I gotta get flavor, comfortable. Man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it would be every single round. I, every like, round? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to chow it either, because, like, every single team, like, is going to have players capable of hitting that shot basically 10 out of 10 times. So it would be an interesting square up, but... Maybe we'll just have to rock with the MCW. What it sounds like it's nervous. How is funny, bro? That guy's a moron. the MCW like a snipe and go for that chow off the rip every single time. So, you never know what the damage output is going to be. We'll see how the stats come into play in this matchup. We're ready to party. Here we go. Map number two in this elimination matchup. The Thieves, the Gorillas. Let's go. And again, nah. the three names are going to be on the point David Attractor well. is crazy. No trophies in round number one, but no connection either. I don't believe the propane tank has exploded yet over towards A. So Wait, that's a good a series. What do you mean, Jafo? I actually really like the... Make that move. You see Afro. I don't know. I think these two are really good, but the bomb. next two are going to be hard to get to. I'm not even going Hopefully, Carolina and Miami is a good series. Get the bomb down for free. This will be a four-man retake attempt for the Gorillas. We'll see whose side the tanks are on in this round so far. Patient play out of Ooh, yeah, the oh, look, I'm already the yawning, so gang. Who's been taken care of? Is there the a trade there? No, it's now a 2v4. That? Diamond Con flying forward. As Afro and Krimp try to make it as Only little one. as they can and blink, and okay. it's a 1v1. Krimp v Estrue. And he knows he was on the opposite side of the map. Gets the right read. Krimp with the. Krimp with the. Krimp with the. 
We saw how the map one went. Krem fears many things, but the challenge against this team is not one of them. And he gets three in the round as well. I'm thinking for a post plan, we got the bomb down. Let's kick back, play in elevators, watch over. How LAP they, said, no, we're running it down. It was a double hit over down like the A Street. And I mean, hey, they might have lost the first two gunfights, but Kremp picking up three in the round, starting things right. Whoa. Well, it was a fast one, one. We didn't have to wait too long to find out who won that one. Round two's up now. LA Thieves on defense. Let's see what the Gorillas have got in stock when it comes to attacking these sites. Nades out over towards the tarp. Nobody pushed up dust too oh, far oh. from LA. LAT's got to get thrown at G first. Kramp is taking some space. They've cleared out underground. And right now, you just have to this map, though, though it might get dangerous. I'm not open, but guys like Ghosty and Nasty post up in the back spawn can look over. And right now, the position of the SMGs, they're going to wait for the comms to come through. And then they're just going to pounce and get sent in for the kills. Couldn't tell you what's going on over there, but for now, we've had at least the first exchange of fire. Empty pockets for Diamond Con. Fame, though, fully loaded. Trying to catch up this players by the blue bin. Nobody home for now. It's still a 4v4. Afro looking to change that. Nasty backs him up. Round and round we go, and Afro takes care of Estriel somehow, stays alive as well, 4v2. And all that map pressure they had, you get players sent in for the kill. Nasty has moved Damn. into oh the mix God. as well, and just like that, Diamond Con in a 1v3, but now he's got him trapped. Nasty, well, he's got the back lane covered. Diamond Con might read it, doesn't make it. Afro, SND Superstar, easy. correct. And LA Thieves, again, playing with all the confidence in the world. Indeed, oh, you said it. They, called, they took over so much of the map early on in the round. The Gorillas didn't really have much to go off of, man. I mean, they knew those players were going to be in position to take care of them. The Thieves don't lose those gunfights. Some nice finesse from Afro. Lovely work. Two rounds in a row. Just able to pick them apart as well. I mean, Afro is a gunfight on the ground where the players are not sure somebody, yo, back, so beating face was more a fluke, comfortable bro. right now. Playing Who with is in the crowd? More freedom. Just, motherfucker, watch the game. Yet to get any motherfucker, think about what happened Nades. online. Like, no, Feel bro. Like Focus on the, the game. Coordinated as always, going for the double over B Street. And that's where Gorilla We are on land. Nasty, I don't know if he spotted Estriel on the cross, but certainly has the angle forward. And with the propane tank exploding, I think they know at least one player was working the street. That's going to be Ghosty's responsibility long term, just to That's iron insane. up and That's maybe insane. wait for a kill to fall on your lap. We'll see who is the more patient team. The Thieves' patience is wearing off. Afro, a player known for his aggression. That left stick is locked forward most of the time. He's taken a couple of hits to so rethink his ways. And it's not just assault in the back line as well. Estriel's in another spot by elevators, waiting for that hop up on the ladder. So you climb up the ladder, that is a dangerous game. And you see Kremp tries it too. He gets back down as well. LAG, you don't want to get that Top four, not going to be top four, Travis. Line, I'm telling you, twin. To finish those kills either. Give so my 10 ready, Travis. Five seconds on the clock. Estriel, oh, taken care of by Afro, finally on the bomb site. Diamond Con, the off angle. Okay. He's managed to sneak in. Oh, to shit. Afro just lined out. Nasty now on a technical one. V3. Running out of time as well. It doesn't even matter that game clock. LAG hunting him down in the round, and that is an adjustment you love to see. Round number one, Afro just walks up the bomb, says, hey, this looks free. Let's Let go me look at the bracket, plan. Travis. LAG completely flipped the script on the setup, make it much more difficult. I can see, see, I can see. Make any sort of move. And there, I'm the there's a world, bro, the fact, where wonderful trades Rocker and Vegas. A ton of credit. Lovely to both guys. get top, uh, top stranded. four. Scrumptious. Will he find any more scrumptious pieces in this round? We'll find out. Attacking round now. Astral's gonna have that bomb. I haven't seen too much love towards the A bomb site just yet, but still early days here on high rise. Back over towards B. We're sending it. That's a lot of ordnance being sent. Two members of the Thieves down low. It's Kremp and Afro. Now Ghosty joining them. So an aggressive round out of the Thieves. How many red dots did you spot, lads? Oh, this is tough, too. Afro's actually in a sort of prime position right now just to be a nuisance. Nice angle and nice shot as well. And now he's just the constant thorn oh, in your shit. side. you got to worry about the underground flank or if he's going to shoot you from down low. In the meantime, Diamond oh. Con over by Elevator. Yeah, two he game five seconds. LA, 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 LA teams kind of crazy. I, I, don't know what, I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what happened. And all the trades right now coming through from LAG. Thieves wanted to get aggressive, but... Steve, Steve don't look, there from Steve's don't look like shutting insane. Him down again. Yeah, he's been that side of the map. He's been over by elevators every round they've won so far, and he has not lost an individual gunfight in neither of them. So, great stuff out of the Gorillas on the immediate bounce back. Uh-oh. Assault's back at it. 
<laughs> assault the hat by warmers. Guy. I understand. But you were in Boston, right? <laughs> Absolutely no comment. A lot warmer here in Florida. <laughs> Thank God in some capacity, but now maybe a bit more pressure on Thieves to be the team to make those adjustments. LAG, certainly, again, a very experienced team on high rise, mixing things up, and Diamond Con sticking down that B Street. It's a double square up, though, 2v2 on both sides. You see Kremp and Ghosty getting active down this lane. And Fame's got some nice little angles to work with. You got Diamond Con looking over as well, but looks like LA Thieves able to dominate that B Street. Open lane of access to work with. And a minute on the game clock to try to get this bomb down. Dominate the street, dominate I mean, the side. I wish I was Fame mad. is angles pay off. The oh, transition shit. There, but he takes care of two. That's unbelievable. Those are electric shots right there. Might be the difference maker in the round. Estriel, though, pretty active, but this bomb is going down on B. Nah, I'm not saying phasing right out. Do you I was kidding, Travis. I'm, I'm just saying just those are the only two things I can see him doing, Travis. Like, Assault now for the 1v3. But he's going to need a little bit of a prayer to try to clutch this round. Oh, he's got to get the defuse as well. Able to get Nada Brada. That's another nice round. Thieves bounce back. They stop the spree of the gorillas dead in its tracks. And I'm curious. That might have been a moment where Estriel might ha have the, uh, the covert sneakers. Kid Nasty really seemed like he was ready for it. But players that are ready, Afro at the top of that list. Easy shots there. Damn. Yeah, just the rival nine with the headshot as well. Nice little snapper there on the Diamond Con. And that all comes down to Diamond Con getting forced to back off of that B Street straight off the rib. So LA Thieves making moves on that B bomb side. Single round advantage for the Thieves. And the opening salvo there. There's a different look this time round. Two members of LAG though well pushed out towards the A-bomb site, so now more space gained. I want to see what is New York Vita. What do you guys think New York Vita tomorrow? Karachi? Rio? Probably Rio, right? I think the play is going to be on fame as well. Maybe they square up, bro. Maybe they play them on Rio. There's the jump. There's the move. And going to get the kill as well. And out with his life. Still a 3v3, though, because Ghosty picked up the first blood. But it is a bunch of thorns in people's side. It is a flank coming through from Kremp. Bro, they're not going to get this. Toronto is not going to give any of the maps that they played against Phase well, online, online on man. Map, Same with uh, against Optic. They're not going to get any known. of those maps. Respectfully. Escape with his life. 45 seconds to go. Gorilla's yet to get the bomb down. And Afro's actually cleared the space over to the A zone as well. So you know the bomb's going to be at least more towards B. The question is, can you get the pick before they get it down? Kremp going in for the actually, kill. Actually, Toronto is going to play like like some uh, face. Uh, the face series will be more similar than the Optic two. series. No, no, no. It's a 3v1. And now it's done. You should have trusted you. That's not true, Travis. That's not true. Trust in your heart. I know sometimes your heart well, cuts What was it apart. again? It was, shame. it was only the control now, that was favored. Three. Like heavy, He's Travis. kicking himself after that round. That's a, a nice round as well. They, didn't exactly they, they have an auto veto on terminal. Was going on, but I know so it was just tough. Like, bit late to sort of getting in so the they have an auto veto. They, uh, they the vetoed. Fame completely active, able to they vetoed terminal. The and the A hits are not typical. Then face like vetoed Karachi. Then they played Fame, not a player uh, Rio. Moves. Last time they played Rio, four right they, were, they well, got 6 0 by Vegas. But face hadn't played it up until that point. So they didn't know what to expect. Are not guessing so I wouldn't say that would be favored. I would say the team that has a rep on the map would be favored. Or like, I guess it would be 50-50. I wouldn't be able to favor anybody. Good luck. Have fun, lads. Another round of bonus. But, uh, and that was and Karachi Hardpoint. I think they're going to play Karachi again, 100%. B Street again, you get Diamond Con pushed up nice and far. And, I mean, two players looking But against down, Optic, they're not going to get, Optic's not going to get two S&Ds like that again ever. Now the question is, it's a weird angle to be playing. If LA Thieves have to rotate this bomb, this will be difficult to read. But for the moment, they're leaning towards this A site. Couple players working through the middle of the map as well. Afro. Yeah, they did, Travis. I agree with Travis. Face hadn't played it up until that point, Travis. Jumps up. They have no, they have no that reps on it. Like, I, although I agree with what you're saying, but they have pra what I'm saying is they have practiced playing the map in a match because of how different the match, the map is played in scrims. You know what I'm saying? You could be so good at the map in scrims. Face hadn't had no practice on it in the match. The only map that I'm saying is, is uh, high risk control. High risk control. If Face would have lost that map, I would have jumped out the window. They're not playing high risk against Face ever again. For the 1v3, there is nothing you can do. And then for Optic? LA Thieves attempting to get active, but LAG. They're, I mean, there's going to be the terminal probably. Leave Karachi. Just sort of swarmed Optic around the same it. sort of zone on the map. Able to control it expertly. 
Diamicon eight and four, him and Fame basically taking turns. I don't think anyone was in a position to trade Kremp there either, so he goes down. No one's close enough to pick up the kill, one thing. We'll see tomorrow, right? Another. We'll see tomorrow. So I, it's so weird. We'll see tomorrow. To win. Good work out of the gorillas. Punishing tomorrow's going to be crazy. Fame on a four. <laughs> Yo, tomorrow's going to well. be so, so crazy, bro. No here. bullshit. Tomorrow is going to be fucking crazy. A little bit crazy. of a double back. We'll see where the nades go. And last time, Fame was able to run straight up towards the HUD, so if nobody's going to be watching it, maybe LAG trying to get active again, but no, they cut towards underground. Fame and Estriel working together, playing some corners and looking for some intel. Krem's going to be the guy down low, and you see for LA Thieves, one guy in the radio tower, roughly the same setup LAG had the round before. Estriel, nice opening bit of damage. Ghost Eat there. He's been tagged up, pushed back. Still a strong This is a really big map if LAG can win it. Up really, really big map. Once again, bomb down in a bit of a difficult spot. Not as bad as the round before, but at some point, you got to make the move. Double hitting underground. They're trying to chow Kremp right now. And Kremp Good job out of uh, Kremp right there to reset and just Backs get out. Up, be more be confident. He's still holding the street above him. Afro holding the site. No one is getting close. 35 seconds. The gorillas are going to have to make that move sooner rather than later. And life now still one lead up for the thieves. Pressure now on. Assault's got to get going. It's 25 on the clock. Yeah, Krent, though, he's just dancing around, but the dance has to continue. Oh. That's real nice shots down low. But Krent there, the late flanker and his teammate, well, for Estriel died at the exact same time. LA Thieves, don't let anything slip away. They get a nice 4v2 advantage, and they make sure they don't make any mistakes. Love the plays from Krent, just to back down. Nothing crazy going to happen in that round. Executing on defense. Yeah, man, Thieves kept him pinned down that entire round. There was no way anyone from the Gorillas was going to be able to get out. Burning through the clock, forcing the pressure play. And it wasn't there. Four to four, though. We're going blow for blow with our LA teams. Let's see what the Thieves do on the attacking round. Oh, this is going to be a square up. Well, yeah, LAG, they've been challenging this beach street every time. So LA Thieves just sending the absolute squad. Nades out. How good is your trophy? How much damage can be done? You see LAG, at least they get back down. And that allows Kremp to make some moves, get in position. And I mean, that is every nade invested just to work this street. There's two boys on the inside of the window as well. So it's a firing squad from the LA Gorillas. A very Everyone looks bad when they lose. Now the naughty angles from Diamond Con. Oh, what a transition. <laughs> Afro has to I love how you guys argue about it. I love that shit. No, no one one thing I will always love my community. Because everyone's, everyone's uh, my God, what a long a strong so opinionated. Oh, that's the extra investment, like that. but you get traded out. So you don't even get that man advantage. Oh, Ghost, make the play. That's a good movement. It's a free kill. No trade. Oh, he's doing it again. Picks up that extra kill and well with angles like this, Ghosty in prime position to put the nail on this round. Eyes on. There's the kill. Quick Does get his slippery. One v three. Yeah, bro. Adam one v three, bro. Adam one v three, bro. Adam assault one v three, bro. Ah, for sure, bro. Another good round. Map point. And I love the call just to dominate the B Street. Every nade invested. It's, it's a J. I think you're you're missing something. I think he's just saying that in his opinion, he thinks they they haven't looked the cramp, the challenge, uh, uh, even dominant well, or as dominant. The, to get him from the, other side. So, Con the last two matches. In. And, I mean, we've seen this idea from LA Thieves before when they're planning the bomb over towards B. They're pushing on the other side of the map. Ghosty getting active as well, and just forcing LAG to deal with two directions. Difficult to deal with, and LA Thieves one round away, being 2-0 up in the series. Yeah, you got to check that sort of game instinct you have of like, hey, is anyone watching the flank? Is there anywhere they could hit us from behind right now? Yeah, always the opportunity. With all that noise taking place up front, head on a swivel. Ooh. Nice nade, Krem, tough stuff, 53 HP. A very similar look to the defensive hold we've seen from the Thieves so far. Yeah, well, this is the soft propane tank, so you're not too fearful of dying from it. Unless you're underneath Yo, Tim, it, don't say that, bro, my enough. man. It's like, what the, the fuck, my man? Tim, come on, bro. a little bit more, but... <laughs> Tim, come on, 2010. Get your work out in 20. For Thieves, just more or less owning the map. Playing a little bit more passive underground. Afro's dancing down low, and LAG sort of looking for that open avenue of attack. They haven't found it just yet. This B site is open, though, if they climb up. But yeah, Krem's just right back to it. It's all about these timings. Oh, it was great. Sense not enough on the timing. Who, whose spot am I taking? Quickly. Afro's? That's a problem. Fame the fuck? Set a very winnable round to force around 11 at the moment, 4v2. They just won't commit. No commit on offense, but on defense, a little bit more passive. And well, yeah, the bomb going down, 4v2. GG's 5-5, five, five, chat round 11. Doing the exact same thing. We got a round fucking Dunn 11. Gets the extra kill. Ghosty is in between the entire roster. 
And just like that, LAG. I think LAG going. got defense too. That is two rounds for just a player for LAT. They just need to chow the bomb, but a little bit off. And I'm like, then for down a couple of pounds, I said, you need to be down a couple hundred pounds, then. In a moment like this, Two, pounds. not fun to deal with. Oh dear, we'll see how it goes. Final round for the Thieves. 2 0 lead in the series for the Gorillas. It's a 1 1. Nah, it's Chavos not a chance. Uh, Chavos an optimator, is Jay. Wrong Here person. What's the question, Travis? Oh, uh, shit, he's probably getting a few, like, maybe, like... On the attack for LAG or on the defense. It's, anybody can have a good map, bro. They're due for a good map, but, like, no, he's not like that, bro. Like, it might be another bloodbath in the streets. Here we go. Well, it's been given up, so if they want the B Street, they're gonna get it. Nasty with that long line of sight. Everybody else, though, underground. This might be the, the standard sort of default play from LA Thieves. Try That's kind of true. That's kind of true. Watch the hop up just like, above, like, like, and just... the opening is there. They don't waste any time going for the bomb plant. They're gonna get oh! Find no trophies in the late nades. They have made the adjustment. LAG with that first blood. Well, now they're scrambled to try to get the bomb back. There's the plant, so that we'll go down in the end. Look at look at look at look at Ghosty. Look at Ghosty. Look at Ghosty. Ghosty has to make the play. Ghosty on the flank. Eyes on the first. Checks the second. Can't get it. One v three. All up the nasty. The European goat. People are considering him better than Hydra. Spots him on the little jump up. Then always in the back. It has nobody hopping up. To oh, gun uh, him down. Holy, the that was a must win map. It was the exact same strat they had in round number I one. Stupid, but it's not yeah, the trophy players that were fucking, yeah. working that bomb. It's the SMGs. Stop and Estriel just drops the Semtes at his feet. LAG, the experienced team on high rise, really came in handy for that round 11. The clutch factor is certainly there. Great job from the Gorillas. I feel like, I feel like I'm kind of hanging one to sure. one, and what a performance from both Fame and Diamondcon there. Ten and six respectively. Both sub players we'll run keep rolling into the control, but hey, for now, man, a good game of search and destroy from both teams. LA Thieves that continue to have an issue with high rise. Uh, well, not the ideal situation. Those round 11s can be haunting, but at his moment that LAG most certainly needed. So far, this is roughly how the series went when they matched up online. LA Thieves pieced them up in the hard point, but the Gorillas able to get their revenge so all time 2800 out of that for the loss control but again as you pointed out credit where credit is due two players from lag there, absolutely fantastic and just a lovely first blood in the end splendid well it's uh it's another game let's get cardio we're doing cardio let's get my dog so we're going to be keeping our shoes on we're not going to go too far until we have to go oh, no bullshit place. i was falling asleep during between one of them it's going to be chilly all right, so we got a five minute break. Thugs there says he loves you here at Hyro. Tell him, tell Thugs that I fucking love him, bro. That handsome ass boy. That's my dog, though. That's my dog. All right, chat, we got a four or five minute break, guys. Yeah, saying, get you a little bev, go get you a snack, hit the bathroom. Uh, Ethan, I haven't listened to the whole thing. Ethan, what, what songs are the best, Ethan? Put me on. All right, go to the face. Uh, I'm going to this, yo. I'm going to this timestamp chat. We got a few minutes to chat it up, watch a little bit. Yeah, uh, I know what it is, man. Nineteen oh six. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you want to go to the? You want me to go to the game? Oh, okay, let me pull up the game. Let me pull up the game. Let me pull up the game. Oh, okay. Let's follow. Like, let's follow like a minute before. I've never watched any of Zuma's watch parties because I'm obviously it's hard to whenever I'm live during his like you know what I'm saying like. Yeah, uh, he's not gonna deal with the two-man push too well with that. But now the Nick comes in, tries to reposition some tags in. Sun hits. That bounce towards him. Oh. Wait, LT won the hard point. Is, is Haggy laying down? Yeah, yep. yeah they got them. smoked. Tight. 
Man, this is a little shame that Faze lost this round. Let's see, he's got some timing right yeah, now that I don't like. Yeah, he's gonna clutch it for sure. The timing that I don't like at all. Oh no! Uh, Afro wins these, bro. Wait, he got off the bomb. He wins this though. Yup. Oh, let's go. Holy fuck. Let's go, Afro. Look, I'm talking I'll shit, I'll be honest, dude. bro. MC should've had that. She just climbed to the tank and challenged I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be honest with you. Abe is playing terrible in the last series. Yeah, and he's, he's fucking... Yeah, just ran through the smoke. Uh oh, Ben, you sound frustrated with everything with him. If they smoke out... Bro, if they smoke out tank, why are you gonna run through the smoke, bro? Afro's doing his thing. Like, they're just paying themselves to fucking... <laughs> bro, this motherfucker is laying know, down watching the match, bro. Why do you need to run to yeah. P1? Just, just fucking sit there and alley. They're just going to sprint. I know, Ben, but here's the thing. Like, we, I don't think any of us can ever question a decision that a BZ makes in Call of Duty. I just don't think we have that fucking stop. Boy, I do. <laughs> He's faded. You can't, Sam. I can't. Ben can't. Most can. <laughs> I think it was a great play. I think it was a great Thank play. Thank you, Tyler, yet again. Screen, I need to see what you look like. Nah, FaZe honestly has lost the plot. I've been, they're getting, they're gonna get shit on. Even in the control. Yeah, it's not good. I Dude, what my... is Hockey saying? Bracket might be busted if they lose this. <laughs> Yo, what are these guys saying, bro? I gotta watch more, bro. What are these guys saying? It's like one now, just fucking swarming. Bro. Ah, uh, you know what? You know what, Kurt? I'm gonna lay down and watch the matches. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna lay down. You want me to lay down? I can lay down. Shit, I'm gonna lay down too then. I'm gonna lay down. Well, what a wonderful day we are having here in the Call of Duty League. But other folks are having even better days. Many days of birth today. We've got Shelby in the graphics file. We've got Drippy. Crowd, I'm gonna need your help. It's Drippy's birthday. Not nothing but love to Drippy and the entire, you know, hype squad. But we're gonna have to, I need some help. I need your help here. Will you sing with me, crowd? That's a yes. All right, you know the words. We're no strangers to love. You know the words, you know the rules. And so do I. Let's just do the chorus. You all know the chorus, right? Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run oh, around just... and hurt you. Yeah, see, that's why we Did like anyone sing? the only one with vibes in the crowd. <laughs> We're a big fan. Drippy, happy movie. birthday. Thank you very much. And thank you to the whole hype squad. You guys are at every single event, I think, since, like, Cold War champs. It's been a long time. I just sang Rick Astley on the air. My life is complete. This might be my last series. Let's go, boys and girls, into high-rise control. We've got to find Lay down, motherfucker. It's your stream. Do whatever you want. Bro, yo, 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 yo. Well, Cardi, hey, look, this is a square I'm not taking no big motherfuckers no opinion, bro. You are big as fuck. Like, no. Last time these two teams played, LA Thieves Get your big ass in the gym. Get a salad. LAG, obviously, if it is going through, a bit more prepared. Back you Cardi. see both of these teams on the defensive end. They have been powerhouses. <laughs> I'm not laying down, bro. And on the flip side from LAG, third is nothing to shy away from. Oh, no. Maybe whichever team has success on the attacking rounds might come away with the dub. Hey, another birthday today. You call this? I'm not gonna lay down. Bro. Sixty. God, he looks oh, good. He said lay down on the screen. Looks bro. fantastic. Like, kind of Maybe the less talented compared to Drippy, but we like him nonetheless. Definitely not as tall. Let's drill first blood. As we continue this reign of terror from LAG oh, here on high rise. It's all on the flank. Well read there by Krem. That's gonna slow things down only for a moment as they are capturing B. And he got a, what, a double sack coming through as well. He got Estriel set up for the spawn kills. And can't Estriel lay in down the spawn was able to pick oh, up another can't two. Can't take a so deep breath because now you are out of breath. One like... direction to look. Two ticks have already come through. Nice nasty, movement, Nasty, bro. You've been the free bro. As well, so you bought your movement. You're going to have a bad time. But it looks oh, like with ooh. the nades and no trophies, that early offense, well, doesn't exactly pay off. Better late than never. He gets in there in time to get the kill and stop the full capture of B. A minute ago, two segments were gone there. Oh, that shot's out of Estriel just enough to keep the play alive. A little bit of space to work with now for the Gorillas, but we're going to hold on. That's my son. Well, be the my son. Stop the clock. Big well, son. Still a nice bounce back, though, and easy reads in this moment for Nasty. I mean, Ghosty showing up in the kill feed, and now from LAG. Ooh, this might be the spot drop. Here we go. Clock, and you are right back in your oh, spot. Tamakon fights too? Tamakon, though, just going to blow things open with the two-piece. Nasty, this is the last place you got to kill from, but that is also five in a row. Estriel, though, shuts down the crews. You get the kills in 
Buccaneers he went to go spawn trap the mid psychopath. Well, through. Nearly through. Oh, what well played out of Estrell. Ghosty with a goal line save. Can't beat the fight though as fame stays alive. Oh my good God. Somebody get a toe into that B zone. 30 seconds remaining in the round. Car uh, uh, Cardi weighs 365. Play the two front uh, right relaxing. now going towards both sides. But LAV is having enough reinforcements and bodies around the zone. They can defend it. He's 63 though. Cannot hit the jump up. And you see the result. The B zone going to collapse an extra minute to the clock in a two life lead you're looking for that offensive success and LAG oh, so far they have a little bit unfortunately nasty is him and well he's able to pick up too that Renetti he does go for her nice shots at a diamond can't even better out of creme just over a minute to play all square in the life department Estriel looking for anything here on the approach he said for real he, he can't believe it find it <laughs> he oh can't look. believe He's waiting for so nah, long long is going to hell. To kill, to <laughs> you can't even be big in 2024. Nasty, so might be the first player you alive about getting big. Estriel, they call you alive. You, you actually big. <laughs> so now fame right. moving into position. Nice little two piece checks on the ground and sets himself up maybe for some spawn kills. Fame looking lovely so far. Too spree for him. Pressure now on. No one quite able to dive on to that point. I mean, there's the possibility for somebody to stop the clock, but they don't necessarily have the foothold to defend it. But I'm crap the comes a big, a big limit here. Take. And 25. Yeah, 7v6 as well. So you have to be very patient and be oh, attentive towards the shit. lines oh, no. as well. A moment for the propane tank to team kill. And now you're just down to five if you're LA Thieves and Diamond Cons oh, on the point. Oh, touching right there by himself. Thieves, no more respawns. LAG looking good. Two man stack. Contest. Cleaned up. Out spawn. Diamond Con into the feed. Sliding forward. Wow, Last team's... man up is Afro. He can conceivably get this done, but he has to find the kill. Yeah, see you, mate. Now nah, that that is a decision. That is, I don't want to give up the ticks. I want the defense for the round five. I'd rather just die on lies, but that is a very tough spot to be in. I don't know if Afro have actually hit the propane tank. Someone from LAG might have blown it up. Because, you know, the propane tank giveth, it taketh away. Relax. In that moment, that is just the devastation that is high rise. And so, all right, here we have a quick replay of the Afro tumble. Again, moments. Again, a he, good call. He's never teamed with Clayster. That was completely <laughs> intentional. Afro was making business decisions on the main stage. Any excuse for us to use the Wilhelm scream, I'll take it. Rounds up. Thieves attacking this time round. Good to see the slain department for both squads, though. Chance very active. We got the CTE. Oh, it's going to be a spicy match. CTE CEO. Cardi arguing with the CTE well, CEO. So make a play underground. Like, no, yeah, both have CTE, CTE bro. Going to dominate it. Ghosty with the slide, looking for the two piece, but he is a little too weak. And Assault able to pick up the extra kill. Nasty going to stop the clock as well, but only for a brief moment. Reinforcements not quite there. Trying to catch these players off spawn. Oh, see, good tags. Swa, shots out of fame, man. He is looking fantastic so far. Big two pieces when his boys need him the most. 45 seconds to go, and the thieves are being kept at bay. More in the feed. Yeah, this is the dagger spawn trap as well. Nasty is the only one that's actually made it out of the he's windows, kills, but he's getting spotted as well. Gonna kill kill three kill, bro. Assault so big, so big. Out, but like Adam negative right again. You see what I'm saying, Trump? It's like he, to keep the pressure it, it's hard to roast Adam well, because he's consistent in regards of, route, like, in that regard. seconds left on the clock. Ghosty does give you two, but you have to play this objective. It is a struggle just to get on the B zone. The rival nine at range from Estriel. Still going to get kill number 15. He does with a nade, and that's, oh, a big hit from Assault. Who knows what really happened there? Still trying to get on towards a zone. If you're the thieves, the gorillas locking it down. Fame taken down on the outside, and finally, 5.1 seconds seconds on that clock assault keeping them off and that should be the round no done wow lag a stalwart of defense They're here on high rise and that is a, they didn't get a perfect single tick. round they didn't get a singular well. tick you had afro jumping wow. off the map because they want to play the tick game well they get nothing there in round number two assault back at it again he's feeling great on the defensive end he's feeling himself if you know what i mean Match point Zero now. takes compared to four ticks. To push the Gorillas into a very, very happy place. The lead in this series and a 3-0 on control chance. I don't think a lot of pundits saw this. I mean, this could be suffocating <laughs> as well. <laughs> nice little momentum shift going into the next respawn just to have guns hot like this. Estriel having himself a very strong game as well. He set the tone just from the opening. 16-7 from, from Estriel to King. Kills. Might as well lead the charge again. Down low, Soren. Wow, lovely snap from Estro. Not enough for that kill, though. And Afro's going to stay alive. Still slow cap on B. It's a two-man hit now. 
Afro makes it a one man hit. Assault still alive. Yeah, slow capture. Sure, we but can't at even. Least right now, you're stopping the clock. Uh, at least we're not snitching well. in 2024. That's when it gets bad. We snitching in 2024. But finally, a player on LA Thieves hits the jump, and you might team kill with a propane tank, but at least you take down Diamond Con as well. But Estriel right back off spawn. Another team kill. God damn, too well. many goddamn teams. So many team kills as well. Oh! This map, but LAG Afro, brother, are you okay? Estriel's looking special so far. Set of clean kills there. The gorillas have complete and total map control. They've got A capturing as well. B's oh, nearly LAG done. Have Pressure defense, on towards no matter B from the B's now looking to get at least one of these players off. A safe. B captured. These are going to have to win two back-to-back -back offenses. The gorillas, Shh, they're in hell. This is scary hours as well right now. From they got to win two offenses back-to-back. Back. Go. Maybe good news you just got that underground spawn, though. So a little bit quicker for the map pressure. But yo, my mouth. Yo, I don't match. slip. LAG yo. Is a moment like this. The pressure just continues to ramp what? up and ramp up. LAG right now. They've been Titan ah. killers. Trying to play spoiler as well. They've been fantastic this round. The trades continue to flow their direction and right back on the zone. Oh, my word. Onto the zone. And Fame, the lone man for now. Reinforcements on their way. Here comes Diamond Con with a trophy in hand as well. First segment gone. We could be looking at the capture. The thieves are unable to get out of their spawn. Nasty on the right. Ghosty and Kremp on the left. Anyone able to get out? Step foot onto the street. Here they come into the guns of Fame. Finds one. The capture nearly complete. The contest. Diamond Con holds. And that's the round! LAG 3 0 on high rise. Yeah, that's the round, I'm and that is game, and LAG made it look like light work. I mean, they might have had to fight tooth and nail in round number one, but after that, that was an absolute breeze. And kind of baffling as well with how that first Rio hard point looked. It looked like just the firepower alone could have carried the thieves through, but that map got flipped wow. on its head. This time, everyone from LAG going positive, especially so there from Estriel. Yeah. 20 and 10 had eight assists as well. The untradeable on that map. And I mean, again, that is an incredibly quick round of control. We're used to these maps taking 15 minutes. That was a blowout on high rise. And Wait, Cardi, you're, you're, you, you're a sub, right, Cardi, when you play against? The, the gorillas might be a team that could potentially just be leveling up on land. Oh, boy. Well, the battle for LA goes back and forth. The pendulum swings again. To be fair, though, to be fair, now this was three rounds of gameplay. Bro, somebody had nine. Coming. We go to sub -base somebody had one. nine this is yesterday in, four, in five rounds. Expect. So, like, very, very fun that's, you know what I'm saying? So that's why they was the five, was four rounds. Four rounds. This was a seven and a half minute game of control. That is not a normal stat, ladies and gentlemen. It, it, yeah, it's for control, especially even on a map like High Rise. It could be an absolute grueler. So that was a speed run performance by the Gorillas. And again, this was the only round that was close. It goes to this 6v5 on life count. But obviously, the propane tank helped things out. And LAG, they just slam them after this. Like, it was at like round number two from the opening break. You win the first set of gunfights, and then you just set up the spawn trap on defense and simply never look back but for the gorillas you, the team that is you see that you know, like I'd now that i've been watching more attacking rounds those were cardi you you do play a lot like after especially there on no that round three and again the way you guys pressure, move the way LAG, you guys you in common like a lot of game, a lot of things in gameplay wise phase, and now you might just lose two series in a row and place top 12. how fast you can fall in the cdl could be a devastating moment maybe good news for sub base hard point they did play lag online they pieced them up as well it was a 250 to 105 victory so not remotely close but we saw some experience for the high rise s d from lag sub base another one very experienced on it they've got a ton of repetitions both pre and post patch so lag looking like the lethal threat we'll see man i mean this is a very big turn and again if you are a betting that's person, what i've been saying that's what i'm saying relaxing before, it's, it's not even this is my opinion of course my opinion LAG Nothing wrong with an opinion. Strong. Absolutely not the case. Nothing so wrong with an opinion. We'll see how the goes. It's going to be a very, Actually, very aggressive game between both teams. A lot of changes, as you said, Chance. I don't know where we're going, man. I've, I've got no idea right now. I feel like stupid. I also think it's going to be uh, sort of the ARs that are really going to set the tone. I know Diamond Con, absolute shooter in map number one, but Adam Assault on the damage front, not there. Nasty and Ghosty. Really Bubble is called a 3 0 LAC. No, like, no, this is a 3 is a game every five. Map that we have on the break front. These teams have struggled, but on the holds, LA Thieves have been fantastic. So the expectation when Thieves are uh, rotating, again, they played Travis, a lot of I'll go back. If it goes game five, Travis, or in the break, I'll go back. LAG need to make sure that they stay ahead of the game.
Uh, so the gorillas, you want to be in the hard point first and foremost. That's going to be the goal. If you see that hard point go red, you're in a little bit of trouble, LAG fans. We'll see how the slaying department goes because everyone's been shooting. Estra will have fantastic. Yeah, make sure you guys drop a like on the, on the, on the, on the live channel. Make sure you drop a like. You know, it's for the free skis. It's for the free skis. This is the map as well where the opening break honestly could decide the fate of how the map plays out because LAG are going to be starting on the bad side because it is their map pick, which means right from the jump, it is going to be incredibly important if you struggled on the break front well you can't afford to just instantly lose that rotation to p2 and give la thieves control because again the rio absolute spectacle nearly flawless spinning break match point la gorillas thieves looking to get that game five we load now into sub base for map four in this series a battle for la continues another chapter written in this seemingly never-ending story chance and again essentially the second team to be eliminated here in florida day two but this is where hearts can get broken buzz yeah, loves yeah, buzz does, and they do love subbase at least he does love subbase i can't make like. this maybe not a clean execution to necessarily flip the spawns immediately but you at least want to be able to get this p1 time Nades are raining from up top, but... Will you drop like a like on the video, gang? The way you like any other video, uh, Cardi? I think, I think, actually, I think. The Gorillas could be able to absolutely bulldoze this situation. And Fame's in a bit of trouble. He does manage to get himself his first. Oh, our ghosty lovely shots. Mid-map presence now. All Gorillas. You've got lines of sight onto it for the Thieves, but there's a lot of cover in that hard point. And they got the extra kills, and they're getting the initial time. First the Gorillas right now. It's good. Uh, Maybe sure, not relaxing. great, but they're doing the right things. But now I got LA Thieves working the flanks. A nice Hold nade up. there from Afro. And Trap for the follow-up. You got shit? guys like Nasty who are Where's just trying crap? to keep it under control. So right now from LAG, they're not only trying to go for this P1 time, they're trying to work out of the warehouse, and I think they might have gotten it. Diamond Con at least has the clearance to get over towards new. And it might take him an extra second. He thought about getting players oh. all the time, and he wait too long. Nasty has the time to get in position. It goes buzz, it goes buzz. Oh, this is a good heads up play. Eyes on fame as well. Nasty's not letting go of that position. Oh, the timing is a little bit awkward. He's managed to slip through. That's the kill. This could be huge. If Fame can keep the pressure up now, the members of the Thieves have got to keep their heads on a swivel. They've spawned on the right-hand side of the map, so an opportunity for the break here, but Crimp and Ghosty in the feed. Fame, you've got to get another point to save your boys. Oh, you have LA Thieves, maybe a little bit too slow to turn. Ghosty, though, from oh, in that time. Oh, we got, got bro, my, my canister. It's, it's the technical, what, fire extinguisher kill that's there to take him down, but LA Thieves to maintain the spawns. Ghosty winning the gunfights in the hill. And five. Now Thieves, for the first time in the game, able to stabilize and try to collect this time. How much time can they garner? There's only 20 23 seconds remaining here on the sub pen. Afro will be the man soaking it away, pushing out towards that new hard point as well. As they bound their way through the snowfields into the guns of LAG. Nice work from Assault there. Lovely frag grenade over the top. You might better get that. I have an eight today, Cardi. Not necessarily because you want the time, but you want to keep them off the push. And a lovely moment. Yeah, as well. and Crimps is built up. That's what I'm so fucking hungry, Cardi. No more I am literally starving. Bro. A ton of pressure up towards the middle of the map, and if they're able to get. I need to be here soon because I'm not about to end up killing a five cheese pizza or something crazy. It's actually going to be a bit of mixing. Nah, I don't like five cheese. I like the run. And well, nobody actually rotated except for Fame. You don't block the back spawns, and that is a massive mistake in this game. Tell us what you really think, Charles. It's now Diamond Cons two might not amount to a whole lot. Assault through the middle of the map. Diamond Con still alive on the outside. Able to get another. A third on this light. Hey, look, that's just like Call of Duty at its finest. I like the three players being pushed up. They drop the ball, lose the spawns, and then they I just wish, take Cardi. it I right back. I really so do, bro. Who needs spawns if you can slay like that? I suppose. His people, are, his people are loud. Right relax. Time and already guys yeah, all like his fame. people are just always Making loud. ahead of the game on this rotation. Loud and 18 yelling. seconds is worth just fighting for. a bunch of like a, like a group always. It. And now with his operation, try to hunt fame down. He's playing hide and seek against three players. There's one. Oh, Kremp gets it. Back line of the map, all safe. This is LA Thieves territory now. The wet dock is open for business. Ghosty keeping these players at the warehouse at bay as well. This is fantastic work, not just burning the time. They're keeping these members of LAG well and truly out of the fight. They've got a long journey to that side of the map. Yeah, keeping it nice and slow and well, yeah, Ghosty at least would be able to get those back spawns. So very dicey to try to make sure you keep it maintained. But now for the Gorillas, a very long way to go, putting the pressure through P2. But Ghosty already posted on the back sub with a trophy as well. It's been 25 <laughs> seconds of completely uncontested time. Slight exchange of gunfire here. Nasty's got the left flank covered. High ground is all Gorillas though. 
able to get into the time. Yeah, clean kills, but you've still got spawns for the thieves. They're on the slam, the bro. They just, they're not getting a fishing shot of the kills Afro's that they're able to get. Forward, try to give Afro, time, give 9 and 7, to trying to carry the side, load that, that is nasty and crimp into a game 5. Ghosty uh, ends up like spawning on the pinch effectively to shoot a couple players in the back, and they might turn forward, but they're at least able to collect those final few seconds. Now Ghosty making moves to try to claim some sort of power position on this rotation. Gorillas will be here first, but... LA Thieves may be in position to try to break it down. Ghosty afforded nothing on the map, though, except for the spawn. Yeah, he actually just ends up spawning in the perfect spot to go on the pinch. There's a pinch on a pinch happening here, but Ghosty has the eyes on that minimap. Nasty takes care of the toes of Diamond Con. Takes care of the rest of Estriel. Lovely two-piece. Turns it into a four spree, which is immediately ended. The rest of the thieves taken care of. This is a wide open map that's got the gorilla's name all over it. Yeah, no trophies what either. That nade might do some damage. Yo, hey, some big fan, brother. Nice try today, kid. Able to combine to get that nice try so today. Do you know a guy named Jafal, by the way, or no? Spawns no. coming through, and maybe that has been the name of the game for him. The mixiness has been fun. By the way, in the kill feed, Ghosty has 16. Kremp and Nasty right now combining for 11. Oh, my days. Afro doing what he can to fight his way forward. Tennis point game right now in this hard point. And this is map four. Elimination matchup for the Thieves. They're going home if they lose this sub base. Looking towards P1s. The first set of hard points complete. Not a crazy scoreline for other team. Ah, Fame though. He's playing the perfect spot as well. Nice and patient. The high IQ plays. And now Afro inside the hill has every direction to look. Fame and Diamond Con able to get a couple kills around the point, and now you make the move towards P1. They never actually successfully flipped the spawns, so though. It's going to be partial. Ghosty on one side of the map, everybody else for Thieves on the other. But in the meantime, LAG just happy to collect the time. Fame's cooking. He is cooking. Uh, no. Diamond Con, Yusuf is relaxing. Well. The department right now for the Yusuf, Ace's brother, fantastic. is uh, the Yui. Sound with a lightning it's quick Yui. listening with the LAG boys. W, yeah, it's, no, it's... Relax is relaxing, but his name is Yusuf, so like... There you go, that's a, that's Aizen. What's going on, Yusuf? How do you Yusuf, my little brother? I'm Brady to live here, just stay alive. I don't just to lick it and trust his teammates. Low plat, low plat. He's uh, on the staircase to plat. Watch my front. It's on the staircase, on the staircase. On me. Okay. Right now. Okay. I'm wrapping right again. I'm wrapping right again. Just on the staircase. They should win, but it's a 10 point, it's a 10 point game. It's too close to call it right now. The Colum comes for the gorilla's chance. These, these, these next two, these next two rotations, like this one, and the next one should matter. Like the, right now, depending LAD how this whole ends and then how the other hill starts. They do with the back spawns. A couple players pushed out towards the middle of the map, and now Ghosty sort of that cutoff man for the team, drawing the attention to Diamond Connor, gives away his position up top, and oh well, LA Thieves know a direction to look, trying to hold on from down low, but they are just getting suffocated around this zone. Gorilla's trying to do their best just to keep them off. Beautiful work from Diamond Connor live there as well situation right now for the thieves they've got players in the middle of the map a couple on the point as well nasty wins a big one like, i don't know what that's not me lying that's the, the in favor of the lag boys the lead has changed estriel and co fight wait you see you're yusuf in my chat right you're clouds another hard point another possible lead change estriel's is such a difficult spot as well ghosty was above him that entire time and ghosty swagger are you ready for tomorrow swagger oh my god that kill so can the face can the face brothers log back in and bounce back towards this hill and 
Look at Diamond Con, look at Diamond Con, they're making a big play. Oh, he shot so early, why? Yeah, doesn't have to worry about that for a moment. The trophy's gonna help out as Diamond Con in this sub zero waters. Now makes the approach. Afro with the coverage. Up close in person though, it's nasty in the feed. Nice work again, holding onto the point and not hit from fame from up top. 20 point game, three dead though for the Thieves. It's hard to shoot sometimes through those things, I'm not gonna lie. team has really been successful at blocking any spawns this entire time. So again, it is gonna continue just to be a mixy game. LAG down by 10. Yeah, they just troll bad. The really, really bad. On this hill, unless Afro has something to say, gets the guy out of time. It's fucking it's Afro. It's Afro Braun. Just to be a nuisance, the mix fest of sub base is gonna continue. Oh, real. Just evaporated him. Go see under hail of pre fire. Eight and nineteen right now for crap. Alive. Another point we go up close and personal. Although fame is still here to contest. All over the that brother side of the map. Swagger. The you, you don't think it's gonna be a heart attack tomorrow against right LA against NYSO? Bro, you had a heart attack yesterday, game five against LA teams, brother. You better lock in tomorrow, brother. Tomorrow could be easily a game five for sure. power position. He's got the help on the other side that he simply does not need. The hill where LAG has been most successful. They are right back in their sweet spot. You got assault being annoying. Can't quite finish the kill, okay. but either way, the man on time right now, Dimecon, has a little bit of support. Good teammate, brother. Team kill actually from Nasty. It is again. This has been a sloppy game from both teams. Seven point game we have for the moment. Nobody can get that extra edge. Oh, Holy edge shit! Looking to just get the lead now. If you're the thief, this crap is so big. Hold on. Twenty seconds ago, the, the job this crap is so fucking now. big. We're gonna trap him in. Number seven is gonna have a huge gunfight. Uh, fame. What a marathon this sub base has been. Fame and, and, and number six. Yeah, this is a huge gunfight here. Marathon is likely gonna continue with the score line we have. Yes, technically the teams can win on P1, but almost number five is like a spot there, right? Number five is like a spot, right? That could seal the fate. So LAG is like a spot. Yeah. A delicate game. You gotta keep him off time, but Diamond 24 but he loves this map, bro. So a moment to keep away right now where Diamond Con so far is doing an incredible job. Diamond Con eliminating security there for the LA Thieves. Nobody able to get close now from down low. Perfect read. Four there down, GG. All down, Thieves, Gorillas. Cramp right now, a point four. This could be the Jesus. end of the Thieves tournament. And they're nervous about the spawns, but it's good news from LAG. Everybody's going to be spawning out, and you keep the power positions. Diamond Con playing the tight setup, and he's got everybody in his sights. Damage dealt. Final 10 is on its way. A bit of a team kill. Is that going to be enough to give the Thieves an advantage to get in? No. Assault in the feed. Drill at range, able to get the last player out. Ghosty has to find fame. The, there's the kill. Fame. LA Thieves are going home at top 12. Oh my god! We are not online no more. A 3 0 online, a 3 1 on land. Nothing but the gorillas after that, and that is a painful series from LAT as well. They could have been for success in the Holy bracket. Holy shit. Instead, they fall top 12. A devastating loss for the Los Angeles Thieves, for the Gorillas. It's just another battle. Yeah, I couldn't even believe it. Their I can't believe it. continues here in the Miami Major. Smiles across the faces of the boys as they should be. From LA, and listen, I said this yesterday. LAG look top six. Such LAG might look top four. In that round 11. Certainly giving the gorilla. I think Travis remembers me saying that. that is so seemingly unpredictable. It's always a good time. I mean, Gorillas might just be the most unpredictable team in the league. They have a very painful stage two. Then the first or the last thing they do before coming to land is beat Atlanta phase. They're in the losers bracket and they have a repeat series where they were just getting obliterated in the respawns. They make up for it perfectly. It was a incredibly fast high rise control. I mean, they got dominated 250 105 online on sub base. And well, here they get that extra edge. So Gorilla is proving to be dangerous from the loser side from start to finish man crazy series a good one indeed well we say goodbye to the la thieves we say hello to the la gorillas as they continue onwards and we're almost ready to get going there on stage huh? joe joe's series. laughing it up right now uh, unreal and i know diamond con as well he was the initial shooter there on rio but he carried himself through a massive series as well so that's the man we got to talk to he's the man on stage with our monster winners spotlight with diamond con and guy blaze Thank you so much, Miles and Chance. Miami, show some love to Diamond Con and Los Angeles Gorillas as they stay alive in this tournament. Diamond Con, how do you how does it feel to be the best team in LA again? No, no, it feels great. You know, I had to win the battle this time, got the dub, 
They can beat us online all they want, but end of the day, when it matters most, we'll take it on land. Oh! 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 Well, I think for us, like, making sure we get that map two is, like, really huge. End of the day, we came out kind of flat on the hard point on the map one, but like I said, once we can win that map two, the momentum goes on the map three, then close it on sub base. Yeah, at that point, it was a wrap, okay? You guys just kept rolling on and rolling through. Now, you still got one more matchup to come today, and it's going to be the rematch up against Minnesota. I know you're excited to probably get some revenge on that one. Yeah, no, they took us out major one for top four, so we're going to come with the fire right now in the next match and hopefully get the dub on that too. All right, hopefully get the dub on that one. Now, this crowd has been in y'all back. They've been cheering for y'all. What do you want to tell these people in Miami as you they want to go on, as you want to get their support going into that last matchup? You know what? We love the fans. We love we hear you guys on stage, you know, so keep the vibes up. We appreciate it. And shout out Adam Assault, baby. We got the All handlers. right. Yo, shout out Adam Assault and the rest of Los Angeles Gorillas. That's gonna do it for us on the stage. Chris, let's break this one down. Thank you so much, guy boys. Congratulations to LAG. They are in the crazy, running for Jesus. another top six finish. If they can beat Minnesota, this Astro, is that brother yep. is now having saying, back to back match wins after dropping six in a row, Ali. And I mean, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. That's how land gets. You know, Diamond Ken said they might have it online, but we get on land and it's a different story. Nameless, you called this they one said perfectly. We can't beat us when they matter. That's crazy, G, despite the numbers pointing towards the thieves, you felt the gorillas today. Let's roll some of the highlights. Yep. Talk to me about what you saw from our purple squad a fantastic series you know lag we saw it at major one the ability that these guys had on land one of the sticking points that i had going into the series was if you can't win control you cannot win series here in the cdl they do just that on a high rise a map that they were oh and four on throughout this split some great attacking rounds and then you heard in the interview diamond talking about the game to snd how important it was high rise is a map that they've liked throughout the stage two and oh on that defensive opening duels they were number one in the league there had five of them in that map so executed their strats basically perfectly when it comes to that defense this LAG team we kept preaching they have players that can turn up individually that can have big series we saw that in this one and we talked about Estrio a guy who can take over into control that's exactly what he did dropping 20 kills had almost 4,000 damage the most in the lobby Yo, what the see fuck not chill, chill, yeah, you know I would never wish that up on in that, the offseason uh, takeaways for me, at least on the LA Thieves side of things, bro. as we say goodbye to them. They will Krem not be to, showing up anymore for our Miami Krem needs to go and ask, might as uh, well. I don't think that's I think they sold in the round and search and destroy. Uh, LAG was playing a very, very slow attack and was giving them a lot of opportunities. They had a really bad game for but that's not, that's not why. Do it, even though that was working in the first half of map number two. And then, unfortunately, map number four, like... Can we get a mic on stage, by the way, to hear instant replays when they when they win like that? can slay out and those who cannot. LA Thieves had the fundamentals. They were hitting the rotations, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, they had a player going double neg, and when you're going point five, you're not going to win the trade battles that come in from an aggressive team <laughs> oh, like LAG that's, that's just hitting you. Blaming that brother? Breaks on the map. Nah, that's not so true, Bernard. Nah, she's trying to know. That was not Chris' fault, I mean, bro. I mean, no, she just capped. For the thieves, if you have a point five, you can't win. No, Atlanta, that's not true. For the second search against LAG, and that means it's going to be the Gorillas with our scuff play of the game, and I don't know if this is a fact, but. It's a pucket fact. This is the fastest control game I've what witnessed. It was seven it's a minutes and like 29 seconds. It's and a you mentioned it, Estriel. 4,000 damage yeah. in a half a game, basically. Yeah, it's the things you love to see. They were 0-7 in this uh, game. You're relaxing, of course, my son. They stick to their guns. They know their ability on land. They started right Joe off never the rip got with an attacking round. A lot of pressure over towards B. They end up capping that in the transition oh, over actually, towards Joe Ellie Pat. Not allowing thieves anymore. to get in their base and execute any traps. Taking your time, finding those trades. That's excellent Yo, communication. Out Yo, of LAG. Like they Sharon? them dry and getting Yo. all the kills in that round. And once you win a defense, you're up 2 0. LAG's -like backs are against the wall. They're worried. And here is the updated bracket at the end of all of the fighting. It is the Gorillas moving on. They will play against Minnesota to close out tonight. But we are not done here in the elimination bracket with Boston and Thieves now out of the competition. We have two more squads to send home. It's going to be Legion versus Surge, and immediately after this, Heretics versus Royal Ravens. Oh, man, I can't wait for these matches. Heretics have had the Royal Ravens number throughout this game so far. We'll see if Clayster and the guys can Does Clay go top 12, Thank bro? Thank you all for bro. tuning in so far. This is day two of four here at the Miami Just Heretics. Call me, brother. I'm not calling you, brother. When we come last back, Clayster and Carolina like I say, take it on the home crowd in Miami. I know McDonald's take TBT. I don't know that, Jay. I don't know that, Jay. How the fuck, Jay? What the fuck? 
blockchain, bro. You're not on EVT, bro. Why are you lying, bro? <laughs> I'm okay, just lying, bro. A soul tweet? No way. Upgrade your game with a scuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Adam was so talking that time. One of the best players, one of the best ARs in the CDO. GG Steves. One three one. Go fetch some dope on the plane ride home. Wow. And how long is that flight? How long is that flight? How long is that fucking flight? That flight is six hours long. Five hours and 49 minutes long. Sitting there thinking Adam Masol just gave me the meanest fucking back shots in the world. Ah. I'm trying to gas it up. Ah, I'm just reading what Twitter says, man. Dude, fuck, I feel bad for him, bro. Oh, holy shit, I actually be down so bad. I'd be down so bad, bro. I'd be down so bad. CDL TV, hopefully they didn't put my boy Tim here, because Tim is fucking horrible. Oh, yeah. oh, it's going on CDL TV, baby. <laughs> Nah, he didn't tell you that. You, you're lying, Jimbo. Whichever bomb site they choose to go to, 30 seconds on the clock, and well, Daisy's been seen, and he will drop off the map. Behind enemy lines. He's this getting loose early every round. Like, If I was home, I would have clipped you. What are you gonna clip me reading his tweet? Oh my god! First time I met Steve, he was playing for a team called the Ego Slaves. No, no. We were all playing Travis. I mean, not Travis. I'm actually never seen this tier list video. To the right crowd, I think. Calm down. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This is unbelievable. Steve's need to bring up Ross Maybe they bring in Hixie. Hixie? You think they bring in Hixie? All right, let's do this real quick. We have we have a little bit of time. All right, let's do this. Um, Spider-Man No Way Home. I think this movie was perfect. I think this movie was perfect. This is an MCU tier list chat. Lock in if you want to, you know, give your opinion. I think this movie was absolutely perfect. I love this movie. It doesn't hit the same when you rewatch the movie, though. I'm doing movies only, by the way. We're not doing TV shows, okay? We're doing movies only. It does not hit the same when you rewatch it, but it's an amazing, literally an amazing movie. I've never seen The Hulk, actually. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Am I crazy for that? I've never seen that about The Hulk. Bro, but it's, bro, this movie, really, amazing? Nah, it's perfect. It's amazing. This is a perfection movie. That's a perfect movie. I walked out of the movie theater so doped up. The Avengers, perfect movie. I'm only doing movie shots, so we'll go from here. We'll do movie, you know what I'm saying? Like this. We're, we're missing a lot of movies. I feel like we're missing a lot of movies here. Actually, no, we're probably not. I'm probably right now. Wait, Angel, what, what do you what, what do you disagree with, Angel? If it wasn't for the Avengers 1 uh, being such a hit. Bro, listen, I'm rating them walking out of the theaters. Or like maybe like after the second time you watched it. Like, it was amazing. It was an amazing movie. All right. Iron Man. Damn. Am I dick sucking? That's just tough, bro. Like, that's, that's just tough. We're only doing movies, movies, uh, Jay. I don't want to do TV shows because, I mean, I haven't seen all the TV stuff. Like, I haven't seen Ms. Marvel. I haven't seen... Uh, I am Groot. I haven't seen Warwolf at night. I don't know what the fuck that is, to be honest with you. Damn, they have so much shit nowadays. Iron Man is an amazing movie. Uh, like, amazing movie. Amazing. 
Iron Man 2, this shit was... It was fun. It wasn't... I don't like the word kind of boring. Is there a way I can edit that? Like... Not bad. Not good. Like, it was not bad, but it was not good. Actually, I'll put it on fun. I'll put it on fun. It was a fun movie to watch. Thor? Bro. Like... No, I'm not putting everything in S tier. Those were the only three movies that I see that are S tier. Oh, so I see a few more S tiers. I see a few more S tiers. I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually do see a few more S tiers. Yo, you like that, Jay? I, I love this song, Jay. I love this fucking this beat. Like ah. Uh, uh, I put it in not bad, but not not good. Like it wasn't a good movie. Like I can't rewatch that movie, for example. This one was dog shit. Thor: The Dark World was a horrible movie. That's what I'm saying. There is a lot of ice tier movies. Iron Man three. It was fun, but it wasn't like it wasn't amazing. It was fun. Captain America. This was amazing. This is the first one. Captain America, the first one. That was, movie was absolutely amazing. The Winter Soldier S tier perfection. That was a perfect. This was a perfect movie. I probably haven't read it like this. You can rewatch Iron Man 2, bro, but I'm not going off rewatching. I'm going off like how good it was after I watched it two times. Like at the movie theater, if I if I did. And then again after. You can rewatch Iron Man 2. Captain America movies were actually up, like all of, there's not a single mid of Captain America movie. All right, let's let's get this going again. Oh, they got a fucking beach balls there. There's also a matchup that has previously always been favoring Miami. Yeah, let's take a look here. At uh, we'll, we'll keep it going, chatting between the little. We'll go on to the break. The first squad. Kick me off here, nameless, because yeah. I know you know these guys very well. Yeah, you know Carolina. You thought that they were looking like they were going to be on the up and up, have a great stage, burst into our top six. Has not been the case. You know they had some. Yeah, I can't rewatch Thor. I can't rewatch Thor. They played a struggling heretics team and got. You didn't watch Captain America movies? What? Team, the AR duo has been struggling. Bro, Thor, Thor, the first Thor, bro, the first Thor, Chavo. You can rewatch the first Thor. Nah, they you crazy. To be better, especially the maps that these guys tried to play. They kept trying to play Invasion Hardpoint. That was never working out. Now you're going to start to see some I don't think I really haven't watched the first struggling. one. So for the, the Royal Ravens, a team that I should be good the, at respawn. I watched second. That was so bad. That's where they fight the, the, the little numbers, aliens, the little the guys that like the human the fucking this while we take in the reality stone. The monster Energy pregame. The stats are going to tell a story, but for me, my big concern, the numbers don't tell because Gwyn took to Twitter after their most recent loss and he kind of unloaded. He said, I don't care who takes offense to this. We should be winning these games. Does that affect the team's mentality now playing on land? I mean, I, you got to think maybe that's a mentality that all the team has if he feels uncomfortable posting it publicly online. But I like that you said, like, what's more of the vibes when it comes to this team? Because the last time they played up against Miami, like, even I have it in my notes, is it's really just the fundamentals that were hurting them. Nah, that's not true, Angel. What, Thor, that's Thor, that's Thor uh, Ragnarok is, is an ice-tier movie. Destroy. They just couldn't handle Miami aggression. They would get info, and they wouldn't do anything with it. So maybe some... Oh, don't watch, don't watch. If we're going to this map three right to four or two to three, I will are you, and you will be wrong again on this team in fellow and clay technically three you got tj too you gotta think somebody that's a tv that show we're not writing tv shows angel little, little man. This old time so it's very very simple mistakes you know sometimes we throw the word underperforming out to players who maybe haven't done it consistently fellow and clay have been players who have won championships who yes. can do it consistently they're legitimate ec 700 bruno yes sir unbelievable yeah. for these guys 4400 damage a hard point the yeah, guy she ho she ho was horrible it's i tried watching it was actually horrible young talent a player like that it hasn't been there speaking of young talented players miami is chock full of them of course you got lucky the old man on the roster still under the age of 25 but you got some young guns all speaking spanish with vico at 22 trying to lead this team to another upset can they get it done ali looking at this miami heretics lineup I mean, oh, brother, dirty. I'll be doing dirty. Let's get my right goat. Now they are sitting 2 0 when it comes to this specific matchup, and very specifically, B Cole. Let's get my motherfucking brother. He oh, yeah. always has a blast in the KD 
TD category when he gets to load up against the Carolina Royal Ravens. And I don't feel like we almost don't talk about V. Cole Nush because of how consistent he has been for this team throughout the entirety of this dude, game dude. to qualifier, even when they were losing in series. How are we doing today, my brother? Dirty. I didn't watch them. I just bet on them. It's crazy. Uh, defense kind of requires defense. Yeah, you not people. doing great when it comes to control right now. Uh, to be honest, neither of these teams are going to be great at that map number. No, 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 no. Was that what I said? Did I say here, you can't rewatch the one? The search and destroys. Uh, just making sure I was talking about that aggression that they showed in last time. I mean, and I guess. Their pace when they're falling slow. Well, it's tough because some of them I didn't see them in theaters. Yeah, you can see 12th so, uh, There's a little bit of, it's kind of tough. There's a little bias here. I can't lie to you. There's a little bit of bias here. You are correct. I'm barely getting my lunch. I work. Yes, sir. What we what we munching on, bro? Round 11s as well and search and destroy throughout this split. And you have a guy on your screen right now in Vickel who, as Ali mentioned, oh, yeah, this is about to start, brother. This is about to be a, ba a banger map. Great in the this is a big match, bro. Like, this team got top 12 last time. Last time, the other team got top 8. This is a really, really big match for points. For CDO points, super important match. This is going to be sloppy, fantastic five game series. Do you see this? Be in a mess all the way to a game five. Do either of these teams have the capability of a hot 3 0 and sending the other home? Uh, I don't think this will be a hot 3 0 simply because of the way I agree, Jabal. No I, 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 I do agree they're both in the same tier. Four. I will say, though, that Rio to open it up just they're both like last time. Keep Let me go piss real quick before this game starts. One second. Give me a second, guys. I'm not pissing. I'm not, side, I'm not leaving. I'm just pissing. Keep dropping 31. There's a look at Clayster. The man still got it, and the fans, they travel with them since oh, the yeah. beginning of his career. Yeah, they love him, man. The fans love Clay, and how could you not? He's been a part of so many fantastic franchises in the past. He's gotten so much done in his Call of Duty history, and you can see right now, stage one, he was top 10 almost across the board in the statistics. This stage, there's been a huge dip, slumping Raven, as you like to call it. He's a guy who can go out there and still put down a ton of damage. So don't be surprised if when we get to land, he starts feeding off that energy. He completely flips the script of this page. And how many rings does he have? He's got a lot. And, and, you, and you have a couple million for each of those rings <laughs> up for grabs. He's, he's making money and he's doing a pretty darn good job throughout his career. As you mentioned, though, those are the worst stats I've seen out of him. He has had an awful stage. Today, you got to turn up and land is exactly where he can do it. But with Clayster aside, Ali, I want you to kind of focus in on this Ravens, or, sorry, this Royal. Ravens team. Yeah. What do you need to see from Carolina? Is it comps? Is it better rotations? Where do you think is the big hole that you can fix by just watching VODs? It's the fundamentals, like I said earlier, which is funny to say about a team that has such older and veteranized play, pl players on it, is all of my notes that regards them is they're getting out rotated, they're getting out played, they're over committing to old time, they're getting information and doing absolutely nothing with it. So I'm looking for maybe some more leadership out of one of those vets to kind of steer the comms a little bit better. Nameless, let's take a look here at the road for the Carolina Royal Ravens because remember, they came off of that land and they almost sent Subliners packing with a hot 3-0. They folded in the final round of control and then games four and five. After that, your only wins came over Surge and LAG, who is in a huge slump. Yeah, you know, I think they just found themselves in a position where they're like, all right, we could actually make it into winners here. They went up against yeah, Heretics, maybe didn't take them as serious as they should have early on. They lose that map one and then they lose that. You go up against Vegas, who was playing some of the best Call of Duty of their Isn't lives. He, uh, Clay and they and this, the stage attached. with the 0 and 2 record there. Some homemade orange chicken, my supervisor brought me. This was an hard oh strength of God, schedule. That's fucking whatsoever. amazing. They should have made winners out Homemade this, orange chicken. You know, for this Royal Ravens team, we watched them at the last. No right, no right, no rice though. Like no like. These guys can't perform. Chat crowd. I got Something on the side. You know the players are told to be ready. So the players are ready. Chat. It is game time. Time for your scuff pickums, and I'm gonna have Allie start this one off Allie, you you're currently at 69 it's a great number can you break you're to tired. 70 though you're also at 69 no you might catch me with this one listen i went four for four yesterday i'm zero and two right now i'm going off the vibes instead of the stats i believe in the old man clay and the boys i'm gonna go the carolina royal Ravens. the carolina bounce back they fans so like that win. answer nameless your turn to make a jalapeno go heretics Yo. i think they take this they're six and one map counter bro, that sounds them. amazing bro, bro. i might even follow you up bro that sounds amazing it's your hometown major you got to win with this fan base. Look at these beach balls that are flying around. We got four of them in the building, and I don't think we get more than four games in this series. Miami Heretics get it done in the hard points. That's our scope. Yo. Official pick -em. Lock yours in in the chat right now and get ready to party. I we got Carolina. Guy Blaze, you ready? I'm so ready to get this one started, Chris. And I know Miami is hyped for this series as well. Are you? 
The first squad coming to the stage. It's going to be their first showing all weekend. Ready to attack from above. Get ready, because here comes Carolina. I got Clay. Especially if they're watching that fucking docu little documentary. I got Clay. looking in when it came champs time they're down low on our leaderboard they need to get some dubs and we've seen some miraculous moments from these guys in years past they have what it takes this team has been here before they got to go through the hometown team let's bring out heretics we definitely know they got the heart and they got what it takes but this is the hometown event of the miami heretics so get ready to make some noise for your squad because here they come Crazy intro, by the way. This is a crazy intro. Yeah, he was standing apart from. I saw that too. He's standing apart from everybody else. I saw that too. <laughs> and that metals, that metals, metals doing this always makes me laugh. I don't know why. But like, what a moron! He was like a moron. <laughs> We're posting clips against God our eggs. For sure. They need all the vamos in the chat and the venue. Blaze, ready to go? It's only day two. I bet the crowd is divided here, bro. Because everybody loves I mean, people love Blaze, bro. It's time to get this one people, started. Merc, Maven, let's roll. All right, Blaze, time to get it going. And yeah, here we are. We're in Miami. Miami, can you make the run? You know, it's been uh, it's been an interesting year for them. You start a bit slow. You get rolling. It's been up and down. down. A major one, obviously, not what you wanted. Can you somehow get the crowd behind you and make a run here? Yeah, I mean, the crowd's behind them. The families are here, right? You saw them jump out on the stage, get a little fired up. Uh, you know, this is a matchup that they've won before. Uh, they just saw it a couple of weeks ago on the Major 2 Qualifier. They've kind of owed it. They're 2-0 versus Carolina, so confident coming into this one. It's just tough because, like, you know, it, uh, when you're the home team. It's just not the, the same thing, bro. You, but if there were two teams that you were going to face where the crowd might be a little more split, guess what? It's Optic. It's a Clayster team. And there we are. That's what they have, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like where you might have the entire crowd behind you. It might be a little more split than maybe we expect just because uh, Clay usually got the people going for him. But what are your kind of opening thoughts just about this matchup? Well, I, I think both teams are just kind of struggling right now, right? Obviously, with is that Clay's old hair or is that his hair been always like qualifiers that. going into major one? We saw some progression, but that progression has really plateaued. Then on the other side for Miami, it's sort of you bring back Eric Boom, things not going so well. If, if I saw then Clay's controller, I would tell you if he's winning. Major two qualifiers, you went back to back, things start to look better but not good Vamos enough carajo. to you know beat an optic texas yet Vamos so the momentum for miami is getting there can they put it together now on land we'll see if they can get it done uh y'all see a chat face bumps out face bumps out one. i know chris kind of joked to somebody that chat said this might be one of those like kind of sloppy goes all the way to a game five um and, but those yeah, are I don't usually want to see Clay entertaining oh, so bro, get that some last. of that i'm down for it we're gonna take a look now at the hard point we get to watch the pioneer then we get to watch my brothers after this 
Then we get to watch Minnesota. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, much better for Miami, right around 50%. Uh, you see their hold and break. It's not really great on the other side, uh, but here for Carolina, five and eight. This is one where it, this was their strong mode when they made these roster changes, but you can see that has fallen off a bit. Five and eight now in their last 13. Yeah, and uh, you know, sometimes that's because you're working on other modes. The improvements are coming there. There just haven't been drastic improvements elsewhere, and you've had a bit of fall off in the hard points. So it has definitely made it a struggle, but uh, it's land. Anything can change. Teams can ramp it up. You just need a hot day, a hot weekend. So maybe you get a bit deeper in this. You know, the first major, you're able to win one series, get into the top eight. If you are Carolina, let's get him, my little brother, Bruno. Yo, Bruno, I appreciate further, you, Bruno. Two top go, eight on YouTube. Gentlemen, Anybody watching go, on a different Miami website, guys, thank you all so much, man. Lock in map Carolina one, Royal second Ravens. or third match Three of the day. To start us Damn, off. third match. Over. Well, right into the contest. It's a banger first map already, too. Are out for these teams as we head into this P1. Well, Heretic's going to win the first couple of gunfights. Find that time. She got lucky with the MCW bridge side. Finds one. And there we go. Gwynno, we just saw his stats. Him and TJ get a takedown three. It's all down to Metals, who really oh yesterday. And that's Gwyn with three. Yeah, he had around like a .5 or something, right? Like, just got body. Remember what Gwyn tweeted last time we saw him play? He was just lost, just lost to those shitters on Vegas. Series, uh, see if he can pick it up for sure. But Gwyn is hot so far the multi kills coming through and flurries five in a row for him building towards this streak everybody spawning out now for the heretics yeah that's just it right you're gonna get this spawn out you are gonna have some time before the hill pops to work up the map but you gotta deal with the players in the hill and that is seven in a row now for Gwyn he's got the crews some extra utility in the arsenal Holy to work shit. with and that's just gonna make this p2 a lot of body, body shots this weekend chat a lot of body shots this weekend already two a lot of shit talk this weekend i like it over the top Eric Boom trying to work through that pinch through connector, but that didn't happen as TJ cuts him down. He'll cut him down, but you still have everybody set up deep and a safe spawn for Clay. will be back alley and trying to get back into the action. TJ, a streak. Gwen, a streak. The I forgot, Bruno. You picked you pick Miami, Bruno. I picked Clay. No, Significant lead now starting to build. Oh, shit. TJ on a seven. TJ on eight. Nine. Oh, my God. <laughs> TJ is eating the lobby. I mean, like the opponents at the it lobby. Might be, but it's still a lot of cod left, but a very strong start for that sub duo. Then this is a map we just saw these two teams play. Miami was able to win it 250 to 194. So can they rebound? The problem now, when you start to get going, you're gonna have two cruise missiles to deal with on the opposite side. They need this P3 and Vickle, he's gonna find two to get this set up, solidify their hold. Yeah, and he had one going into that. So maybe get something going. You're kind of getting slapped around a little bit by Gwyn and TJ. Now can you answer- Remember chat, Fellow's been playing bad too, chat. So it's a big match for Fellow too. Here, staying up Gwen, People were saying draw Fellow. Fellow's only gonna land. Oh my God, shooting still bodies, shooting really bodies. Really Yeah, but he's just trying to show some love, some extra love, because they are frying on the map. A great break at P3, and you just see all Carolina blue in the feed time and time again. This might get out of hand a little bit too quickly here for Miami. Yeah, it's like as crazy as it seemed. As lost size, it's been 80 points. Like, you're still okay. But yeah, second Playoff by streaks. second, it gets worrisome. Plus, you have the streaks. Now you're on four in a row if you're clay. Can you add a third streak to the back pocket of this arsenal? Number five, ready and waiting. A step ahead at all times is Royal Ravens right now. As he looks to get his streak, one streak is called in. Here we go. He gets the streak as well. He gets the oh, streak. So another well, cruise. Like, and they that, little that moments like that are so checky. Just go into the garage, bro. P2, and then the cruise missile Javi literally is going to die from boxes. Javi is dead. Whoever that medals, bro. Hey, you know, listen. Everybody gets one. Why not? I'll hit the fellow. You need two more. And maybe already one earned for everybody on the squad. But the hot hands continue. 15 in seven, though, for Gwen. As he is the lead man, the point man. Just dropping bombs early and often in this, and he gets eyes and two in the cross. We'll see if he can connect with any kind of. This is about to be at the first real hundred point club. Holy shit! Continues to roll the lead, getting more it's and more. 20 seconds to sell break here for, for, for Miami, obviously. Time that finally Miami gets back into the hill. The objective is to get a little bit of confidence, momentum going into that P5. Again, it's happening in this moment. You finally get some numbers around the objective and Carolina. Big roto here, bro, but they're late already because they're fighting it. scrab. Number Doing five is going to get two piece, two piece. Points. We're not even to P5 yet. Hold on, Javi shooting. Hold on. Give Javi one second. Yeah, so well, you're averaging what? About six a hard point somewhere in the ballpark. If you are heretic.
politics. Yeah, you're not going to win if that's going to be the case. But now maybe this has got to be the moment. You got to get some time and rally this into our next set of hard points. Because it's already just, I'm wondering if it's too little too late. It has just been so, so good for Royal Ravens. Yeah, I imagine maybe you use a cruise here the way that they're setting this up. No, they're just going to go top middle. I thought potentially going to call one here at the bridge. Okay, so they're like, just getting damn. position and now they're going to vibe for control. Here comes the missile and it's going to connect again. Another double out of clay. And now you're on to it is Gwyn with the comms. He knows where the last player is at. This is not only going to set them up for wow. us to P5, but also put them in the hill I mean, for bro, P1. They're in literally, bro, Jesus, I mean, just gone. Not only do you get the streaks early, but the fact they're getting a pair of kills. Like, it's been unbelievable so far. Clay building towards streaks once again, but another multi there so for Bickle. Fight, like, That's I don't his know how third or fourth throughout. Okay, okay. I apologize, guys. Uh, the CBO. The streak in here on land in Miami. Let's go to listen in right now with Royal Ravens. I'll give your point down for the chat. I'm staring at you. I'm staring at you. They could have been right. I'm staring at you. 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 I'm staring at
situation if you're able to do it. But the Good opening use. kills from Carolina Good may be enough to Bobby. close this one out. Gwen looking for a 30 bomb. There's 29. He was shooting bodies early. It's the confidence. It's flowing for this young man as Gwen continues to make plays and shuts down the map one. A burner from Royal Ravens. And that's just really it. I, I mean, just right from the get go. You get Jesus. Win, what, 10 and 8 between both of them. That was the a scary match, man. That was a sc I mean, scary map. That was a scary with. map. It, it is just a too large of a lead for Miami to get back into it. I mean, yes, you have all the cruises. Guys, the problem is it. Listen, taken away from you. now it, it, it becomes a thing of. Do Miami have yet to win a map on land? That is a. It's a kid that's been hard on himself. At seven times. map I mean, lost pick like, on land. I feel like it's like every other series tweet out. Like, Bro, seven <laughs> maps best, like, lost in a row on really land. Has been consistent. I know maybe not popping off like that at all times. Have a good, amazing day at work, uh, uh, Dirty. I no, appreciate yeah, you coming through and supporting on a different website, man. Thank you so, so much, bro. Have a good rest of your day, bro. I'll catch you tomorrow. Is that 10? Wait, I'm tripping. It's 10. Oh, no. I mean, the damage is there. Again, they start to stabilize the game a bit. I think maybe that's a good sign if you are a Miami fan. It feels like the second half of that game. Because that could have been at 250. That could have been a 100 point club easily. It, it became competitive, oh, yeah. right? Whereas, like, yeah, it looked like the doors were getting blown off that one. And you were mustering absolutely nothing out of that if you were heretics. But, no, you're right. I mean, dude, the first first three to four minutes, the kill people just blew the entire time. Like, I, every time they spawned up, they were going on five in a row. Yeah, just felt spree after spree. But now maybe, uh, you know, kind of obviously calm down if you are Miami and talk to your coach. Get ready for this SD. This has been a weakness uh, for this Carolina team. There's one in four in the last three days in search and destroy. It's been the problem since this roster has formed. No, it has. Um, not that. Listen, neither of these teams have enjoyed a, a lot of success. I mean, maybe early on in Major One, probably the best stretch for like Heretics. But all, all you've really had for Carolina is like you've had a stretch of like solid hard point maybe when Fellow came in. Um, but there's not been a lot to like praise them about. There hasn't been. They've been working. Ah, uh, depends. Land in. How we doing? Land in. What's good, my brother? Yeah, sometimes when the online struggles are there, you get. As long as it's not too late, good. Yes. Know. You, you get something going. Yeah, you get to land your first matches on a Friday. You have a couple. That's of the plan, good. On the new maps, one live with Vista and Compound only eights. Only, only. Uh, unfortunately for so them, we'll run Vista, really Hardpoint, then Compound, Hardpoint, so. then Vista Control. We'll see what they have. Then this map uh, Compound Control, so then uh, over again. The improvements, obviously, for them in that mode. Vegas versus Seattle, yeah. then Rocker yeah. LA Thieves. Yeah. Or, yeah. I apologize, yeah. LAG. Breath, the benefit of uh, you know, having different modes in this esports is you get to slow things down a little bit now for the yes, uh, they added both of those maps forever game for Royal Ravens. We now look gonna take a look at the game flow overall, and yeah, I think we'll probably see uh, how they start to claw back in it. Yeah, I mean, it's or departures, start, uh, me departure. Yeah, very my bad, not compound, departure. Carolina, but then you kind of see, excuse me, goodness, excuse me, I apologize. You see the 190 to 132, that's when they really start to bring it back, but. It kind of stops there, plateaus there. Is Carolina able to find the map one victory? Yeah, over the last, like, well, close to the second half of the game, like, last 40%, you play them pretty even. Like, you definitely started to get competitive and maybe start to build a little bit of confidence for this search and destroy. But House, are you are you nervous about, about tomorrow, House? The last time you played against Optic, you guys got 15-1. In the round base game modes, it was back shots of hell. Back shots of hell. Only won one round in the Little round base game modes. Inside red, inside and three maps. The bomb sites, but, uh, I think Zero fights. It's a lot of sort of retail Are you nervous about tomorrow, in House? In the middle of the map. Like just those early gunfights, uh, we'll see how they start off. Yeah, and, uh, you, and on the other side, like when we've been, you know, talking Royal Ravens and watching some of their search and destroy, I think you kind of nailed it. We're casting them last. Like, what situation where they're kind uh -huh. of playing as a, a group or maybe on a retake or uh -huh. something? Uh -huh. Trade effectively, they've been all right. Uh, but hey, like Travis, remember that, spreading. Travis. Remember that, Travis. And you get deeper into the round with these little kind of uh, that, decisions. Like, they have struggled. Yeah, no, they have. We'll, we'll see. We'll just yes, uh, Jarrell. He is on the team, Jarrell. Into this one, but... You know, just looking overall on the year, I mean, for uh, Carolina, you're 0-3 on Karachi S&D, 1-2 for Miami Heretics, so maybe an opening here if you are Miami. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, a lot, of the, a lot of the stats can be rather negative just due to the, where these guys sit in the overall Ooh. standings. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Lucky, though, for his stage two qualifier. And we did see Optic against, against who was it? Against Miami? Miami? That shit was seven. not close we'll at all. Holy shit, shit was back shots. That shit was back shots of hell. 
I chat pioneer gameplay chat lock in Pioneer gameplay advantage for Carolina Royal Ravens right up the gut here in the search Gwen wants to get busy again but it's Bickle with the MCW and the angle to get that first blood TJ in trouble desperation smoke to try and stay up and the help wow. comes in he's basically using the base they're about to win around where they're trapped middle Miami Joe they're trying to get these players out of the middle of the map quickly but you had Clay watching over his teammate TJ then finessing and all of a sudden you have to catch a really good time here two. that could have been a very quick round for Miami but three is flanking him though just enough cover ah it's unlike there number seven so far Carolina to play federal brother you are literally Go deeper and deeper as this gonna be fellow in a one versus two. See if fellow can potentially clutch up quickly. Fellow should have tried getting to his teeth right there, like no. just and a little bit. The first time the crowd here for Miami able to. Oh, you guys two times. Make sure you two times. Two times is a J. It's a J. Opening hard point, but you get on the board and search. And also, like Vickle's first kill just kind of slow yeah. down that opening hit. I mean, if you're thinking that's rival range, he's probably in a good spot, but I still kind of used to the cover and camera. Yeah, you saw the stun hit, and uh, I mean, you're thinking maybe that's a first blood for Carolina, but doesn't happen. He's ready for the gunfight, and then to, to see medals earned, too. I mean, you think about stage one, the qualifiers, I, I mean, sort of him and Journey with rivals at times, they were sort of setting the meta on the map. When they got going, they were so tough to stop, and yesterday he has a tough one. Can he bounce back? <laughs> well, well, or that naked bounce <laughs> into his back. Pocket, yeah, we'll see him in round three. Good, that was a uh, nice little caster curse. Look at, there. look at number, look at number six. Uh, look at number six. TJ just three, heard that. Three, that was then the three v two is uh, the round flipped on its head as Miami Heretics take advantage. We'll see if Eric Boom. Oh, nice to get the info there with the shoulder and get away. Doesn't get caught. It's placed here in TJ. Well, he, 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 he felt up. trapped. Two 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 here for a moment, but did. Eric Boom going boom again with the rival now. Eric Boom going boom. TJ one versus three. I mean, you pretty much had it two on two on this side of the map, and it, I mean, Clay's ready for it, but the rival going to connect. I think he just closed the door. TJ. Yo, he Maybe just closed the door. The, the route. The, the, the dash clip. Lines. He's just like a little too far behind. I thought. Yeah, like yeah they're just gonna rotate to B now. Yeah, at the time he was a little better. Maybe he I can said. get one as they're rotating across, but it's not gonna happen. Now this gets real difficult. The gig's up. He knows they don't wrap through to A. As soon as he hits mid, he is in trouble and dropped. Nice response there. That's the Jeske the spot, the Jeske spot. The connects on the medals. Eric Boom gets two or three in the round inside of red. With the rivals winning multiple gunfights. Able to tie up the map. I'm sorry, put them up too well. Yeah, there we go. That's what I meant. <laughs> so far, so good in the search now. Clay, really, <laughs> he's got two, but... Not much to talk about on the Royal Raven side. Eric Boom, though, yeah, three in the round. Carries this three streak through. We'll see if he can keep that. Maybe build towards. I was about to say, please don't restart, guys. Still like, ways to go. He'll be kind of a lone man. They kill so much day. dope. Last time you're straight up the gut of your Royal Ravens. This time, a lot of action mid map again. They're trying to bring the pressure as Vickle that slowed this down. This time, though, he's going to be sitting over by B. Yeah, I mean, obviously, this is a very common spot. You kind of have a crossfire with Lucky to help him out. But there you go. Shots are in, and now there you go. You're going to reposition unlucky. on both sides. As well, they're going to be asking for teammates' support to, to get them out of trouble, and they do just that. Damage all over the place, but it's Vickle that's ultimately going to drop. He had those opening shots, but it's Gwen this time getting a little bit of revenge from that round one. Eric Boom still up and working on this streak. Uh, Koda, there's three more matches today. Shoulder there to get for mid. Actually, Sun, two more. I lied to you, Koda. Two more matches. Comes through. He's Vegas versus he's Seattle Surge and Minnesota Rocker versus yeah, well, LAG. Going on. Bomb being planted. Ooh, Ash, shots, nice dude. shots for medals. Not with the or not with the rival, but with the MCW. And then lucky to bring it back. So they offer the retake. They give up the B bomb site. Playing for mid map, and they find two picks. And this is twice now. We got a first blood for your Royal Ravens. You're in a four v three, and you blink your eyes, and it's a three v two. Will it happen again? Or can maybe they clutch up? Clay Gwen. needs to live here. Clay trying to do it. Gwen with another one. He's got both kills in this round. First Bickle, then on to Eric Boom. Clay goes Good big. Now two. you got a two on one. This round is just back and forth all over the place. Good you get all two. the kills or if you're Royal three, Ravens. Big fucking round. It looked good big for Heretics round. for a moment, but you clutch up, and I feel like you needed that one if you were Carolina, because that'd be, now two rounds you probably should have won. Yeah, I mean, there's two things, right? You obviously get the bomb down, Lucky's able to find that player, but the last two in Clay and Gwyn, you had no idea where they were. Gwyn obviously found Vickle early in the round, but he could have repositioned because they gave up that area of the map, and then you had no clue where Clay was. So there was just so much room to cover. 
What's good, Koda? Nice to meet you, Koda. What's good, my brother? How we doing? Or my sister? You know, I don't know. Obviously, they know what I'm saying. It's 2024, you know. Sensational job. Just get them. How we doing, man? Thank you for coming through. I appreciate the love. And you've got a three-on-three fight that may be coming in early. Over towards B. Keep it like, yep, five and two are gonna be the first gunfight. Keep it on number one though, Chad. Number one against number eight. To get the shots in. TJ still looking for on the right, on the right side of the map. Can they isolate somebody early? Is Felody gonna get positioned over towards bridge side? This might just come down to like, you have three players here. This is a hard counter, or do you wait for Eric Boom if you are Miami? That might be the play, or is it not? Metal's just gonna go Metals, for it, but TJ I mean, why? first blood. He almost catches him sprinting, like almost makes the play, but TJ with the rival able to get back. ADS and center in oh. time. Air Boom brings it back. And once again, that's a, a four on three to a three v two quickly. But this time, you at least get the kill in the trade to get us to this two versus two. Bomb wrapping out towards A now. And what timing does Gwen get? Let's see. What timing does he get? Does he cross? Does he commit Boom to save plans? He commits seven. Clay is right near this bomb. Shooting at middle alley. I He's imagine Clay cross. has an MCW. And I think Air Boom just rips him. So great shots from him to make this into a two v two. He heard the door open. Lucky. Just trying to reposition. For example, just like little Lenny things like that. That online, you hear that all day. To Bickle now last alive in the one versus two. 30 seconds to go. Nade for info. Not going to connect, so he's still lurking. Oh, that timing. Not going to come up with a clutch. Two, two. spell with the shots in the back, and we are tied up 2-2. Two, two. Let me get a Gwen interview. Gwen, once again, a big Gwen is the best rookie? I think, uh, yeah, I think, I mean, I like lanes a lot, though. Koda, I like lanes a lot, too. I'm not a lot of you. Get prone. Then Vico only has to worry about, I think about, as of like, right now, especially I mean, with Snoopy getting back-to-back top, back to back top right, 12s, he, I think it'd be, uh, lanes and well, Gwen, nobody else. But it kind of all relied on him and his position getting away from the bomb. But Maybe Gio said, in the future? Gwen hears him, and then you just have so much of the map to, to look around. He just right The timings don't go his way. He's just right on the other side. He's here, like, sliding. That's probably going to be a kill. And No, you're right. If he gets there safely, you're probably okay but doesn't happen and now Gwen four straight for him he earned a cruise in about 45 seconds nah, in the map good. one <laughs> a little he's more at, he's at this advantage because he joined so late fired right back into this to tie it up now looks like a heavy hit over towards a air boom gonna be the lone man here we'll see how quickly maybe a rotation comes in you guys are forgetting how good lens it's is coming through now one all the way back through the rally, rally one sure kind of through the mid cut is you're looking for the opening now for your Royal Ravens. I mean, it's it's a very odd push here from Royal Ravens. They kind of go through A towards middle in top red. And they get Fuck. TJ into this position, and it okay. works out. It's almost like catching them on the rotation. You still have Eric Boom in the spot, but he gets picked. So, man advantage. And meanwhile, Lucky is all the way in the attacking spawn. And they're trying to hunt him down. They're trying to rotate and find Lens Lucky. Is not good. Yeah, okay. See if they can wrap this back. Can Lucky get Lucky? The answer is a resounding yes. Clayser with his back turn. Lucky gets the kill. Now the timing works out on the other side. It's Luck all around the place as the bomb of Suzanne and now it's Gwyn last alive. He's been clutching these rounds. Can he be clutch again? Yeah, has to be spotted there, right? He has to be spotted. He was right above Lucky, and there's the comm. Oh, so a two yeah, versus a three. three. Two again, and like, maybe hey one of those rounds where you, you overthink a little bit. 100%. Like, you, you have the sights. You don't opt for the bomb plant, and what happens? Yup, Perch. Yup, I like that, Koto. You're going to fit right in, Koto. I like that. That's what I like right there. Perch. Waits patiently, he finds the first, and the one-on-ones go their way. Exactly. I mean, they're thinking maybe he, they're going to catch him on rotation, right? Just take that two-on-one, but... Instead, it looked like yeah, Clay, right as he turned around, just unfortunately lucky got the angle, and that's a frustrating one, but you continue to battle. Now, it is all four from Royal Ravens going to be at this B-side. This is the definition of a potential hard counter, depending on how these fights will go, but you've got bodies here. Eric Boom going to be the low man not really in this fight early on. And it's like they have no idea that they're oh, in this spot. Oh, oh, oh we got the same time. That time not going his way. Clay we got to book it. Blood. Fly on through his vehicle. Trade. Find the first. The trades go the down trade? in no, the trade? attacking okay. spawn. And Lucky just somehow he's at least able to get out with his life. I thought he was caught. <laughs> right move but Clay's just okay, still sure. holding it in there. A little bit of revenge on the Lucky here. Boom. Not really the three, three, really right, no get into it now. Shit. Can't stick on the second player behind the broken pillar. Oh, oh! And back and forth we go. Whew. 
And that's just a great round. I mean, obviously you're there for the B bomb set, but really that's to take mid control away from Miami. That has been a pivotal point on the map for both of these teams on attack. And that is just a hard counter. The nades are hitting, you're getting top AC, but when they realize there's nothing in the middle of the map, they just kind of keep going, trying to find a timing. Because if they did happen to go A, you would have two so quick on the flank, but they're able to spot heretics and take him down. Oh, yeah. No, they What's up? I'm drinking coffee today, Travis. Real quick. <laughs> That's for sure. But 3 3, here we go. Clay, 7 and 4, leading the way for all players currently in the lobby. You talked a lot about the importance Carter, of the question, question, Carter, but did you enjoy watching the flank more or the breakdown more? The second he gets out. I was yawning and not flexing. But I can flex. A trophy for coverage, but he's just caught right when he gets out there. Yeah, doing the Jesky play, doing the Jesky play. Right when that drops. I listen, yeah, right here, so you wait for a little bit of info. You don't have to play. You, you kind of like burn the clock. Carolina. Trying to find a pick to even the odds and maybe His last name the chat was going on. Let's have a little shorty. He knows it's a double chow. The first one is bait from Vickle to allow Metals to get an easy read, but it doesn't happen. Fellow was ready for it. That's Metals twice now. Kind of, I mean, a little bit different of a play, but kind of getting caught thinking he has a freebie from that spot and doesn't happen. But it is oh, an MCW this time. Right there. Why maybe you take that chow? Maybe the New York team is a rival. He the MCW because that's somewhere where he hits the shots Fellow books to the right here. Run away right. Bomb planted now. He's dead. Fellow just praying he can get away from maybe those shots ain't gonna help him do just that, and they do. Clay, the centering. That's on unlucky Vickle for Vickle, will drop bro. Now to a two versus two is the hot game for Clay continues. And he's continues going the whole way around. He's just wrapping this. He is wrapping this, and they are not ready for it. More information there for Clay. Fellow's gotta stay up. Fellow, why he does Fellow die props, there, man? So will they be there? Ready for him. Spots one. Nice trigger discipline. One versus one. Five in a row for Clay. 15 you, seconds on the clock. You're not going to expect this, but do you have time? Do you have? Oh! Time oh! Look, he's locking out. <laughs> the clock working against. Him. Oh! oh, oh. Clutch on up. Bomb planted. controller just lined out. That is why you don't run with your pistol, chat. Right AR. Oh, Just a, man. a series of timings that could have gone catastrophic or fantastic for either side. I thought it went really well moments. for Miami. Yo, Leslie, Leslie, Platita. Really Leslie, Leslie, Leslie Platita. How we doing, Shorty? is repinching mid. When he doesn't find the kill top AC, then Miami knows. All right, he, I mean, LA Jameson for his face. Well, at first, I thought both players were pushing under the arch, but one lingers a little too long, and Holy he's got the shit. trigger discipline to make sure he's got the kill, and lucky, unfortunately, a pistol. Oh, Cora, like, I appreciate you coming yeah, through, Cora. Much love, bro. I appreciate so you coming through, Cora. Much love. I don't know if he would have had time to get back or not, but... I have another close. question, Cora. Cora, who is your least Orton favorite flag member? Is, Clay, is it, is it the little man, Haggy? Is it Aches, Ben? Nice little first pick here for Miami. Then you don't have to over rotate if you don't want to if you're Carolina because you still have one in this position. Well, so I number don't, I don't seven, think fellow, can stick would you be married? Shorty, like what the hell? Oh, TJ died so early in all these rounds, dude. <laughs> like, let's say you were married. I was like, it's damn. You know, hy this is a hypothetical. I was like, damn. Leslie looking fine as hell. It wouldn't really matter if you were married or not. You know what I'm saying because honestly, they have the reach. This is going it's to be just a an, observa boom, an observation. You know what this is pretty much a three on three. I'm not B. saying it was just an yeah, example. Kind of similar to that, that hard counter around the sense of one man kind of not in the play. You want him numbers this time if you're Royal Ravens, but you'll take a three on three. Eric Broom's going to have to start getting over. How will the time he beat for him? Because you take it. You go two for one if you're Royal Ravens. Now Eric Broom needs to be actually know he plays the yep. offsite. You try to pick it up. I mean, but it's Clay. Clay, Clay, Clay clutches this shit. Timing. Clay trying to get there quickly for the trade. The stun. Hits. Oh, Clay yep. One by one. Finish it. It's against Vickle. He got the kill. Now one versus one, but so little time. To get the bump through, they get it in. You see what I'm saying, Leslie? And now the one versus one. Oh my God! He's, he's back bridge, and he's not. He's not back bridge. So he's going to take a while looking in this position. Vickle just going to peek for a moment, but still. There's so no much way Javi just stays here, right? With. There's no way Javi just stays here. Four Clay to defuse this bomb. Okay, check it, check it, check it, Clay, check it. Another one versus one. Oh, oh shit! I just pointed at him. Talk to him. Ah, oh, he's doing my brother like that. That's brother on brother violence. Brother on brother violence. As we take a look at this replay, I thought at first I loved the play from Vickle, but then he's stuck, right? Sooner or later, he is going to check this spot, and that's what happened. So, bomb goes down. He's able to find the first one. Here's the reposition, the shots from his point of view, and you just have that was the just eye there. As soon as he peeks that, he hits the head shots Yo. and he gets to the fuse. A hit first I don't know. Too, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The high ground, the head shots I just hate a play. spot like a that because it's like 60 40, even th maybe even 75 25. Because if they check it, bro, now you are fucking dead. 11 5, a round away from a 2 0 edge. And despite the fact the search. Did you hear what I said, though, Plata? 
merely a crazy ass for them most sure. of the year. They've got the advantage now. Can they close it There's out better ways round? of saying it, though. Oh, there's not. I'm from the hood, shorty. That's the best you go get, shorty. I'm from the hood. Like over here, we said, "Hey, shorty, you can find us." It's a bit of a, a changeup kind of in the defensive setup. I feel like first blood hasn't mattered too often on this map. I didn't miss anybody. I just said her name is crazy. Her last name is crazy. Down, so it reminds me of Narcos. This, gonna do that. Get that objective, and now it's just a question of what do you do to find through the middle of the map. Yep, they're out and hunting. How efficient will the hunt be? But one's so just playing the so same spot again. Why would you play in Scott? Gwen finesse, finesse tries to stay up, but Metal's able to just get the shots in around the pillar. TJ, who's had a bit of a rough good play, game. Good play, good play. Ah, the pioneer didn't okay, commit so to middle. Go middle of the map, but he's gonna be that spot to help his teammate. He's gonna spot Metal's. Oh. Never know. Now it's down. And lucky a chance to make up for a chat. We saw him lag out, out in the one v one. Two or is this a two? A full lag out in the one v one. Bomb moving over towards the A site. You get the spot for info now if you are lucky. Yo, Leslie, As who are you talking to, shorty? Like, we'll get back to lucky here momentarily. He are you rich, though? Like, I'm trying to find that. Are you rich? Here we go. Yeah, Clay's able to get away from the bomb after planning. Now, how do you want to set this up if you are Royal Ravens? Looks like TJ's down low and then play over towards ticket. So, a la the two man set up, and lucky has so much to clear. You're not wrong on that. So many different spots to check. Time's dwindling. The kill is through. Royal oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh no, we dropped the controller. In this best of five. Now, Leslie, this, this question. They love him. Are you an American he citizen, Leslie? A, a map, too, from him. Some clutches. Reading the map well. But it was a battle. I mean, both teams had numbers. 11 in a row. That's what I gave. each other opportunities with some clutches. Uh, Miami especially had a lot of rounds they probably want back. No, no, you're not. You're not. Right, we are back, back to the. You pretty much every the, single kill is non traded uh, back, <laughs> back to the tier list, bro. Back to the tier list. Right? Okay, yeah. so you yeah. are an American citizen, for sure, for sure. We're not being federal. I right, chat, five minute break between my uh, two to three, man. I know the drill, man. Get you a snack, get you a bed, hit the bathroom real quick. It's all you. We got a little break. Uh, Miami has yet to win a map on land. They're now 0 and 12 on land and maps. So, um, yeah, I feel bad for these guys, man. I don't know what to say. I feel bad for having the boys. All right, let me fix my list real quick. I like this better. Actually, I like this. I like this. This is better. I like my, finish my list. Let me finish my list. I'm cooking right now. I was cooking. I was cooking before the game started, but I had to stop cooking because the match started. You know what I'm saying? Uh, damn. This was, I actually, I actually really like this movie, but it was, I would even say maybe not even bad. Not, I actually really like the rewatch on this movie. Though, I can't lie. I know I said rewatch doesn't count, but I, I'm changing that up again. I think Thor and fun. It's the first Thor, though. It was fun. I got six proposals. A little snaggy. Feel me? God damn, you're like a fucking king, bro. Like a fucking king. Another S tier. I know y'all are going to get mad, bro, but this is an S tier movie, bro. This was this movie is S tier. No bullshit. It was the lead up to Infinity War. At the end, we saw Thanos' ship over Thor's ship. Yo, best ending ever. That's S tier. That is S. This movie is S tier. Super duper S tier. Literally a god like movie. You can rewatch it too. You can literally watch it whenever you want. Uh Black Panther. Damn. I feel like this got chat. I feel like S tier, right? Or no, like it's S tier, it's amazing. I promise you. Like you can rewatch it too. You can rewatch Black Panther. It's a good ass rewatch. Yeah, I, I like can make something, Travis. I feel like we have too many S tiers already. I have too many S tiers. Ant-Man, amazing. I love the Mexican guy. I fucking love the Mexican guy in the movie. That movie was so good. It was funny. It was unique. I don't know who... I don't know who... Uh, I don't know who Ant-Man was until I watched this movie. Like, I didn't read the, the comics or anything, but this movie was so good. I remember first watching it, bro. It was such a good movie. Such a good... I th that is facts, Travis. Good-ass movie. Guardians of the Galaxy! Oh, bro, this is amazing too. Bro, God damn. This movie's amazing. 
That movie was amazing. You think S tier? Nah. Really? Over? Really? Guardians of the Galaxy S tier. Really? The first one, let me think. It was 2014. It was 2014. I remember when it came out. I'm going to leave it on amazing just because I never saw it when it first came out. Like, I never saw it like it first came out. But it was the first movie that ex that that, ex that like explored the like the outer world and stuff. I like it. I'm gonna leave it on amazing. But that's one of my favorite movies, for sure. Oh, this one was bad. I don't think it was dog shit, but it was not. It was like it was not good. It was not good. This one's not good. Guardian Galaxy Volume Two was not a good movie. I don't know what happened in that to that but it was not good at all it was so bad so fucking bad or like nah it was just not good captain america civil war i feel like it didn't live up to the hype bro it was amazing but i was no s tier bro it wasn't it was an s tier s tier nah and i love this bro it didn't live up to the hype bro like I was going into like, yo, this movie's about to be crazy. It's gonna be godlike. This, that, like. Okay, okay. You guys convinced me. Like, maybe it is this too. We had to see Spider Man too for the first time. Everybody fighting. Okay, okay, okay. I'll put it like. Put it like right here. Okay, okay, okay. We're. But also, they have a lot of implications going into. Into. Into fucking Infinity War. Actually, I don't know if this movie is amazing. It'd be fun. It'd be the top of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think a uh, home. I don't think. Uh, what is it called again? This was called No Way Home. This was called Lost Home or something like Far From Home. Yeah, Far From Home was it was okay, but all right, back to the game. Back to the game. Hold on a second. We'll, we'll talk about after. Talk about after. If you are heretics, you're in it wasn't no amazing, but it was not bad they need at all. You. They need the vamos at home and in the venue. They need you desperately. No, they do. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to a high-rise control. You just played this team a couple of weeks ago, and it's been a 3-0. Uh, it was a 3-0 for Carolina. So, I mean, by the map one, my, maybe this is an opposite series. So, you never know. An opposite series. Yes, yeah. sir. I like that. I like that. Best I MCU of all time. Nah, that's Cap. I just Cap because, you know, you and I have talked about this a lot with Clay. Maybe in regards of, like, over the course of his career, visual effects. Is that Maven shit? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Raven? Oh, probably not. Oh, Maven, Maven and not. Raven. That, that, that rhymes. I'm going to pretend that was a Maven chant. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> it works for me. <laughs> but no, Raven, Raven. makes a lot more, <laughs> a lot more sense. Uh, but uh, yeah, we get ready. We're loading up. It's going to be control on high rise. Damn, I feel bad for Did these guys. They're getting yelled at. They're down on two. They're, they're, they haven't won a map. Raven's one. last time. They got the ice to close out here, but as I was saying before, they started chanting my name. Um, <laughs> Clay, just you know how it is, dude. When he's hot, like when he's bro, like, what do you even do? Bro, not well, a single like, map on land. Usually, yo, you know, like, you use that through the series. Yeah, but at times he's kind of cooled off, right? The next yeah. map, we, we yeah. out of one yeah, map on land, start to lose, 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 lose some challenges. But yeah, you, you would imagine. Oh hi. They are. He had a really this. tough game yesterday, Travis. Oh. To be fair, he had a really, really tough, right uh, not tough game, tough match for both of these squads on this one. But Carolina. I'm out here in Miami. I saw that. I saw it way before the broadcast. Did I was looking at the wrong street? I started getting excited. I'm like, wait, we're looking at stats. Their hips do not lie. Oh god, neither do yours, Joe. They call you young Italian Shakira as they light it up on the feed. Carolina Royal Ravens find this might be over right there, bro. Four down, a clean four down. Going spawn trapping. They're triple stacking the point. In a great spot to find some spawn tails or just piss them off. And instead, Eric Boom is going to punch him in the face. Yeah, yeah, that didn't go exactly how I thought it was going to. Good job, just capping the point that fast. We're going to have two minutes here. The good thing is that the lives are essentially irrelevant, so at least that's a good thing. You get the point. 
You get some extended time, but hey, dude, where did Leslie come from, bro? Like, what the? I've never seen her much from Leslie Plata. Too much, too much dip on your chip, baby. Too much dip on your chip. You don't have those trophies available. Oh, here we go. Hit you again, and you're dead. So can really slow down those pushes when you gain some momentum. That was a five three for Vickle after the start. No, that was actually Leslie. You're totally right. You get that extra time, but how do you combat that kind of? Get a little spawn kill off if you are Miami Heretics. Try to bleed some of this clock You're off of that early block. advantage from Royal Ravens. You do it for a bit, but now Placer comes out. He is hitting. Gets them out. TJ responding as well. Metal's getting in behind. I thought the call would be there, and maybe you catch him if you're TJ, but he gets caught sprinting instead. A minute of that time, already gone away. But you've still got some mid-map control here if you are Royal Ravens and that'll be two through. No, a great job by Miami after that start to, to get back into it, stabilize, even get the life lead, but now another chance here for Carolina. Fortunately, it is not the B point, it's the A point that they have to work. One player on it. Clay all the way pushed up, able to find a one, trying to catch them as they throw the nades out. He finds a second. That's the word. That, that makes me so mad when I'm playing this map. Clay. Getting now caught with a nade in my head makes me so incredibly mad. Does just that now transitions to the point, and here we go, Carolina should get this round done, but Vickle is going to try and stop it. Listen, I know, like, is the round is here. I know that there's, that we're at the objective, but there's one person on it. Like, you got to kill the guy in your base. Well, I think both of those players, yeah, the comm comes in, but they're already, like, mid-throw. I mean, that's just what they're trying to do. You didn't think that reaction to him being there was so slow? <laughs> Vanguard, slow, but, I mean, yeah, they're no, just focused right, on right. the objective. It's easy to say when I'm casting and watching, but, like, yeah. the first of all, you guys know Clay's in your base, right? <laughs> so, there we go. It was a back and forth in the round, but Carolina, they're going to win the first offense. Clay gets the cruise as well to end it. Um, so, uh, you know, I said sometimes when he gets going, uh, he keeps it going. Well, so far, so good. Is uh, He's a big part of why they get that second point on A. And he also gets the streak. We'll see. When he gets to throw that one into the map. Back to his POV. Things explode. And TJ and Bits. But Shooting the fuck out of that guy's body. You're on B for just a moment here if you're heretics, and for the most part, you're just worried about the kills dude, around dude, and dude, continuing control, but you just think you're getting stomped. Royal Raven. Every time I haven't flexed once, bro. I was yawning, bro. I wasn't yeah, flexing. Like three or four dead multiple times on the map, and that is never a good sign for the opposition. Now they're going to have to fight out of these windows. But ah, uh, we stare glitching on accident. Comes under the second, but the headshot comes through here. Four medals. TJ, the next one up to bat. Just trying to finesse. And do his job, but he does get taken down. But you're already, what, 50 seconds near a minute off the clock. You don't even have a tick on either objective. The streak ends at eight, but yes, no progress. Where, like, it was a four down and an instant B cap. That success has not been there. If you are heretics, Renetti out for TJ, stunned up, but still alive. And awkward one is lucky, slides under him, but you still have a presence here on the point. Nothing is going Carolina or like uh, Miami's favor. Here, first tick is done. You're gonna use the streak here pretty quickly if you are Clay. See what he comes up with. I mean, there's just not a lot of time, right? So 30 seconds, you get him off, and that allows Gwyn to push up. Lucky though, you gotta be careful here. Number three has to get number yeah, bro. Number three can't die there, bro. And that's just the power of the streak. There is a team kill, which in turn is two down for Carolina. So maybe one last chance. Leslie to told Leslie told Doofy yeah, that you are in love, Leslie. Here to now get beat, at least get you are loyal. Equin. No trophies up. Not, yeah, with no trophy up. The need hits from Gwen. You still have a presence here, but with no trophy, the stun now hit it. <laughs> but you kidding. can be stunned up and still get progress on the objective. You get that second. No, you don't. You don't. I thought it was done. I thought I got through in the second part, but it's not actually going something. to happen. So you get back in quick if you're Royal Ravens. You're looking to oh, oh, oh. take advantage. Yo! Oh, lucky it's still here. Melee first one hits over to the opposite oh, no. side. We will go. Live, play, live, play. Oh, shit. Clay just called game. He finds the double. Now it's down to Vickle. The trophy's just heating him up. And there we go. Carolina up 2 0. And now, in the hell? same situation as uh, LA Thieves in the last map shot. They got to win two. Oh. They got to win two offenses back to back to win this map. Trophy, but. Because right if they even if they win this defense, they gotta win two offenses back to back. We're starting to look a lot less like Vamos and a lot more like Adios. Yeah, well. I'm sorry, Leslie. I think Doofy's really, really bored. This match he hasn't fallen asleep or something. I gotta bring it back here. 
Sure do. I mean, you are, uh, we've casted a couple of these like 0-2 reverse sweeps, some famous ones over the history of the eSport, but they are tough to do. You are an 0-2 hole on the map, 0-2 hole in the series. It is going to take <laughs> one that? hell of a swing if you're going to get back into it. Not against Evan, though. Not against Evan. Lucky on the board early. Can they strike? Yeah, a little bit better of a, a start throughout this defensive round here for Miami. Gwyn, though, still alive. He's going to be the last player up for now. But he gets taken care of. So there we go. You get pushed up. You already have Vickle. Dude, dude, he's probably just la well, laughing at every dump that you say. The rest of the team. So here we go. <laughs> nice start here for Miami. Now, can they continue this? Round by round, minute by minute. Start I actually don't know what Leslie sounds like. Here. But it just seems like every time Royal Ravens have had to muster Do something I actually up, don't know. I don't know. A flurry of kills comes through. This time you got kind of those two back to back. You'll get a third behind Gwen. There's another one from Clay. And suddenly you're out. The trap doesn't last nearly as long as you'd Shots like to. Gwen, bro. That was... But you're down to 30 seconds. So, like, damage is done. Yeah, damage is done. And, yeah, you haven't been on this objective at all if you are, Carolina. Still fighting for map control. Maybe with that one from TJ, you can get on to B. Eric, though, from up top. I thought maybe he spotted Clay. But doesn't happen. Nice for Ness from Clay. Three in a row. They get, I think they get, they get down. two ticks or position. one tick they guarantee it. So but now on the one tick. A double chow from Miami. It's back and forth. It's Finkel with the Renetti. He's stopped with the progress for now. 15 seconds now to go. Getting on to it quickly will be Clay. They'll work the track back. He has second person to deal with. Some info through on the slide. Wants to push it out. Great drop shot. Snap there from Bickle to find the kill. You clear him off a B as well. And we're ticking away for now. One person close is going to get caught. That was really felony. Nobody else is going to get there. Not enough time. So the answer to the call so far, if you I want know, they gotta win two offenses back to back. Around, that is one step in a 20 they gotta win step two offenses back to back. Series. Really tough game to yeah, win out, bro. Damn. Time. That was the easy part. You now you do that, one uh, of them and you gotta do to, it. You gotta do it again. To deal with if you are heretics. That was finally when they had some momentum in their last attacking round. That was called in. Sounds like Javi's just giving out so it much information like right now. One four dead situation maybe away from the series being over. It's just, I, I mean, it's just been tough because, like, you know, you, the, the hometown team, the crowd wants to get roared. There's haven't been many moments. Like, it, it's just been mostly lopsided. Some of the searches are over the hard points. What, bro, lopsided. what is this has Miami do after this, bro? There are such a. They what's going to look my brother? Loki. moment, a brilliant rally. Win this map and maybe you start Oh, to get back into my it. motherfucker. Somebody's flying off the map. Metals, we'll, we'll, we'll see you later. Hold on. It's turned into two for Lucky, though. Now maybe a chance for Aaron to get pushed up, but he shoots. They know his spot. This doesn't turn into that much of a spawn trap yet. As Metals is able to get out, fellow, though, ready for that one. So here we go. They're going to have to fight out of their base. They're trying to fight out. The person most for it was Gwen, but you've got all a mid-map pretty much locked down if you are Ravens right now. Trying to get right up the gut will be Bickle. And onto the point, he's able to win a nice gunfight. Great shots there from Bickle, but he's weak in the trade. Happened to Boston he's last event, Jay. It's from probably going to happen to them. They're down 0-2. They're getting back right now. they got to win two Where's offenses. Like, and they're, they're losing every one-on-one one to, to Gwen. You go to Gwen's field, winning the one-on-one. -on -one. Again, winning the one-on-one. -on -one. you are Miami, Royal Ravens just look ahead. He's literally blacking out when he chows now. To focus on towards a trying to finesse, but there's always numbers here. Again, you are staggered in a two by two for heretics. Just not able to find a tip. I feel bad for these guys, man. I genuinely feel bad for them. Just one on their last offensive round. Eric Boom's the one player pushed up, but you're already down to 14 lives. Gwyn, 26 in 16, leading the way. 10 seconds to go. Lives dwindling, as you said, on the objective for a moment, but cleared off. You it's can't even get high after one like this, bro. To get forward, a, they're not able to do it. Like, and it's Carolina Royal Ravens that come through with the victory on their feet with the 3 0. And Miami's out of here. It's beach time. And I think the, the good thing for Carolina, right? I mean,. You win the S and D, you win both respawns, but this has been a matchup that they have struggled with, at least online. I guess my uh, fourth match. I don't know what happened that yeah, match. Maybe they can get some momentum carrying forward. It's not a stat I looked up before this one because it's not really a result that crossed my mind. How many three O's do you have if you're Royal Ravens on the year? Like that that's not really been a thing. Uh, you know, they, they've gotten some wins, obviously. They've made some runs, there's been some improvements, but usually it's 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 longer series, extended series where they're finding their wins. This they come in. It's just 
two feet wide. <laughs> 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 right. it, it's, they look great. <laughs> two feet, you are hilarious, dude. From, uh, the one from Echo. One clay steps up in map two. That is a team effort out of the squad, starting with that round one, just right from the. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder why people do that. I'm pretty sure it's like a style thing, John. Rather people do. Not my thing, but hey, you know, teach your own. Heretics, uh, you know, you'd love to see your own. Teach your own. Everybody has their own style. You know what I'm saying? You'd love to get the fans behind him and maybe make that kind of dream run, run, but uh, you're not able to do it. The crowd taken out of it completely as Royal Ravens literally. Clay with, yo, Clay had go. 41 as well, bro. Damn. Dominated from uh, go. I mean, just right into that harpoon. You have what two cruise missiles earned in the opening harpoon or two? Like, uh, started hot, didn't look back. Yeah, yeah you can see if you're just joining us, 250 to 176, six to three, and three to one is. Carolina get to move on into our top eights at Miami. We know this is a squad. I mean, what you have real now. There is a lot of choices. We'll see how they want to move forward. That'll do it. Royal Ravens dominate and on stage for the winner spotlight. We've got the sexiest fingernails in the league. It's Clayster. <laughs> yeah, now his fingernails are, are pretty good, Maven. Okay. Vegas next. Yeah, Vegas next. Some noise. Put a I like versus Royal Evan, bro. Ravens. As they stay alive in this I got Vegas win this shit, bro. Clay, last time I got a chance to talk to you on a I had Carolina. Stage, you were just winning a championship. Carolina. This city over. How does it LA Thieves. Back in Miami and still Rocker. I love this city. Miami is so much fun. Florida is such a good time. So I'm 2 1. Awesome, man, it's lit in here. It definitely is lit in here, okay? Now, you know, some of the crowd heartbroken. You took down a hometown team, a 3 0. What was the game plan going in that one? Because it looked effortlessly up there. Yeah, we've been working really hard. Uh, it really I like that code up. The online I like that code up. We've been really, really working on a lot of our weak points. And honestly, we put them all together here and got a really good map set. And Wait, LA Jeep to win 3-1. Nah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Definitely there. Minnesota. Okay, that we know that you Come on, Coda. Lock in. Minnesota. Minnesota, on Minnesota is going to go now, crazy. You go you're going to have another matchup tomorrow. So still playing here in Miami. What do you want to say to the fans out there in the chat and everyone out here in the crowd who's been cheering your name since you stepped foot on this stage plugging up your controller? Each and every single time I step on this stage, do an interview, get the crowd hype and love, I walk out here, you guys are tossing me love. It means the entire world to me. Thank you guys so much for supporting us up here and making this dream a reality. Thank you. I love you guys. Clayston and the Royal Ravens are still in this tournament. You can catch them tomorrow. Chris, let's break this one down and get to the next. Clayster, Clayster, Clayster. Clayster, never get Clayster, to that Clayster. As it continues into what his 14th career the young man gets it done on land and he has since the beginning of time nameless we had a lot of faith in a potential miami upset here but the royal Ravens shook off whatever rust they had coming in absolutely i mean these guys came to play that first map they absolutely dominated them gwen and tj halley were super frying and we were talking about somebody to step up alongside gwen well you got it there and it just felt like that momentum the, the box score chat from the match quick re uh, recap of the match 3-0 obviously back shots air boom 0.7 metals 0.7 to both of the subs metals least damage in the entire lobby or second least damage in the entire lobby fellow at 7,300, he won, so, you know, no one's going to really look at his and, and, and try to roast him. But, um, damn, dude, Clay with a 1.38 and, and, and uh, Gwen with a 1.5. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I, I don't know if that's the highest line KD we've had, but that was, uh, yeah, good job, dude. Good job to Gwen and the boys, bro. They look good. Good fucking job. Or not Gwen and the boys, Clay and the boys. Don't say Gwen and the boys, Clay and the boys. Clay most damage in the lobby though, bro. This guy is like this guy does not age, bro. Holly Cat thinks she's an anime Sorry, character. I don't watch anime, so I don't even know what that they means. They don't have a facility at home. They don't play side by side. So when they bro, G, the they haven't won a map on land, G. A things. map, G. They they're 0 and 12 in maps. And you're getting your waved goodbye to, bro. Like New York, all these top teams that are in a facility, they're able to work through their issues. So for Royal Ravens, that means a lot. Miami's struggles continue. They are now eliminated in 9th through 12th and will not be in the tournament anymore. Carolina, though, back to back top eight finishes and they look to stay alive in that elimination. Bro, caught up, bro. Now, no. We got a visit with our scuff players. The best players in the lobby are Linz and Vivid. Number two during the search and destroy. Uh, he was simply that guy. You know, at first, this was a very, very close matchup. I you see on your screen, three to three. And it is Clay that breaks this tiebreaker. 
they get the bomb down and they're in a 2v3 situation. He spots one, gets the damage down, and he just ends up playing his life here because, again, you caught a Yo, chat, do you guys think we'll get a sip interview this weekend or no? I got you after this game. After the, uh, uh, when they go to the break, I got yeah, Miami 3 0 chopping. Nice Flow out of the, the tournament. Three clutch by they didn't want a single map again. What I'm proud of with the Royal Ravens in this is coming into this series. If you're Miami, you're picking up Spart. I think you're the only one picking up Spart. I'm not a lot of you, brother. If I'm Miami, I'm picking up Spart. You're picking up Spart by yourself, boy. So some of those small things they've ironed out, obviously, in a land environment. And now you look at Ravens, you're like, hey, wait a second. These guys could do some damage down here. It's kind of fun because I'm getting the same vibes as Vegas. And Vegas plays Surge next for a potential Carolina Vegas. Bro, I'm telling you, Coda, Coda, come in the chat, Coda. Lynch is a. Do Lynch can be a superstar, bro? Believe me, I would not lie to you. We've seen in the elimination bracket. Who do you think are your favorites so far? Favorites like my favorite. To go yeah, yeah, like what were you Coraline? doing on your Don't phone? Be, you, what the hell's wrong with you? Thieves are out that now. We've seen. Boston that we've is seen. Out. That we've seen, right? Yep. I have to go Carolina Royal Ravens then. They look good. All right, Nameless. We still have to find out, though, who is moving forward. Surge, Legion, can Surge do what the Ravens just did? I don't think so. Legion look good, man. I really do think that they're still a top six team. In the we're gonna, and it's Coda. We're gonna see tonight, buddy. We're gonna see tonight. Remember what I say, Coda. People play different online. You, not what I said. What Diamond Con said. Can he do it on land? Don't go anywhere. They lost to LA Thieves three one three zero. Yeah, bro. I never said that. That was secret, Chapin. I never once said that, bro. That was what Secret said, bro. And uh, like that that guy's a moron, so like, I just can't take that guy serious, bro. I was like the biggest moron in the world. And like, yes, all the world. Yeah, Secret is the big yes. Yes, Boston is out, Vegas is out, or oh, not Vegas. Slice up your competition um, with the executive chef operator. Yeah, well, a lot of focus, but the game for Chapin is losers bracket, baby. What you mean? Season strong with the Call of Duty League. Yourself the CDL oh, secret side, there you go. Weapon blueprint and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store. I right, back to the tier list chat. I was cooking. I was cooking. Let me finish cooking. Matter of fact, so I've already got the stove on. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about this. I was talking about Far From Home. Far From Home was a good movie, bro, but it wasn't. It wasn't amazing. It was okay. If LAG dropped fame and a soul, they would be top six. For who though? Pick up who? Pick up who? Alright, let's keep this going. We're only doing TV shows by or only the movies, by the way. I think uh, Spider-Man Homecoming was amazing. I think the story was amazing. What's oh yeah, G, what, what song was it again? It's called like We Don't Trust You. Wait, Esbiski. What? Esbiski, I'm confused. What happened, Esbiski? Can you give me some context? What are you that asking? What, what happened, Esbiski? You were using your phone. Why? Why were you using your phone if you couldn't use it at work? Wait, not S tier. No, amazing. Bro, Spider Man Homecoming was, was amazing. You don't think it was amazing? Actually, now nah, you might be right. Actually, let me see. You don't think it was amazing? I thought it was amazing. Alright, let's keep it going. Doctor Strange, your Doctor Strange. Actually, yeah, let me let me. Doctor Strange was amazing. Like this movie was amazing. The first movie was so fucking amazing. Hey, I think there's Age of Ultron. Like, it was fun. It wasn't amazing. Which was tough. It was tough because this movie should be amazing. Any Avengers movie should be absolutely amazing. Like, crazy. Ant Man and the Wasp. Probably fun. I would say fun too. It was fun too. It wasn't bad though, but it, cause, 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 I wouldn't say it was bad. Like, this is not bad, not good. You think not bad, not good? Really, Travis? Why, 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 why? I might need to move some low key. Let me move some. Let me move some. Let 
I'm gonna do this. I like that better. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that better. Who was the villain? It was like it was not like uh, it was the invisible girl. I don't know what the name of the. <laughs> I can't remember the name of the villain. <laughs> I can't remember, bro. I'm not gonna try to cap. Hey, no names, bro. I'm no names. I don't know. And I love Marvel. Right? The fact that I don't know is kind of crazy. Black Widow, this shit was not bad, not good. Actually, that shit might have been horrible. I'm not going to lie to you. Maybe just because the backstory was cool, but like, bro, this was this was not a good This was not a good movie. Captain Marvel Fun It was fun I think Captain Marvel was fun Right It's one of those two bro It's one of these two I need some help on this one bro Not bad not good That's what I was thinking Cause I don't know if I'd put them up with these movies You know what I'm saying Finally Another S tier movie Another S tier movie one of my favorite movies of all time. Infinity Wovoka. Oh, we still got time. S tier. Avenger Mavoka. I remember the day, what I was doing, when I showered, what boxes I was wearing, everything, Mavoka. It's like having a kid. Endgame. Bro. I like the Endgame a lot. Endgame goes in perfection. I don't care what anybody says. That's two perfection movies. That's two perfection movies back to back. Maybe I'd do something like this a little bit better like that. Yeah. What's good, G? What's good, G? I hear you, G. I hear you. I hear you. All right, let's keep going. We have a few more left. Thor, Love and Thunder, and Shang-Chi. Eternals, Wanda, Kanda Forever. That's it, right? That's it? These are all the movies? Ah. Uh, fuck, I feel like Thor, Love and Thunder was bad, bro. Ah, oh, that's so tough. Because I actually wanted to like that movie so bad. Like, it would have been so good if it wasn't so bad. How was that movie? How was that movie bad? Like, that movie should have been so good, bro. I thought Shang-Z was either amazing or fun. Play the song type shit. I already heard that one. This one's either amazing or fun. I really like Shang-Chi. Really, really like Shang-Chi. No bullshit. Put on type shit. I got you. Listen. <laughs> type shit. I just put out this one after the, the next break. We'll go to the next break. I got you. Who is going to join the Royal Ravens in that next round? It's either Seattle. Let's get these walkouts going, Tony. And if you've been looking at the stats recently, it's walkout time. Surge are the clear underdogs in this fight tonight. Oh, absolutely, and in just about every category as well. You would think maybe in the S and D they've had a little bit of We're an edge, but okay, even but. during this split, they've are those the best songs? Way a bit. Let's of course remind everybody. Yo, why do I keep seeing that on Twitter, by the way, guys? What, what, people this saying Metro top six and Drake or something like that. What, 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 what did Metro do or say? Taking off the starting roster, you bring in another Frenchman in Brezzi. Someone sum it up. Someone sum it up. Teammates from a lot of bops many moons ago in Challengers. The team hasn't found a lot of success. Yeah, I mean, listen, shout out Decimate because Illy must have been Thanos. These guys fell off the face of the earth. They have not been great. 3 and 14 across the region. Illy Mo, must have been Thanos. Coming Damn. LAG, who are seemingly in the biggest slump that we've seen so far for Surge. They're a team that was strong at Search and Destroy and could get it done at about a 50% rate when it comes to Hardpoint. Has not been the case. Brezzi has been a slow burn. He's had maps here and there. Has not been consistent. That doesn't Listen mean it's all like that. Right. The supporting cast, they haven't been great either in their wins brezzy seems to be that x factor though and i'm looking at him okay, today yeah. but also you got to go back to old reliable right arsenies is a world champion does he still have it in the tank like clacer showed he just did 
absolutely. I think he's just in a really tough situation right now where you're on a team where there's not really a lot of chemistry. I mean, the respawn has been very hard for them. He's been trying to do his thing in search and destroy because sometimes you can one man show it, but if you're not putting it together in the respawns, S and D will only take you but so far. You know what's crazy, Al? You saw the 12th in rotation percentage. Remember for the first four weeks of this game, they yes. were number one, which yep. gave them opportunities. And, you know, as far as our cities goes to like, take over games. I don't know if he has that in him anymore to be a, to take over games. Metro guys healthy because Drake album was nominated and his was not. There, but so he really made an like album with Future and the rest of the team are sitting at about 35 to 3,800 a hard point. Hello, of course, shit. we got to talk about the opposition. Why are the surge the underdogs? Let's get the Metro. I would do it shorty. Was the word was shorty. We never said the Legion was a threat until this stage. I feel like they have clearly shown Where's Purge at? Right below tier Where's Kodak? One, right Top below 5 rookie teams. right now, Purge. Maybe yes sir. The fifth best in this tournament that's still alive. So you're right there with everybody else in the top six right now. I think the fact that Vegas Legion's even in elimination is just very unfortunate. Cardi, what's out for lunch? Cardi, Cardi don't lie though. Cardi, don't lie. That's Cardi. Because you, you, because you be trying to say you have steak right and, now, especially and in that potatoes. Like, like no, we know what you unreal. had, bro. Just be honest. Like, they're breaking their engagement to the pace that they play on top of Nero. Don't listen so to Travis, he's 40. Made them a terrifying team. Bro, so, like, Jammer, bro. That's not going to happen, twin. I'm it's telling you, bro. Vegas 3 1. Has been maybe even 3 0. Their defense has been on lock 17 and yep. 2 on control defense. And their average life margin, meaning they're getting that kill and they're getting yeah, out. Yeah. There's not one player soaking yeah, up the lines yeah. for this team. And even their search and destroy has been a lot better. Their opening duels are bottom two. They can work again. I said it earlier. Y'all seen the challenge? Listen, chat. I'm a man of I'm a man of uh, of common sense. Bro. I'm a man of common sense, chat. I'm a man of common sense. Fundies, they're tough for all the fundamental hard point statistics. And then when you talk about like their matchup yesterday, they had huge opportunities to win. This, this was the team dinner picture. One of the closest Look at this. That we've had so far in this tournament. Just a Tell me this does not look like you about to kill a meal. Points. That's against our major one Alex, look at listen. Alex got on the shorts, the ones that are like a little bit elastic, about to eat. Pull on the string a little bit, you know. Abuza got a shirt that is a little oversized, you know what I'm saying? The belly goes out a little bit after you eat. Same with Brezzy. Hugh like happy as hell on his dinner about to eat. Hey. Man, only a matter if we lose tomorrow because I'm about to eat this dinner. I got, I don't know, this might be a game five. This might be a game five. You're eating chicken and rice, fried chicken and fried rice. Yes, sir, Cardi. I love that, Cardi. Enjoy your food, Cardi. Enjoy your food, Cardi. Fried chicken with fried rice, my brother. Yes, sir. Just an unfortunate battle of the defenses. So yes, sir, again, Cardi. I see you, boy. Great in this series. A little bit of hot sauce on that bitch, probably. These lineups, they've met up online in the a little past. bit of, a little bit of seasoning, some Larry's. Coming in. But the one thing that Surge has on their side is there yet to play. Well, Vegas didn't win a single map in the winner's bracket. That's what he said, right? So if you're going to take a lesson from that win from Toronto over Vegas, what can can you take away here and maybe implement into your game as a surge member? I would say in that control, I, th I thought it was very winnable as well. Like when you get in their base, especially we have the same map, we have invasion. It's like take your time. You don't have to force that challenge right away. Be a nuisance. And I think that they can take this one, man. I think they get it done 3-0. I'm going with Vegas. All right, it's time to Vegas 3-0. Damn. Official, and I'll go ahead and go first here, Allie. After picking incorrectly for the first time this weekend, I go back to the correct pick. It's going to be attach. Leading Las Vegas Legion. He's going back to his top five numbers. Name well, anybody pick Seattle. You're not going to catch me in this one, unfortunately, because I'm also going to be going for the Vegas Legion in this series. We're unanimous. I'm going with the Vegas Legion. I think they get it done in three. Walkouts are not ready, audience. So let's talk a <laughs> I little bit the beef for you. longer as we get ready for Vegas versus Surge. Real quick, remind me why Surge is a threat. Before we saw the roster change, we came into the season saying this is a very talented roster this is a team that could do damage where do they still have that potential nameless uh, it's search and destroy i'd say but in terms of respawn they have been relatively hopeless you know when they did have Ily on the team he was a guy who could sort of play like a superstar we saw it at the last land he could take over hard points they don't, I don't have, have a that anymore so now they're asking guys like hoop to step up that has not been the case especially in control Seems like they have assigned spots at times to go to on the map. Like their whole thesis and strategy towards respawn, it has not been working out. So if they play a little bit more free, maybe they'll find success. Allie, the stats wizard chat wants to know over or under for Vegas players. Do you think we have close hard points for game number one? 
Absolutely not. Uh, last two times these teams matched up, it was almost a 100-point deficit in favor God. of Vegas Legion, so I would certainly take the over on that one. I sent and them the beam for you, your performances opponent. in the past. Oh, well, like, what am I supposed to do? He calls them a, look at their road a follower? To the like, major. Everyone playing seven matches before Major 2. They started with the win over the Gorillas. A game five that went the distance versus Miami really set them on the right track, though. Absolutely. They beat everybody they were supposed I'm to. I'm so they confused by who's good, bro. Like, this, the, this game does not make sense. The difference is, is though, it the is that game? Is it me? That they needed to get John. It's safe for the match versus Look, Cardano, Jero, I don't care what you say, Jero. You have CT, bro. I can give one fuck what you say, Jero. Vegas Legion has just been on the up. Yeah, well, the CEO, you and Cardi are the fucking split. owners I mean, I of the fucking CT. The Ultra, just as close as the one that we saw yesterday. It was three point hard point uh, in map four, 18 points. Two in fucking map, morons are uh, trying to like, uh, so morons trying to load me. Bro, you have CT, bro. We've seen with each and every match these guys you have real life CT, really not even just gaming. Like, like you take your headset off and you have to think, I gotta chill, bro, because if I take it off fast, I might hit my head again. Like, no. You have CT, bro. March 15th. Trying to roast me. It's the 22nd. That was seven days ago. You played your competition recently. Are we seeing anything new with the maps? Is Surge willing to play the same set? Uh, Surge has to be willing to play the same set because they don't have a map pool really at all. Oh, well, it is a little interesting. I mean, you see in this series, Las Vegas, they pick high rise S and D. Seattle R2 and on it, but they haven't played it since the first split. So uh, a little bit of interesting map set here. Game four as well, zero and zero for Seattle. They haven't played it since major one split as well. So it could get weird. We'll find out. Could get weird. It's time to find out you know to as scroll. we send it to the stage. Miami, make yeah, some make sure, noise. Yeah, sure Match number four loads up right now with Guy Blaze. I don't have anything, Drew. Yes, Chris, we are officially ready. And these players are locked in. I don't have a DM. I don't have a DM from a girl or like, bro. Now, yeah, our first open, bro. Coming said, to the stage, we're going to see him for the first time this weekend. Ready to drown out the competition. Get ready for the storm. Here comes Seattle. I heard that. I saved it to my playlist, Jarrell. I'm gonna have CTE. He has CTE. I already said that, bro. Yes, yes. You have actual CT, Jarrell. I, I understand, bro. You're my brother, though. So I'm always looking out, Jarrell. If you're doing anything like a helmet for a bike. Or anything like that, I got you. Miami, get loud for the Seattle Sun. And here comes three other CTE members. Hugh, Abuza, Brezzy. Yup. Abuza, and who? Cardi's co-workers right here. Car three, co three of Cardi's co-workers. It might seem like all doom and gloom for these guys, but remember, this is just another obstacle. The last time these guys were at a tournament, they got top six, and they were lighting it up. They remain dangerous in search and destroy. But what will we see when it comes to the Remember, chat, eat they big, play opponent. big. This might Let's be a game out. five, round 11. Yes, I already went today this morning, Tim, with your fat ass. Like, and they are Tim, I'm thinking about Tim. To play any games, no 12 days, what shit, 13, from. 12 Ready days in a row. some extra heat to Miami. Get ready for Las Vegas. Big ass, Tim. Dealing with just God mode attach right now. Attach right off the top of the car. Oh, oh, please. A 1v3. Camaro not slowing down. Finds his third of the mad naked four. Let this young man get hot. It's going to be hard to stop him. Finds an ace on the round through the middle of the map. Purge gets the double. Kill RC, is this like he just won 35 points? 12 rebounds. Oh, I think this is that golden crown. You don't got like Jay, but come on, bro. You can't be said that, bro. You don't got the big pass, Jay. You don't got the big pass. Nero is all.
Vegas Legion taking the gamble on two challenger players to absolutely overturn this franchise's history in the past couple of years. And the best spot they've been in in years. Vegas Legion now find themselves in the elimination bracket after beating themselves versus our major one winners. They have to get After their beating themselves. Seahawks, but they cannot be taking them lightly. You ready, Blaze? I'm so ready, Allie, and they should not take this squad lightly. Miami, you ready to get this one started? Remember, chat, eat big, play genius. big. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. We're ready to take this one uh, all the way to a game five, if you ask me. Two teams where it certainly hit the fan. There is no paddle, and they're deep in the creek. And it is going to be a very tough one for Surge as well. They're trying to avoid drowning themselves right now because the series, especially in the respawn, it is going to be a difficult one. Right from the skid row, again, the desk talked about it extensively. It has been a pain point for them. And, I mean, that map, a near blowout that they had to deal with for a Vegas that has been scorched. They do be they do be they playing go, from they just want to clean it up have a mistake free series and they're going to be looking they do be playing, playing from Vancouver chat so this is a big match to just show we'll like yo we're like that goes, what we call that Vegas Legion another will it happen matchup. that means at the end of it if you lose you go home I don't know or back to the hotel and maybe for a quick swim beforehand but either way the pressure is on especially yeah, for these bro, youngsters the hotel, we were singing the praise of Purge and Geo all yesterday great performances individually not necessarily able to walk over the win but now you don't want to go home on day two I just avoid the crumble man like same thing for lat that we saw earlier of like they go toe to toe with one of the best teams in a game and then just drop the ball and come out flat so that is the faith that you are looking to avoid if you are on the side of vegas legion and again you are looking for the perfection the mistake free call of duty the no over chals keep the game play succinct keep it tight and make sure those rotations are on point especially so for vegas they're starting on the good side the early opportunity if you're surge you are already going to be fighting that uphill battle well, here we go, map number one. See how Surge Vegas. Let's see this break up, chat. Let's get a. Hope we get a brother POV over here. Clean socks and undies on the push towards what will be a hit on a peak too for a boozer now. Keep finds himself that first kill. Geo wow, has been eradicated. Breggy now pushing forward as well. Early time for Vegas Legion isn't going to amount to a whole lot as they're being picked apart one by one. Yeah, Boozer, very clean shot there with the MCW and potentially ahead of the rotation already who keeping Purge at bay. So you're starting on the bad side. That's about as good as it's going to get for Just the opening himself? break. You see Vegas do fight back on a P1, but that is the overcommitment you have to have because Surge, well, they should have P2 under lock and key. The ticket side, though, left open, so the long range gunfights gonna start to ring through. Again, it's gonna be a little bit of 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 a recoil at range and hook the man up close and personal. Looking to get his sixth kill in a row. There it is, without dying. That's early streaks for Hook. Yeah, he is the ultimate wild card player. Like in the respawns in this series, surge for the maps, we have a 3 and 15 record overall. Hook is one of those players Thanks. that can absolutely take over 7 and 0. Oh, he's got the rotation as well. Ticket pushed out. It does not get better than this. No, absolutely. Hook's going to remain in this position, bro, hold these so players from Vegas shit. far away from that point. Oh, he's he's, he's in the making here on P2. And we can slow the game play right down. Be fine. I mean, he just gets to hang it's out this is right now an easy breeze you're trying to work through mid if you're on the side of vegas but a booze is there picking you apart he was able to pick up three before he falls and even though a couple players show up in the kill no dick suck is sleepy no dick sucking please nothing you can do the easiest hill in the game to hold in surge well they get the perfect full 60 even on rotations they got players nearby well, that's the spree of Hook now complete. Final 10 seconds on P2 is going to come to a close. And already we're looking towards the back alleyway. That is exactly where Vegas Legion find themselves. He was oh, really what did Purge do? He didn't fire his weapon in time. And that's going to be a problem. Nero approaches the hard point. Eviscerates Hook. But back to Kyler Garland incorrectly spelled. Yeah, and keep in mind if you're on the side of Vegas as well, because Kyler Garland does have that cruise missile. Uh, P5 I haven't had a child right, th right there way earlier. There, so you need to get ahead of the game early on. Make sure you're not going to get punished too hard long term. On the hill, though, RCD's very slow. By the time he gets the trophy out, Nero's already flanked. He picked up the two keys, yeah. and Vegas has flipped those spawns. Come on, Gio, I have TL, guys. Going to fall and surge I like TL, bro. God damn, three and eight. Come on, baby. Want to fight for old. Not a fun place to be. If you try to rotate towards new, Vegas. Damn. Have okay, almost okay, whatever. everything completely locked out. Oh, you guys know how Skid Row goes. It's going to be a very swift turnaround here. Seattle Surge with a late break, 20 seconds going their way. But as you can see from the scoreline, very easy to turn a match around here on this very dirty, dirty little map. We'll find out how the next hard point goes. It's just a bit of suppressive fire there from Bridger to keep these players at bay. Purge 
on the climb. He and Gio trying to make their way back into the apartments. Oh, I gotta say, that's a big moment as well for Surge to be able to flip those spawns. Vegas, instead of getting that momentum, end up tossing Where it away. That I spawn back right tunnel, now, okay. just a, a little bit behind on the pace. RCD's cheeky angle over he's by been the struggling. Uh, to Bruno, it's so or like he's not even day. him. Like I don't Gio know. taking his time. They're not even gonna deal. I have with no it. idea. They're trying to go Bruno. around through playground, looking for that avenue. And RCD as well might have to give up the angle and help out his team around the actual hill. Fighting forward now. Attached from the back line. This is the contest. Dips a toe, slides it. Never going to be able to take the two of them. Good job out. Seattle, but Purge with a pinch. He and Nero finally kills. Search, the the You're such a loyal friend, bro. Holy it's shit. It's only Breggie. And the team kills are so easily done here on this side of the map. Close quarters engagement. But at the end of the day, Vegas come out on top. And Surge not going to fight for that scrap time as well. You had an opportunity maybe if you wanted because you have the cruise missile, but they're playing the safety game. It's going to be a near tied up game in towards new. And I mean, hey, if you don't have to burn the cruise, you could save it for the second P5 of this game if we even get there. But right now, rotation perfect. All four players for Seattle grouped up. Left side of the map, power position secured. Hook has made his way out towards P2. This is as good as it is going to get for a P5. Hold, Surge. Sleepy's a scammer, bro. Do not trust him. He is a scammer. Young Metro does not trust Sleepy. That's the question. Nero punches a hole. Now on the approach, they're flying forward. Abusa doing the best he possibly can. Damage dealt all across the board. Is it enough for Asti's now to stay alive and or find these kills? Geo with a patient play. Here comes the streaks, though. Hook doesn't want to go up just 35 seconds. And he won't have to. Well, he might have to. Purge is going to be in there. That is that. The break is good for Vegas. That is the Seattle Surge special. You get everybody in the exact right positions, and they just completely drop the ball. Use the cruise to absolutely no effect, and Vegas now have the lead in the game. Maybe a nice little moment of momentum to shift to their side. Purge on a three spree, and Geo, plenty of time to work with to rotate towards new. Geo finds his eighth kill of the game. A little slower. Than okay, we saw draw. in the opening Pleasure. series of the tournament against Toronto Ultra. As Attach is keeping the play going at 15 and 7 now. Over towards P1, we find ourselves once again. Seattle Surge, first in, best addressed. Will we be able to get some of these players out? Asti's keeping the boys safe and sound on the inside of fire. Oh, and it's great shit. work out of a boozer. Two vehement defeat. Yeah, big wins there with the MCW. Looking at that player with an AR in hand. It always feels so good. Geo, though, good intel on the rotation. Oh. Good trigger discipline. But Surge, they just stacked the middle of the map to get this rotation. Surge locked Pidu down for a full 60 last time. And they're winning the rotation again. And for Vegas, oh, now the fight's actually taking towards this old time. It looks like they might get it. But maybe not even for a clean full 60. Hook is a menace on the map annoying them that constant thorn in their side well good news for seattle surge you've got all the control of p2 you could want 15 seconds gonna go away at vegas this time around, but i'd love to go for a listen in and see how vegas legion break the unbreakable who the fuck is Brin like Darth Vader? That's Evan! Bro! Someone's fucking dying though. Hey, fun fact, it's not actually a full 60. You can only get 59 seconds on a hill, but on both teeth. P2s for Surge, it is perfect. Let's go, Luisito. We do in Mexico. of their 200 points come off of that hill, and they're trying to win that rotation towards new. Big moment of the kill feed, though, for Vegas. That is a clean four. Let's down. go, Evan! Roaming the insides of the apartment. He's let a player through. Geo is it's flagging the fuck it's out. Hey, gracias, Luisito. Tú como estás, como está la 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 novia de todo. 
brings down Bridgie as well as a five spree. Disgusting work. La, la, la got a rotation there as well as attached now in from behind. Over to the barber shop we're now going to go. And this could very much be the return to form for Vegas. And with the kills Vegas just got there. Oh. Gonna be funneled in through the tunnel. Big win there by Geo. If you shut Keep down. Geo was 9 and 20 before this, right, before this live here, chat. Easier. 9 and 20. So much so that they are fighting old with only eight seconds left. Purge though, holding oh. the iron. Picks up two kills and Surge again are going to be spawning so far away. Purge might be looking at the end of the spree there, but that's not a problem whatsoever. He's grabbed that time. The scrap now is well over done. Vegas Legion in full control of the barber shop. They've got a lot of time here and a lot of space to work with. We kill. could be looking at the last hill of the map. And Attach almost confused. It's two players hitting the back. They're going to be taking a deep route, so they're playing the tight setup inside. Two players for Vegas fending off the rest of the squad from Surge. So he's trying to send it. Attach with the wallbangs. You can wallbang that one. Attach gets it. Can he get the second? Oh, Abuza's in. It's the Renetti. Can't get any more. The trades are done. Brescia, though, stays alive. Surge with the break. Holding on. Oh, the shit. Hook, slamming them with the big two. And Hook might be out on the rotation as well. No. Number two's there. It's cop at number two. Arsides makes it through and he wins the gunfight. Now it's over for the battle for scrap though. The Vegas, they actually oh shit. Six months oh ago. shit. He doesn't want to fight for old. And what a call that might be from Vegas. They get all four players set up for the new time. Set up for the new time and set up for the win. It's going to be not incredibly go close finish. Hard point Holy is active. Holy shit, here we go. We had surge with a full setup like this. They got broken down. Oh! Have to break no, it, Alec, come on, right bro. Two, but the lane is open. Abuza might get through. Oh, Perch comes into bed. Stays alive. Geo with the coverage. Attach him up top. This could be it. Arcees finds one who can't get his. Geo holding the line. Brigi from spawn straight to the hill. I mean, what can you do? You got to flood in. You're going to run into the kill box. And Geo is going to shut you down. Cannot cross. 250 on the game. Wow. Vegas win the skid run. Nah, I like how to get that trade, bro. What a cruel and fickle mistress indeed. Is that Captain Price in the front row? I don't have the be. accent for it, but it is indeed. It might be. Well, there we go. Map number one in the books. What an unbelievable turn. And that is exactly how Skid Row plays out. Very, very strong holds indeed. And that's what we saw. Kudos to Vegas Legion. Kudos to Surge for the strong start, but you have to finish strong on Skid Row. Well, I just don't know. How uh, hey, that's what I was saying. Cardi, who the fuck? Shit. In that fashion and end up losing God the game. damn, Typically I should have went to Miami. Well, I'd be far wrong too, shit. Surge, literally 118 seconds they were able to get. They dominated that rotation. They dominated the hill and still lost the game. You had a cruise missile in the full setup for P5. They get broken down, and this is how Skid Rows end every single time. You need the cruise missiles for those break moments, but surge execution in the finest moments like that, they never get it. That up. was a shorty A. Oh, shit, my bad, Daryl. My the bad, Daryl. What the, the fuck? Hey. In this matchup, but it's not going to amount to too much. If you don't I get know, the you time, was... you're not going to get the win. Highlights here from map number one, and again, it's Hook. An absolute menace chance from start. He might have that three. was great. We saw some amazing plays you know, under the coverage of his teammates keeping P2 safe. Hook was on, a, on an absolute tear, man. Couldn't quite make any more of it, though, in that game. I mean, Hook, at least again, at the start, that is everything you could possibly ask him for. But then on that rotation in P5, Hook was the player pushed out towards P2. Uh, she probably made sure he was locked quite into catch the it, But I know that's Woke where up, the start right, of the flood shit, and the breakdown like, came for Vegas just to be able to pierce the setup. So uh, there's always a give and take to the players of Surge. But I mean, either way, as good as the start was, Vegas, just that sort of overwhelming force on Skid Row out playing him in the key moments and even towards the end like that final rotation in my head i'm thinking 24 seconds on the barbershop hill maybe attach wants to fight for it that could come into effect attach says nope i'm chalking it up i trust my team on that rotation makes the heads up call and then obviously Crazy Nero, he just starts this final hill right picks up a big two gets out of dodge sets up his teammates for success and vegas like a well-oiled machine on one of those money hills at p5 execution the difference maker in the game and p5 and p2 not too dissimilar in their nature the same area you're fighting over the same stretch of land and very much a similar situation hey bro i don't look sad on land though at least though tough scenes the game flow was very very good from that p2 in the second set chance they created a great bit of distance i like 150 that, i mean i like to be seattle points with, across three hills i'm fucking 47 the interesting thing they blow that shit like as well as the fact that for the respawns again the maps we have in the series it is a 3 and 15 record for surge in all three respawns we have but a 7 and 1 record in the s and d so their search and destroy has been fantastic especially that invasion s and d if they can get there that just means they're looking for that one respawn 
Skid Row, they had the opportunity. It was the gift right in front of you, but they tossed it away, and that just means that mission to win a respawn in two S and Ds gets that much more difficult as we go. Vegas feeling more comfortable now. More comfortable indeed. We're going to go high rise next, and then we're uh, going to settle in for a very long invasion. Three back to back. Control, hard point, and S and D might be looking at Cannon Monster for the end of this series. You never know, but it should be fun, man. We're going to see how the search and destroy goes. Uh, let's see and how we lean in. How we which way we dress in for the search. I, I mean, again, well, for surge, it's obviously a necessity it is a map that they might not have a ton of repetitions on Damn. but the record overall is still good so you're just looking for that sort of s and d pop-off potential like we've seen some of these starts that players like hook have had he's almost like a, a kill switch sometimes when he engages it feels like he's almost unstoppable but when he starts to get a little bit mixy he can get picked apart but overall it's good slow game from geo 2 chat slow game there. super slow Maybe game from geo even record for the two teams but we know sort of the story for surge Maybe the first bloods are always there, but converting as a team, not as clean. Vegas, the number one overall when they actually get those man advantages. So be out on the lookout for the first blood fight. We'll see if this is the end of heartache for Vegas Legion. It has been a cursed chance, it has to be said. Close, but so far, the advantage they had over Toronto Ultra was staggering. Staggering in day one, but they weren't able to close out. Can they get it going? Here we go, here we go. map number two. Map lock number in, map number, number two. Lock the fuck in. Begins right now. And attach able to call out just maybe one player on the cross That's and it, purge. Shh, fucking moron, that is bro. not where the map actually is. Well, first blood for Seattle. Man, it's how do you fall off them? Get a test that conversion right now for the team. He's gonna have the wrong setting. No. Trying to hold it down oh alone. No hope God. in hell. The boost is gonna be there. Geo playing great patiently. Sitting atop the Black Hawk. He's not going to move. He's going to let a, a Boozer make his way down. Where, where, where do you see that, Tim? Hey, it snaps. You see how Surge gifted the first blood. They'll take the win regardless. There is nothing more tilting than the start of the round. I mean, this is true in ranked play, let alone on an elimination match at the pro level when your team just jumps off the map. It's a heartbreaker. Rookie mistakes there, and who taking full advantage. There's a man down, and he just exists somehow in your spawn. Playing against Sug is like playing against an apparition. You never know where he's going to be. One cannot predict the unpredictable with Kyla Garland. A force to be reckoned with, a multi-game champion. And now the carrier of the bomb. One bomb to rule them all. One bomb to bind them. And one bomb in the bottom of this map. Daisy IG. Hopefully the other team doesn't find him. Well, two players on the cross. There's a bullet fired, so they might have spotted Nero down low, but now you're working for uh, some jump up spots, seeing if Nero wants to overcommit. Stun for the intel, barrel Whoa. might explode, but the more you know. that is just going to slow the pace of the round down. In the meantime, Attach able to sniff out and find that first spot that would only work 1% of the time, but it's still good to know. Elevators locking it down. We were looking towards that A bomb site, but Geo's got great coverage here. There's another player lying prone by the bomb. That's going to be Purge, and the smoke was enough to rustle their jimmies. Attach on the outside, cleaned up, Arsys gets his. And that smoke is perfect, too. That is the distraction. Gets a couple players to wrap over, and now you even up the odds. 35 seconds, but that's the soft propane tank, and Hook wins the big one. Another strong start from Kyler. Arsys oh, can't get a lie away with his life, and his teammate loses the fight as well, so the round explodes. Could it be you, Fern, and Vegas Tim? Legion yeah, tied bro, up. me and Tim, bro. Yeah, I'm not fucking prepared for the flank in that moment. I like the activity there from Vegas as well. The smoke comes out, and a couple players from Vegas sort of fall towards the bait, but once they see nobody's home and the okay, smoke, they just him. continue to push through. Nice aggressive play call, nice bounce back round, and again, credit to attach for the first bloods. Vegas, their number one conversion rate in the game throughout the stage. They maintain it. Let's see if they can keep it all going. Cool focus across the players' faces as they dial into round number three. Nero with the bomb. Not a whole lot of love towards the A-bomb site in the tournament so far, let alone in the matchups at Charleston, I've cast. And I always love the adjustments teams make. Purge this time, mixing things up, staying on the map, underground even so, away yeah, from bro. the edges. Yeah, so. Now trying to clear out the site. Maybe uh, sure, Tim, why not? You're paying those. Jump up, feels the presence and I'm, of I'm buying the house, by the way, so I'm buying everything. Just yet. Yeah, a lot of appetizers, there, dessert, drinks. Got control drinks, of the bomb site, Breggy, and go. a boozer on that B Street. So lovely setup right now for Surge. Not going to let anyone get near that side of the map. Can you creep in, Purge? None of them are fucking in. horrible. Nero. Uh, Nothing quite about it. Can't get the kill, and he's gonna chase it. Reggie stays alive, but Boozer gets two. Seattle. Oh, oh yes, sir, Alec. We shoot the fucking gun. They take the lead. Seattle has they to win this map, chat. Has to. Duo. That 
Ken between Abuza and Breji making their guest appearance in that round. Nero thirsty on that red dot chase and frankly lived a lot longer than I thought he was going to but the coverage on point and of course RCD is on the flip side of the map holding that iron but Abuza showing off the goods protecting his boy a big two in that round. Can they start to string something together for Seattle Surge? That was a rogue chase. I, don't live at such I saw the picture, but like, that was just so rogue. MW3 like. so far. Is this going to be the event where all their frowns are turned upside down? Well, the Boozer hoping to get it done with a frag grenade out there. Nero might be the recipient I'm of that. I'm going to this place, Carolina, for Rogue top six. Yeah, he spotted out nothing on the cross as well, so a little bit more free to at least jump to check up on the B site. But obviously, you've got Nero posted in the corner, and Purge, unfortunate for him. The propane tank always has a fantastic KD. Technically, Geo got the kill, but that is just the presence, which is unfortunate. Hook, by the way, is doing this with the bomb in hand. All the way. Oh, man, he's gone oh, the deepest. I forgot he could about go. that. Yo. He does have Brezzi to back him up. Gio I completely the forgot. Yo, I need to. Yo, they need to win. Hey, why not, dude? Yeah. Why not? Who takes the shots at great range? And says Brezzi. Oh, sees, can he close the round out? No, but Nero doing the best he can to stay alive. They took the very much the scenic route of Seattle Surge. String two back to back. Yeah, that's yeah, front, bro. He, the the, the, he had a bad series yesterday against Toronto, which was unlucky. Like. Nine, but who, as many pros are, simply built different with that gun in hand. And that's also two different rounds where it has just been an unfortunate first blood that gets given Tomorrow's up. Tomorrow's going to be so and good. Surge, by no the way, they are taking no full idea, advantage of my that My brother capture was giving my dog. I was giving my blood. has been perfect after the first bloods fall into their lap. Two straight. Can Surge make it a third? Vegas has gone a little quiet here. Opening exchange. He's going to see who get himself across for the A-bomb site there on defense. 2-2 two, two split right now for Surge. We're committing to the street. And it's a lot of noise. It's a lot of gunfire. And Breshi somehow staying alive. Hoop moving in a position in the middle of the map. The pinch could come any second. Damn. Ooh! Big one, no, out of purge. Doesn't get first blood at this time. But he does get traded out. Breshi aggressive what is down low at the MCW. And now he's the thorn in their side. Geo's position now is going to be known. RC shooting him from range. And this is the situation. The player's underground behind you. Breji, though, doesn't even throw a shoulder. Yeah, Sprint goodness. straight into Number death. Number three is right down the Gives you that man advantage. Geo. He's in trouble. It's a 3v2, and that bomb's going down. Uh-oh, Abuza causing problems now. Makes it a 2v2. Lovely shots onto Nero. RC should clean up. He gets it. But it's the Old fucking ice man. Now the 2v1. And the last time they saw him was deep in the spawn, so they might be chasing ghosts. Abuza looking for the spawners and attach. He's taking uh -oh. a free kill before Alex. going towards the bomb. Oh, see, so the damage is dealt. Attach is have to back up. He's got to bring him down before he gets the defuse. 20 to go. When you need him most, attach is the guy that always steps up to the plate. The bomb is clear in the movement, is cleaner, and the gunny is at its absolute finest. No, Dylan and Tash, no. even when you catch him off guard no. in a 1v1, he can do no wrong. Alec, Let's get oh, a replay. Bro, no way. ASAP attached with a big one. I need to see Alex Abuza, over the here. Sacrificial Yo, land. he not pre fire He missed. I can't with the Renekti. And that is just the sickest movement in that moment because RCDs was hitting the hop up. RCDs actually makes the perfect play to read him. If he doesn't dish out with that side and jump down, well, RCDs gets it for free. And RCDs might have had the drop I did see that quote. I did see that quote. Correct. The strap, and that I mean, that's true, Kota. That, that's the, the, that's the standard that I hold no every Seattle every Surge, top four team to. I don't think any top four team should list a fatality. On any map. I don't give a fuck if they give five of the best maps to LAG. With how talented those guys are, now I'll give you that. Like, you know, like the they're gonna have a bad day, so like, push to yeah, whatever. But like, in that I, the, when they miss it, I agree with. I'm not gonna lie and say because they're my friends, I might disagree with. Like, no, that's, that's true. Move to push past blue. Yeah, with how talented for reach, those four teams are, they should never be losing to that team ever, ever, ever. He is deep in the spawn, and not a single player on surge has turned for it. Attach is gonna find the freest kill, and that's bomb down. Bomb down as well. They're gonna turn those arrows. Arsties and Abuza once again. This time he will not be. I would like to see Dylan play a little better spot right there, but that's 2D2. okay. 2 Bomb down in the middle of the map. 35 on the clock. Can't believe Attach made that read. Can't believe Abuza got that kill. A lot of crazy things going on, including <laughs> this flank where RCD's going to be able to spot two. His teammates are going to call up top form if they're spectating and doesn't want the gunfight. Wants to play it smart. Geo, 22 seconds left. He's got a lot of work to do. He has the highest of high ground he could possibly find here on the map, and he's doing the best he can. 15 seconds on it. Oh, he's moving. 
The bomb's going to be going down. He has nothing left to throw at this but his MCW. He could be gifted with fantastic timing. He could be gifted with Gunny. We're about to find out what happens. There's a chow. 2-4. A worthy attempt, but not enough. Seattle Surge, another round to their name. 4-2. Shout out to the tight setup and credit to RCDs for making that play. Attach is making one play. I imagine he clutched that around through Travis. Like the, the round before Bomb he got up and, in the final and pointed at the round. Timing ends up shorty. panning out perfectly. There's a lot of deep routes being taken. A couple players on both sides right now getting caught off guard. But Surge, execution when they're getting these man advantages, haven't let one slip away yet. Attacking round for Vegas Legion. It's been close, but no cigar in many of these moments. I'll be damaged here, a bit of range there. We're talking about how players use the MCW like a sniper rifle. That's as close as you're going to get. I'll give you the old college try. And, well, now RCDs is going to be spotted in the back window. Purge might want to go hunting. Abuza tagged up Ooh. on the cross. And there you got the double team Chow coming through to take down RCDs. Man advantage now for Vegas. They're going to get what, the bomb what was down was today. It's a rarity, but... Now we get to test their ability to hold. Yeah, full takeover there from Vegas. Bridgie and Hook now. I mean, this is a, a, a good setup. Apart on the map. Let's find out how they play find in the way terms they plan of chemistry. Everything should be pretty good. This round should they've be over. They've got to find all three members of Let's Vegas. Find this We've taken this bomb set so seconds. hard. And so far, they've got no Especially intel. Especially down the map. Nero going to be the first one to engage. He's going against two. Bridgie doesn't quite have the angle. And, well, too many corners to check. Hook last man standing for the 1v3. Only 20 seconds to work with. He's going to have to gun at both of these players. Okay. Give it the best he could. Okay. But attach holds firm. Four three, chef. Four three. As Vegas, Vegas on defense. The attacking huh? round after a nice post plant position. Four to three. And make no mistake, we've seen Hoops' uh, gun skill at range. So attach gonna hit him with the old one pump. Make sure he guarantees that fight. Because you slip up against two, he will absolutely make you pay. But that is a nice play call. They had the extra information, make the aggressive call to go straight towards that A site, get our cities out of the window before they get the bomb down, and no time wasted. I'll say the pressure on the map and make the heads up play call. Still though for Vegas, down around. Surge want to keep running it up. Their offenses have been successful. Looking for another one here. Yeah, one round differential is nothing too crazy. Surge still trying to play from the advantage they picked up earlier. Over towards A, that bomb's gone. And you might be able to transition down low, and that's going to be on Geo in a moment. RC's Step first blood. blood. You'll take that over by the B side of the map, and that's definitely going to inform the decision for the bomb carriers. Now Nero checks it, runs into a bit of trouble. There's a ton of Seattleians down there. Oh, dear. Purge now in a 1v4. Yeah, RC's picking up extra kills as well. He is feasted on this map, and I think he gets the final one as well. Three kill round right there out of the uh, the old two time world champ. The two time world champ. And again, that first blood extra. Cube is going to replace Asim. What the fuck was the ball at? Four as well. RCDs has more than made up for that one v one he had against Attach earlier. Now the question is, are you a believer in the five three curse? Five to three. Ooh, this is it. Can you close out now, Seattle? It'll be a defensive round for them. Vegas is still uh, how many tricks in the playbook? What can the young lads bring? Oh, they're going to need to bring something here, by the way, just to highlight the importance of how close that first map was. Vegas could be staring down the barrel of two very difficult maps, but this one isn't done yet. Looking to clutch up. You see a boozer spotting players out on the cross. Full sent it down mid. Still alive until a trade comes through. Attach finds the first blood, but Purge is going to fall. Play? So both teams getting this information, but Surge right now stacking this B street. And Nero not yet comfortable enough to plant the bomb because his teammates opposite side of the map. He is by his lonesome. A big responsibility on his hands, and RC is still a difficult kill on the map. It's the battle of the bulge right now for Nero. He's punched through the Seattle lines, but really unable to make too much happen. There's the plant. Geo, oh, nearly gifted a freebie onto Asti's there, but he's going to hold this line now. The retake is on. And so much pressure on Nero in this moment, and he gets the kill as well. If he falls, his teammates were nowhere near the site, but now he's able to slow things down. Defense. And Hook on one of the map, Arsti is on the other. It is a pinch working around it. And Arsti's just gone the long way around. Great timing. Pressure now on for attach. No, oh, Arsti, he's on that pinch. Guns them both, and that's the search. I do not believe it. Great work out of Seattle, sir. I like 10 and 4, chat. I like 10 and 4. 5 3 scoreline. We now find ourselves at 1 1 in the series. No curse there, and RCD's playing out of his mind as well. Finishes that game on a 5 spree. Game 3, chat. Game 3, we go. Call as well. 
I did see the Adam Assault tweet. That was a fucking funny ass tweet. Adam standing on that fucking business. Early rounds, literally from the jump. Purge jumps straight off the map. Surge take advantage of that first blood when the propane tan explodes. That is privy to do. They take advantage. I was like, I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'm gonna get more water too. So Seattle, as is expected in the search and destroy, they take care of business. A nice little bounce back in the series. Where's the king? Where's the king? Over on Gonski. These lovely damage as well. Lead work. I just went crazy. This is Jake to my. I mean, what are you gonna call? <laughs> Tell them. It's a J. It's horrible. Now it's a J for you, bro. I'm fucking lagging out. I was gonna leave Zuma, but I feel like people like the King. And then on the uh, other side, a couple stinkies. Yo, are they? They're out the. They're out the crib, right? They're not at the hotel. They're out of crib. Damn, that crib looks crazy too. You know what time it is, folks. Oh yeah, they they had a crazy ass crib. It is technically T-shirt time. T-shirt time. Actually. It's hoodie time. We're giving away a Razer Kyra Pro for the Xbox headset right, right, in right, right. white, as well as an r and right, we'll be right back. Give me a second. King Richie hoodie in Hell blue. Yeah. Absolutely. What? Yeah, you guys know the drill. You need to type optic in the chat right now to enter right, this right, right. beautiful giveaway. Also, scan that QR code. Check out the products. Sometimes you can't rely on luck. There will only be one winner. Absolutely. Appreciate you guys tuned in. Our second to last match of the day. Last one actually should be a banger too. LAG versus Rocker. It's a fucking purple affair. Bose well, and the espresso hoodie. Seth Net coming soon. Optic Spring Drop. Me, Rich and Lonely Dot Shop. RNL X Gump Miami Edition is live this weekend until Sunday only. Yes. Thank you very much to everyone that picked one up. The only problem now, Zen and Mark, is that. It's now triple invasion to end the series. Oh, I'm so go take a shower. If we do go to a game number it. five, we're gonna see triple invasion. And those are Zaz coming in, Zazman. I, I should need pizza. I feel my tits just a little, just ended. Oh, when I get home, it's it's right back to gerbil. Well, I I'm home for two days, and I fly to Jersey yeah. for Easter. And then Dad's birthday for dinner, real? Easter meal. Oh, let me go check we that out. Chat doesn't know what's after that. They don't. They don't know what's after that. That's eating, too. That's eating. That's eating and, news, and drinking. News coming soon, chat. News coming soon. I don't know when that's going to get announced, but it will be coming soon. I know. I know. No way you guys are I gatekeeping. Know. No way you guys are blue balling. We have to. Not on us. I wonder when we're going to announce that. It's got to be soon. Got to be soon. Man. Chat, I fucking love you guys, man. It's going to be a great weekend. Tomorrow's matches are going to be absolute bangers. Dude, tomorrow's Optic matches. Toronto, FaZe New York. Tomorrow's matches are about to be crazy. Yeah. yeah. We've got Ricardo with a 10. He said, is Hex bringing back Mexican candy? Dude, Mexican candy is insane. Some, tamar some tamarind? Some tamarind covered chili bar... Chili covered tamarind balls? Oh, dude, don't even get me started. Some Pelon de Rico. Oh, How is it? Give me that little fucker. What? Is it better than last night? Oh, yeah? Okay, I'm coming. Um, been watching since day one OG Optic Days and now sit here with my son watching Green Wall. Let's go, boys. Uh... Thank you very much, Exuma. Appreciate it. Uh, Joe, Jordan ain't getting clamped by Jason Terry, and he's definitely not losing against that Mavericks team in the finals. Just saying. Does Optic have a promo code for Wingstop? Do we? Really? No promo code. Nope. Yeah, guys, code word optic in the chat. Get in on the giveaway. Kyra Pro Hyperspeed headset in white. Also, rich and lonely hoodie in blue. Beautiful. How come the team doesn't rock the new optic jerseys? Uh, CDL regulations. Eduardo, think of the five. Just picked up the RNL Wasted merch. Can't wait, dude. Roly, thank you, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Enjoy. All right, we got Triple Invasion coming up while the boys all are over there just hounding that pizza. I can't fucking wait. 
Let's go through some map records. How about that? We got Invasion Hardpoint coming up next. That's going to be 4-3 and three for the Legion. It's going to be 1-3 and three for the Surge. Or it's Control, sorry. I'm, I'm on Mars. 4-3 and three for Legion. 1-7 and seven for the Surge. Holy shit. That's not a good record. Next, Hardpoint. 4-3 and three for the Legion. 1-3 and three for the Surge. Clear favorite in the next two to the Legion if we're talking about records. It's, it's Gas? I'll get you something. I'll hold it down. It's Gas? I'll get you something, young boy. I'm finna hold it down. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good for right now. Oh, Challenger's going on. That's Guy Blaze. And Challengers? Oh, that's nuts. Some of the teams that played today don't play again until Sunday at 9 a.m., so they got a little break. I mean, that's not too crazy. If you think about it, if you went on Thursday, I mean, it is Challengers, though. Yeah. If you're fucking, if you're a pro, you win on Winners One. You don't play till Saturday. It's kind of the same thing. I mean, how? Who are the teams that aren't playing that long? Like teams that are far in the tournament already? It's got to be like the teams that are, you know, top of the league, right? I mean, that must mean there's not a lot of Challengers teams, right? Half of the teams who have made winners round three will have to come back to play at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, that's not that's not as bad. If it was Sunday, that'd be kind of insane. I'm back as hell, my brother. All right, Invasion Control starting up next. Riley, go ahead and ro roll that giveaway real quick. We're back. Roll that That's some food we'll too. Do it super quick here. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you for joining us. I'm not gonna us. win, dude. I just never fucking win these eight. fucking giveaways. It's like I don't enter them or something. I've been the best in the game. Let's go, chat. Lock in, lock in, lock in. It's money time. Season your chicken. No, it is not fried, Cardi. I'm sorry, bro. No ticks at all, even on the B zone. You see Vegas. They they want to keep things standard. They want to go for B straight away. Purge has the intel. Two on the cross. And hey, Purge has basically seen the entire team. He's seen enough. He's seen too much. Embrace you, though, will be the man to get the first blood. You're on A already with a slow. No, no, actually, you're not. For a moment there, I thought we might be able to see it. But Vegas, they're trying to get themselves in there. B is going to be slowly captured now. Single man on it. It's going to be Geo. As we are jostling for position more than anything right now. Well, you're just seeing the value of Purge on the mini-map right oh. now. It takes three players effectively roaming over towards this A zone to make sure nothing crazy gets away. And even though it's Hatch gets caught, Geo and, of course, his teammate right now, Nero, around this B zone. They've at least stopped the clock. The slow progress is continuing. No trophies, though, so they are going to get back down. And Surge jumping straight on it right now, getting so many of these kills. Geo can't be comfortable just yet. You have Surge maybe setting up on the, the defensive end. RC is in your spawn. A delicate moment. If the players right now on Vegas fall, they could end up in the dagger spawn trap, but it looks by the looks of it. Nice little Kobe there from Nero. Well, they make it right out. Yeah, Geo, lovely movement, great awareness. Keeping the play going. Attach and Nero getting the captures done here, and that's going to be B done. So a minute 51 to play. 23 lives either side. And Purge once again doing all the dirty work right now for the team. Hoop making him pay for it there with a very large explosion. A series of automobiles that go boom. The shots at range. Is that all down to A for Seattle Surge on defense? Yes, Vegas have done the standard. Now they're going to be looking for something just a little bit extra. Geo, the player over by the bridge, going to be scouting for information to feed towards his teammates. A triple hit right now through this B street. So many players swarming around the top right side of the minimap. Geo's only calling out players around AS and D and Cafe. And well, on the flank, you see the kill feed. Nice little three wipe there from Surge. And you can see they're counting players as well. That is a lot of people surrounding Nero. A good stun, not quite the gunny, but eventually they take him down. The war for rugs is over. The war for the A Street is about to begin. Abuza trying to push that front line back once again. Sure, look, even Vegas I'm alive. to meticulously make their way across these close quarter battles. They're going to be fighting all across Invasion. Purge once again, right back to it over here by the bridge. Long line of sight, trying to pass information, looking for any opportunity. Can you punch a hole, Nero? Try and do it again. Well, there's an extra kill. A couple openings on the map. A couple players making it through mid as well. On the cross, you see Abuza worried about getting shot in the back, but attaches there for one trade, but he's going to need just a few more. 
He's working with Purge right next to this A zone, but three players for Seattle nearby on the defense. So far, Surge keeping things nice and under control. Yeah, Purge really needed that two piece to really get the play going. Hook clearing up, clean up, done. Squeaky clean, 99.99% .99 of germs and Vegas Legion players cleaned out on that side of the map. That should well, be the fucking and there's a big announcement too. RC is going on the five spree. He's just looking for Ooh, numbers. No he can't quite get it. Ah. Purge making the heads up play off respawn to take the deep route. That is officially the most standard round of invasion imaginable. The team on offense, well, they get three ticks, but no Moss. And if you're in Vegas, you have the best record on the defensive round. Look here, if you do that, make sure it's only on uh, You're kick. trying to set up the full spawn trap and I don't think you can do that on Twitch. No ticks they're, they're, on they're, either they're, side. That's what I got, you want to keep the B zone secure as well. That might be the route to set yourselves apart. And that's when it comes down to eliminations. Yeah, no joke. I mean, I was the shit was fried. Who's managed I mean, to burn through the most enemy lives. We'll I find out what happens in this round in a brief mode. We're going to see if Seattle Surge can get some zones captured. That would be ideal for them. We are sending it 2 2 down the map, 2 to A, 2 to B. And maybe an interesting look, too, because Brezhi's playing around mid map as well. They're waiting for maybe some kills to fall into their lap and the jump yep. after that. Almost playing a round of an S and D over by Cafe. And you see Vegas getting a bit aggressive as well. Now RC's in Hoog going for the Chows. Hoog's able to pick up, too. This could be the break towards the A zone. Oh, dear, it is as you called. Oh, killing plays. Purge now able to push on out, getting on towards Asties. The slow cap on A, it's not going to last much longer. Geo cleans house. Breshi trying to move forward, plug the holes under the watch of a boozer. It's not going to be enough. And you have the opportunity to go towards A, but now because you lose those fights, this is Vegas' opportunity now to not give away ticks on either zone. Boozer finding his way through the middle of the map. The defensive line of Vegas Legion still holding. It's getting a little shaky. They're not trying to let anything through. Geo has to double back. Abuza runs him down. 50 seconds to go. Purge with a perfect push at that right time. Arcity's taken care of by Nero. An opportunity still. They can't win gunfights anywhere. They are struggling. And now it might be the full commitment or maybe half commitment. Hook's not even played towards his teammates over by B. Hook's looking for an individual play and his teammates are losing the gunfights on the other side of the map. If you can't find an opening, you are running Damn. out of time and you are getting gunned down. Jeez. GG's. Could be another no one here. Less than 20 to go. Reggie's in the wrong part of town. Wide open in the middle of the street. Attach is going to be able to get it any more from the spawn. They're all lined up on him. Attach. You get in the game. This is damage dealt. This is just burning. Three of them have CT on Seattle. That's well. the problem. Oh, it's three three, three, three members of the CT and the CT crew. The final 10. Is Abusa going to be able to get on the zone? No. Oh, Attach on a five. The for streaks. I mean, and that is the type of round that might just decide the game. You had a nearly perfect opening break there from Seattle. Hook picks up two. You get RCDs to the point. And then Hook gets gunned to bed by Purge. And the round collapses after that. We were watching that player on ice cream. You had a 26 to 17 in the life count. There was a long stretch where nobody on Vegas died, keeping everything secured. And Seattle simply biting off more than they could chew. They are Please. massively disadvantaged now. And if I'm attached, honestly, I care so much more about this cruise missile, almost more than I care about the round. You can play for it. So you got that three tick advantage, you're feeling very comfy now in this game. Oh, Breggy. That's a delightful first blood. There we go. Oh, it was so close. Cruise secured. Spree finished. No problem. That's the war one as far as we're concerned for attach. 14 and 5. What a go of it he's making. But this time we've got an open A. And Purge is in. Oh, this is incredibly problematic as well. He's got two players watching over him on the cross. And while well, they're picking up all the kills, bad news, no trophy. But the nades aren't running in just yet. Attached looking to stack two players on the point. What is he doing right there? Just wall bang it if you're going to check it. Just wall bang it. Are you as well. RCD's oh. running straight into the eyes of they have CT. They have, they have CT. They have CT. They have CT. tick on A. And Surge. Seattle players have CT. Yeah, the trophy system's going to keep that A. Not my boy, safe. though. And now the second segment of A is on the way you out. just check oh something you can wall bang. could be saying goodbye to this zone. Purge, hold it down. You may get the zone. You may get streaks as well. RCT's on the outside, not willing to commit until the last possible second. He flies second. in no and problem. it looks at their side. I understand. And I tell you, oh, like that's so scammy. Surge almost might want to just hit it in this moment, especially if Nero can get this extra kill. Oh. He's got the bait for it. Purge. Who's I love that? Who's not 
Luis. They're Holy shit, the pressure Luis. up in the kills column. Keep it up, Luis. Remember, Luis. Rolling through a tight spawn there from Seattle, but right now Vegas, they're going. You will benefit more than anybody else, Luis. No matter what anybody says to you, you. It streaks for Purge as well. A double dose of cruise missiles here in this game of control. Three. My good God. Purge still alive. Finally, Abusa brings him down. No one that cares about you go. wants to see you Over to B. go through some bad shit. A very it. difficult position Problems to be in right now for Seattle. Shit. I mean, I don't think Nero's even died on this round. I think he might have gotten COVID by Breche. The stolen oh! He has been nothing but perfection. Really? Giving the severe hands case there of to who can he still keeping the pressure on the spawn? Players on surge look in every direction. RCDs gets caught with his pants down, and now you get the break towards the B zone. Oh, and he's looking at number 10 as well. Play it safe. Oh, well played from Hook. Awkward gunfight to be in as Nero now flying into it. My God, the absolute carnage on the inside of these tight buildings. No one able to quite get close enough to the zone to start the capture. But right now, you're not too worried. Vegas are winning in the kills department as well. One minute to play. You just need one player to stop the clock, and Attach is trying to be that guy. Player in DVD Alley, but he's got plenty of reinforcements to back him up. And, well, the nades rolling through, a flank through. Dark Attach looking every direction. He's the last man standing, and there's nowhere to go. That is a clean moment there from Seattle. Still, though, at least one tick has flown through. 45 seconds left in this round. And sure they're calling know. in a cruise. If he got three, might as well. Yeah, might as well. Oh. Bang. Connects. Arsty's eliminated. If they can take care of Brezhi, which they have, that's an opportunity to maybe get towards the zone. Hook has got to go gargantuan. In the next 30 seconds, the solo's players down. Oh, my God. They're just calling an orbital and airstrike on him. He's gone. 25. A boozer trying to cut him off. Can't get it done. Onto the zone. And it might be a three-man stack. It might be enough. Vegas, hold on. Halfway through B we go. Arsys brings down one. Still two members on it. It's a three-man now. The zone is evaporating. No one there to get it. Seattle send it, but it's not enough. GG's. Vegas under the coverage I mean, of the cruise. Already. They had six Steal ticks. the round. Six ticks. Yeah, I mean, you have three to work with as well, so you could chalk one up. You basically need one for defense. If you get two, it's great. So why not have fun with them? That is the type of round that can basically just guarantee you the victory as soon as they capture the A zone. It feels like it's going to be just nice I and hate to say this, but I think Hugh is Tony Ferguson. In that moment, again, he just had a, a two-minute long stretch where he was virtually untouchable. And now for Vegas, you got two cruise missiles, and you have to win a defensive round of invasion control. The easiest sentence of all time. I was going to say, didn't that sound so simple? Well, we'll find out if Seattle have got any dirty tricks up their sleeve. Some surprises to throw the way of Vegas Legion, because so far, the odds are good. A boozer on the slow capture. Nero playing his life very quietly, but it's not going to be enough. Hook hears him and deals with it. Slow cap, one segment of B done, and Hook's still going. Oh, they're going to go for the uh, early investment as well. How many kills can he get with it, if any at all? Not good on the curve there, so that's one cruise missile out of the way. It does absolutely nothing except maybe give Purge time to flank. I'm, I'm not trying. Try, listen, if Seattle won this round, we don't the gas them up. Well, they need to win two of these. Up the kills. Two players from they're down seven ticks. And, well, they got a long way to go. Nero still has his cruise missile. You were just saying, you know, well, actually, I, I like to, to, uh, down nine ticks. to win a defensive round with two cruisers in the back pocket. Like they Gino's need to do what he can from this back front to back right -hand side of the map. So but we'll see what Surge are finding the angles. They're finding the openings and they are creeping through. Geo hold it down. Middle of the map looking all Vegas as well. Yeah, invasion defense so strong. A caster curse can't even ruin it. Geo in a prime <laughs> position. You got near over by B control. They got a nice little handle on the map so far. And now you got roamers as well for Vegas. And with the pace this slow, they're going to be able to think it through. Two players right now, Purge and Nero, Two just sets. trying to slow him down as much as he can. Slow things right down. Slam. Nero, somehow, with a hot hand he has had, has just fallen prey to Breggi in a simple drop shot. Hoog through the middle of the map. Yeah, it looks simple on his screen. Eyes on I promise on Nero's screen, it looks like he fucking got it. so abused. clear right now as Geo. He's shot still you. alive and kicking, yeah, still a problem. Right there, he has been traded, so an opening now for search. And, and Geo over aggressive, so he gets caught. So, well, the close spawn doesn't come through, but you have a quick route optical. to actually get to this zone. Breji behind enemy lines, and Vegas, a couple players are falling. So this is a mixing moment where the chaos, well, it makes you second guess, but as Breji falls, Vegas stabilize. And even though the A Street got opened up, Surge not able to take advantage. Looking for that building-to-building -building gunfight. 
No one from Surge home right now. Can they punch their way through the front? The spawns there for Vegas Legion will still be an issue. Purge, no problem. Nearly gets the pair. Hook heavily damaged in that engagement. He has to slow down now. Well, he's got whatever gun he wants in this moment. Rival in one hand, MCW oh, in one the other, waiting for the kill to fall on his lap. Except for two, there is no way. Whoa! Straight in, and Geo gets caught looking towards his teammate. Good news is, Purge is there tweaked to pick a him bit. off, and now RCD is well. Nothing you can do in that moment. The cruise missile, just the stamp on the game. The stamp flattens the middle of the map, flattens the park, and flattens the hopes for Seattle Surge here. Oh, what did Jacob say? Control. Vegas Legion living up to the defensive line. The stats did not lie. These boys held it down. So it's a crowd, so it's a crowd. And with that, they take the lead in the series. And Surge's quest to win a respawn against Vegas is going to continue. Going to be forced to do it in the hard point, but obviously see Vegas maybe a little bit tired, a little bit sleepy when it came to that map one, but they've certainly woken up now. We'll find out what Seattle Surge are made of here. You're going to have to pop some serious words to the squad. Keep spirits high, keep morale up, keep them rolling through. They've shown promise in the series so far. And Vegas have shown such promise in the tournament so far. Again, that matchup against Toronto is still very fresh in our memories and certainly fresh in theirs because they are looking strong indeed. Two to one. It's match point and the death Woo! for Seattle Surge if they can't win this invasion hard point. Again, fearful though for both of yeah. these teams because Vegas really I not chat. see that game. Seattle pop. Surge down to one. One map away from getting flown out of the tournament. We have a... Oh, this is the wrong one. Wrong tweet, but it's funny tweet right here. Buddy thinks he's a threat, yo. So why do we play them on their, their best maps? Because that's literally what you did. Because we haven't been good at Karachi Control and they ran our world on Terminus and Day a week ago. Shit, the owner of the team is confused about the videos. We'll go ahead and link in my tweet. <laughs> your own former superstar disagreed heavily with your vetoes, dog. What? Love Sam, but he's not watching practice every day, dog. What? It wasn't the vetoes, bro. It wasn't the vetoes. They I just work in the kill feed. Uh, he has truly been one of the best players. They in the just game. LAG I just wanted it more, bro. Respectfully, his numbers across LAG showed up to play. They wanted it more, bro. They wanted a lot more. When he needed to be, I know they wanted it a lot more. You're gonna need to see some more wins, but this is definitely a team to be. This is gonna break you. We're about to we're about to go into the match for immediately. Surge here, but if they do, it could be the start of a decent losers bracket run. I mean, they're almost like firmly in the fifth. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know what Seattle's going to do during this offseason or during this uh, 12 day break. But the CDL. By the way, the 12 day break is a 12 day break. So the main stage. I think it's 11 or maybe it's 11. Buffer them up just a little bit. But outside of the game, maybe one or two very small moments. Vegas have looked clean. Vegas looking clean. If they can keep it going, they walk along into the tournament. Continuing onwards in that. I don't know. Bracket. I mean, it's probably the last time we see Brazil, though, respectfully. Been a really, really rough. Twenty-seven dollars on wing step. Are you okay, brother? What the hell's going down? Team change is not helping them out. They still need some more time to really find their groove. What's the go-to order, Sleepy? Put us on, bro. Put us on. What's the Sleepy order? We know, we know you have the some of the best orders in uh in all the U.S. If they can find the invasion hard point, we go to that search for the final game. God knows what happens then. That's when I think Ellie is in a big comeback. We'll see that. Invasion hard point first. Dressing, brother. Again, you keep talking about the respawn victory for Seattle. Is it here? It has to be. Otherwise, the series is over. Yeah, a three and fifteen record on the three maps we have for respawn for Seattle. Obviously, that is now three and seventeen with the two losses that they have. So again, the odds certainly not stacked in their favor. But if they do, that is the big question. Invasion still a nearly perfect record for the squad in the game fives. You gotta be on the lookout for them. So Vegas again, oh, also feeling the pressure potentially be the map that decides the series in either direction oh, oh, oh yes and what a story for vegas as well for the vegas legion roster for the organization and this has been the most promising roster they've had for a long time the most promising position they found themselves in winners bracket i got boneless meal with 15 miles and five member with cheese fries what is so miles is that buffalo they can keep it going it is a historic right, let me look up what the for the organization is. and now for seattle surge it's the revival it's the comeback it's the rebirth can they get
get it done on Invasion, force the game five. And look, you had for map one, Seattle Surge spawning into the bad side of Skid Row, and it was still a perfect opening break. I mean, yeah, I called 3 3 one I, I don't know how they win this map. This is talking about the win. This is now, uh, this is Vegas mapping. Maps where the opening breaks for Surge have been very strong. So the game plan on that front has been on point. If you get a strong opening break, when you're spawning on the better side, setting yourselves up, surge, big body. I got an big opportunity body early. Invasion, not the I got big body, fuck, big body bats. It's fucking huge, side, by the way. He is, he is a little force. advantage that you could try to get. You want to milk it for all it's got. Nah, bonus are smaller, right? No? For surge, they have been clean. That was so clean, man. I mean, whether it was the stun to assist on the other side of the building, you name it, man. They had it all going there. Hook spree, though, is done. We're going to see that hard point only have a single second earned. From uh, that's biased, that though, so Travis. I've never seen done. the Bowser guy in person. Now with the pressure on the point. There's the teamwork from Vegas. Three in the feed. And now, like, push out. Yeah, Seattle Surge got three out of the four kills off the opening break and converted it into being down at two seconds. You still have that rotation over towards P2. But right now, for Vegas, you can keep things a little bit slow. See if the kills flow your way. Final 12, se or 12 seconds, rather. They're going to collect. In a little bit of time to try dog, to set bro. yourselves up. There's not a single trophy right now on this hill. I don't know how many stuns and nades that Vegas have left, but at least off respawn, Natasha will have a couple. I'm going to find out real quick, but the trophies are on their way because the uh, production and the elimination categories have been solid. There's the pinch. The spawn awareness not necessarily there for the boys of Surge. Run away. And you're in a bit of trouble now. Still no trophies Good in job. play. Arsty's he's going to spawn right behind these boys. He's going to make his way into the feed and hopefully Game get back shit. to the hard point. And this is an interesting Good job for Seattle because the Good battle job from Alec. Good play from Alec. Open, Stop blocking that spawn to go around. Any of that time. Now you're trying to get purge off the hill. Arcee after after this kill, purge, you need someone to shift mid here and start cutting Certainly left. Has a little bit of coverage from his teammates. Okay. They're able to get the okay. second as well. Can he get the trades? Yes, Reggie is there. And he get Vegas off the time and Seattle. Well, they Vegas should have that rotation. really heavy on playing through this crap, which I don't mind. They had a P2. Didn't really net them any time but at least they're winning the rotation battle Geo is going to soak up as much of his final time as bro, he possibly can. His teammates are all Wingstop around does not have hot no lemon pepper, bro. I wish they did. Oh, Vegas. I did it. I'm not even. Words You're fired. Maven. I'm fired. <laughs> Words to Vegas. As no one is near that new hard point. That's all going to be Seattle for now. And hey, you don't get any time on P2, but this is a much easier hill to lock Wingstop down. Wingstop has and hot you lemon pepper? I've so never heard of that. So far in advance. Vegas absurdly far away from actually getting this rotation. So a strong hold here for Seattle. And they might even just take the lead. See if they can do it. Oh, Asti's keeping him back through the middle of the map. I've got a purge trying to find his opening, and it's not going to be there. Once again, Seattle Surge finding the kills, and look at that time soaking it. That makes Run sense. Running it up, Reggie cuts out yeah, two. I can't believe you got wish. the pair. 30 to go here on the hard point, and it should be Seattle's. Oh, yeah, he's running it down as well. Off spawn, challenge like that, getting the big kills, and yet the lead is going to flow their direction. And more long term good news for Seattle. If you're talking about staying ahead of the game, they want the right side spawns for the P4 hill as well. Dang. And they're getting all the kills. Arcee's here's a double kill. He's on a five. Four for Alec, can Alec go trying to call game. As well. Just gets caught running down the ace. Alec trying to ISO. So Alec trying to ISO. But at least you got the right side spawn. Hey, man, these things happen. <laughs> this is the way it goes. A solid lead right now from Seattle Surge after a very productive P3. Over to a very difficult hard point to find any time when the Vegas Legion are doing their very best to do so. Smack bang in the middle of the map, the park. Not a fun place to be, but right now, not a terrible place to be as Vegas are holding it down. Well, you have Surge nice working like what, up the angles of the street. Only one player's actually gotten towards the tank, but who gave him pick up two? Arcee's in the actual power position in Surge. At least get Vegas out of the Damn. time. Big question about whether or not you can collect any yourself. It That's is so many so square big. on gunfights where He's a lot of damage is going to be done. The question is, how many kills can you actually get? And can anyone step foot? On the hill. Maybe not. We might just sort of play TDM around the outside, see if anyone can get a streak, maybe, at this point in time. No one really looking too close to it. But I will say, kudos to Geo there. He dived in for a moment before being eviscerated by Asti's. Final 10 seconds of this hard point. And no one really walked over the whole lot of time there. So we're going to say hello to what's called the hookah lounge, towards the top right of the map. And maybe saying hello to a surprise purge. He doesn't play the more typical contest spot. He's found his home deep in the back of the map. And the question is, when he wants to strike, 
Getting active in the moment. Gets the free uh -huh. kill on the hill and his teammates win the gunfights as well. Still going to be the close spawn back cast here for Surge, but Purge making the heads up play. Surge can't deal with the Good sneaky play, Evan. What a beautiful play. Surprise, and then he finds a few working out the Geo and Good Nero. fucking job, Evan. Rows find their respective kills in the map. And that's going to be another big one for Nero. Now three in a row. We saw what he did in the control game, and he's looking to do exactly the same here in the hard point. All Vegas, all Purge. What a play. And you just got to get out of your spawn. You have a right now an invasion hard point for surge where they won the opening break won every single rotation on the map and right now down by about 40 points and they're struggling just to get out of their spawn Bredgie's at least crossed but you're still not getting any of this time that was a beautiful hill there from vegas Credit to the rookie as well for the heads up play and Nero might have started slow, but he's on a four spree now. Yeah, so yeah, they're great. We job can't keep those players. Look, Cardiac, we can't even gas people in 2024, motherfucking day. As that stun slows him down. Cold world, man. We're gonna hit a play. We're gonna do anything. We're gonna slip slide. Just sort of hope for the best at this point in time. Back to P1, we go, Chance, and not a tremendously high-scoring game either side. Not even remotely close to being a high-scoring game. The game clock might absolutely come into effect, just like the palace spawns are. Breji spawns next to him, the unreadable, at least you get the trades. I'd say the scary thing for Surge is that they're ahead of the rotations, they're still losing the game. If Vegas actually get a setup on any hill, it could be scary hours as you are a no mass away from being eliminated. We are one kill away from looking at a cruise missile there. No hands this time. I said he made a good play, right? I said he won the, he won the, the one on the map. He won looking solid so far. Seattle Surge learned uh, this in the first go around. This time a little bit more productive. Problem, Nero is already in the new hard point. He's found himself a sweet corner. And he's nestled up for more than just the winter. He's looking for a two-piece, and he gets it. This is the problem. Vegas finally able to be nice and secure on the rotations. Not a single palace spawn coming no, through. Dude, Everybody from Surge as far away as they could possibly be. And as soon as number five spawns up palace, you bro, they could have got Vegas somebody in the broken right there. That would have been forward. amazing. Guns forward at the ready lads. Drive. Push them back into the streets. That tank is immaculate cover. The hard point as well. Now the trophy's working overtime. You'd name it. It's all looking up for Vegas Legion. 40 seconds to go on the hard point. A boozer with the opener. Is this enough to get his boys forward? It's Purge laying suppressive fire from the middle of the street and Nero soaking away. Yeah, keep your eyes open. Been the longest time since he's taken a gunfight. By the time he gets one, the trades there coming through. Reggie right now, a nuisance in squared. And if Surge can keep him pinned back in the map, it's their opportunity to win that rotation. This is a good job out of, out of Surge. Winning a couple key gunfights. And for Surge, delicate moment. You don't want to fall now and end up spawning towards Palace. They're going to chalk it up, rotate over, and Bredgie picking up some massive kills along the way. Vegas, that is a very strong hold on P2, but back to showers we go. And for Surge, it was a decent hold last time. Once again, a full 60, you are right back in the game. Very much so. Vegas Legion, good looks on that last hard point, able to deny the spot for Surge, deny the climbing score, but it might amount to nothing here. Unless they can get the break, Geo. One building at a time, one window at a time as he creeps forward towards the hard point. He may have gone undetected. Now the jig is up and he's been pinched and taken care of. The defense is still a good play though. Alex and I have to win this one. I want here. still ticking in their favor. Yeah, Gio hoping for a scam, but Surge right now. The team could drop back in up out of Brezzi. Usually he makes CT plays. That was a good play. Nice little wall bang from Abuzi and Arcees. Well, and gets to hang out next to his teammate. This makes it a fucking seven point game. We might have a game five. And they needed that one strong hold to get right back into the game. They do it perfectly. A near full 60 and almost tied up as we go into the game. Hello, Mexi, RG. You got Vegas, though, fighting for these right side spawns. Nero always round blue. A delicate moment now in this game. Here we go, Seattle. It's a huge turning point for you a boozer spree the score line changing let's go for a quick listening with seattle search we got time. Very okay, no, 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 no. He's he's stunned. He's stunned. He's stunned. He's stunned. Leave this guy on the left. I'm already here. He's still back. 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 He's
Did you know what? Stop the left, playing streets. Did you know what there is, okay? Yeah, one street right here. One street right here, guys. Ask him to He's the. Back here, guys. Back here, back here. Back here, back here. One HP. Okay, back gas one HP. I'm spawning out. Back gas again? Yeah, oh yeah back gas. 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 No one had us, because no one had a side. Solid plays, maybe not enough in the feed though. It's again the scoreline for Vegas. Sure, that was crazy, bro. The minimap was fucking insane. Here. Can Seattle find the comeback? They're in these spawns, but this is just so tough. Invasion can get insane. They're trying to stay on point, but there's just not a whole lot you can do. RCD's trying to walk in with the MCW, but two players keeping him at bay. And again, Vegas, when they have the opportunity it to is. hold, they make it look so clean. A near 80-point lead as we go back towards P1 and Surge. They got the left side spawns. This is what they want, but they need some more kills. You can see Nero already going on the flanks. Might just be here to pick you apart. Or RCD's continues to be Heads up, this is too hard. Too, too hard to come back here. To stay alive, it's still here, but such a long way to go. Very possible. Again, if you can hold on here at P1, you make your way over to the building site, no problem. You can hold that. You get down to the showers. You maybe even win the game. This is not over yet for Seattle Surge. Geo in Vegas now peeling the bar one player at a time on the approach to the hard point. 30 to go. They can win it here. It's got to be down to Abusa. He has Abusa's got to go have to make a play. Those wins are massive, and maybe a player spawning out and Bredge can shoot some of these players in the back. Surge need a moment where they get a nice little wipe, and they get exactly that. Four down. Vegas spawn on the right side of the map, and the opportunity is now here. Uh, they play they Ravens tomorrow in the morning. They First match of the day, host. P2, but again, then we have Optic Toronto, to then face two West Hills back to back after this to win this game. We'll see the resolve of Seattle Surge. This is a massive moment for them. Damn, nah, you don't hold the phone. The they, because oh they are God, not going to win off each other. It's range. a hard game to Pressure win. Like, really, really hard, hard game to win. You've been forced out of it, Seattle Surge. Here comes the hit from Vegas. RC just wins the first one. Trying to you gotta flip spawns while making sure that you guarantee full time here. Zone, and RC is now the last man standing. Can't fight off the entire team. Vegas get the break. And now you got CT. Down. No, that's not fair, dude. And ice cream purge with the nades over the top. The last hit from Surge. It is done. It is sniffed out, and they have drowned. Vegas Legion continue their campaign through the Miami Major. And that's 3-1 victory they'll be happy with. Getting it done in the respawns when they needed them most. I'm not kidding when I say that skid row might have been the deciding factor in this series. Vegas iced up in the map one and after that and the Seattle surge have finished at top 12 dead last like from top six to dead last in the first half but as soon as they were able to get a setup on a couple key hills they ran the score up and again never looked back no looking back whatsoever Vegas congratulations further into the tournament they go we say goodbye we say adieu to Seattle surge a solid run, a decent showing, but not quite enough to keep their tournament dreams alive here at the Miami Major. And Vegas, are they starting to believe, Charles? Resi and Emi got the same cut, yo. Work on. Back to the drawing board for the entirety of that Seattle Surge roster. We'll see them again online in the building towards Major 3, but for now, great stuff out of Vegas. Uh, Vegas look good, man. Uh, again, the performance that they had on the online portion, at the very least, was spectacular. They took care of business. Oh, yeah. Geo interview, attach interview. Opportunity, and I mean, they're looking like again, almost that clear-cut sort of fifth team in the game, and they've been dangerous against those top squads. Uh, John sure Wick, I don't know. There's never like John Wick. I don't know. Now they're looking for the bounce back, and if there's any team you're expecting that has that potential to make a deep losers bracket run, Vegas is at the top of the list. Those are the guys right now. We didn't even need to have a delve into the free throw monster for that game five that's crazy man i was well ready to do that well there we go that has been the series congratulations once again to las vegas legion that will move on in the tournament gives me commiserations for seattle surge uh, i do believe we're almost ready ah the man of the moment attach is on stage with blaze for our monsters winner spotlight <laughs> thank you so much miles and chance miami show some love to the las vegas legion as they continue on through this tournament. Attach, I know it feels good to get this win on the stage. Yesterday, it kind of seemed like you guys beat yourselves a little bit. What did you want to work on today going into this matchup? 
Uh, still just playing the game our way because last or yesterday when we lost to Toronto those first two maps We got ahead of ourselves a little bit uh, Definitely should have been wins But when we watched it back we saw ourselves just keep going and going and going not to slow it down Take a breath one more break we win the game So that's what we made sure we did today kind of calm it down and then take our time and we're gonna win Yes, John, yeah, 100% nice, nice. I don't know what so they I do we though we saw ourselves just keep going and going and going, not to slow it down, take a breath. I don't know what One that was. One more break, we win the game. So that's what we made sure we did today, kind of calm it down and then take our time and we're going to win. Yeah, nice, nice. And I guess we kind of saw a little bit of that in that map one, too. You know these guys are good at the search and destroy. Map number one, you were down. How did y'all ice up right there to really lock in that first hard point to get back to that win condition that y'all wanted? Uh, honestly, uh, we were playing a little hectic and chaotic, so honestly, we were just getting the kills. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, we're like, all right, we got to calm it down a little bit. Uh -huh. But we were winning the gunfights, which was nice. But uh, to go far in this tournament, we're going to have to play more as a team. There you go. Going to have to play more as a squad here. Tomorrow, we'll see you yet again on this stage. But for the Las Vegas fans that's been cheering your name and cheering this crowd's name, what do you want to tell them and all the Attach fans in the chat? I mean, just thank you so much. Uh, hey, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thank you so much. I mean, coming into this year, we knew it was going to be like a tough one. Everyone thinks Vegas Legion, bottom tier org, a lot of new players that are trying to like prove themselves. So the, the support has been crazy, but everyone loves a good Cinderella story. So we're going to keep trying to make history or Vegas Legion history for like, you guys like and uh, going far in these tournaments like, and make it. Yo, hey, hey yo, like, what about, hey, I think you guys are doing a great job at that. We'll be looking forward to the like next you series. Good, yeah, Chris, like, let's break this one down. Thank you so much, boys. And what I love I'm about I'm trying to get a close up. Like, no, like that's not your girl, baby. You recorded. Victory. Our goal is to take this franchise to the world championship for the first time, to lead them in with the top eight seed, Allie. Yeah, absolutely. And he says Cinderella story, but I mean, they're starting off very, very well, considering Vegas Legion's past and the fact that they took the gamble on two Challengers players. That's also speaking really well for our Challenger team because they have been doing the dang thing on that stage. All three of us picked Vegas Legion oh coming my God. in for a few moments. It got murky, especially that game number one. Actually had a map. We got a little break, chat. We got a little break. We had a five minute break between this series and the next series. The next series is about to be a fucking banger. Do not miss out on the next one. Box score from that uh, match against Seattle Surge. Dealing with a 1.38. I mean, this motherfucker, man. You, shit, you need to take it to the apartment or the facility, wherever they play from, because 1.38, motherfucker. 15,000 damage, most damage in the lobby. Not sweet, motherfucker. Dylan had a great map, bro. Or great series. Uh, no. That's for eighth, Travis. Remember, losers is for eighth. Winners is for six. So, if they win against, yeah, they're, they're six if they win. They got to beat Carolina. They got to beat Carolina. Oh, standings, yeah, they're six. Standings are six, yeah. The possibility of them being a Nezlo team at the beginning of the season, you know, it's just trying to win those controls or maybe even just one hard point and push these. Uh, they are indeed, brother. They are indeed. All right, we got a little bit of a break chat. What, yo, what song did you want, G? You wanted a song? I forgot what song you wanted. I forgot Eternals. I just finished this real quick. Okay, uh, Eternals. Dude, I like the Eternals, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought it was fun. I thought Eternals was fun. I don't know. I, this is a this is a controversial movie though. Like a lot of people did not like this movie. I thought Eternals was a really fun movie. I don't think it was not bad, not good. I actually thought it was a fun movie. I enjoyed watching. I've rewatched it too. I really like that movie. That's a hot take, though. That's a hot take, Travis. I got it. I got it. Uh, Jay. It's fun because of Sama Hayek. Fresh out. Wakanda forever. I don't know. It's either amazing or it's fun. I don't know if it's... It's not perfection, though. But I really... Yo, anybody, what's the last match? LAG versus Rocker. Winner guarantees top six. LAG versus Rocker. Winner guaranteed in the top six, uh, Messi. 
crazy day I've caught so far. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do amazing. Yeah, I think amazing is probably the way to do. And that's it. Those are all the movies. Is, is, I feel like, am I missing any movies? We're missing Ant-Man, Quantum Mania, but that one's like newer. This is a good tier list though, right? Like, I feel like it's pretty good. This is a good tier list. Neymar was so good, I know. And he was Mexican too, like motherfucker. Yeah, oh, yo. That shit was good. That shit was good. Uh, let's go back categories. Let's, let's find some fire ones like AMC shows. I don't watch albums. That's probably something y'all would like, bro. But I don't really, I don't really know album names to be honest with you. Call of Duty. Oh, like tier list. Call of tier list. Nah. nah, nah. Characters, yo. Like, what do you mean like characters? Like, like hot non-human characters, bro. Get off the, get the kids off the internet. Maybe it's grown ass pen though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, maybe it's grown ass man. Donkey Kong. What about Disney? Disney Channel shows? Oh, I know, I'm an expert in these. No bullshit. I'm an expert in these. Yeah, G, don't worry. G, I'll just walk over my desk from my side of G. Don't worry about it, bro. Fucking moron. Absolute fucking moron. Absolute fucking moron. All right, let me start with the S's. S tier. Which is wherever they place. Sweet life on deck. S tier. I still I still fuck with heavy. Sweet life and Cody is the same shit basically. S tier. That's so Raven. Damn. S tier. God damn. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is either. What is this? Is this Sunny with a chance or what is that? I don't know what that is either. So a chance. Uh, shake it up. I thought this was pretty good. Actually, I enjoyed Shake It Up. Raymond's home. I don't know what the fuck that is. Feel from the future. This is not bad. I remember watching the show, but I was like older during this show. I didn't. I, I don't know. It was. It was. I, I didn't watch Lizzie McGuire. I didn't have cable at the time. I didn't get to watch this. 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 Damn, motherfucker, I got old. I really like Jesse. Jesse was fun. I fuck with Jesse heavy. I'm not gonna lie. Jesse was A tier. Bro, wait, Travis, you don't know Jesse? Fit what? I, I remember we had cable because we so I lived in a trailer home, and our neighbor had cable, so we stole their cable. This is before there was cable boxes, so the cable would. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we were stealing it, Travis. I don't know. Damn, I don't know. A lot of these. Three Bells as the Friends and Farm. I remember watching that. Bizarre, good dark. Bunked. Nope. Cop and Coop or something like that? I can't read that. Dog with a blog. Gaby Durin. I didn't do it. You know what I'm talking about, right, Jay? Yeah, yeah. We were, I was still in Kway. Okay, so um, Hannah Montana. This is this is one of my favorite shows of all time. I'd probably do something like this. Hannah Montana. No, no. Sweet Life is like Cody. Sweet Life on deck. I love that show, Raven. My God, my God, that show is so good. And Farm. I don't think I think it wasn't bad. It's probably like C tier though. You were stealing internet? Yo, the Corey in the house theme song was crazy. Like, like that was my shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit came on, and I was like, 
Cory in the house. Give me some. Bro, this video was posted eight years ago. What happened to time? Eight years ago, bro. Eight. Go Koi, yeah, like this is so good. Here we go. I'm the new kid, moving in, getting it done, and I'm officially the candidate for having some fun, you know. You better calm down, Koi. Yeah, I'm talking about an all-out bar. Go Koi, like Mama Ka. Happen. That's crazy. That's crazy if that's true, Jay. Oh, no, it's definitely older. I'm just saying they got posted eight years ago, is it, Jay? They got posted eight years ago. It's definitely older. Fuck, the theme song. The theme song was S tier, motherfucker. Theme song was so good, motherfucker. I'm bro, that is, motherfucker, theme song better than it. Bro, just copy an intro or something, bro. I like Good Luck Charlie. I, I really like Good Luck Charlie. I really, really like Good Luck Charlie. I don't know. Um... Austin and I, I remember watching this one for a little bit. This is like B tier. This isn't bad. Damn, I, I feel like I watch. It's because I watch Nick a lot. I watch, I like I Carly, Drake and Josh, and the other ones. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely different times, Jay. Different times on the internet. Damn, when I was like Goon's age, I was well, not even Goon. Like, who who's 12? Like, Yusuf, Yusuf watches me, motherfucker. I was watching Hannah Montana. Back, everybody. Welcome into the final fight of Friday. We are going to our fifth elimination battle. And I was this watching that. I was watching like somebody. Really the really fight for it. top six between LAG, the surprise 12 seed, still in our elimination bracket, taking well, on. What are you? Bro, Jay, you know why you're clearing through all the essay? Dude, no way you're clipping on it. You're going to hell. You're going to hell clipping through OBS, gang. Drinks, what have you seen from them on land? Because both teams look a little bit stronger than what we've seen online recently. Yeah, you know, for Minnesota Rocker, the search and destroy. It's crazy, I mean, Jay. That's crazy. On point. Winning two of the them in that last series, that's a game mode that has been a pain point for them, especially online. So if they're able to do that in this series, they're in a good spot. All right, maps and modes are ready. Let's bring those up when we can. And now, there's a rematch for top four last, last event. Here. God damn, Karachi, Karachi. speaking. Break it down for me. Who has the edge here? Triple Karachi is kind of insane in this situation Minnesota. simply because both these teams would probably prefer an invasion considering it was in both their series earlier. We haven't seen them play Karachi at all today, at least on the side for Minnesota. I love this uh, for LAG, especially early on. You're talking about Karachi hardpoint, a map that they've liked. They've played it a lot. Uh, and then also that Karachi s and could be a, an interesting one. As we know, Minnesota used to love to play that. Nine reps on it, but it hasn't went their way as of late. So I think I thought for real tweeted that. That's nah. Scuff maps and modes. Now let's take a look at the pickums as we lock them in. Nameless as the front runner. Pressure's back on you. Who are you taking in the final fight? I'm going with the Minnesota Rocker. I think Big Wake wakes up. Alley Cat. Uh, I'm gonna go with the team that made me turn my hair purple. I have to go with LAG. They turned me into a believer. <laughs> Fame walked backstage right before that map number four, and he was like, those map five are winning this. They didn't even get there. They won it 3-1, so I have faith in LAG. You stole my pick. We're going to another game five. Make some noise, Miami, because this party is about to I get started. Out. I want to apologize to all the LAT's fans. This is not me. Race. I'm so much better than All this. I'm right, sorry for Miami letting you guys down. Damn, I can't even clown him for that. Like, I feel that, bro. Like, I feel bad for Twin. He's in hell, bro. Both these squads ready to give it everything in which they got. The you know what's the problem, too? Like, to the like I don't know what happens to him if he gets dropped, bro. I don't see him getting another opportunity, bro. Up their opponents. Here comes Los Angeles. All shadows. Ground team is mobile. Keep them covered. Eyes watching for the opposition. How they crushing any competition. Long 
I mean, he's still making the bag. Like, I can't lie. So, like, LAG. The Gorillas. Is that a pocket watch, bro? Jazz not pocket watching, so much. Well, I know this team's in their to be crazy. The gorillas are here. I, I know Adam I mean, going what crazy. a story this would be if the LA Gorillas get top six. After such an abysmal stage, they cap it off with a win against Atlanta Faze, and then they come into land against a top team in LA Thieves and whoop them 3-1. They're sitting down extremely confident in this matchup. Let's bring out their opponents. And as we know, all that matters is... By the way, chat... This was a top a matchup for top four last event. Without further ado, let's bring out It's about to be a banger. By any means necessary. Everything I'm doing is legendary. Step in my office cuz I'm about not a secretary. Second to none, I ain't trying to be. If you remove the 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 the, the clips, the game clips from this intro, this wouldn't be bad. Cora, I, I told you, boy. Minnesota is giving out back shots this series. I'm just getting started. Time to turn it up. Going off in five, four, three, two, one. Pinch, the pinch. Get in. All three of them gone. Rocker. He's able to find another gunfight as he did the second hit. Because... I'm probably waiting. Keep in mind, child, Lamar's doing this during Ramadan. This is Ramadan for Lamar. That's the rookie of the year. Chat, take one good look. Get a picture if you want. That is the rookie of the year. You heard Ali Cat. Don't be shorty, man. But for him to continue that lead, he's going to need help from the rest of his squad. And I'm looking at the way Vivid performed earlier for this continuation. It is the last match of Elimination Day. It is the last funeral on the day. And it's time to see which purple team gets sent home. Let's go, Blaze. Let's get it going, Ali, and blow it up in the chat. It's the last match of the day. Blow it up, Get loud, Miami. Your casters are Merc and Maven. Time to get it going. All right. Uh, final match of the day. It's been a long one. We've been having a lot of fun. Uh, the action is going to continue all weekend long, but let's get through our last one. And, yeah, Battle of the Purple Squads. But, listen, this is yeah. – you go back to Major 1. Um, this is the battle for top four, right? Uh Gorillas make a run, uh, assaults out there, shaking stuff around. Remember, he was that, uh, that was his magical run. That was his superpowers. Remember? No, it was. He was doing it earlier as well. Yeah. That yeah, was great form on you, both hands. But yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, it was Minnesota in game five that was able to take and get top. Great form, just makes perfect, Michelle. Joe. But uh, ambidextrous. Yes, sir. As we look forward to this one, though, yeah, maybe a little bit of a re revenge game, even though the time has gone past. Uh, I think we've been waiting to. Hopefully, see a rocker. It's biscuit, bro. Like this guy's biscuit eating fruit, bro. You are eating cookies and milk, bro. Cookies, milk, maybe a little bit of ice cream, like that, uh, chocolate and shit, like, bro. Look at me lying, Travis. Like, yeah, as biscuit yeah, I, I fruit. Do. I, okay. I, do, uh, I kind of like what I saw from this team and talking to actors. What's next, bro? You got a side of next team, bro. Like, you are a fucking liar, buddy. Now, on the other side for LAG, it's sort of this. They're getting better at search and destroy. We're playing some Karachi respawns. That is their best. So. Uh, again, it, it was a map five at major one. We expect a so series here. I can't believe that's just forever going to be the Nestle. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Yeah. Just, just, just for, I lock in, lock in. Map number one it's coming up. It's just, it's got to stick for the rest the of the time. Out. Uh, we're getting ready to get rolling bah. here into a bah. map one. Fizzle's out. Karachi hard point's going to be where we start. I think it's what, Karachi for the first three? Yeah, sounds it's, awesome. No, no, well, fuck, because you and I, uh, it was invasion, invasion, invasion to start every series, basically. Now we get to Karachi, mix it up a bit. Uh, and it's a fun one. I mean, I think Karachi, for a lot of people, kind of their favorite modes in some of these is it can be uh, exhilarating. Whole hell of a lot of One and seven in map once through know, stage Joe, two. We'll if Minnesota wins this map, it's over. Look at our if Minnesota wins this map, it is GG's. Yeah, I mean, Hardpoint has been 
a uh, tough for this Minnesota Rocker team trying to bounce back. I think that's why you see this Karachi R point here. One in seven in map ones. And now that is in stage two, but uh, that is their uh, last eight map one. So we will see, can they get off to a better start here? Are we gonna have another deep Minnesota series? Yeah, no, it seems like it always is. Oh, Waking, though, with an opening peak. He's got to back down near on instantly. But the action it's starts to race. go towards Vid map. And here's the hero of your map five. Vivid takes over. This guy, he plays with a pace that is uh, tough to really battle against when he's on point. It's just a thing for him where bit streaky at times maybe struggles with confidence yeah, Bisky, but I knew, like, your big ass like there for him. I mean it's why you have someone like Linz next to him right you understand vivid he understands his role he's gonna go quick there's gonna be times where he's just went losing some of those 50 50 gun fights sure. but when he is on point yes he will win you the map no doubt about it some some even time on both sides is fame there is that sort of entry gunfight we were talking about. And through, bro. can be the same guy on the other side for LAG. When he is at his best, LAG are winning respawns. Yeah, it's sort of been like, who's going to be that guy for a while? It was Diamond Con kind of a consistent factor. Then Estriel, you know, he was getting deep in his bag. It's just like, winner, we're going to find a full team effort from these guys. But, you, you know, you're coming off a couple of wins, showing what you're capable of. It's accuracy still inside of the hard point trying to pick up some time for this rocker squad He's gonna be basically by himself. He's got two people to deal with just tucked away gonna contest as long as he can They're trying to clear it. They're able to do that and still 30 seconds to go Yeah, now with this 30 seconds left It's a question of what do you want to do here, right? You have these back dumpster spawns if you are a Minnesota rocker and well, they're gonna try uh, to the I think rotate, it's but flips, gonna find Travis. the first one through the other is vivid well, they're going to try to tra track him down. They do just that inside of Jones. So this is a no, no, yeah. winner of this place, Oaks Optic or Ultra. Or, LAG. Final or loser. L winner of this place, a loser of Optic Ultra. Yeah. Potentially, there's a fight going down on the hill and this rotation over to P3. Well, at least you better hope so, Travis, because if not, you better get you about my 10 game there. I'm like, nah. Just, on this I already know I'm going to get my 10, Travis. Know that, boy. Optic, where Diamond Con snapping, making plays, battling to make sure they're going to get him at victory. Can you have a heroic effort here again? As they still try to hold a six and two star for assault, but he's the last guy up. How many beams does he have? Been? I don't know. Sold though, seven and three looking out of a movie right now. Leading the way with seven apiece. I mean, that is just a fantastic break right there for Minnesota Rocker. You, you had the rotation, you had the scrap time. If you were yes, LAG, sir, you were down, it is, but then it's just a couple entry frags, and then they just fly on through. But hey, now come on, kid. From the gorillas, it's going to be three dead, probably all I'll begin four. I'm on my muscle stuff. I'm trying to learn. And well, he's going to get taken out. I think the fact you're down like 10 right now, double negative for Lens, double negative for accuracy, triple negative for Awakening, Vivid's even, I feel okay. What's up, big boy? What's we good, uh, Jay? A, moment ago, a little ass man. Pop up to 30 after this whole oh, Big boy, Scott, what the fuck are you talking about? The sling hasn't been there. You're still fighting. Yeah, can they, can they turn an early setup? And it's some good points. Always tough here towards these P4. You do have one player lurking. Wait, he's lagging out. Yeah, wait, like against a soul too. Like, damn, for him. baby. Like, holy shit. He played shit. very well at Major 1 against It's one thing to lag against, like, Faze, but, like, bro, a soul? He's still getting this going here. Can big wait. Listen, Cora, it's okay. He needs to. He needs to. He's obviously not been the force he hoped maybe he'd be for this team, but he's still the bright spot at times. Brother, you, you need to lock in, bro. I don't, really you're going to get dropped, bro. Deep run into this tournament. Lens there not quite able to find the angle. Vivid still trying to battle. Not quite able to do it. Not Again, really, Tim. Some solid time here for LAG. I'm trying to. Try to push out this lead, but you get the I've been trying to get it from like actual food. Now, the Tim. player fighting around. So it's gonna be Estriel. He's gonna track back in. And yeah, now over to P5. Fame is back here. Did he hit? Is that face J Skywalker? That is face J Skywalker. Nope. Did not. Did not see him. That is so our brother J. Now it is a foot race over towards. Are we doing Yo, today, my brother J? Which week of J? Are you ready for the weekend? Excuse me. Fame for now, but there are the trades, and there we go. Much needed for Minnesota. Thanks, Larry. Yes, sir. Thanks. Player, we got a good now. chunk of time at this P5. All right, here we go. Let's see if they can start to bring it back. But Estrell, when that yeah, comes from the map, you're a fucking towards uh, Rad asshole. Trying to push this out towards Junk and see if they can collapse. But still kind of lurking with maybe ability to pinch will be Linz to cover this bottom side of it. But it's just real patient. You're really taking your time trying to group up and collapse behind a pick if you're a gorillas. And there it comes. Assault Estriel, but again, you get pushed on through. You get to the backside if you're Estriel. Still kind of getting a safe close wow. call, though. Let's call it Thugs Larry. You're going to send it to me, They're now only down 30. That's crazy. So a good job of maintaining those spawns, maintaining this hill. This gets them you're right back. back you're the fucking back, kid. The rest of the 20 seconds. What? Yeah, it was looking like LAG. We're going to find that break. It was very close. 
but the number's too strong for Rocker. Yeah, down to 20, as you said. Final 10 and a little bit of a one-on-one -on -one here. He try a little bit of an ego chalice. Accuracy, that's going to be a tough one on Dastriel, but whatever. You get up. Lynch team up. Lynch team up. Out, Good job. Lynch, come on, come on. You try to battle back through mid-map. He's trying to get revenge. He goes right ah, back to try. You got to give me a tour the weekend no ends, Tim, to answer that question. That side towards middle, but Astral going to send him back. Come on, Lynch team. Okay, shut this shit down, bro. Yeah, you've had Vivid on the time, just finding some time because Linz was all the way pushed up. He's on three in a row. Him and Vivid trying to lock down in the middle of the map, but Assault is here. Linz taking it down as he's able to find his fort, just sort of roaming throughout the middle of the map, but runs out of ammo. Yeah, I thought he had like nine left in it. I don't know if he's trying to reload or swap or whatever the case was, but it was an, a, kind of an awkward moment for him there. Accuracy, frustrating for a moment. Good job, Linz big, two piece again. Astral he kept running into, but he finally gets back in the mix. He's able to take down two. Linz falls up with two as well. So it's four that drop for LAG, and you start to bring some time. The lead change comes in. You go out in front now if you're a rocker. But the next hard point, in position at Diner, it is all LAG. Yeah, now you do have one player on the pinch. That's going to be Awakening. Maybe a wait on him. Fame, he's the player that taken down by him. And while he's going to spawn up and hunt him down. So that will kind of stack on him right here. Number two, he's going to fight. In, in ah, how does he lose that? Position, but they have to wait for their teammates off a of spawn. The spawns come in. Now starting to get forward. Well, Lamar Accuracy to the top of the stun. Has to wait for now. Maybe want to double chow, but everything starts blowing up around him and he drops. You got the high ground if you're big wake. You drop down to win the fight. Second inside, but feels like you're merely pre-fired as you push up and the pistol's not going to be able to do it. It's Estriel that's able to get three and really do a great job of holding here at Diner, putting LG back out in front. Yeah, it's like tough to keep up the last 30 seconds here, but you can already see number seven, number eight on your minimap. They are going to rotate, but after Estriel he gets a couple of kills on transition. That means Linz is going to go for this. So they're going to try to find this grab time. They know where Rocker, or sorry, LAG are Number eight against number one's a huge gunfight. on that back right side. Accuracy is going to spawn there now. So kind of in limbo Reese, on the map right now. But LAG, so they're going to find brother. three. Has been a sort of Rocker down 20. Let's go to a list. Good job, Linz. Come on, kid. Time is good time That's crazy, Tux. There, holy shit. Congrats, bro. As accuracy has been on this force spree up top, just desperately trying to maybe earn a cruise for the late game. They're pushing out this lead, tough, but it was Vivid bro. and Linz down low. They were really finding the kill. Trying to oh, Adam shoots like my... What, going to be a small LAG lead, everything now but the next hard point. Yeah, I mean, we got to that list and it looked like the LAG were going to take over P3, but then Rocker able to find the break majority of the time. Gives them Go the ahead, lead of the map. But now, on this transition to our fifth hill, this is where Rocker... Locked it down last time through. You're going to need a break here if you are LAG. Let's see if they can get the break. We go to Vivid, who's watching the deep kind of push through. It's awakening on the top side. It's able to get a kill. The it's car will rip Vivid out of that. Bye bye. The explosion goes through. Awakening, now you got to you gotta get in the fight here. Awakening, good job. Go awakening, go. Good job. Good job. Back. Awakening. Maybe try to pitch this, but big wake. Finally going big in this one. Some huge kills as he's on three in a row and trying to solidify the final moments of this hard point. They get out of it now, so you can't win it on this hard point with 27 seconds left. But do that multi, you're getting the time. Yeah, that's a great read by Awakening to just pinch red. He feels 
where the push is coming from, and now he's on five in a row. One more play to deal with. That's going to be a solid yeah, the deal the week from the uh, previous slipping. gunfight. So you find the 10 seconds, but this allows Minnesota now. The same way you deposit the Bovada. P1. I still like to see that from Wake, though. This is some of the, the chows, the gunny, the confidence, which has been lacking at times. But these final moments are what everybody plays for. As it comes down to the wire, 15-point advantage now for Rocker. White in the hard point as they are fighting around. Just live position. here, live, live, live. Run away, run away. Taking down another one, trying to get away Came with his from top three. It's Estrell over the top. Okay, okay, whatever. And into the point is LEG, but just for a moment. Now we kind of reset, buy for that map control, and as you got the lead, if you're Rocker, you can kind of bait them into this. Pressure on LAG as they're down. Now you get inside of it, you get trophy down, 20 for the dub. Yeah, I love that trophy from Accuracy and the detonate middle alley, so here we go. LAG gonna have to try to get on through. It looks like it's gonna be a big AC push, but that is locked down right now by Rocker, but that's gonna be three dead. Down to Vivid, just four more seconds right. needed, but that left is fast. the break as the transition over to P2 is there. Yeah, this Let's is the game right here Five just by pushing out the left if he wants to he's gonna just play tight such a difficult task uh, uh, tight setups are sometimes so so crazy bro and hit it as quick as you can over towards p2 awakening has ah, okay, gone good job, good job. That should be the game. over this final stretch so many kills for this team so many in big moments an injury into the point but the trade is there for lens assault i'll try to finesse kick but get in and rocker and chat that was the first time well, rocker went on map one since the optic series they were one in seven in map ones. The last time they won a map one was against Optic when they got reverse swept out of the comeback of the history. Going up 1 0 in the series, but they've been trying to find a hard point. Maybe a bit of a surprise when you look at the map vetoes allowing LAG to play on Chirachi. They've only played it one time on the year, has Minnesota City at 0 1, but they've just been like, we need something. We gotta find the map, and they do it here. And I mean, I know uh, it's a final point. I think Awakening got one of the kills kind of staggering that push from P1. It was a big one. But before that, like, he was finding them in glories. Like, he, I felt like he was kind of quiet for most of it. Like, was good chopping. I was doing my brother chopping. Was good, boy. Final two minutes. He erupted. Some excellent stuff there from him. And if, God, it's just that that's what it just feels like. I just feel like if you if you had wake like that, you know, we're talking like giga wake. You know, I, there was a time <laughs> there was a time where Nameless in the green room said that he was going to be the phase killer. Now we're going back years, but like if they can just get a bit of that and he can erupt. We're God, going back man. years. Yeah, yeah, you did not hear it. Oh, almost 5,000 damage leading the way, 24 and 22, but just a very balanced effort really from both teams. Just came down to some execution. I think the big plays for Minnesota Rocker really came around that P3. I mean, even LAG, they allowed the break to come in, but then Minnesota fight on back and then over towards P5. What am I doing, Jeff? Times through. They won rotation, and I mean, it was clean for the most part, and that is where they found a majority of the time. Yeah, and this, all right, listen, when you talk about, uh, you know, playing online, playing on land, like a lot of times historically, even though, you know, players will complain and, you know, fans will and everyone wants to be on land all the time. Sure, typically results are relatively close historically, but like where I feel like it is a real big mental advantage is when you're like a rocker who has all, the, all those game fives, all those close series, you know you're better than that. And like, I just feel like getting here, it is sort of a mental reset. Give them a little refresh and start making plays. Get a couple of wins under your belt. Who the hell knows what they can get going? Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I mean, they got a top four. So uh, they, they, I imagine just getting that first win was was everything they needed. Yeah, I'm sure it's all you're thinking the whole time or saying if you're trying to be positive. Like, oh, well, don't worry, boys. We Top four on land. We get back to land. We're good. And so far. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all they could really. That was the last story. <laughs> they pretty much went through everything else. They win this map. I mean, what a, what a, it was just such a stage two qualifier for them. But doesn't matter they shake it off the, map, the maps in the second the half are just as good for minnesota so they just gotta win this map or if they can just win this map you just they can three one them rare map one victory in the stage two qualifier here is how the game flow went down it had a ton of lead changes early advantage of about 60 or so 50 60 for lag but when the going got tough when the clutch is what mattered when they needed the ice it was rocker yeah, I assume uh, Rocker's blue there, right? Yeah, you can see that P5. That's when they, they really take that lead at the end of the first set of uh, hills. And yeah, and the, again, it was just a back and forth battle. LAG really controlled P2 multiple times, but it was the, the P3s. Every single time they needed a break, Rocker, they had it. Well, the hard point 
Damn, the venue looks dead. What the fuck? Is bro, Friday really? We gotta work on Friday sometime. I don't know how that makes any sense, but yeah. Now looking forward to search and destroy. You know, I mentioned obviously Vivid had that monster map five, big part of why they were able to do it. But what do you think just about the search? Because what do you miss? What you miss? from LAG. No, it has. Yeah, over the last couple of matches, LAG. This is what they have been winning. This is kind of their comfort zone. So Minnesota's up one over now. Chopping. Better and better at that. Chopping. See though. The nighttime it dawns upon us, and we're starting to get freaky here. Yeah. I'll be honest, I yell at our production team to dim the lights when I'm casting because I'm so old that the, the lights hurt my brain and uh, I need it, so that's my fault. Tomorrow we have Vegas yeah, yeah, versus Carolina. First match of the day, bro. That's true. Less reflections off my head, Joe. <laughs> Thing is a spotlight in its own. Yeah, no, it really is. You want to get flashbanged? But uh, now to the match. I mean, think, yeah, I mean, they beat one phase in two, right? Uh, they've had uh, some moments in Search and Destroy. Uh, for Gorillas, though, we're going to take a look at the monster free game. That's going to be a banger, bro. Now, is, Travis, uh, that's the first match. Then it's uh, really Face New Jirachi, York or Optic Toronto. Then there's... Get those stats. Fuck. They're coming, I swear, Joe, I promise. I was told it would be uh, in the last match. Here you go, Joe. There we Actually, go. Monster free game there for LAG. Great on one planet, but... Yeah, we'll see what they can do. First, a po post plant win percentage 92%, but 11 getting plants on attack. So, what's good, Anthony? How we doing, Anthony? What's good, my brother? How we doing, my brother, Anthony? How we doing, Taramaji? Joe, I love what you simplified for me. You know, I'm not that smart. Yeah, so no good at planting, but when it's planted, they win. Sometimes it. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it may be good, sometimes, you know. You know. Destin, do we go? Karachi getting ready to load up. As we're about to hop into this one, LAG, their chance to answer where the search has come alive. Yes, sir, low key. Yes, sir, low key. Not, uh, not I love that, bro, low key. That for quite some time, but as of yes, late, sir, low key. One day at a time, one. A lot of confidence going into this, and you're going to need that because if you're going to beat a team like Rocker, who's kind of solid across all the modes, or a threat one day at a time, one bit at a time, one day at a time. And yeah, one fucking edit at a time. Two. They're three and six. I mean, we know uh, how they like the majority of their setups over towards that B bomb on a, on offense. They probably in in those six losses, a couple of those should be wins. This is a solid map for Minnesota. Has been all year. You know, time's been on the map. How good they've been at just playing. I bet Minnesota. Retakes, I don't want to lose my kidney, so I'm going to bet on seem to have a game plan, but. His diamond starts us off and vivid that answers hip fire from extra like this match or this game vivid falls So you got a three on like this game now. or this map as lens and accuracy Try to bring yes chopping. It's bad, bro. It is fucking crazy Eyes on a one Able to help Lamar just can't quite get away now on to accuracy, he got one top three. That's going to be so tough to do, but 45 seconds to go. So the better hits. clutch in search and destroy history. Can't get him off the bomb. Maybe the double chow comes in. If he can turn that into a 1v1, maybe a shot to do it. Yeah, if the stun hits, maybe he hits the bomb. Play lucky a little bit quicker. Maybe that, that stun lasts over. a little bit longer. Looks like it's all might have tack mass on, or it's just one that doesn't fully connect onto him, but he's just going to peek for top three. But maybe Lin's right there after winning that first gunfight. You kind of saw him back away. Didn't want to give up a trade. Maybe you just kind of have to hold your, your L trigger or take the next fight. But it looked like accuracy took shots from up top. What do so you mean? He like, he's bro, you're more tired. Like, you can't drink water? Like, bro. Caught. Yeah, it's, it's, always, uh, it's always tough. You know? <laughs> do I play my I feel like when you're playing, you like, I drink so much water, bro. I can't really imagine there, someone like him. Tries to finesse, not quite able to do it. So, LAG up now. It's two man fast hit. Over towards him, but you see bomb. It's working towards this B site. It's just all through a red. Go lens. Go awakening. Trying to probably see if they could isolate maybe one player over here, but you've got two in assault and fame. And they were able to catch the bomb planter. At least you're able to take out one. That might be a good thing, honestly. The fact that Vivid finds one, yeah, because oh, Awakening yeah. is there. Because there's a chance where if they're not wrapping this back to A, then you have two players behind your bomb carrier over at B. Bombs down, and it just becomes ugly. Instead, Vivid gets the first blood, and now things are looking up. Bro. John trying to lock this down himself. He did so bro. He holds the I'm in con. Are you? I mean, I even, I'm in con. Are, awakening, are you okay, bro? This guy is fucking time, amazing, I caught, bro. That makes the play. Yeah, it's not much Come on, man. The fact that it's in trade. I think you're right in the sense that typically if you're on offense, if your point man gets a kill, usually it's going to give you numbers on that bomb site. Unless you've got some like hard counter four stack. Yeah, I mean, we kind of saw Linz like looking towards that area. 
But here's Diamond Town in that replay. Nice shot on the awakening. And again, he had Lin's weak I thought on he, the cross. I thought he was just going to slide on it instantly because he was so weak, but he was worried he just get caught. Yeah, they had the comms. Multiple were there, so he was ready for it. Yeah, I didn't see exactly how much damage he did, but he had to have had him one. He had four tags or so at the MCW on the cross. 2-0 now to LAG. As a search and destroy continues to be strong for them over this recent stretch. Fame, though. He's down to 52 and just trying to stay up, able to buy himself some time. But uh, they, they play face online and line, two different things, bro. Lens. He's got eyes on both, and my God, the rival hits there. Just an absolute nuke. His awakening falls, but then it's Lens in accuracy. That oh. followed up. Lens is able to get two Diamond Cons frustrated. Yeah, we've all been there, right? You, you kind of go for the jump shot, and instead you hit the mantle, a ledge, whatever it may be. And uh, yeah, it crossed him right there, so he gets caught. So after that first blood jumps through for LAG, it has been all Minnesota Rocker. Death, nah, taxes, uh, and death by auto. Even man, Awakening lagged it out. He is still way better than me. Like, yeah, <laughs> that guy, I, I, the, the problem with Adam is I don't know about Adam. Oh, that's some tags in, ripped by accuracy. Assault. The lone man of the one versus three is time. Starting to dwindle. Bomb. Against Assault and Awakening? Wait. Stomping all over it. I'm getting, nah, I'm going like, I'm probably drawing like a point eight. shoulders right there, getting the info on where them. his position is from Lance. I mean, that's, you give me a one week of, just, just one week of odd in practice. Sooner or week. later, by this rocker team, and Vivid are ready for the gunfight, has the rival out, and they're on the board. Oh, terrific job there. Yeah, just with the shoulders, not throwing away lives, where they've been, I mean, Rocker's been guilty of that in search as we've been casting them. Just, Am I delusional? I might be delusional. Just though. deaths and jowls you do not need to have at all. Yeah, and here's that replay from Linz after that first blood comes on through. Wins the first repositions for the second. That's where Diamond Con gets caught. He's hoping to find that trade. Cardi, bro. But Linz, the man who turns the round. Please don't, Rocker. Cardi. Don't talk, Cardi. And sometimes don't talk. it doesn't matter how weak you are when there's a rival in your hand. You get first there's shot. There's a weight limit when it comes to talking, Cardi. And trust Before me, brother, you, know, you, you are, are big as hell. Yeah, mantle doesn't help. That weight limit is. <laughs> so you you above that. You can't even you can't even type in 2020 anymore without well, big really as motherfucker. Big ass motherfucker. Big ass motherfucker. going to come to the way of Lens here shortly. Oh. There's just really assault. Who's got the high ground, but. Yeah, I guess he doesn't really get a whole lot of information outside of that. I mean, because it was a pretty heavy. You had a three person B stack. I mean, this, this is what Rocker does. They allow Linz to play A on offense and the other three go B. But this is red by LAG. Estriel from up top, able to find two. two. But so far, the trade's back in four. Two is going to change the round. It might be this man. It's slippery. This is, this is tippy as fuck. Right this is tippy as fuck. He's very far away from Assault. Is Linz able to find the bottom? The problem is he cannot leave Assault in a 1v1. On if Assault is left in a 1v1, he is going to like the fuck out. On the clock and Linz has bomb. He's just gonna go for it. Yeah, get it down. Should be good to get out. Estriel, though, he's a guy that might be able to pounce and get the H. Just able to get across. Hit the four HP. They're hunting. They are hunting Estriel with the ace, with the defuse, picking them apart. One by one, monster round there from Estriel. Yeah, I mean, just great round. And I, I mean, nice reads from him. They get I mean, that was just great. Great AC. everything. Just Estriel, everything Estriel did right there was perfect. So quick with those sneakers, even able to beat Linz in the top AC. They have the read. Linz just goes this for the miracle. Be a doesn't five, work out. Boy. I mean, I, why do I wish you were watching Rocker versus LA Thieves, though? Maybe I'm just watching. I like watching Thieves better. Get out, I thought he was just going to go leave Estriel and, and just try to find Assault. He had no idea where Assault was. Maybe you just try and go and find him as we're going to see a, a replay from Estriel. He's the player going from up top. Some great shots with the rival throughout the round. Not easy through the window, but here's the last one. Now puts them up too. He's on streaks too. Estriel, can he keep the hot hand going? Whoa. Nate's hitting this trophy. He's going out. The team shots of hell. The stun was so good right there. The help is there over the top from Diamond. He's got Linz close though. He may have to deal with trying to center that as the comms come through, but he's backed up for now. He's just getting hit by everything. Every time he's trying to get to his spot, something's hitting him in the face. Oh, and nice teamwork there. Just watching that angle. And then look at this, right on accuracy. He's in a tough spot. It's fame with bomb from one side, Estriel from the other, and they're gonna take that gunfight. Now it's a one a versus four for Awakening. He's able to find Diamond John. No, that's great mid-map. It was what, good cover first from Diamond and good cover from Assault. Just somebody there. Every time you think you gotta kill if you're a rocker, the help is in from LAG and a 
Good chance to get that fourth round on the board. Big Wake had his moments in the map one. He's going to need something absurd here to win the one versus three. And you definitely don't want to feed another kill to Estriel. Yeah, just not a lot of time to work with. They're, they're giving him no. But that's just really it. Just even in the middle of the map, when the nades were hitting, they kind of just had an idea. Hey, look over me. They might peek this. And that's exactly what happened. Minnesota Rocker were just trying to give it uh, Estriel the kill. Yeah, they got Estriel the kill, bro. Oh, hell no. It's probably Estriel. It was in there, right? Once he got the info, I, I didn't see who it was tail end, but he get number five? No. It's oh, it's fame, it's fame. Okay, okay. I was like, I don't know. I see the same thing you see. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, I was just sort of talking out loud. Who was it? Yeah, I wasn't sure, but no, it was fame. Okay, okay. I thought maybe they were like, screw it. Go get, once he got the info, try to get number five, but fame gets the kill. Awakening hunted down for I, one advantage. I've always wondered, now. like, when your team is getting shit, like, your teammate is getting shit off so bad. Real. Like, does Rocker that, is that in the back of your head? Like, I wonder, what I've never, on offense? I never got the plan at Lance, I never got the experience, but I wonder what that feels like. Destroy. It's gonna be three He's dropping point a. sixes, point sevens, point Fame. eights, point eights. He's gonna be here by himself until the rotation comes in from Assault, but Vivid able to get the kill before the help really comes in. Now, what can Assault do from up top? Just trying to get some tags as they're trying to get the plant. Has to cover both sides as the rotation comes in for the help there. Astro gets number five behind the need then two as he's one off a streak and suddenly a 3v3. I mean, you were here fast if you were LAG. And Quick now on that rotate. So, yeah, Bomb not planted. Bomb is down at bus. Yeah, I don't know about this Estro bus. gonna reposition. You, you had accuracy watch in the flank so pretty much around the bomb it was a three versus three it was your now 45 low, seconds left what do they opt to do just kind of taking their time maybe trying to th force lag into thinking this is a rotate but estriel is there he's making sure they can't get to b diamond just trying to see if he can get the him? angle he goes for trying to catch him before he gets away he's able to do it diamond gets the spot gets the info hold him for now it's accuracy and lens trying to play the clutch you want to collapse on this if you can but a kill, big kill there Good from job. accuracy now estriel who's trying to get the streak he's able to win it there right on to it he goes but it's lens, lens through do it to the rookie chat the rookie on rookie you lose the round but you get the cruise i mean honestly it looked like diamond was just gonna walk up after getting the first kill and start to defuse right away yeah, it I really worked out play an angle prone in a corner was not going to check the bomb but I bet right, they wanted to try to get though. Estriel that streak. And you're guessing, too, like how he's going to yeah, play. Car, I'm yeah, sure Cardi did good, bro. Relaxing, well, please Rocker don't lie in the lying lying lying. chat, brother. Relaxing. The yeah. lying is a sin. Big around there while being down a man to stay up. The Cruz, when will that be thrown into the map, too? Estriel hold that in the back pocket. The lens again will be the lone man at A. As the other three from Rocker try to give them an advantage early on, push it up quickly, will be Diamond. Yeah, this is where they've been so good. Right LAG, right inside of the middle of the map. But a lot of cover here. We'll see if this Cruise is able to get anything. But you would hope to work a bomb plant behind that. Trying to go for a crazy angle, but not going to work. Now Vivid and Accuracy get a stare at this B bomb. Looks like bomb is going Marcus down. Marcus Do they take him out beforehand? Doesn't look like it, and he gets away. So Cruz doesn't find a kill, but it earns you the plan. Exactly. It allows you to get across and at least get this down. Yeah, now, what can you do for the post work. plans? Estriel continues to wreak havoc. He's triple positive. Tippy, tippy, tippy tap onto Linz. Neither player going to get dropped from that, but it's Jeez. accuracy that'll fall next. Now, could Vivid be the hero? He was the map five hero, but he had 20 seconds to go, and still three players up for LAG. Make it just lens now he will drop great job there from gorillas quick plant behind right, the home get the crimson boy fifth round on the board i don't know right now bro i'm on the game bro i've been playing all day like no i'm on, on the game gang of rounds using the streak getting the bomb down and then having a great setup here watching that flank not allowing any openings and putting them on match point no you can tell they've been putting in work to search like, yeah 100 uh, percent. Uh, yeah it is obvious now uh, one more this series, yeah, it's got all the all the makings of a game five. <laughs> we are likely going the distance in this one, but still gonna close out this map too. Stun able to hit, slow Vestrial for a bit and get some information through. Everybody is here for Rocker. Just can you isolate players and not allow the first Another one blood. to come to Gorillas? No, you cannot. Diamond Con with the opener. 
Yeah, Lin's had the read. Yeah, he was there, but yeah, obviously he's uh, behind cover. Then you go for the over peak. Uh, Diamond John gonna find the first blood now, trying to zone out Estriel. He He's gonna use the smoke, trying to finesse. While that's going on, it's Assault and Fame quickly on the flank. Just trying to buy enough time, but it might be a little bit too late. Yeah, Lin's finally able to get Diamond. Wake trying to finesse. Pistol God is damn, in. Fame. fame in the dirt. Assault. Be the last a buzzer. One I mean, so it almost gets HP, fucking turned on. That was almost insane from Awakening. Yeah. But Rocker just right through the middle of the map, able to isolate the duo working that site. How Cardi Ball, okay. They find those kills. Nice double from Linz and Awakening with, you know, it was a two pump. It was close, but you know, able yeah, to yeah, use yeah, a little yeah, pop yeah. up. You're good with two, you're good with two. Yeah. He's popping up set high. Maybe three or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll allow it. Lens three in the round now. I don't know. Can he get to a crew? Something to help them bring this comeback to be able to pull off four straight rounds while well, three now. Starts now with a defense here. A little bit different in the sense you have what could be a, yeah, like a four on two quickly over towards B. So you've got to get back into the action very fast if you are Lens in a Nah, I never tried Lucy though. And do it again from man down. He's had to do it before if you were Isn't it just like wings? Estriel looking for him and the timing there on real right as Lens goes to pop. He drops. Then Estriel gets GG, GG. Game three, chat. Game three, chat. Game three we go, chat. Game three we go. So quickly on an island. This one likely done. I mean, what It's better than, than, uh, than the other wing spot here, Luke. Uh, Travis, the one that's by. Uh, what's it called again? Right through the middle of the map. The one close by Humble? First blood. The stuns the nades connect on the one player from Rocker. And then able really? to finesse top base, he jumps up top. Let me see how far that place is. Well. Well, the man was doing it all. Yeah, I I've never, like I, I think they're hella far like, from there. Really caught. Like, Lynch is laying there at the doorway, but like right as he went to reposition, like, right as he went to stand 27 up, miles, bro, that's too far, bro. Unfortunate oh, time damn. there, but nearly 2,000 damage and 11 and 4 for S3. That's deep. Hell of a map. That's Pushes up deep. to get that uh, streak too, which maybe doesn't win the round for you, but helps significantly to get that bomb plan so a massive massive game for Mestrial. Yeah, it's just one of those uh, maps for a rocker Jesus. at times if you want to check while this breaks while I'm a piss I'm gonna go piss I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna leave the king up the guy's any mother grab and fucking like so uh, it's the gorillas they like so comfortable G. like they don't got a couch open like a, a little side or something like I didn't hear one thing you said I got how you taking up a whole couch I can't get one seat like just one cushion I am licking my lips card I'm being that serious I, mean, I know it's on Shepard. I just checked it out that? All the way right. in Shepard, that's, like, that's like 30 minutes. That's like 30 miles away from me, Travis. Damn. All right, 1-1. One, one. We got ourselves a series, ladies and gentlemen. This is a game five, Chad. Lock in. Get you a bag. Get you a snack. Get you much, Liam. I your car to get you a bucket of ice cream. Correctly. Huh. Luck of the Irish, I guess. I'm right, I'm right. Am I right? Tomorrow is going to be insane. Right, Mark? Insane. You get to watch the boys. Shouts out, shouts out, to JB. He's probably not in here, but shouts out to him. Empathy with a five, Seth. I love you. You made me the great player I am today. Can't thank you enough for that. All thank right, you very Zach. much. All right. What up, Tom? How you feeling, Uh, what, what, what is the song called? If you feel like a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You need to come on down so I can pimp that ride. Exhibit? What song is that? Exhi oh, exhibit? Oh. Yeah, Pimp My Ride. You know that one? I know the show. I don't remember yeah. the song, though. I don't even know if that's right. I think I was close enough. Remember Watch Out for the Big Girl? <laughs> what? You know that song? Watch out for the big girl. Watch out for the big girl. Big girl. Big, big girl. The BB? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the double B and double V? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no giveaway. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting restless. I can't lie. Getting a little restless. Uh, no giveaway going on right now, guys. No giveaway going on, guys. Tell Methods he's the GOAT. I don't know where he went. Best wings in Dallas? I think it's Pluckers. Pluckers, the motherfuckers. Pluckers. Pluckers Best is pretty wings good. in Dallas is Mike's Chicken. Best wings in Dallas is Wingstop, though. Shouts out Wingstop, our premier partners. Obviously.
got Joe Nasty with a 50. I've been watching the watch party all day. Can't wait to see the boys go 3-0 again tomorrow. Achieve. Do you know if they will upload the Shotzi 1v1? Yeah, Shotzi 1v1 will be uploaded. Probably will take a little bit for, uh, probably take a little bit for, um, well, what's the word? Editing and all that good stuff. Yo, Sam, appreciate the time, bro. What a round here in Katowice. Not right now. It's got to be, it's got to be natural. I can't just do it on a whim. What I can tell you is that Rich and Lonely Dot Shop is live right now through Sunday. Check it out. This is one of the pieces. RNLX Cup Miami Edition. Only live until Sunday. Cop it while you can. Yep. Thank you guys, everyone that did pick something up. Seriously. Thank you. Appreciate y'all, chat. Yeah, you guys want to support the watch party. Grab yourself some RNL, Get man. Get your claw out of the sands. Appreciate the love, folks. As always, man, you guys always go crazy. Watch party's been an absolute blast today. Usually Fridays are a little bit slower, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ride the chat too hard. But I think it's been a great stream. It's been good vibes pretty much throughout the whole day. I mean, we've been live seven hours, ten minutes, uh, and we've been we've been absolutely just having a ball, man. So thank you guys, everyone coming out, yeah. showing love. Fuck yeah. Bitch out, chat. Yeah, boys, chat. Earl, damn, I see Bose and Seth getting ready for the. I'm. Anyone have that? Who's drinking that potion? That potion bag. That 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 potion oh, bag. I have returned to you. Hey, why we are back eating shawarma. The story. What is shawarma? You have a story? What the hell is so Take a body shot off a hex. That's Adrian Sanchez. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Bando, Adrian. We're breaking our. Uh, we're breaking our fast. What's it called again? Iftar. Iftar. Iftar is what's, what's it called. What's it called when you break your fast, right? Iftar. It's time to get this iftar going, baby. Let me look it up. Let me make sure. Let me make sure I'm correct. Iftar. Iftar. Iftar is. One of the religious observance of Ramadan and is often done as the community. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Asian back Muslim to people Miami. Looking to break into the match three, tied up one one. The S and D continues to be impressive from LA. I'm gonna give me a shorty, but you're not getting no shorty, bro. I'm just kidding. You probably are, bro. Rapidly these last couple of weeks, the big win over phase. Now maybe trying to make a run. And for those that forget from that major one, this is a rematch of teams that fought for a top four spot. Rocker was able to take that and. I honestly forgot that when, when, when I when I heard Diamond Con say that on stage, I was like, "Huh?" I like, forgot that was the matchup yeah, for top four. Yeah, it was the last one. Uh, what Saturday night or yeah, Saturday night. Yeah. Uh, you know, Rocker though they they kind of did it through the SEDs. They were able to win a hard point in map four, but they they able you know they win map two and they win map five. This time switch it up. LAG improving in that game mode, but we head over we to Karachi. That, that control. Asian yeah, spot. we stay on Karachi. It's a Karachi. Uh, Kar uh, uh, yeah, Karachi uh, trifecta. Okay. As okay. we uh, get deeper into super, this series, super 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 uh, like for the control. Average. Uh, any like kind of major thoughts about these two super teams? Average. How you feel about this one between them? Well, I, well, I think it's LAG one and six on this map. So, so that's not good. Oh, next yeah, is so good. They, they no, 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 I've never so tried you, it. You try to make some improvements here. My family tried it. Though. They said it was good. Kind of you know It's like the little local shop with their search to destroy. That was good. That's they like said it was good. Not not joking. Not joking. Thinks it's something, um, and they've been struggling on the air. It's like they're they're one in a hundred, but they've like they played it a hundred and one times. Yeah. So, so like you learn. Damn, brother. Man, you look dead. That's what they like, said. How? Yeah, losing is learning. Uh, we're on the rocker side. This might be your best control map. Six and three. Okay, so. that's, that's a, that, that sounds like a better stat than one and six. Okay. It is. But yeah, what I love most, Travis, am I am I fucking? Me up because yeah, what else? <laughs> my family does too. So when they try it, this this is actually really good. Yeah, they played it. You're playing a lot of it. I haven't I haven't tried it myself though, so I can't give you my personal. I'm saying I'm the I'm the expert. In my family, I'm the only expert. We don't have any other experts. If you if you lose everybody. But every time you lose, even if you're learning a tiny bit, like if you lose a thousand we times, like, we lack experts lot. besides myself. I don't know what you just said. I don't either, you Joe. You're on a different planet than Yeah, me. no, I usually am pretty much at all times, <laughs> Joe. Map three, underway. This is a swing game. We'll see who'll get the advantage. You know, massive control can be in dictating the late half of this series, but lighten it up on the feed. It's purple. It's the gorillas in fame up over the top. Yeah, nice start there. And now you already have Estri on a, in a solid spot, Ooh. but Vivid's going to win the gunfight. Give them some uh, room to work with out of the spawn. So there is a quick trade, but not going to expect Diamond John jumping on the bed. Diamond caught jumping you can jump on, on the bed. You jump on my bed, bed. Okay. anytime, Joe. 
I'm all right. Oh, no, I won't really like you for falling. I'm pillified like you're jumping on it, dude. I've done that a long time. <laughs> That's real and fame. Threw with some big kills into the point. I'll go. Gorillas just trying to hold it for Damn. now and make sure you've got a presence there on A as you, they're working to push forward if you're a rocker. But now a chance to go. You've got some numbers behind a kill from Lens. You're on it and stopping the clock with 38 seconds left. Assault, who was on the point, is wrapped all the way through. Now look at a flank and disrupt this as he gets to second and tries to get eyes on. Assault nearly with it, but some damage in to lead to a kill for Diamond Kong. Good route there this from Assault. Get yeah, here. They don't want the point. Ooh, yeah, they have a shot some more. Right now for Minnesota Rocker, so Diamond John's still 3-0. Estrell, he's got four. Uh, same with Fame. Nice teamwork. But you get Vivid and Awakening on the eight points. But again, working the pinch so, so well has been LAG. Great shots, shots. onto accuracy and some receive back from Vivid. Yeah, you can see the tip of a head in the rival. One of those times it doesn't oh, wiggle. And trying to finesse Trophy. Finessing Vivid. Awakening 0 4, bro. This fucking guy, man. LAG's on. gonna get top LAG's six. trying to set up for defense. You have a kind of a. Well, they don't know. They all spot jump. They all spot jump. They, they gotta yeah. be careful here. They have to be careful. At least a team kill comes in, but the point is wide open. Your last two players are working the pitch. Well, yeah, you didn't think they were all gonna spawn right in between all four of your players. You saw they were looking out, like kind of spinning in circles. Some of the arrows, wondering where they're going to be. Now you get on to B, working towards progress for that first point, but the wall bang through on the bid it gets him out of the point for now. Accuracy like a sloth trying to get through. Is a stun able to hit him? And Estriel gets both that are near the point. So you saw survive a really like, awkward moment there if you're LAG. Yeah, I mean, the team kill helps out, and this has just been dominant, though. You have four lives remaining, only three ticks in the round. God, and man. with what we have been seeing online, I mean, this yeah, has been just having pretty a really offensive heavy. Day, He's had a really tough major quality. You know, like, it certainly can be, because even though, yeah, the live just was looking like, like that, the had, best, had the not even close rookie. A little bit cleaner. That's, that's and now, and suddenly, like, everybody just caught up so thing. fast. Maybe it's done quickly, but not how it's going to break down still always a chance always a chance and dear god here we go they gotta get on it though they just gotta stack this why not you only have four lives remaining they do get picked though assault finds an angle still three here number three trophy down a little protection here comes the retake and that should be it you at least get a tick so a small victory carried into the next round that honestly yeah good way to put it i mean considering you had no respawns remaining the fact you get a tick out of it yeah sure take the small victory there but it is kind of crazy, as lopsided as it was from kind of a slang de department, like you had two two chances where you got some bodies on it and maybe could have created something catastrophic, but you deal with it if you're gorillas. I think Estrell involved with uh, several of those picks to kind of get people off the objective. Yeah, I mean, everybody getting, uh, getting involved from LAG. Nice round from them on the other side. Awakening just putting the blender a little bit, one in seven. See if he can turn this Mexicans around, but yeah, awesome, strong defense there in round one. Oh, that's Mexicans. Well, he started slow kind of in the map one until he erupted at the tail end of it. Wake went big then. He's going to need to pick it up as we get deeper into this. Just a little blender there on offense, but we'll see if he can bounce back. His assault just trying to get back to full HP. Help out with a trophy onto the point. They put two on this for now, just trying to get through this quickly. Man, Lynn just having a bad series, bro. Man, Koto, you might have been right. I'm not going to lie to you, Koto. Well, and that, that first kill from from Assault was huge because Linz catches the timing. Maybe you get one off the point, then starts the retake for Minnesota Rocker. Instead, he's locking down the flank. You don't even go for this again. So you have two minutes in almost all of your lives to work B. Yeah, you lost one person there. And it's not like you got like a three down and hopped on it. Like It was three kind of staggered kills. It just ends up being real clean. You don't want to risk it if you're Rocker. And I get that on a map like this. Like you throw one more chance at it, you get like a three down, suddenly B's gone too. It can happen. And now we'll see what they can do to build this push up towards B and see if Awakening can find some kills on the feed for Rocker here on defense. Well, he's just been hanging out junk side, so he's all the way pushed on up, kind of forcing LAG to go on flanks, get into red from middle of the map. That's going to allow his teammates to reposition. So uh, what does LAG opt to do? They're going to try to take uh, junk side from up top, be able to find him. Linzo staying aggressive. Yeah, he finally has his first gunfight 90 seconds into the yeah, round. Bro, but yeah, you have one through the back. Bro. Holy Dumpster shit. trying to find uh -oh. an opening. They line up in front. Estriel's able to get both. There's nobody else really close, though. And the dumpster side spawn's going to come in. So Red now going to be wide open. So you can start to funnel this in. 
if you are LAG, you just try to disrupt as much as you can if you're Estriel there. You know where everybody's coming from. Now, don't get staggered too much here if you're LAG. Yeah, you had the close spawn. You saw Assault does have that crew nice to wins. work with. Diamond John with the rival, able to connect. Now it's going to be dead. All oh, four Jesus. were stacked in this point. That's and done. LAG That's done. should up. be up 2-0. This ah, dude, Lynn's playing so bad. I don't know what's wrong with Twin, but he was so good at Major One qualifiers. Flying. They don't get another chance at it. God that damn. is a threat of a four what down on the so objective. Wipe them off the map. Four stack is in. 2 all up. As L A G continue to go, and now those stats we were talking about. All right, whatever. Never mind. <laughs> Told you more, more reps. Yeah, more I like. Reps. I, 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 yeah. Bro, Reese is my guy, man. Reese is my guy. You don't want to risk that sort of transition point happening, but giving them a full two minutes, uh, all 29 lives, it just takes a, a close spawn at B. And it oh. feels like sooner or later you're going to break on through. Oh, I was just trying to justify what was done, but like I didn't really get it. Like I understand if that was a three down or four down, it's like okay, we might get caught scrambling back. I get it, but that's not what it was. It was just like three kind of spread out kills, and then they were like, oh, "All right, we're done." And I was like, "All right, okay, well, we're gonna have a lot of time." And yeah, eventually, with that much time on Karachi, it's like eventually you're gonna burst through, find some kind of opening. Now a streak is in from Assault. You're up to 14 and Wake six. Wake up, get ready for our Chinese out of buddy. The cruise. They don't get the first bit of objective if you're a rocker. You throw the streak into this, That's you're crazy. going for the jug dealer. You're trying to knock so this one side, out. Vegas versus well, they're, they're trying to hit them Carolina in the same trap they had them last time. So they, they kind of allow them to get on to Those A. Those are good matches, though. A nice double. Yeah, right back into it. But you just have all the power positions now if you are LA. Damn, regardless of the winner of this, these are good Finally matches, Travis. Tra for like, Flavor Zopti got a good match. Here. Look at this. Three or, spawn up. And they might just try uh, Vegas to go versus Toronto right towards rematch. Feed. That'd be a that good match. Play call. And Lynch then right here, up close. Minnesota versus, versus NYSL. That's point. a great yeah, match. I mean, you have everybody kind of and then FaZe versus LAG. That'd be a good match. That'd be cool. Travis, no cap. Sort of flip the narrative on offense on this map. If we can get a B-side first You know what I'm saying? Like, every match has a good outcome for this is through trying to win some big gunfights. Oh, he at least takes down one before he drops, but then it's LAG that are working the retake. You still have two people here and you're spawning out job, pretty guys. deep if you're Rocker trying to track back to this. So accuracy is not going to have any help. You survive for a moment if you're LAG. Yeah, Fame, he works the long flank. I mean, he was all the way over towards the A point. And well, you had a couple of players right side, but they don't spot fame. He's the man that finds the first kill onto the point, and that just opens things up for LAG. But you get the two ticks, and now you're on to A. So it's looking a lot better than the start of this round for Rocker. Yeah, no, really a chance to get right back might, into this might be able to get both. Yeah, no, that, uh, that'd be unusual. Not often you're going to see both of you kind of capped around the same time, but a chance to do that life, here. Life, a little bit of life, a little bit of life. himself, two on the point. That are able to finish the first now on to be and back oh in. It. Oh. It's not often that they're that close to be able to get Yo. both points, but the perfect scenario, the stars align for Rocker to get back in his map three. And that's what happens, right? Kind of what you were talking about, that transition. If you go three dead, they had two ticks on it. So as soon as you were caught out of position, caught off spawn, they just stacked that point quickly. And now Rocker on the board. Now. Can you just get a defense, push this out to around five? It is all LAG early, but listen, Rocker, if there's anything about them, they are resilient. They, they will push you, whether it's in the overall series or in an individual map. They're trying to do it again here. As Estriel's been the playmaker for them from the game two into this game three. We'll see if he's got some Stop, flashy right moments here. In our control, is is one tucked away. That's real. Ah, uh, Lamar didn't see him. Lamar doesn't see him. Lamar, is Lamar still, lagging out? Yo! Still lurking. Bro. Yeah, I don't know what accuracy was looking at there. The but fuck? I actually was worried that we were about to get a restart because he like, didn't move That's for a second. That's what I'm there. saying. Like, oh. Yeah, so accuracy. Yeah, I don't bro, know. Just watching he thought he was lagging spot, out. But he's going to get caught. And now you have Lamar in, in a position bro. where... Oh, man. He's just going to play in this transition point. Maybe trying to find a kill or two. two kills around. Make this easier for LAG to go up 2-1 in the series. And now you see he's on the point. Uh -oh. Do Rocker recognize it? They do. You see all the white arrows start to backtrack. And now Estriel, I mean, he's just doing a good job. He's just being a distraction. Joe. In order to get A, both times they've lost one life. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, no, uh, two total lives across those eight captures. Very, very efficient. And now we set up with, again, two minutes. And maybe a streak going to be thrown into this as well as Diamond Con's 19-11, a chance 
four six in a row. Asalto pushing towards back. Dumpster's a little bit awkward, but he's able to recenter and snap. There's the streak earned as well. There's three down. A chance for the jugular now as you've already got one player near. Set up in Assault. Diamond now rallying over. Maybe trying to get inside and start thinking about this streak, but he's holding on now. Gunny up. Back it down, Awakening. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is you had Linz pushed up, so okay. the player's off spawn. No! Focus on him, but Diamond with three. Trying to stay alive. Now he's got help from Estriel. He's a walking streak. Who needs the missile when they're coming out of your gun? Diamond Con pops, looking to shut it down. Game. Ten spree. And this Ooh. man has had his moments throughout the year. So consistent response for this team. Yeah, I genuinely do not again. know what to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was the pillar of life for them early on. Like the one consistent factor this typically in hard point. I mean, he was one of the top players in that mode early for this team. But here it's the control. Just a tear down the stretch. A tin spree to close it out and like up to that point think about it i mean he barely and he's almost lowest damage despite the fact that he goes nuts like that at the end so maybe it was slow at times but an absolute eruption volcanic at the end of that yeah i mean and then on the other side for rocker just two i mean not great defenses at all uh, awakening has a very tough game at eight and 17 I just could not put anything together cannot track these players but lg their guns got hot their comms got hot and map two and they carried it here in the into the control yeah, yeah, I was hoping after the, the great map one kind of finish that Awakening had, you know, maybe he'd really be bringing it in the response throughout this series. A busy status in the chat. How we're doing, my brother? In that map three, a liability at times for them. And a beast, and are you excited to, about tomorrow, brother? Who do you have? Optic Toronto. Know, it's, like, it's like when you're watching the bell. And, and then uh, Vegas versus Clayster. Five foot hole for That's him to match too. Like, <laughs> and then obviously face New York. Of a defensive line there. Yeah, yeah prevent defense that just allows everybody to run up the field. That's yeah. pretty much what it was. And yeah, I mean, LAG just winning their offenses, but even on defense, they made it so tough for Rocker. They had them in the spawn traps early in the round one. They used the crews. They just made sure there were not a lot of lives for Rocker to use. And now they are up to one in the series. A chance to continue well, I on and make don't know what happened. I yeah, honestly uh, don't know what happened. Listen, uh, it's not like Rocker had been. This would be some uh, big upset either way. Tomorrow's man. games either are like fucking this. like, there was a, some super bad, like the best games all, ever. But I just think it's just a little stretch. And I, maybe it's just the win over phase that sort of has you believing a little bit more. I know it does me. Like, it's such an impressive win for them coming into this. But or it's just a search and destroy improvement. It's just a bunch of little things where I'm like, okay. All it's, right. it's all starting to click here for LAG, and that's just kind of what you're looking for. Again, a, a team that got top six, kind of uh, forget about that in major one, and now they're a map away for doing that in, in two two majors in a row. Because if you talk to me Cardi, two brother, weeks you have ago, to play both these teams tomorrow, are brother, in the dirt. Sorry, like, it, it looks like you're just like downgrading kind of at every level for a little while there if you're LAG. Game five you terminal, thought, that is demonic. I don't know, we kind of hyped them demonic. up a little bit. I thought they were really solid team that early on a uh, major Shotsy one. Shotzi doesn't lose, buddy. Apart. I'm Look, thinking buddy you buddy changing major now, one. suddenly things are clicking for them and it's really awesome to see, but bro, still skip, bro, just skip over major one. Bro, like, major one over the terminal, watching. but man, great two maps for them. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, should I stay sticking together? Going with the ups and downs of the year, and that's just how it can be. But said at series and not done yet. We're gonna go to that skid row hard point. See if Minnesota could get us to a game five. Anything for the skid row that's really I heard uh, Kenny, he wants it back in blood against face. Really I know you're about to say that, Jarvis. Yeah, I know you're about to say that. LAG, two and five, so yeah, okay. Nothing, nothing play this uh, a comfortable map here for for both. I'll think it's hot okay. right now. Shit. Comfortable one, we'll see. LAG's hot if as hell right now. Shut down if you can lock it up and close it out. I heard it, Travis. If you were LAG. You called him my son. Rocker, they're thinking, okay. You're well, not watching uh, tomorrow, Beast. Why is that motherfucker? What the fuck? All we've done for two straight months, and now, now is when you start to think gamer like, grip. If fucking. this was maybe their first map five, and they had just won, I'd be like, okay, well, I'm a little worried. But I think the fact that you just got to win in it, like today, like you just won a map five, it's got to be as good for your mental state if you can get there. But you still got to get there. Yeah, long day, and yeah, they're gonna have to lock in, back down, backs against the wall. They were able right, to beat on. LAG in Skid Row at Major One or at Major One in the map four. So they won that 250 to 135. A little bit different. Rocker? Different tournament, yeah. Yeah, okay. This is the hard point that they won. So you can see the records I was talking about, the whole percentage, the break percentage, much better for Minnesota. Top four, well, I'll be LAG. Into it. Lock in in these opening moments, because Skid Row, I mean, 
You lock it down early, you get a spawn flip early, we know how big of an advantage. You can get very quickly for through your first two to three hard points. So spawning left side early, it's going to be LAG, a chance to maybe do some damage early, but three, oh, sorry, two going to drop because one is a team kill. So the flip opportunity not there. That's <laughs> yeah, number four. Gonna back I love myself. Well He's my guy. Trying to make sure you can't get through a tunnel, get there quickly, gets there just in time to shut down lens. Yeah, now you're winning on both fronts on, guys, right now. On. If you Please are LAG, it, this is now a rock. Tough map three, tough map three. Just chalk it up. To get back in a P1 is awakening, but the numbers still matter. Bro. You've had so many bad maps in your career. Welcome on, good. Rotation, winning done fights. This done connects. Ah, Astro man, this is a bad start. With the this, is not a, this is a, the worst start possible for them. They have not slowed down. They're starting to spawn tunnel. Two and three early they lost the rotation. Astro's on scrap. He's gonna be able to have a creative pinch on scrap. Is the final five the shoulders pushed away. off P5. Maybe this is the worst start possible. Maybe look how far you spawn out if you are fame. So you good thing here is that Astro didn't cut fast enough. Really, it's kind of a two-man game on the other side of it. All Don't the pressure going to build towards Diamond. Diamond and Assault able to get the kills. Assault nearly with a great slide out to find another. But you survive. That was kind of three on two, four on two there for a moment. But you hold on. Great job there from Assault and Diamond. Yeah, that's what can be tough about this P2. It's like even if you get down low, you still have to go up the staircase. Yeah. Where is this player watching the staircase from? can be so difficult, plus the crossfires are Ooh. in, and it's an all four dead. Now, if you're Rocker, you're just hoping not to give up any cruises, any streaks. Maybe make this a little bit messy, but the main focus is going to be on this P3 rotation. Yeah, P3. Well, I think Shachi's the best player in the game right now. No, bro. What? Every team kind of familiar with, uh, I don't know, 80 to still 100. Still got scrappy over Shachi. Early on a skid, bro. <laughs> That's why the map can be so tough or frustrating at times, but you have to have resilience. You have to bounce back and that's the name of the game for a team like a rocker p3 ready to get going two going to spawn out top side so you are going to have kind of a two on two near the point here for a moment you got a chance to maybe make a play but that sort of starts to fall apart as awakening accuracy find picks you give yourself some separation set up on the point yeah and it kind of just slows down lg assault in to take a long yeah. route here try to catch it's a so cool because the bracket is actually door, set up in a, in a way of a bunch really, of rematches really the first four man push for lag but again las vegas versus first seattle was a rematch four minutes miami versus carolina was a rematch so thieves versus so lag was a rematch it's vivid snaps with the nc boston versus minnesota was a rematch that's like what a cool They're tournament. A job what a really P3 cool tournament. Just mounting this comeback and then both of the winners from semi. Exactly damn, every match has been a rematch. Wow, what the fuck? You're not the end of the world. You've done some damage, and Linz is doing damage. That's four straight for him. You want to feed him number five? Go ahead. There's the fifth. One come on, HP kid. Come on, kid. Don't shut down, kid. Come on. Prior. And now he's one away from that truce. And on rotation, you already have awakening on God stairs. You're gonna have accuracy. This is a good setup here. Come on, guys, get some life going. Come on, baby. Rocker did. They're only down 25 points after P1 and P2. So beautifully done. You're hoping Linz now can get this cruise to carry into the fifth hill. Vivid watching over him keeps him alive. Linz, still just trying to get this six is got the game time. Time. can he find an opening teammates still doing the dirty work to Monk get the kills to leave him so free roam for this now he's tucked back into the hard point just looking for the freebie lead change now rocker survived the early onslaught they go out in front it's exactly what you need this to do on so skid roll so beautifully so done job. nice gun by win lens a cruise now in the back pocket and will look so good for lag early or it's all rocker now, baby. Yeah, now you can really just invest, you know, this cruise right away at this P5. So you get all this scrap time, maybe no, you try to find some map have control. Battle. Does rocker, but still some time to work with, with 10 seconds with. left on this hill. You're allowed to work up to the 50-yard line. I'd like yep. to see them take garage and try and to really curve it in P2 and just cross out as the streak comes in. find the first one. That should be the trigger okay, to use gonna the take cruise. Yeah, like your three deaths aren't that big of a deal because you, you had the time to spot up and get back to mid. Vivid's more crucial. That has garage. That the hard point swaps. As you said, time for the cruise. Everybody scrambling, trying to get to safety. It's going to hit. They'll take down two, but lose two at the same time. The player in the hard point able to stay up. So assault is still he didn't here. Didn't take garage. Fame trying fuck? to transition over to get a little bit of help, but you get in towards the point at least. So maybe you don't get a ton of time. Maybe it stays messy, but you've disrupted behind the streak a bit, or have you? Because now fame is popping. Yeah, I mean fame. I mean that player was weak, but a beautiful snap onto the head. So he's able to take down two, and a nice job by LAG to. Wow. And after the cruise, oh, it does not bro. Turn into Come time on, guys. Like teamwork, baby. Never mind. So okay. Coordinated it with that streak, bro. <laughs> it looked like they made it 
Enough of a Another momentum is shifting again, bro. Oh, he has me, man. My brother's not out. Yeah, he's out. They're out. This is over. The other way over two gorillas. Now you start to work on strengths on the other end. But they can't run one right now, bro. Oh my goodness. Look at three beasts. Making plays. Three straight for him. Three straight for fame. They're erupting now as they try to bring it back. Estriel is working it right now. Yeah, the stun though doesn't allow him to heal. But the numbers still here is Diamond Con with the rival finds the double on the rotation. It looks like it's going to be Rocker into that spot for P2. So Awakening starting to creep on up through tunnel. But you're going to take the rest of this time. This is a good safety net for Minnesota here. They're going to talk of the so time and they're going to get a P2 rotation. To try to stay alive in this map to have a great P2 hold. They're going to yeah, need I mean, a full so four, four four I mean, like right? literally like no you're, mistakes here. You're able to respond off the early blow. If you are a rocker, you answer right back. If you're a gorillas and take the lead, now it's your turn, rocker. Right, child, playmaker, your turn playmaker who will be number four, number two. As the P2 for team of uh, five for seconds away, and if they get the time, which you imagine they will, we're talking a tie game, or is there, there some go. sort of crazy break that maybe that spawn's gonna spawn Estrid a garage. and the gorillas are able to do? But from awakening, he will we'll watch it. He'll be the point man inside of the point. As you look for where. That break in the armor might come from if you're gorillas. Yeah, starting to work both sides. Here we go. Diamond Chan starting go. to work up through tunnel. But here's that crossfire. Lynn's able to find two to stun Kinesh. It's down to a one versus one. Awakening. He does not have the rival. And Estro even playing for the spawn kills. Huge plays to buy time for his teammates to get there. And there we go. Jeez. LAG able to break down through a beautiful Brother. Oh, guys. How the, the fuck do you not read that? that? Hey, bro. Often, but they get it done there. And there were still about 30 seconds left in the point. So make that one null and void. You'll hold on to your same lead. So it ends up being a massive swing for gorillas. Now we focus on the fights that are about to develop on the other side of it as we get ready for P3. Awakening and Lamar, the first time their controls are literally just dead. They, they have no batteries. Yeah, waiting on accuracy here to find Estriel, because Estriel's already through. You're not going to realize he's here, and there we go. A nice little two-man push. I said, I sure said LA. Can't I was talking about LAG. Spawning far out is LAG. And as you said, yeah, P3 last time was great for Rocker, but they're going to Diamond is a flex, yeah, yes. So far, so good. You're doing it. You're 15 seconds in. Now you're starting to we get kind of good map, map one. real push towards or like the actual average map. Point. I wouldn't say like a good map. Yeah, like a one point one point one. That's a good map, right? That's a good map. Vivid spawning out deep. You got to go massive with your players inside of the point. You're about three. as well as you can, but it's not going to be Linz with five in a row this time. He is going to drop. Things fall apart Jeez. for him there. Yeah, LG able to break on through. Up to 210 now. 20 seconds left. A vivid though, trying to fight his way through the hill at least get him off of it trying to keep this game within contention on rotation will be diamond count number four on the hill though it's still lens in awakening as they're gonna find a the triple and crazy. get on but could be come down to this but look at this you're gonna have two players spawn on out so they get across that 50 yard line and now spawns and get a little weird for both ends but vivid not did it check the right corner that's gonna be three in the feed for lag where you did it through three and four if you were rocker this time the magic is not there it's gorillas turn to maybe put him away the series could be done here. Fame hitting the shots. Set up inside is Gorillas and looking to close it out. Just 22 points now for the victory. It's desperation. It's everything from Rocker to try and break on through. But Fame wants nothing to do with it. Estriel once again finessing. He's inside the point and holding. And second by second, moment by moment, just a bit closer to the victory. But you get a contest for a second at least. If you are Rocker, is the madness ensues. I mean, what a life by Estriel. And now with that, this team. Here and Jesus. I think that's it. LAG looking at three one Minnesota Rocker make it to Saturday. There's one more player here. You might have one more chance if you are Minnesota, but fame finds the double and LAG are top six once again. Uh, you, you think you got the kills? Do you think maybe you can rotate? You see one wide arrow start to turn because you got to win it on both fronts. But Fame with the double seals it. But there were two sequences where Estriel was a magician, bro. Like he was finessing and getting so much value out of his life. Just some awesome, awesome moments out of him. A real well rounded effort out of Gorillas. And they're showing they can do it across the board. They can do it in control, control. They can do it in hard point. And the S&D improvements might be the difference between maybe getting past that top six. I, I mean, we talked to some of the teams, right, throughout Major 1. It was like, this team's just really good. I'm surprised they aren't playing as well as they've shown in scrims. Uh, 
Day two qualifiers, ugly. We just starting wrong. to put it think. together here on land as their search is coming into fruition. I was that wrong, gives Coda. Them the confidence I was wrong. In these I was wrong, and, brother. And I think for Rocker, yeah, you just had a, a couple of tough games for, from some of your slayers. Awakening really slowed do down I say after to that, map number what one. What do you say to that? But props to LAG and their teamwork. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was awesome to watch. I mean, it's great to just see a team start to get better, even if it's just these little flurries where it happens so quickly. You blink your eyes and you're like, oh, uh, we, uh, that's right. We remember they could be a solid team. We've just been waiting for it. And sometimes, I mean, listen, we our qualifiers have been a, kind of a wide range. We sometimes have like four matches, sometimes five, sometimes seven. This one's a little bit longer. And sh if stuff just clicks in the final match or two, as long as it's right before the major, cool. Yeah, no doubt about it. As you can see, Assault 24 and 17, Fame 23 and 17, Estriel with 26, six and some big breaks. On the other side, Minnesota, uh, back to the drawing board. But at least, uh, I mean, you know, a win on land. You had a tough qualifying stage. You get a couple of week breaks. Maybe they can put it together for stage three. Yeah, um, listen, it's a frustrating one. I just you feel like this team is close. Like, they, they have Bro, chances secret. to do it. I you said LAG, so like a, not LAT, LAG. Okay, but I'm the only ones are going to be LAG now, considering G. this result, right? Like, you're going to have to have a better Leah, qualifier. You're going to have to. I can't believe to. my thoughts. But, uh, That's before the last time we get awakening, into an interview, you are awakening, fam. I'm so sorry. It's an LAG victory. Kiss it's awakening going to be goodbye. Give him a hug. Tweet him. Series. That Over is the last bucket. time we see awakening. I'm sorry, awakening, brother. You were fun to watch. It was a great time watching you. Um, I can't wait to watch you play against Crazy Lemmy. action at the end of our elimination break. Someone doesn't win the event. We have LAG, the 12th seed, powering into day three. Ali, I think... You called it first. I followed you. you what was it about this match? It's crazy, and now you're saying <laughs> I get handed it. Well, I think LAG just really impressed me with that series earlier. And Estreal and DiamondCon showed me they have come to be consistent here on land. And from what I saw from Minnesota Rocker, it was a couple of missteps in this series. We turned the music on, themselves. So LAG, they did what they needed to do. Fundamentals were on point. Slang was on point, and they could make a run. Nameless, you were confident in Minnesota's game it coming is, into this. They Chad, I think I've, I've, con in a three I've contracted CT. What went wrong for Minnesota? in this one I mean a lot went wrong one I think big wake definitely needs to step it up I feel like Minnesota probably making a roster change after this tournament them in Boston need to just make a roster swap switch two players for two it's just tough at this point when you face that many game five losses you lose confidence and you can see it in their game we'll be breaking it down with all the highlights in just a moment but right now we got to send it to the main stage we got guy blaze with our monster winner spotlight thank you so much Chris sorry for the delay Adam was so electric on the stage, he short-circuited our mics for a little bit, so we had to get that one fixed. But Adam, a 3-1 victory here against Minnesota. Talk to me about how you feel, and how did you guys get that one done? Uh, it feels great to win that. Uh, I think online, we've had a lot of struggles recently. Uh, we're very excited to come back to land. I think our online split is kind of shit, so that's why we kind of struggle online sometimes. But came to land, we're feeling confident and playing good. Definitely are feeling good. And, you know, that was kind of going to be my next question. You know, the woes that was happening uh, online, but to come to land and then secure that top six yet again, how does that feel, even though you got more work to do? It uh, feels good. Our SD is looking just as good as it did online. I think right now we're probably like a top four SD team, mm -hmm. at least. I think we're on like a four or five win streak now. Uh, Jay, um, I'm like, so how are we going to? Which is like, let's quote unquote steal a respawn, even though respawns look phenomenal this event. So, mm -hmm. honestly, just got to keep. Just gotta gotta keep, keep going. going Just no gotta keep SMD. going. And now, you know, your s and is looking good there. I know you guys are going to go back and work on some things there. Now, as it comes to tomorrow, okay? Yeah, you Lucas, know, what do you I, want I, I see it. That's that that ass match, that ass venue. Yes, games, cheer for you as you guys get ready to figure out who you're going to end up playing next. Honestly, I don't know who we play, but fans Not at home. Not decided yet, but. I have no idea, but yeah, fans at home, bet on us. We're going to keep coming. A hey, keep betting oh, on these shit. guys on the main stage, okay? They play the face or going. NYSL. We'll see them tomorrow. You heard this the man. Bet on them. Thank you so much. Can and if you need bets, I'm right here. Ah, let, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Y'all let me know. Something shit. to me personally, the and that was their mental fortitude, just the strength. We came in 10 a.m. Let me know. Fame and crew were already scrimming there, already warmed up. I said, how do you feel about your first round matchup? He said, oh, we're going to play two today. We got to make it till Saturday. They did exactly that. They set a goal and they accomplished it. They did accomplish it. And it wasn't those search and destroy. It's just like they said in that interview. They're very proud of their game twos. And honestly, they've shown me that they're really expanding that map pool, even as we go deeper into this bracket. And on the flip side for Minnesota Rocker, things to take away, uh, their hard point was just not there the entirety of this day. 
they lost both of them in the Boston series and was able to pull out that Neslo, but you can only do that but so many times when you go up against a team that's going to go ahead to head like, to you in those game number like, two. Yeah, I'm really impressed by LAG, man, in the turnaround. As Chris said, like... I don't know what LAG do. Like, do they keep this team? They go back home and just go 0-7? Or like what? I don't know what they do. Oh, uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. Oh, Lord. What a fucking day of COD. Okay, yeah, so that is true. Wait, no, we're wrong, Travis. We're wrong. The bracket flips. Wait, no, 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 you're right. You are. Are you right? I don't think you're right, Travis. The bracket flips. So, FaZe play this and Optic play this. Optic or. FaZe, New York play bottom. Optic, Toronto play top. The bracket. Why am I clicking? Like, I keep clicking on that shit. The bracket flips. Yeah, the winner of this plays against the loser of this. The loser of this. And then the winner of this, which is LEG, play against this. Perfect. The low-key, holy shit. Yeah, Ultra Optic play LEG, and then FaZe or NYSL play Carolina or Vegas. Hey, the match are going to be good tomorrow, bro. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Vegas tomorrow. Chat, this is the schedule for tomorrow. This is the schedule for tomorrow. This is the first match. We already see it right here. Match number two, phase and YSO. This is CST, okay? So it says 12.30. That means 1.30 if you are East Coast time, okay? Optic Toronto, third match, 3.30. 5 p.m. We get the the um, this match, which will be Vegas versus the loser of this match. And then last match of the night will be LAG versus the loser of this match. So tomorrow's going to be a really, 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 really exciting day. Come through. You have some free time. You want to come watch. It'll be a good time. I can't wait to watch. I am super excited. Chad, I was going to allow you immediately after. I, I I might still go live. I'm fucking, I'm kind of tired though. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like no cap. I'm a little tired. Uh, LAG. Yeah. LAG just beat Rocker, bro. LAG just beat Rocker. So LAG have guaranteed top six and they play Optic or Toronto. For top four. Tired of what? I'm just tired. I don't know. That's what I was saying. I was, why am I tired? Why should, why would I be tired? I don't know. I have no idea. I, was, I agree with you. The same thing you're at, motherfucker. I don't know. If I do go live though, we're going live with, we're only playing eight. Just letting you guys know. Because uh, this, this got announced over there. Okay, we're gonna go live, and if we do tomorrow in the morning when I go live, we're also only playing eights. Um, Vista control, Vista S and D, Vista hardpoint, all added. They come in Monday, and then uh, departure is that what it's called? Departure. Departures, control, hardpoint, and uh, S and D. So that's how we're gonna be playing. We're gonna run through the the, the uh, rotation. Will be departure, hardpoint, Vista, uh, hardpoint, control, control. And then S and D map. We'll just be playing best of us, best of us, best of us, best of us the entire time. So if you want to come watch chat, feel free. Thank you all so much for coming through and showing love. Uh, a lot of people came through. Almost 500 clicks while we were live, which is, to me, that's, I appreciate it, man. Thank you all so much. I'm super grateful. Uh, I will see you guys for the matches tomorrow in the morning. If I see you guys on Twitch tonight, come through. If you're going out tonight, stay safe. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Thank you all so much for supporting every single day, man. Just y'all. I love every single one.